course, we gotta drop into Verdance. We gotta drop into our maps for the very first time. That's where we're gonna be starting. And then we're gonna be heading into some special ops. Now, excited to do some special ops. This is a challenged-based format with several of our content creators competing to do, uh, production made them very hard, by the way. Very hard <laughs> challenges. Uh, try to complete those in two hours. And then we're gonna have a chance to talk to some celebrities and see what they think about Warzone Mobile. If they've had their chance to get their hands on it, I think there's even some competition there between our celebrities, so really excited about that. We're going to be heading into Multiplayer Mosh Pit, a, a chance for some of our content creators to rewarm back up, get a chance to, to play on some of those multiplayer maps, and then we'll end the day, of course, with some amazing challenges that involve throwing helicopters, driving vehicles, splattering people, blowing people up, you know, the usual, the usual. Call of Duty <laughs> things, the usual Warzone things, and then finally, a sniper's only challenge with some of our content creators. So, a great day planned, and speaking of those content creators, we have an incredible list of content creators joining us from all over the world, some in person, of course, and some online uh, at their own home setup. So in studio with us, we're going to be seeing Winsanity, TP, Symphony. I mean, talk to me about some of these names. These are some of the biggest content creators in the space. Yeah, it's really cool because this is the first time, especially on the Call of Duty side, that we've ever seen this type of collaboration between both mainline, like PC and console type players and mobile players. So the fact that you've got guys like Noah going up against guys like Swag, Huskers, Swifter, TP, like there's Call of Duty world champions that have done crazy <laughs> things on the console side and also people who have been dominating the mobile scene for a long time. So it's going to be really fun to watch. Yeah, and production needs to be changed. we got to put Bobby Plays on this. I know. Side. I think, I think you're guy. supposed to be involved here, Bobby. <laughs> I think we might be seeing you later as well, of course. Uh, but yeah, Beef Bobby, I mean, you were just talking about this, the controller support. Let's take a look at some of our remote participants. And on this list, you'll see, of course, some incredible mobile gamers, but also some of those PC content creators that are maybe using controller or maybe trying those touchscreen controls for the very first time. It is really exciting to see such unity between the COD universe. I mean, we can call it the COD multiverse. And also, take a look at that. T, 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 Tim the tat man i mean we got legends over here and not just from the mobile aspect but also pc console everyone's coming together and it is really just going to be interesting how all of these players work because play sounds are going to be different between mobile between pc and console which will be very interesting to see yeah across progression of course so everybody's getting their hands on wars on mobile you're seeing metalcore on here i saw the only shady we saw ducky i mean bobby uh, talk to me about a couple more names popping out to you i mean it's just icons across the board i personally I personally am actually like a Tim the Tatman fanboy, so <laughs> seeing him drop into Verdansk, I'm probably just going to watch back the the entire stream after we're done That's with fair. this 12-hour broadcast, sure, so sure. I'm not going to sleep at all, but just so many big names. Obviously, you got Myth on there as well. Uh, it, you've got Wash Cod Mobile Pro players like Little B who are going to be showing up and seeing what he can do, and, and I've seen him snipe on Verdansk, and he's, uh, he's brought over some of that talent, so we'll see what he can bring to the table. Can you say that they talk about his snipes? or <laughs> no, no, that's just me <laughs> I mean you already said it a while ago like I want to see the reactions of people who actually played Verdansk before and just drop into it I feel like the nostalgia factor is just gonna be so heavy-handed here and um, it's really gonna be interesting to see how their faces are gonna be like oh yeah I mean it's like you <laughs> I, I literally I think I teared up when I dropped in for the very first time we we're in the green room Bobby's already won a couple games today by the way so we're in the green room and I'm just watching he was like oh there's a camper on ATC I'm like I haven't heard heard those words in like years <laughs> this is beautiful so uh, excited to see all of our content creators and i totally agree i'll be watching back a lot of their streams you can tune into all of their streams they're all live all over the place all of the different live streaming platforms and we'll be live here for the next 36 hours as well watching some of those streams so a lot of amazing content creators we will be talking about today and you look i, I think as we kind of go into this kind of next section the big note i have is about who, who of these content creators are going to be some of the top players in Warzone Mobile, right? Because like whenever we right. talk about a new game, a, a kind of a brand new release, people grind and they grind a crazy amount of hours on the first day. So, I mean, Bobby, who's, who's a couple of those big grinder names that come to mind? I mean, obviously, you got to look at the content creators. You got people like Godsley, like Noah, who have just been dominating mobile games for years at this point. Obviously, Ferg's kind of a given, uh, but that's another player that, <laughs> that, that you know is going to be at the top and is probably going to be streaming for 24 hours plus just because he's that type of guy. Uh, he's going to put in the work and, and make sure he's at the top of his game. But there's definitely some smaller guys to keep your eyes on. I think guys like Ken Strafes, like a very underrated uh, 
just because he's a smaller content creator, but has been cracked out across multiple titles over the last uh, couple mobile games that have launched, and he's dominated every single one of them. I, I love that. I mean, Beef Mommy, any other names that come to mind? Easy. You got the pro players that have yeah. been doing this thing for years now. We got Tectonic. I saw his name there a while ago. Little B, he was a former pro player as well. So definitely going to watch out for those people. I know it's mostly like multiplayer, but they can definitely bring that into the Warzone map that we yeah. love or dance. And also, when it comes to a, a big map like that, it's a different kind of mechanic. So that's sure. why I'm really excited to see how multiplayer multiplayer players can could actually bring it down into a, such a huge map. It's a great point and a lot of conversation mm -hmm. can happen around that, but we had a chance to actually talk to Imao, Roballo, and Rose Smith, who are definitely gonna be amongst that crew of grinders. So let's hear what they had to say. I am so excited for Warzone Mobile. Dude, I'm, I'm out like staggered about this. The fact that we have multiplayer maps and BR in one game, you know, like that's... And I've been a Warzone player since Verdansk. So having that come to mobile. I love the fact that it's got cross progression, which means I can play on PC and console and then I can switch over to mobile and keep all my weapon skins, battle pass skins. Like having wars on mobile while being mobile is insane. The cross progression system, I think that's incredible. We've got Modern Warfare 3 movement in Warzone Mobile is insane. It's exactly like the PC and console version. And I'm gonna get my hands to the game. I'm grinding it all day long. Uh, the fact that they've been able to add not only Verdansk, but also a ton of multiplayer maps all into a mobile device is incredible. Well, another word you're going to hear all day today is incredible. incredible. <laughs> no question about it. Uh, I know all of our content creators are super excited. And I, I think, you know, talking about what some of our content creators have been chatting about and, and what they're kind of working towards, it is all about leveling up their weapons, right? You've got to get into some of these metas. Everybody's already trying to figure out what the meta is. That's classic Call of Duty. And, and I think when you look back on, on kind of the beginning of Verdansk and the beginning of Warzone, you look at some of these content creators that got their start in Warzone by being loadout aficionados. I mean, Bobby, you know a lot about that. A lot of people make loadout videos. So what are some of the weapons maybe you're keeping your eyes on if you can kind of help out some of our viewers at home? I mean, the the three that like, especially if you're just starting out in Warzone Mobile, like brand new account, you want to know what you can unlock the fir first that's actually going to be good. There's something called the Arsenal Store, which is actually unique to Warzone Mobile that lets you unlock things that have only been available on the PC and console side of things. So actually just by playing the game, you can unlock tokens that you use there, the Ram 7s, available there yep. that's arguably the best ar in the game the hrm arguably the best smg uh and then the mtz 556 i believe you unlock at level 12 so those three unlockable very early on and and pretty dominant weapons so i if you're just getting started those would be my recommendations look i don't know if you all knew but bobby plays as a content creator he, he knows his stuff okay i think he made a video on this already so. yeah he posted Pretty that sure. video last night oh, okay. <laughs> no wonder. incredible all right well hey i'm really excited to talk to more of our content creators as well and i think as we go into it, it'll be fun to watch the kind of play styles evolve. Uh, Beef Mommy, you were talking about multiplayer players getting into Warzone and kind of their efficiency in the game because map knowledge is everything. Everything. So what do you what do you think from a kind of newer player with Verdansk, like your main goal is when you hop into Verdansk? Honestly, I've been a COD player for years now. And so hopping into those multiplayer maps, it wasn't really much of a struggle. But since it was my first time in Verdansk, that BR type of gameplay, I was so lost. But at the same time, I have been watching a bunch of streamers play it. Yep. So that's why I, I know where to drop. I know what places to avoid. I ain't going to top prison. I ain't going to prison at all, <laughs> Superstore. I'm avoiding all of those crowded areas. I'm going to the outskirts, man. <laughs> We're going to have so much time to talk about Verdansk, Rebirth Island, our multiplayer maps, so much going on. It, it, time, though, for our first look at some gameplay here on Main Broadcast. We're going to be tapping into Ken Strafe's stream, which, Bobby, you called him out. So let's take a look at some of the gameplay and see where he's at. Uh, that is definitely Verdansk, my friends. Uh, Bobby, it is so good to see some gameplay on screen. Yeah, I mean, Ken, once again, he's known for his gameplay, but definitely somebody I would consider a little bit of a movement god whenever it comes to any game that he plays, and naturally that's something he's going to be bringing into Verdansk. They are gradually trying to introduce some of those Modern Warfare 3 mechanics. High alert, going to give him some information right there. Not sure how many people left, but this is a tight circle, but uh, he's definitely more than capable of handling it. Looks like uh, probably solo as his team, teammate's been taken down as well. Man, it is so interesting to see what kind of perks 
that all of these players are going to be rocking as well like what you said already high alert you're going to be having that dead eye that's definitely going to be really one of the more popular perks that we actually see here alongside the warden that's going to be more aggressive but yeah it really is important as well if you're going to potentially become a pro player to know what kind of perks you'll be using along with your teammates i love how deep into the analysis we're already getting I and, and i'm just staring at the map like we're back <laughs> nostalgia hits look he's over the throwing knife play this is call of duty my friends right. already grabbing another knock here as we're into the final circle Say first that look that onto that the I, 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 oh, oh no oh my god I don't even know if he knows we're watching, but congratulations, my friend. First win on broadcast. We'll continue to hop around to some different streams as we kind of get our first look. And, and now we're moving over to Rebirth Island, which is obviously a fan favorite. Uh, you know, Beef Mommy, talk to me about Rebirth Island because this is something that's been around for a long time as well. And, and genuinely content creators have made up, so many videos on uh, i know i was literally just watching oh, yesterday a streamer over, just go I'm crazy ODK, over in bro. alcatraz like for oh me God, i love this map just because of how tight everything is i'm more of a aggressive bro. player so i definitely sport uh, that I'm warden go but you already down, know that most of these players in this map will be sporting smgs like the amr9 yeah, yeah look i mean bobby when you think about resurgence what's your mentality around uh battle rails because that's the thing about wars mobile it literally has something for everyone right everybody's got different play styles everybody's got somebody something that they prefer whether it's big map br we've got mobile royale and then of course we have resurgence which allows you to play a little bit more loosey-goosey if you go down just make sure your teammates stay alive and you'll be flying right back in yeah i was actually uh, there's like a, a warzone mobile scrim server and they've been playing scrims the game for the last nine months and they've pretty much exclusively been playing uh rebirth island just because like that's where you can get the most gunfights that's where you have the ability to to really hone in your gun skill and, and that's part of the reason why these content creators do love it so much even even when it comes to custom lobbies because just everybody landing on each other right. over and over and over again to see who does have the best gun skill in those scenarios so uh, little bees another person that i know has been putting in a lot of work especially in those rebirth island customs and uh, you've got some other big names on his team like Ramalo in space as well obviously uh, especially for pe people that have watched competitive cod mobile those are uh, three guys that anybody's going to recognize and uh, looks like they're off to a solid start here man i'd be scared to be in the same lobby as them dude. they're like shredding and like what you mentioned what we've been mentioning in the broadcast is like all these pro players just from mp moving to br you already know that it's just that good of a gameplay and that they really are grinding this in the last few months that it's been an alpha in beta and we've seen such key differences especially in terms of even the graphics yeah no i think it's a great shot I mean, I, I think it's been proven uh, on main stage as we tune in over to Ferg that map knowledge is a lot, but technical skill is near everything, right? You have to have both. And so these players have been working on their technical skill. But back to Verdance we go and first drop with Ferg himself. Talk about a grinder, by the way. This guy is putting in insane hours. I think he's already been live for like six, seven hours. He's going to be live for the next, like, I don't know, five days? Like, who knows? <laughs> Yeah, I know that at the start of, like, any new game, mm -hmm. he's live for, like, a minimum of 32 hours. <laughs> so fully expecting him to maybe even match the entire duration of our broadcast and yeah. then some, given the fact that he started, like, eight hours before we did. He's, uh, he's going to be grinding. And as you can see, he's playing 120-player quads, so... My assumption is he's probably trying to go for some records right yep. now. That's uh, something that he's been known for in the past. And obviously, we don't have ranked leaderboards yet in Warzone Mobile, but I think that the next step in that process is trying to farm as many kills as you possibly can. And especially now that it's full real person lobbies, it's that much more meaningful. Yeah, 120 player lobbies. Also, can I just pause our analysis here in excitement around? For I'm so excited, uh, excited about Superstore. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing a hot drop <laughs> yep, yep. on Superstore. Are you <laughs> Joking. Couple beatdowns early. This man is flying around Superstore looting. He's gonna do it. This, there's so much nostalgia. Yeah, grab an execution while you're at it, Ferg. I love this. You know what? I want to see something that's super fun from Ferg is to just have execution kills. Like for the entire lobby. I'm pretty sure someone's done it already, but I want Ferg to do it. Like we keep mentioning, he wants to be number one at every game that he's been playing. And let's see, because I think this time around he might have a difficult time because we see streamers like Bobby, Godsley, and Noah 
uh, just putting in the hours as well. Yeah, specifically Bobby, putting in a specifically ton of hours. Specifically Bobby, casting <laughs> and playing at the same time. What a guy. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, I, I love that we get a chance to see Superstore early. There's a ton of hot drops on Verdance, but everything might change now that everybody maybe knows the map already, or maybe you're experiencing it for the Great. first time. I know airport area with the hangars has always been a popular kind of streamer spot as well. So uh, a classic cluster mine inside, just in case Ferg uh, gets pushed. But I think he's going to be the one playing a bit more aggressive here, Bobby. Ooh, yeah, I got a little deja vu because I uh, one v 2 would Hawks Nest and Noah in this exact right same spot the other day. So <laughs> uh, definitely somewhere that it, it has positive memories for me, given that, that nothing like that has ever happened in my entire All gaming right, career. Really <laughs> <Yeah. to laughs> sure. Gunfight doesn't go Ferg's way, but so part of the beauty of Warzone is you got the Gulag, you yeah. got a chance at redemption, they and uh, come to help me, if you play it well, a free kill as well. Yeah, not just the Gulag, but the Showers, which is such a classic uh, kind of ode to the past, right? Well, look, uh, we're going to be tuning into gameplay all day today, but we have a very um, special person going to be joining us here in the booth. It is Chris Plummer, who I'm sure you've seen videos and updates uh, around the game from Chris. He's been putting out so much content for us. Chris, it is so good to have you, of course, head of mobile at Activision Blizzard. Uh, how does it feel? You're here, global launch. We finally made it. All right, today's really exciting. We've been watching players stream in. Uh, we've been entering those hot lobbies and just seeing what it's like to experience the real thing now, finally. And it does feel so different, you know, when all the, the players are, are real and they're really going after you. It's so exhilarating. So we're excited to be here with you guys and, you know, share this moment with, uh, with all the players. So, so thanks for uh, inviting us on. Yeah, look, Chris, I, I was watching Winsanity stream last night and he was like, this feels like scrim lobbies. Why is everyone so sweaty? <laughs> and I think it's because everybody's been so ready to be here and, and they're going to put in so many hours and I know we're all excited about it. But I mean, Chris, I think first question for you is just like, you've had a long history of kind of building up this game. What does it look like kind of now that we're here, uh, looking back on where you started? So, you know, when we started this game, the, the real thing we wanted to do was connect our audience across all platforms and you know mobile being the biggest platform in the world it was super important for mobile to be a part of that and we saw with games like you know when warzone came out on console and pc how our call of duty community was really able to kind of start talking about the same stuff they had the shared progression they had a, a shared kind of conversation and we wanted mobile to be a part of that but in order to do it we we needed to be on the call of duty tech because that's what enables the cross progression that's what enables like you know the shared battle pass and, and all that stuff and so that's where it started and then kind of as we went we started to unlock other things like hey wait a minute we can do a lot more players like real players because yeah. we're using demonware technology and we got the cod tech and so just one thing after another started to kind of fall into place so although we started with this ambition to kind of really get the whole call of duty community together and give them a way to kind of you know experience a shared um, you know, a shared aspiration and kind of a shared conversation, it turned into so much more than that with the 120 players, with, you know, being able to actually have this really advanced visuals as well as support six generations of devices um, and then be able to roll forward with that into the future. So that's kind of how it started. But like, honestly, it's starting today. <laughs> like, this is what it's really starting. It feels surreal that we're actually doing this because we've been talking about this in COD Next for the last two years, man. And it's just so nice that we finally get to see the game up and running. Have you played it? What's your favorite part of the game? I just wanted to have your own personal take on it because I know like, we can be technical and stuff, but I want to know what you what your personal thoughts are. What's your favorite thing here? I, so I'm, I guess I'm kind of old school on Battle Royale, so I really like getting into the full quads on BR. And I just, I love the strategy of it. I like the kind of phases of the game. I like um, how social it is uh, in order to, you know, to, to really coordinate and stuff with your, with your squaddies. But like, you don't have to, you can kind of split off and stuff and regroup later. Um, and and just with the real players now, it's like the level of intensity and, and anxiety around what could be around the next corner is like so much higher. So I really like that. But I mean, like, you know, it's fun to play all the different uh, modes. I, I love going into Rebirth Resurgence. It's such an awesome map. You know, it's so much fun to kind of, you know, uh, you know, explore and like have all the, the loot and stuff respawning. So it's like got so much more going on. And then, of course, MP and you're playing Shoot the Ship. It's like an ultimate way to grind camos. But if I'm playing like, you know, for funsies, that, I'm probably jumping into the full BR with the blood. <laughs>
Obviously, the game has come really far There's since COD right? Next of 2022, mm -hmm. but I think yes. most people that have been playing the game over that time would agree, like, the biggest jump that has been made is in the updates that have happened over the past month. What's your favorite thing that they've been able to implement in these past couple of updates that you think people will enjoy? I think what we've been almost surprised by the progress on recently was just being able to take the visuals a lot further. I mean, we, we always had a really high bar and felt like we were never getting all the way to it. Mm -hmm. um, and as time went on and you get more into the optimization and stuff, you start to find ways to make it happen. And so we have a bunch of technologies that all kind of came together toward the end. Um, we have much higher fidelity uh, graphics on kind of across the board. Um, we have peak graphics for a few devices, which is more of like a, it's almost like a, an R&D mm -hmm. example of what we can do yeah. in the future. And we'll just keep doing that as new devices come out. Um, but we had the streaming technology, which really made a lot of that possible. So like you can install the game. It's a relatively, you know, it's a reasonable install footprint. This mm -hmm. is a, this is a sophisticated game. So you know, you're gonna have some space on your device, but the, then the game, you know, is streaming the assets and it's actually managing that as you play. So you're not just gonna bloat infinitely, you know, as we add content, we're like managing that stuff smartly. So I think being able to up the, the caliber of the visuals and and then be able to do that in a way that kind of we can manage your device footprint and stuff i think you know i'm, I'm really excited by that um because it really starts to feel like you know it rivals other platforms at times you know right. if you're running on, on the latest device and then when i go back to um i remember when we announced it at next a couple years ago and we were playing verdansk then and at that time it was like man this is verdansk mm -hmm. it's like yeah it's like, wow, <laughs> this, this is bringing back memories and 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 that's kind of like what our min spec visuals and performance is today so we've been able to kind of like move the needle so much further across the board and and now because we weren't running on you know our min spec at that time uh, but now that that fidelity is what's actually running now i think it's important for players to understand that because we have this kind of sophisticated engine they are going to need to play a few matches mm -hmm. in a lot of cases in order to stream down all those high fidelity uh, visuals you know I, i've even heard cases where like maybe it can look you know lower fidelity at first until it's streaming in yep. and so like as you play um you're going to find match to match to match like all of a sudden the visuals are getting better and better and that's that's streaming technology at work um so you know give it a few matches and you you may be surprised at how much better it gets no, I, I love that answer too because I think a lot of people at home are trying to figure out what's the optimal and I'm sure there's a thousand content creators making videos on what the optimal settings are um, but but talk to me a little bit about some of the the developments you all have made uh, around kind of battery life and heating and cooling and things like that because I know that's been a big emphasis the last couple months so I think you know things like ba battery and thermals are, are like there are never any journey <laughs> when you're developing mm -hmm. for, for mobile platforms and you know we've made a lot of progress there we've also exposed things in the option settings so you can prioritize your battery life if you want to um, there's also certain features you know we were bundling together in the settings before that now we've kind of like separated them out so people can be a little bit more a la carte and how they customize their performance and visuals of the game but certain things will always like it's kind of like punching the gas in your car like the more the faster you go yeah you know, it's gonna burn right sure, sure. And, and the same is true on, on any you know mobile game that's using you know high fidelity visuals so if you're running at a faster frame rate that's gonna heat up your device more than if you're running at a lower frame rate and we let you choose those things because sometimes maybe you're like you know on the go and you just want to make sure you're reserving your battery or you're keeping things cool and you're you're okay playing at 60 instead of uncapped or 30 instead of 60 and those are all options for you to kind of like manage it and of course a lot of the folks who are, who are streaming today, they have all kinds of interesting contraptions mm -hmm. to kind of keep the device like super cool. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And apparently, like if you do that, like you can trick the device into doing all kinds yep. of performance stuff. But um, but yeah, I mean, w we've tried to expose that stuff uh, so players can choose, and we'll keep doing that sort of thing over mm -hmm. time. That's funny that you mentioned that because that's exactly what I was doing last no, night. No, I was trying to trick my phone to get like the max uncapped, unchaotic type of gameplay no, that I could actually have. No, so no, one thing that not, not only can you customize your cell phone and your loadout but i want to talk about like battle pass or anything that is actually like mobile exclusive because we keep saying that yes it is going to be cross progression but are there any things that mobile has to offer that either pc or console won't have there are a few things yes and i think like first i'll say there's um the 
content that's available that is connected to, to the rest of the franchise, it's really important to check that stuff out because when you see what's in the Battle Pass, for example, on Warzone Mobile, I mean, the caliber of that content, yep. I put against any game out there to even come close to put that stuff in their Battle Pass. I mean, like, it is ridiculous content. It's made by the same developers who are making AAA console PC, and it's now on your phone. So we're really, really proud of that. But on top of that, like, we know the mobile players have additional things that they like, different tastes, um, di different types of content that are appealing. So we're augmenting that with additional content. There's some, um, we call them like uh, WZM or Warzone Mobile OG uh, bundles and stuff. They're, they're unique to, um, to, to Warzone Mobile. We have events in, uh, in Warzone Mobile that have exclusive content. In fact, when Operation Day Zero kicks off tomorrow, uh, there's some exclusive rewards right. in Operation Day Zero that are exclusive to mobile. We also have some rewards that everyone in the community across all COD platforms can unlock, but we have some mobile-specific ones, too. So we, we realize that, like, there's different tastes and stuff. And then we have um, additional content that's even more elaborate, that's more like, you know, collect all 10 items and keeps, and those will be dropping less frequently, but we have a few of those as well. So we're trying to just provide a really well-rounded well offering of content that includes connected content you can find on the AAA console and PC titles and also mobile specific content to just round out the overall offering. I know because Warzone Mobile is built on the Call of Duty engine that's presented some challenges especially in regards to optimization that probably a lot of mobile games have never faced. What does that optimization process look like moving forward as you guys continue to try to work with more chipset providers, phone makers, whatever that would look like? Yeah, so, you know, optimization is, again, it's an ongoing thing. So we work directly with the chips uh, makers on both Android and iOS and make sure that we're, one, understand, like, how to maximize the, the performance we can get out of them and also where the gains that we can make to make them run more efficiently over time and even unlock new crazy features in the future when new technologies come along. So I think that's started very early on. Um, we needed to get on our min spec first in order to really start um, you know, improving the performance and for people who've been watching the game's development since, let's say, last summer when we started to show up on our on our min spec devices, performance has improved a lot. And I think, you know, as time goes on, we'll, we'll find other ways to unlock performance. It's just the nature of the beast. Uh, but it's been an a, exciting journey, as it always is on mobile, because there's so many different devices to support. It's a really interesting and, and compelling uh, technical challenge that a lot of our developers enjoy. I love that answer, Chris. Now, while we've been talking, I don't know if you noticed, we've had first gameplay going and obviously a very talented player. We want to show you just what happened just a moment ago uh, on Verdansk while we were talking. Is he taking out a whole squad? Uh, he's taking out a whole squad, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this is, look, look, this is exactly what we expect from Ferg. Uh, uh, talk to me just about your first kind of reactions around watching some, some high-level gameplay here from Ferg. I love how he aims for the head, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's this automatic. Is, this is how it's done. Aim high. Hey, aim small, miss small, Chris. That's, that's the strategy, I think, for a lot of our top-level players. I mean, I, I love that he's playing from the gas, too. This is such a classic war zone moment. Mm -hmm. And just have, you've got to make sure that you always have a the gas bus. mask on. I've seen multiple streamers just absolutely sport this, and he's playing it to perfection. Yeah, he's so calm because he knows. He's watching his I'm health him. go down, but he's I'm like, I got this. Him. <laughs> Himothy. I love because he gives the I'm him call, I'm and then he also says I'm dead, and then he still survives <laughs> the entire situation somehow. And, and he's still staying right on the perimeter. He's yeah. like, okay, I got this. I still got a little bit of breath in me. All right, catch my breath. Oh, Look out. That. Nice. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy the, the levels these guys are able to reach. Obviously, with mobile shooters being around as long as they have, so many of these guys have refined their, their movement, their aim, and finding ways to adapt it. Because there are, I think, also some unique settings for Warzone Mobile. And the fact that you do have the, the cross availability for uh, controller players to play alongside mobile players, I think is really cool because it does give right. mobile players finally an opportunity to showcase that they are able to compete yeah. against those other inputs as well actually i wanted to ask you chris like how is it like to balance out the mobile players and also the controller players because obviously it's a little bit different and we all obviously also hear a lot about aim assist here 
Yeah, so, you know, aim assist is a, it's a part of the, I think of the genre, but, you know, Call of Duty definitely has its own secret sauce when it comes to, you know, handling aim assist, and we have that system uh, in, in Warzone Mobile. Um, what uh, what we think is really interesting is when you watch players like, I mean, we're watching Ferg here, um, he's clearly 100% touch, and we'll probably challenge anybody on a controller and say, oh, I'll yeah, smoke yeah, that's you. And, and that's the reality, right? There's people who will absolutely dominate with touch, and there are people who dominate you know with, with controllers and stuff and it's like they're all have their different strengths and weaknesses and right now what we're trying to do is like let's watch and see because we can see in the data like exactly what's going on in terms of like is a weapon to op is a control configuration op is there something that's throwing off the balance i think there's a lot of psychological warfare here as well it's like is it really mm -hmm. is it really problematic or not but if it is you know we can separate the lobbies right now we're letting people play together because we want to see and we want to you know measure and, and right. watch and see how right. it goes but um like like any live game you know we're going to make adjustments yeah and we've kind of been swapping now into perspective so we've got mago on screen and look i think when you talk about controllers versus touchscreens there's one common denominator it's still warzone right yeah. and and that's what's so special i mean you've got tim the tab man probably dying to fall damage somewhere oh, off stream oh <laughs> just because we're playing warzone mobile nothing <laughs> changes right and look chris i i just love the fact that this is cross progression and you can level your weapons and things like that talk to me a little bit about weapon balancing like is it uh, the exact same is there a kind of a different formula anything that you can share around that so a lot of energy goes into balancing the weapons across yeah, yeah. Call of Duty franchise and make sure like the, the meta is, is intact and right. things are, are balanced in a good way. No, no, so we no, start with the oh, same okay. tuning for the weapons, um, not for everything in the game, but for the weapons <laughs> specifically, we do try to carry the, the uh, tuning over and then we can well, make can modifications to it if we see that there's something about the way well, mobile players the are playing or the way the nothing. character of the weapon feels on mobile is, you know, a little bit off or something, we can fine tune yeah, it from exactly. there, but we start with the uh, the tuning that's used across the franchise. I, I love that answer too, because I know there's a lot of content creators also watching this broadcast. So now that they've heard that, they can go make their videos around that. Yeah, <laughs> you're, gonna you're a, giving them ideas. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> see a lot of content sure. going around. Look, there, there are loadout aficionados that started in Warzone, right? Yeah. And they've kind of created a career around that. And I even know, like yeah, I'll yeah, shout yeah. out J-God. I know he's a big PC creator oh, no, no, for no, loadouts and he's trying to make more videos around Warzone Mobile. Like that's what the accessibility you've created with a uh, controller uh, kind of support here. Non-mobile players, non-mobile endemic players can can hop in and feel at home which is really really cool bobby knows where to get the metal Ooh. weapons yeah <laughs> well that, that's the cool thing is like coming into the the war zone space like on the mobile side it's always been the creators that have had to like figure out the numbers how does each weapon compare to the other what's the weapon that is going to be meta but you've got all these websites that have databases on databases of all the different numbers for these guns yeah. even if they're not like available in the game they've just been been studying testing doing all these things to see what's the best and it's made my life really easy because i don't have to do any of that testing myself i, I look at the website i was like wow this has literally every single possible stat that you could want for a weapon and they even give like ratings for the different categories and everything else i was like this makes my life a lot easier so i'm certainly happy for it and i love that you mentioned that because as someone who is a newer player when it comes to br the learning curve could be absolutely insane it's hard for me to actually learn br but with websites like that and content creators actually putting in the work to give me hey do this loadout that's exactly what i did this morning i was watching parker the slayer and he was like you know what if you're a newer player maybe you'd want to go for an, an lmg because you can literally just finish all of your mags in that one player that you're missing it's a great it's a great shout and, and i think chris uh, one of the cool parts we were talking about right before you hopped on is that there's something for every type of player uh, you've got multiplayer maps you've got of course rebirth we're seeing that right now from ducky great content creator and then of course you've got your verdance and even mobile royale so talk to me about a little bit about that process and what your team's mentality was around including all of that yeah so that's a good question because we we really want to have like to strike this balance between here's what I expect from a Warzone experience, and then here's what I need in a mobile in a mobile experience. Right, right. right. And, and they're, you know, they're not always 100% exactly the same thing. So we'll have things like uh, the, the classic 20-minute uh, VR with quads, uh, which feels very, like, nostalgic and, and authentic uh, to, to VR. But on mobile, you don't always have 20 minutes to play, and you might need a shorter session. So we tested a lot of different shorter session uh, formats for VR, and it's more than just making it shorter. I mean, you have to do a lot of things to the tuning um, across the entire game in order to make that feel right. Um, and we were like, you know, five minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. The 10-minute version, which we call Mobile Royale, 
is actually our most popular mode right yeah. now. It's my favorite mode by a mile. It's <laughs> super addicting. <laughs> um, and so you get all the kind of, you get all the phases of, of a BR experience, um, but it's, it's in a more compressed yeah, timetable. So um, so that one is an example of like trying to, to, to marry the old with the new and like what what's, what, what's kind of like classic and, and, and expected and then what do you actually need? <laughs> right. It's right. like, what, you, what do you really, really want versus what do you think you want? So we have a little bit of both there. Um, and and then I think on the other modes like Rebirth Resurgence, this is just a super popular mode that we think is like a great transition between Battle Royale and MP. Um, and an MP is obviously the, the most frenetic. And, it, you know, if I were to put, like, difficulty ratings on the modes, I would probably put the highest difficulty on MP. Yeah. Because, because it's just the, some of the players are so good and it's so fast. And you really, you know, you, you'll get to know Call of Duty pretty quickly that way. But for folks who are coming in new, the thing to realize is, like, all of our most passionate players are in right now. And they're all playing, like, nonstop. And so if, if you're going to get killed a lot ever in this game is right now <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it will it will kind of even out you know other players will get good um the 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 pro players and stuff won't all be in every day at the same time and stuff like that but right now it's it's intense you know it's it mobile gaming did just get real <laughs> and, uh, I, I found out a few times it went live um and it's 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 really fun but yeah it's different you know if you're if you're used to playing with bots especially it's like it's very different when you're playing against humans and that's definitely like the best part about mars on mobile is the fact that you're playing with real people and you basically described my whole morning just me dying to all these sweaty players that have been it looks like they've been playing for like three years now but something that i really wanted to talk about i'm so curious it's like with BR and especially with a mobile device, there's a lot of buttons for us to go oh and press. God, like, I'm how dead. is the process I'm of dead. you choosing? Watch. Like, okay, this is an individual button over here, and we're going to be grouping all of these things together. Because I was, I was actually putting my HUD together last yeah. night, and it was so difficult for me. Like, oh, that's it? a lot of buttons. But after I laid everything out really and basically put all of the like buttons together, like, how was the process of including that? Yeah, so that is um, an essential part, I think, of, of getting good at the game, by the way, is like configuring your, your HUD and stuff to be right. just the way you want it. We always say, like, make it fit like a glove because it really is, you know, for most people where their fingers are going to touch and stuff. Um, when you first get to the HUD configuration um, UI, realize that it's throwing a lot of stuff on screen that you will never see all at the same time, but we're doing it so that you know that button could appear. So, like, if you want to throw a grenade back, you know, icon, He's you don't want it to overlap to maybe something else, even though throw a grenade back really isn't gonna happen today. very often, mm -hmm. hopefully. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it might happen I feel like it happens that. often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's a lot there's a lot of things like that. And so you're you're so first I just want to disclose like you should be aware when you look at the HUD configuration, this is more of like, hey, this stuff could all come on in some sequence, but never all at the same time. Um, you can do uh, filters for things like driving and air dropping and um, and, and air vehicle controls Probably and stuff like that to in, in MP so you can filter out some of the noise but there's a lot of a lot of potential options that you can actually play with and you should try them and, and keep iterating on it until it feels right for you um, and there's so many different a lot of it comes down to, to preference right like even ADS like some people like to toggle ADS yeah. on and off yeah. some people like to hold it you know and it's like honestly you should try both ways and, and, and see what feels best for you um, you know, most people will end up going manual fire because you get a lot more uh, precision that way. But, you know, if you know people are just onboarding, auto fire is a fine way to get to know how to play the game. And so you kind of feel more uh, dexterous. Um, the, but w what I like to do is I, like, I kind of like put everything in the orbit range of my thumb. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. And I'm like lazy mode. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and, and so I'm like controlling down here and then I'm like pushing up here for everything else. And, and there's things I heard you talking about, um, the finishing moves and executions, yeah. so like, you know, I personally get a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> so I have that button do. like ridiculously uh -huh. big so I can make sure I definitely get the execution in when yeah. I can. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it, I don't have to do that. It's probably not a very important thing. I don't recommend everyone do that, but like for me personally, <laughs> I want to do that. Other yeah. people like to do the weapon inspect and show off their cool weapon. Yeah. Right, right. right. Um, you don't have to do that one either. Um, but so there's a lot of things in there. And another one is on automations. I want to talk about that for a second because I know a lot of the the better players in particular like turn all that stuff off and they get rid of the HUD on it. But for uh, but I'll also hear them say like, oh man, these these towers in, um, in Verdance downtown, man, all mm -hmm. these, you know, eight stories or whatever. Um, well, we have an automation for that. The reason that's there, it doesn't it doesn't force you to automatically take the stairs, but like when you're on a stairwell, you'll see this like stairs button and you can tap and you're 
you'll just Going autopilot up. up there. If you get wow. shot at, it'll stop. Um, it's actually just really convenient. Like, yeah, right. I'll, I'll use it to yeah. like, autopilot up, and I'll be like, okay, let's do some <laughs> armor plates. I'm going to like reload, you know, do all this stuff, and you can kind of like chill instead of like having to pilot your way all the way mm -hmm. up. Unless, of course, you know you're in a hot fight. Right. And right. maybe you don't want to do that, and it'll interrupt anyway. So, so it's worth trying the different automations just to see what they do. Uh, but some of them have buttons on screen when you first try to configure your HUD. So, you know, it, it makes it look like it's there more yeah. often than it is. Yeah. Well, Chris, Chris, you are a wealth of knowledge, and your passion is so evident. Uh, we really appreciate you coming here onto the broadcast and obviously celebrating global launch. Before I send you away, you've got to share some insight into your game uh, gameplay and your gameplay loop. Uh, where do you drop? Where can people find you and try to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, it changes, right? I mean, everyone likes Superstore. It's kind of a, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I like Superstore. Uh -huh. But you just know you're gonna get stuff yep. right away. So I mean, like you, you want to drop. Uh, I like to drop somewhere where I'm not gonna have to wait very long to find a good weapon. So, you know, Superstore is my drop, but it is very, very sweaty. So um, I'm trying, I'm looking for backups. You know? Okay, all right. I'm looking for backups. So let me know your tips. You guys should, like, you know, watch watch where these uh, streamers are dropping today and see what, see where the lucky spots are. Um, but awesome. I'm just, just happy you guys are here, and, and, and we're really happy that all the uh, influencers are here streaming and having a fun time with the game. Uh, it's just the beginning. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Head of mobile at Activision Blizzard. Chris, you have been amazing here in the booth, but also thank you for all the updates as well on YouTube, all of the videos we've been watching a long way, and, and we're all super excited as per the usual. So, hey, folks at home, we're going to take a very short break. Don't go anywhere, though. We're going to actually have a chance to talk to Ferg himself. He's going to be joining us remotely, so uh, don't go anywhere and wait for that. Chris, thank you so much. If I if I hear the stream, then it will come through the uh, my stream. But yeah, right. If you want me to hear the stream, I can I can make myself hear it. But it means my stream will also hear it. So I just muted it for now. Because they're trying to my uh, my stream's trying to see my Hemi Butler plays, you know. Holy. I don't, whoever was on that team in that 1v4 is never going to recover from that. I hear a shot of a sniper. Feet are like burning. <laughs> Bro, I feel like way like it's playable. This map is way different than the others. Like, like a BR, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I like it, but like, I don't know, like in in the other map, like it's all so tiny that everybody can kill, you know. And you cannot have your guns, and like if you have it, like, or you die, there's somebody landing on. Oh, what the. Yeah, he's, he's not looking at me. What the? 
Crack him. We appreciate that. <laughs> I'm about to change my name then. It's alright. It's cracked, it's cracked. You almost kill you or oh no no so I'm I'm looking at you. Yeah. How many UAVs? You have my number, buddy? Uh, stay with 10k because you never know. I was yeah, I waste all my money and then we have your money, so we're chilling. Bro, we have a lot of people actually in hospital, bro. It's a lot. That's crazy. Oh no 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 no, they're here. Wait wait wait, they're hot. They're... Yeah, they're they're here. What? You have UAV, right? Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Yeah, I don't have angle on them. Oh, I have one. I got one. Well, welcome back, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live, Goge, Beef Mommy, Bobby Plays. We are here, we've been talking with Chris, we've been talking about the game, we've been watching a ton of gameplay. That was your streamline, every break you'll be seeing a lot of gameplay. We're going to be live for the next 36 hours, and like I said before, we're going to be bringing in the one, the only, Ferg, here into the booth with us. He's going to be chatting with us about his experiences in Verdansk, and uh, I know he's been grinding like crazy, so excited to see what he has to say. Oh, there oh, he God, is. I have. Oh, there it is. Perfect. He is. Yeah, oh, I hey. have. <laughs> <laughs> Ferg, my man, look, I know you're a grinder. You've been playing a lot. You've been preparing for this moment. Just talk to me about how you're feeling. I'm feeling great. I've been waiting for this game for over two years now. There's clips of me resurfacing currently that I think they're from like June 2022, where I'm talking about how excited I am for Wars of Mobile to finally launch. And here we are. Hey Ferg, how you doing? The gameplay is looking very spicy. We saw highlights after highlights and the qu number one question always with you is, do you plan to be the number one player for Warzone Mobile? Yeah, of course. As soon as they <laughs> launch the leaderboards, I'll be there. Without a doubt, like there's nothing, there's, there's nothing that will stop me from getting number one in the leaderboards, no matter how much yapping goes on on Twitter. <laughs> All right, I uh, I noticed you're playing 120 player quads. Are we are we going for the kill record right now? Are we just trying to farm as many clips as we possibly can? What's the game plan? I, I I don't really have a game plan. I just wanted to go into quads because it was the hardest mode. Like I could play rebirth quads, but you get loads of respawns in that and it's kind of like not as hardcore as Verdansk quads. So I just kind of hope that my teammates die so then I can <laughs> say that I'm playing s solo squads. You know, that's what I'm kind of looking for. I'm looking for solo squad wins. Look, I think it's pretty obvious that you're going to just do whatever is the most difficult because you just want to be the best. Now, Ferg, I, uh, I took a deep dive on your history. First of all, congratulations on over 3 million subscribers last month. That's huge on your main channel. Uh, combined views between your multiple channels. I think you are a couple thousand views away from almost a billion views across the board. Content creation journey started back in June 2012 with a trick shot video from Modern Warfare <laughs> 2, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Look, my oh, man, yeah. are you dropping trick shot videos for Warzone Mobile? What's going on? You gonna bring it full circle? Sure. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. I'll do trick shots, uh, <laughs> especially if we're dancing and jump off some pretty high buildings, so why not? 
Yeah, look, uh, it, speaking of trick shots, I, we've kind of already seen a, an incredible play. Chris Plum Plummer, actually head of mobile at Activision Blizzard, had a chance to react to it as well. Let's roll that clip again for the broadcast, and Fern, maybe you get a chance oh, to watch hell this as yeah. well. Dude, you look great on this, and I love the gas play. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Bro, I don't know if you've seen before this clip, but I was fighting a different team, and they took away all my plates, dude. So this is a 1v4, no plates, I picked one up there, but then these guys all had loadies too. They all were, they picked up the loadie right in front of me. It was crazy, bro. I can't believe I actually did this and you guys seen it on stream. I think you guys seeing it on stream was what made me so hyped. Cause everyone in my chat was like, they're watching you, they're watching you. So as soon as I did it, I was like, no way. And then at the end, you don't, you won't see it in this clip, but at the end, I actually died in the zone, but I had self and I was like, no way it's gonna let me in. And I got a slither of health to get into the zone right after. Yeah, crazy. I was uh, I, I was talking about that because I was watching. Uh, Chris was talking, but I was literally just watching your clip all the way through. I, I think a lot of people forget that even though like you and I, we, we mainly play multiplayer. We started out in Battle Royales. What is it about Battle Royale that really draws you in? Because I, I know we've both been playing multiplayer for the past four and a half years, but I think we're both fully anticipating we just full send the Battle Royale side. Absolutely. My favorite part of BRs is the solo squatting. Like having the ability to 1v4 an entire team, uh, there's just there's just nothing that beats that in multiplayer. Like BR is the only game mode that will have it. And that's, I, I will always say this, I like BR more than I like multiplayer. Ooh, oh, I mean, shoot. I <laughs> And the, the good thing that you have both here, so if you don't want to do BR, at least you have multiplayer 6v6. But yeah. one question I wanted to ask, because Goj actually brought it up a while ago, right? You just hit 3.1 million subscribers. Like, you, I know everyone is like saying that, yeah, what's the next country for you to catch when it comes to subscriber count? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Please say China. I guess. <laughs> no chance. No chance. I, there's never, but um, probably I said it was 1.8 million because that was Northern Ireland, which is like the little country that I live in. But Southern Ireland, I think, is like six. So I'll go for them. And then if I combine it, it's like eight. I, I just want my entire island, like the little island that I live on. We're going for it. We're taking over the entire, the entire <laughs> of the island. Yeah, he's slowly going to creep up outside, outside of Ireland. He's going to go for the countries that are neighboring nearby. But honestly, when it comes to Warzone Mobile, I think you could actually get those numbers just because of like how much hype this has. I've been watching you stream. I've been watching everyone stream and the numbers are actually insane. Here goes. Yeah, a, a lot of viewers, a, a lot of opportunity for content creators. Ferg, you have a, a long, illustrious career at this point, my friend. But I think a lot of people at home are saying, okay, Ferg's like one of the best. I need some strats, okay? Look, we've been talking metas. We've been talking map spots, drop spots, hot drops. I saw you drop in Superstore. Are you going Superstore every game these days? What's what's kind of your game plan? Funnily enough, like mobile players aren't hot dropping Superstore. Like every time I have landed Superstore, there's maybe one team there. But if I go TV station, there's at least two. So I've been dropping there instead. It's because they're it's because they're scared of you. Yeah. I think they've been watching your gameplay and they're just scared to drop with the other streamers because that's the streamer hot drop. It, it's Superstore or it was the hangers outside yeah. of airport for a while on PC. So I've had the chance to cast thousands of hours of Verdansk and those were always the hot drop spots. But hey, it's a brand new way to play, uh, you know, Verdansk. And so those things can change depending on uh, where streamers go and who we want to avoid. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I uh, I noticed that as well because uh, Superstore was kind of like, especially back when I watched Verdance streamers, that that was where they always went, and I I keep going there, and there's like one team, but like you said, I think the the mobile players, I, obviously there's people that are still trying to get used to the controls and everything else, and, and that does require a little bit of adjusting, so you don't want, always want to go to the spiciest place possible. Obviously, we've seen the game evolve a lot from the first time that we saw it a year and a half ago. But I think there's still more things that people would like to see. If you had to pick like one thing outside of the leaderboards, what would you like to see in Warzone Mobile? Ranked mode. All yeah. day, every day. I want a ranked mode. <laughs> I was about to ask you, Ferg, like what are you looking forward to the most in the next few weeks while you're grinding Warzone Mobile? Because I know you want to grind, but what else do you want to do? Like do you have a plan or you're just going to be gamer, just doing gamer things? I think I'll just be focusing on making the best quality content possible until there's a ranked mode and then I will be pursuing getting number one on said rank mode if they decide to add it. Who knows? I have no idea, but please. <laughs>
<laughs> well, uh, look, my brain goes to one thing and one thing only. It goes to competition. I know you're a competitive guy. I, I know you love competing for those top leaderboard spots. But if tournaments start arising, Ferg, are you putting your name into the hat of saying, I'm going to be the top, I'm going to be the top earner, I'm going to win it all? Yeah, if there's like, if there's some sort of roadmap for tournaments, I'll, yeah, I'll compete in them. Because, <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can get number one in the Warzone mobile earnings. I think that would be kind of funny. Okay. All this time to like finally go back into it. Look, you heard it here first. He's going to be top of the earnings leaderboard. I'll be keeping track, my friend. I'm, I'm excited to see. Look, I, I, Ferg, I'm so thankful you got a chance to join us here on, on broadcast. We're going to be live for the next 36 hours. I'm sure you are as well. So <laughs> we want to wish you well and good luck with your stream, my friend. Keep grinding the game and excited to see what you have in store for us over the next couple of years, I'm sure, with this game. Great. Thank you very much for having me on, guys. Yep. See you later, Ferg. Well, Bobby, Beef Mommy, about what we expected. Yeah. Ferg is ready to be at the top. Uh, Bobby, I mean, what do you think? No, it's, it's what I expected. I think right now, like, he is looking for a challenge, which is understandable when you've been putting in as many hours as he yeah. has. Like, there's only so far you can go. If the solo squads isn't challenging enough, then there's got to be a next step. And I, I think I and a lot of people are hoping to see a rank mode. Obviously, we have no idea, but we also know they have a lot planned for the future of Warzone Mobile. This is not like a this is not a one two year thing like most mainline Call of Duty titles. This is something that is going to continue evolving in the years to come. So I fully expect that's something that we'll see at some point. And speaking of the evolution of Ferg as a player, he did say that he wants something that is very competitive. So that's why he's doing solo versus squads. And now he's waiting for that ranked game mode. And now we finally possibly get to see the return of the pro player Ferg. I never like I I didn't expect that he was actually yeah. gonna be down for that that was a good question yeah, look I'm, I'm ready for some competition already <laughs> and we're gonna be dropping into some more gameplay as well we got a chance to to look at a ton of different content creators we're gonna be starting here with kings and again today is a 36 or not today the next couple days 36 hour stream so you're gonna be watching a ton of gameplay here on the main channel uh wherever you're watching us whether it's youtube we're live on twitch as well TikTok, and everything in between so uh, thank you for joining us we want to hear in the chat as well where your favorite drop spot is mine's definitely superstore and these hangers it's been my favorite for years now uh, and excited to drop back into it here bobby yeah i think this is also like this entire event's a really cool opportunity for smaller content creators to get a chance to like show yeah, what they have on the main broadcast because there's not very many times that you're gonna see this and uh you see once again kings somebody that we saw in the cod mobile world championships last year bringing his skills over to verdansk obviously as a as a sniper main this is something he's gonna feel comfortable with but also it's a big learning curve like you got to figure out That's what true. the meta That's guns true. are you got to figure out what the metal loadouts are you got to tweak your sensitivities because there's some slight differences from one game to another so it's cool to see them gradually mastering the game and also seeing guys that you've only ever seen in multiplayer stretching their legs and playing some battle royale yeah and look you could talk about play styles forever when it comes to warzone because everybody can play the game differently and still have a blast doing it sniping is one of those things that was so just maybe we uh, it's so important for for dance because of those long sight lines can we, can we you know we, we talk we about yes. atc campers all the time sure you're going to see those but a lot of the sight lines and rotations can be held by snipers in game and uh it'll be fun to watch that happen in mobile as well but uh, beef mommy as we head over to rebirth island right uh that's the other fun part is that loadouts also differ from map to map we've seen that yeah, over absolutely. the history of warzone and on rebirth island you're looking for maybe some more of those shorter range weapons yeah close range i'm looking at those smgs the am9s okay. the ram nines as well you need something that is fast and also at the same time, like I know that it's going to be That's close win, encounters, WZ. but again, okay, congratulations on the dub. Go. There you go. The but I mean, like going back to the point, like you also need ARs because it's not just those close range engagements. You also have, like you can see, like those rooftops that have high sight lines. You'd still want to have that kind of engagement as well. It really is important what perks you actually have depending on the map. Yeah, no, great shout. Uh, we had a chance to hear from Rivalo earlier, so excited to see him again on main stage, see what they can do uh, dropping in for the very first time on main stage. So, I mean, Bobby, I think uh, another pretty important part, you talked about the story, you talked about skins. I mean, cross progression is everything, right? Like, this is so, so unique to Warzone Mobile, and not only can you grind weapons and things like that, but you also, your skins transfer between the different uh, iterations of the game. Yeah, especially as somebody who has not really played, like, a ton of Modern Warfare 3, 
a ton of uh, Warzone on PC and console. I was kind of mind blown by how many different camos there are that you can unlock, uh, which I think is a cool feature in and of itself. But also with the launch, there's so many different rewards that you can earn. You got the pre-registration rewards, which already earns you a ghost skin, which once again, you can take over the PC and console side of things to use. We got two more ghost skins that are going to be available with our day zero event that's launching tomorrow. So when you look at the amount of free content that's available over the next couple of days, it's kind of wild to think about just given that obviously something that nobody's going to be mad about and especially yeah, mobile yeah. players like yeah. if there's one thing that i know about mobile players it's they love skins free and there's uh there's a lot of freebies <laughs> that you guys can snag off the start of this game and we're just starting off this is literally day number one and we got day zero tomorrow and everyone already has the opportunity to get so much skins and especially if you've been playing since beta since alpha then you definitely already have like more skins than the regular person so props to you as for me, I know that I'm going to be grinding this. I will definitely spend everything in my wallet just to get these skins. Like, what Rebalo had? He, he, no, he just killed the guy with the uh, with the, with the, with the, uh, the registration the, Exactly. <laughs> like, wow, perfect timing, Rebalo. <laughs> Look, everything's right on cue. It's all scripted. For sure, <laughs> Rebalo, yeah. Rebalo's locked in. Look, I, I love you just watching this. Of course, a ton of nostalgia around Rebirth Island. So much content created, like we've said. But uh, what's fun about this, too, is that, like, even some of the, the metas in the way the game is played inside of Rebirth Island on mobile is transferring over. This shotgun play here is such a classic rage inducing yep. way to play for the public player. When you have a streamer like this who is really talented and using a shotgun, uh -huh. you can use some of those movement mechanics you've seen on PC yeah. in mobile to break cameras and yep. do all the things you need to do to grab the victory. You're like rocking the ward and you got quick, fix, quick fix on. And honestly, it's just so scary when someone comes right in your face with a shotgun. He's like, oh, this is so scary. It's basically like a horror film. But when it comes to it, I mean, it, the whole map essentially is designed to be something like that. So you really have to prepare yourself. If you're more of a player that likes Verdansk and the long sight lines, you can also play it here like on the rooftops. Yeah, but again, it, you really need to expect people are going to be really close by up in your face. Yeah, I think one of the cool things is going to be to see how the different regions adapt Play, to different yeah, metas right. and also like what the favorite modes are because obviously you're from southeast asia yeah and, and we know them primarily for the fact that they love shotguns <laughs> yep. uh, and so yep. naturally that's going to be something that's going to have them gravitate toward a map like rebirth island where you are constantly up in people's face uh and, and to be honest like Rabalo showed it perfectly right there but uh, aggressive gameplay is something that that region in particular is known for you know what and it's going to be very fun to see how the how the different play styles adjust based on the region that you're in. Yeah, you you hit it right on the head, man. Like, I posted a picture yesterday about something Warzone Mobile related, and they were like, what are the shotguns there? It's like, of course, my Filipino comrades, you want to know what kind of shotguns they're going to be. Don't worry, there's a lot. You can definitely choose it right there, but it, it's definitely going to be interesting how NA plays. Like, on the flip Dude. side of things, because you know that NA players are de definitely going to be patient. They love oh snipers, gosh. and you I, yourself are a sniper. So what kind of sniper loadout do you usually have, Bobby? So I I actually haven't really gotten the groove of snipers yet just because I was so busy unlocking like the the max level for all of those metal loadouts but I've sure. tried a little bit out uh, I know it's not an aggressive sniper but the cat AMR is one that especially in Verdansk is really good just because of how much damage it does and the the opportunity to one shot with that so it's one that's very satisfying I'm still in the process of leveling that up um, but I'm still trying to figure out the the sniper meta just because it is a lot tougher to use in Verdansk because because you gotta land one shot to the head. As yeah, I got a hard yeah. multiplayer. Yeah. Like, oh, you gotta just hit the upper body and you're good to go. So it requires a lot more precision as well. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and a lot of those metas also come with like sniper support weapons, like what works best for that. Well, we're, as we're kind of tuning into a lot of these streams, we've got some amazing content creators. We're gonna be hopping in with a quick listen in uh, here with little BFPS, my friends. Let's take a listen into what he's talking about. There's a guy in here that killed space. Okay, I got my load up. 
Oh no. I gotta kill him before he solve us. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. No, 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 no. Well, he got him. cooked. No, no, I got shot in my bag. I got shot in my bag. Hang on. You eliminated the most wanted target. Good job. Killed the most wanted. Oh no. I gotta kill him before he solve us. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Well, got cooked. Yeah, Smell yeah. that happening from a mile away. You eliminated the most wanted target. Good job. Killed the most wanted. Um. Mm, killed two, but. Oh, wait, is it? Where is he? You got a lobby? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I killed two, and another guy just beat me. I'm dead, though. There's a whole team to our right that was, that was beating me initially. There's still some team presence here. Be Chillax, bro. Relax. Dude, he's one shot. Bro, what are you doing? That's me. Yo, Chad, oh God, dude, this guy is so slow, dude. Woo! We both die, I swear. No. This is the wide down one from you. Only five left. Beautiful. Easy, bruh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Buy me back. So, um, shot in your ass. You got gas in back. This is the wide down one from you. Only five left. That's a win. Beautiful. Easy, bruh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We didn't reload. That's the same. One above me as well. Enemy UAV. I'll use this right now. Just for the ammo. At least it's stopping around. It is. Use that. Throw that right there. You know what I'm saying? Popping them stopping power rounds. Someone up here. You're dead, brother. Oh no, I'm trying to do that. Can we, can we, can we do it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't do it, okay? We can't do it, we can't jump up. We can't do it, ladies and gentlemen, we can't do it. Do you have enough for? We still don't have enough for a loadout, and I don't, I don't see a loadout uh, coming in anytime soon. Enemy dropping into the AO. What a beam, how about this guy? One of your allies is back in the game. Got an easy kill there. Reload both guns real quick. Yeah, chat. I'm gonna show the next code in 30 minutes. So be ready. So in about in about in about two more games. I need to get my loadout, man. Okay, I'll load a drop. I see it. Welcome to back to loadout. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. We've been watching all types of uh, gameplay, but also a lot of wins so far already here on main stage. Uh, we've just been dropping in all day today. We've been talking to some amazing people, and we have a chance to talk to a few more amazing content creators. Bobby, you got to move over here. We got to make some room for Hawk's Nest and Aerith. Some of our content creators joining hey, us. Hey, it's a party, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. How are we doing? Hey, 
Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, guys. There you, you go. got a little switch over right. here. They're getting cozy over there, man. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for pausing streams. I'm sure you've been grinding like crazy. Hawks, let's start with you, my friend. How's it feel? Warzone Mobile, global launch. Great. Been playing it before. Haven't started yet, but we're about to. Oh, there you go. It feels great, though. Loving it. Heck yeah. Aerith, same thing. Feeling great? I am stoked. Super excited. We've been waiting for this day for way too long. I love that. Well, we really appreciate you hopping up here into the booth and talking with us. Uh, look, my first question is very simple. I've been hitting everybody with it so far. Drop spots, Verdansk, where are we dropping all day today? Where are you going to be farming kills? For me, uh, so I played Warzone 1 a lot on Verdansk, obviously. Um, so back then, I went to hospital most of the time. Nice. But right now, I'm kind of feeling more hot drops, so I'm thinking Superstore. But if I'm getting killed off rip, Probably hot. <laughs> we'll see. It's an adjustment thing. Sure, Aerith? For sure, 100% Superstore. We actually have a bingo event coming up, and that is going to be one of the hottest spots to drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. And when it comes to the gameplay, I know you guys are talking about where you're dropping, but I want to I ask you about what content are you guys going to go and make? Because I know, Hawks, you like the stats, right? Yeah. You always go <laughs> for, like, yeah. recoil stuff, right? <laughs> recoil. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm going to start with you, Hawks. Coo, 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 coo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, mostly just helpful stuff off the start. I want to get more into gameplay as, you know, the game gets going. Because in the beginning, everyone's looking for helpful stuff. Of course. And then it, you can only help mm -hmm. so much. So it's kind of like fill in the gaps where it's like, you know, one helpful video a week. And then in between, like, just straight gameplay, high kills, hopefully, mm -hmm. depending on how good I get. But we'll see. Yeah. I mean, how about for you, Aerith? Um, people always search what your loadout is for the snipers. For sure. Apart from, like, the number one being Aerith face. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see how Aerith looks like, just look at mine. We're, we're, we're sisters. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So how about you? What kind of content are you making? Yeah, like you said, uh, sniping is definitely going to be very big for me, um, especially on Verdansk and also Rebirth. I absolutely loved Alcatraz, so Rebirth is going to be, like, my go-to game mode. And I definitely want to do a lot of content on both Rebirth and also on uh, multiplayer and especially some uh, 1v1s on shipment. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> some 1v1 uh, content would be great. <laughs> First off, I want to say thank you, Aerith, for making me look tall. Um, oh. Same. 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 <laughs> out of pocket. That's thank out of you. pocket. We're sitting down. <laughs> but second, obviously, you've been known mainly for multiplayer. I, obviously, exactly, yeah. most of us have, but that's yes. been kind of your bread and butter for the entire time that mm -hmm. you've played mobile shooters. Do you see yourself sticking mainly to that, or do you feel like you're going to expand your horizons a little bit with Warzone Mobile, especially with BR being the focus? Mm -hmm. I definitely plan to try out more Battle Royale, and I am very open to it. Multiplayer, 100% my bread and butter, like you said, but I believe Rebirth has a lot of potential. And I absolutely love, like, the fast pace. So I think that's, like, the perfect in-between. Okay. I, and, and then Hawks, obviously, we know you played Verdansk a lot. Yeah. I know you've played Controller in the past. Do you yeah. see that? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> that you can make in oh, the future. God. I'm already bad enough as is on touch screens here. <laughs> controller, no shot. No shot. I'll give it a try for sure. Mm -hmm. It does seem really well optimized. Like, I've seen people frying with it, but lack of experience with it, I'm just I'm sticking to touch. Well, uh, speaking of gameplay, I actually think you guys got to go get ready for a special ops. It's right around the mm -hmm. corner. Yeah, yeah. Really difficult challenges. Production is going to make it a lot harder than you think. Oh, so boy. just get ready to lock in touch screen controls, controller, whatever you need to do, yeah. my friends. Good luck. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you for having uh, us. hey, we'll be watching your gameplay here shortly. Thanks right? so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hop into some more gameplay while they'll get, they go get prepared. Uh, excited about special ops. This is going to be a lot of fun. Heck yeah. I think, we, I think everyone jumps like pretty early. All right. Well, look, I am so glad that Hawksness and Aerith were able to join us. Uh, this has been, uh, it's been so fun to just catch up with all of the different content creators, see what they're thinking. I, and I love your question, Beef Mommy, about content styles and what they're working towards. Because everybody's got a little bit of a different mentality around this global launch, right? And what their audience is looking for. You you watch somebody like Bobby plays, you're looking for subpar gameplay and just basically <laughs> oh, No, you don't come for gameplay. I watch other people's gameplay. Sure, sure. But then you watch somebody like, uh, you know, Hawksnets, or you're talking about Aerith, like they specifically are looking for one thing or one type of content style, yes, right? Absolutely. Uh, snipers, or, or what does it look like to come from multiplayer? And like, ju maybe just because you're good at multiplayer doesn't mean you're necessarily amazing at Warzone, or, or, and, and we'll see what they're able to do with that. And I, I think this is a great example. The only Shady started uh, his content creation journey on PC, moved over to mobile.
people and he's found a lot of success and he's actually pretty talented yeah. uh, for a guy that is, is able to play pr pretty much all inputs yeah i mean it just he's a really well-rounded player and i've seen him stream pc stream mobile i've seen him like literally just go haywire and just have fun with it that's what, probably like the number one thing that everyone kind of shares here in warzone mobile is everyone is excited everyone is having fun and similar to Ooh. kind of what we're going through a while ago it's like what kind of content are we going to be seeing in the next few weeks because everyone's unique into whatever content that they actually want to do but honestly for me i'm just looking for guidelines at this at this point yeah, like, yeah. i really want to know the game in and out but look look we're seeing a lot of wins that's what we're seeing a ton of content around wins ducky not showing that us that but uh, definitely the only <laughs> greeted that. yeah, that's, that's a caster <laughs> curse already this is crazy um, oh. <laughs> okay one thing i want to say though like a lot of these streamers are really talented but one thing's actually getting them fall damage the fall damage here is so hilarious look uh, I, I this is somebody that uh knows the game very well i have casted over mirai tv thousands of hours in competition this is an incredibly talented player and he's trying out Warzone Mobile, right? This is a PC content creator and competitor, uh, and it's trying, and it's super cool to see. Also dying to fall damage, though, or, or nearly dying. So, uh, you know, wherever Tim the Tatman is, whatever curse he is imbuing upon the rest of our Warzone Mobile players, we, we curse you back. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, once again, these guys are gonna maybe take a minute to get the settings locked in. Obviously switching from, from PC to mobile, like there's some, some intricacies that you do have to learn, so. It is uh, a little bit of a learning curve, but also I've been playing Warzone Mobile for the last year and a half, and I died to fall damage yesterday. So yeah. <laughs> I, I can't really blame it on the settings. Like sometimes it's it uh, it's in your DNA, but I, you, you can already tell. Like his aim is absolutely locked in so far. So even though the once again the sensitivity options might be slightly different from uh, PC and console to mobile, you, you can see it's not that difficult to adapt, and we've seen a lot of players switching to controller and still managing to dominate even with less time just because like these guys have been playing on controller for 10 plus years i mean speaking of the settings and all of that we actually see a lot of these players trying to figure out what kind of settings that they want or what all these buttons actually mean so as the weeks actually progress we're gonna see like what is the best thing to do because is it gonna be auto pattern shoot because we saw like a while ago, i was watching godsley and like what we keep mentioning fall damage he just tries to go in for the auto parachute but once he pressed it once it doesn't deploy again so that's one thing that you kind of have to consider right it's like, oh, I thought it was going to be like auto parachute, but no, if, once you press it, you're going to get that fall damage. So that's well, that's actually a setting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a setting that you can turn on and off. Well, I, I think that's actually a fantastic point because as we start talking about some of the challenges that are coming up yeah. in our special ops, one of them is get a kill while in air. So you have to, oh my to kind of play around with your parachute. This is such a kind of classic ode to the, the very beginning of Verdansk on PC. Um, uh, we called it uh, shooting burgers out of the sky. That was kind of the classic mantra you saw people like swag and people in kill races do that all the time you're dropping your parachute you're pulling out your pistol and you're grabbing eliminations in air which is which is awesome so again so much nostalgia here uh working our way through superstore mira has been here a thousand times he's done it on main stages before in competition he's able to do it in warzone mobile that's one thing that i am interested to hear from all of these players coming from console and pc having to play it outside of their home because that's one big point that's one huge kind of like deal breaker for every everyone is the fact that you can play Warzone mobile or just like Verdansk when you're in the toilet, when you're literally sitting down at dinner, when you sure, don't want to hear sure. your parents yeah, but you can literally just play it anywhere you want. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's the nature of mobile, right? And everybody has built it in a different way. And She's being in the toilet! I swear they're listening to us! Production. Well, production is god tier for that. I mean, that was unreal. Shout out to you all back at the, at the booth. They're observers. Unbelievable. You can not only play Warzone on a toilet, yes. you also We'll find toilets in exactly. Verdansk and certainly can so find, some, find some kills. That so is meta. wild. But I <laughs> uh, have a chance to look over kind of uh, our drop spots here downtown. Uh, a fun POV or POI rather on Verdansk, of course. Uh, this is just so, I don't know. I, I love I, I love what we're able to kind of witness through uh, several of our different streamers POVs. And actually, you know, it's funny. We're actually taking a look at some of the, the Warzone on PC. We're actually taking a look at uh, Low Town here. So talk about cross progression. Punkyo might be heading over to, uh, you know, some of our other Warzone PC maps, Urzikstan, getting some reps on Urzikstan. 
and then going back to Warzone Mobile, playing on Verdansk and leveling up weapons or getting That's skins my... and everything like that. So you've got all kinds of different cross progression, uh, bomb, different types of oh, gameplay yeah, loops. Right? Play some Verdansk, head over to Urzikstan, whatever you want to do. I love it. And hopefully he logged into Warzone Mobile this morning to grab his pre-registration skin. So yeah. you show it off Ooh. and flex that... Uh, that you're able to hang with the mobile players as well as yeah, the PC really and console. Cool. It looks like uh, Little B and his squad actually switching over to Verdansk. So they were playing Rebirth Island for the majority of the morning. Like I've said, far and away, my favorite mode is the Blitz mode on Verdansk. I think the timing of it is really, really good. The fact that you get your loadout given to you at, at the end of the first circle just increases that pace of the game. It allows you to get more gameplay with the weapons that you're trying to build out. And um, I, 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 like many mobile players, am not very patient. So if you're not patient, <laughs> but you still love the Battle Royale genre and what Verdansk has to offer, Blitz Mode is absolutely the perfect one. Yeah, Mobile Royale is so unique because it's such a mobile experience. Like when you when you talk to like Warzone PC players, like they're sitting at their desk or console players, they're sitting at their on their couch playing the game. But with mobile, like you could be playing this on a train going to your destination, right? And so it's like, I need a 10 minute game. Mobile Royale is perfect for that. And there's a couple different like, uh, differences in the gameplay loop as well there's a, some less vehicles there's more encounters the zone shrinks immediately uh, you're just gonna have more fights and of course that gameplay length is a little bit shorter and you actually get better loot too so you can go into those fights feeling prepared when you just want to scratch that Call of Duty itch, you can literally just hop in your phone. And it's so mobile for us to actually have Mobile Royale. And I would definitely love to see a lot more content around that, surrounding all the different game modes that you can actually have. And it really caters to different kind of play styles and even what your mood is throughout the day. Yeah, I, I love that breakdown. Well, we are only a couple minutes, I think five minutes away from Special Ops and watching Hawks Nest really struggle with some of our incredibly <laughs> oh, no. difficult challenges so i hope you folks at home are having a blast don't go anywhere during our break we're gonna have our streamline active so you can watch a ton of different streamers but we'll be right back in just a moment i'll be some bullets here or something i'm missing i never built no it's just like you gotta learn how to lead the shots in war zone oh, yeah, leading them and then the drop and then Oh, there goes Rubala. We're just snipers. <laughs> bro, Rubala trying to play like this, like hot mode, bro. Bro, Rubala is not playing with us. Wow. They might get up on it. Got no more gulag. That's it. Yeah, bro, Why did you just fight in a gulag? We're gonna buy you back. Oh, yeah, buy me back. Buy me back. You only get one gulag, it's one. Like it can't be... It's one of the house, one But I will go to work, but I got to the zone, the zone is Squad There's squad two guys above us, I'm pretty sure. On top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The team just died. Pretty sure he's above us. I knocked him, but I didn't finish him. Yeah? Oh, did I see how big the sniper was? I couldn't even put him in my pocket. I'm right above you, Space. If we die, we both die. I couldn't even, like, slide in. Space! Space. Oh, wait, I hit the one hour mark. There he is, there he is, there he is. There can't be the other ladder there, right here. I fell. Come back. Fraser, you just want to type the shield, bro. What the hell? Oh, bazooka, that's what I'm saying. All right, chat. Uh, they guessed wrong. This is the second code. You feel me? You guys go there. Uh, I see someone, uh, like, northwest behind this wall. You guys basically redeemed the code. He's in front of the one. This looks up right here. You know, if you guys oh, don't have the game, it. download it. Link in the description. You feel me? You feel me? And, uh... <laughs> you went in that building. Then you just redeployed a teammate. What am I hearing? What is that sound? Is that your skin little talking? Uh let me try to read let me try to recall in Rabalo here. Alright. I'm gonna just do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, little B. Got him. I gotta I gotta go back to the oh, aimbot. Oh, I was actually aimbotting in the chat. That was actually crazy. Like brr, brr. 
He on the roller. He on the stitch. The There's a guy near me on the buy station. All right, well you're alone. Call General Bubba. Thank you, baby. I'm going back. I'm not meant to that. Whatever. I got a lad next to you. Oh, let's see. Oh my God! I can't camp into the building. Two of them, dude. Team wiped. Oh uh, yeah, I was chasing the wanted target. Yeah, baby. Mm. We, got, uh, we got six more people. Then, then six squads? Okay, so crazy. Same white. They're all solos left? Yeah, no, Top of radio, top of uh, top of radio station. I got it, you got it, Gray. <laughs> Is Gray hogging all the codes? Oh. Huh? Gray. Enemy Gray's taking all the codes, but he took my code too. <laughs> How is he so quick? He just got it like that, man. Let me. What is the redeem code for Wars Mobile? You get like free stuff, like a. Okay. Well, how do I leave this stream. building? I'm lost. Where am I? Skin animation. Well, I'm stuck in the building. How do I leave? Oh, brutal. Yeah, how do I leave, chat? I'm pretty sure there's one up here. Yeah, there's one on top of the roof here. What I'm the gonna put mortar strike on us. Friendly mortar strike. Well, you yeah, mortar strike kill me or no? It might kill you guys if you're on the roof. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if kill each other with a mortar strike. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Can you, like, oh. rip the thing? Do I have a UAV? Romalo's got him right now. Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah. Welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. We have had so much fun in the booth and seen some incredible plays, even during the break, by the way, which I love to see. But we're about to get into our first challenge. We've got special ops coming up, which I can't be more excited about. And production keeps talking about how hard these challenges are. <laughs> so it'll be really fun to watch our content creators get a little sweaty on main broadcast. They're not just making content. They are going for 12 unique challenges and trying to beat out their competition. So really excited to see what they're able to do, Bobby. Yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting challenge just because we've kind of taken a look at what some of those are. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's not even necessarily that we don't think they're good enough. It's just the challenges are that difficult. So I, I think like if I had to put my money on somebody, it would have to be Aerith. Like, <laughs> no disrespect to Hawksness. I know he's, he's comfortable with Verdansk, but Aerith is the sweatiest of the sweaty, and uh, she's going to be bringing some top-tier gameplay to the table. Yanrik, another person. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's anybody that's put in as many hours on Warzone Mobile as Yanrik, especially as far as content creators go. He was one of those guys that early on was running custom lobbies, uh, and I know the majority of those have been on Rebirth Island, so he's going to feel very comfortable, and uh, he, another content creator you're going to want to keep your eyes out for. Yeah, I mean, all these BR guys are just so good. I've been watching Yanrik. And Kyle Parker just doing their own thing. These are the huge, just the big three BR guys that you need to look out for because they've been studying the game in and out ever since it actually launched in Alpha and Beta. And upon talking to them actually in London, I asked them, What's your game plan when it comes to this? It's like, Yeah, we want to be like the number one BR players in the world. So that's why, Ferg, you, got, you gotta step it up if you wanna be number one, right? Because you got guys like Yan just absolutely step on the gas. Yeah, no, I think it's a great shout. Well, before we get into special ops, I, I do wanna say we've got some amazing content creators all day today but we got to talk again one more time about what's happening for the rest of the day again 36 hour broadcast that we're doing here live twitch youtube tiktok and everything in between you're going to be watching gameplay you're going to be watching a ton of different events but we've got the special ops coming up later in the day we've got our vehicle rumble and our snipers only but here shortly after special ops 2 we'll have a chance to talk with some celebrities about what they think about warzone mobile so a lot still planned today so for those at home that have been watching all day today we thank you it is great to have have you here okay. i want to know if you're dropping into verdansk if you're dropping into rebirth island what your favorite drop spot is okay look are you dropping superstore are you running away from ferg are you dropping hospital and maybe racing for the heli look there's just so many places to drop you got to tell us where you're aiming uh to grab your first loadout where you're grabbing your first loot 
I feel like you missed out on one. Who are you gonna one v one in the gulag? And sure. <laughs> just tag it. I'm afraid, honestly, for you, who do you think you want to one v one? Bobby oh, Flay. Why, why are you asking? I want to see it. Like you already know what they're it. gonna say. <laughs> it's an obvious answer. I just like you know just adding salt to the wound. Bobby, man. Look, we gotta see it. I'm going touch screen controls one v one. We'll oh, do this later. That is bold. Let's make it happen. And then Bobby needs to be in controller. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're we're oh, switching it. We're switching it. Oh, that production would is listening. That be pretty competitive. Maybe yeah. because I'm that bad on controller. But I, yeah. it, I mean, no disrespect, but you know. We're sure. doing it. Yeah, it goes both ways. Production, <laughs> keep track on that. I'm a I'm a caster for a reason. Let's oh, just say yeah, that. Same. Fair. I mean, we're all here for a reason. <laughs> Look, I, I start. You know, it's funny to bring this full circle. I, I started my career really in Verdansk too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Started as a streamer. Started like hosting tournaments and things like that. And I was playing in those tournaments to start. And then I was getting dumpstered. So uh -huh. I was like, maybe I just like talk over them. <laughs> we were like, oh, you're pretty decent. And I was like, okay. So here we are now. <laughs> the other side of it, definitely not full playing. Full circle. Very full, full circle. Full circle Proud of you. Indeed. But we'll continue to get a hot thing between streams as we're getting our special ops set up. Uh, you got Miney on screen here. Uh, excited to see them continue to play Rebirth. And, and I think, you know, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but it's worth bringing back up again that, you know, players at home content creators everybody's gonna find their game mode that they love we've talked about the maps the different modes resurgence is just a very unique kind of call of duty-esque play style that bridges the gap like chris said uh you know bobby between Okay. multiplayer and the kind of traditional battle royale experience yeah it's a uh, it's definitely an ideal way to get a feel for battle royale without having that punishing element of like oh i die and i'm die obviously you have the gulag um when you are playing verdansk but especially for people that are starting out uh, or if you just want to grind weapons on a battle royale type game mode it's another great opportunity to do that as well so uh, it really does have something for everybody regardless of what your what your native mode is what right. your preferred style of play is like even if you like sitting on top of buildings and sniping yeah. people, there's lots of people landing oh, back. Nice. Yeah. And there's, a, there's an opportunity for you to adapt that passive play style as well. It's, it's a great breakdown, but it's time for special ops. Let's take a look about what we're going to be doing in special ops because this is a very unique challenge for a lot of our streamers. We've got an incredible schedule here of the day. It's time for special ops. We're in that event two section where these streamers are going to be competing against each other to complete some challenges. And like I said before, celebrity Celebrities right around the corner, multiplayer after that, and then those vehicle rumble and snipers only challenges of some of our other streamers. I know you mentioned Noah, we talked to him earlier. I think he's gonna be sniping later, but here's your special ops. This is what our players are going to be doing. We've got five content creators competing to complete 12 challenges in 90 minutes. And again, these challenges are difficult. Will they complete them all? We don't know, but if they do, they will likely win. This is a time-based challenge. As many as you can get down in 90 minutes, and here are your challenges. Bobby, talk to me about what you're seeing first. Beef Mama, you follow up after. What do you think is the hardest? I mean, I'd, obviously the hardest is probably going to be 150 total kills because especially <laughs> if you're dropping into Verdansk, that's that's going to take you a minute. I think if you're a streamer going into this, you got to kind of pinpoint what the most achievable ones are going to be. Obviously, kill with a vehicle, not that difficult. Two assassinations, just get a knock on somebody, execute them afterwards. After that, it definitely starts to get a little bit more complicated. You, you got things like 10 headshots with snipers. Um, that's something that you've got to be really accurate with. But I think there's definitely a decent number of these that are achievable. And then some things like the total kills will gradually stack up just the more that you play. So I think it's unlikely, but I think it could be somewhat feasible that somebody knocks out all of it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think 150 total kills might be achievable just because it's 90 minutes of just pure gameplay. And we know that they're probably going to be in the zone. One thing that I'm actually looking at is one kill while deploying in. In air. That's what I was talking I, I about. I mean, it's just that is so difficult. You got a pistol on. It was just like, oh my goodness. I wonder who the first one is going to be achieving that. And one thing that you just have to achieve here well, is the people. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, well, who's going to achieve that first? Take a look at the list. Beef on me. What are you thinking? Like, a, a, one kill out of the air? Who, who's the first one going for that challenge? I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh my goodness, probably space because he's okay. suspended in air <laughs> in space <laughs> sure, sure. just because of that. <laughs> Bobby, talk to me about these creators. Anybody you think is a, a front runner, no questions asked? I, I would say Little B. I think he's just put in the most reps on Warzone Mobile mm -hmm. over the past couple of months. 
I think Robalo is a close second because he's been kind of right there side by side as uh, both of them have been grinding it out. But both of those guys have been playing the top level of mobile esports for a hot minute. And uh, I've seen that talent transfer over to Warzone Mobile very well. Yeah. So those are probably the two I would have my eyes on. Well, look, one of the challenges is 10 headshots with a sniper. Uh, I mean, hey, we're watching Aerith. Maybe Hawksness can do something on broadcast. Give him one challenge. And if he can complete one, I'm happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you got three snipers in there. You got Space, Little B, and Aerith going toe to toe to try to capture that for the first time. And one thing that you also kind of have to know is if they actually capture that, if they get those points, they need to figure out who did it first because that's the sure, most important yeah. part because that's Some how we get on it. The yeah. line. <laughs> <laughs> For Look, sure. I, I, it, will they complete all the challenges? I think it's unlikely. I think it's definitely possible. We'll see. They're about to hop on the grind right now for the next 90 minutes. Now, we will be playing Mobile Royale for this. So this is a 10-minute gameplay loop. So if you think about that 90 minutes, if you load in nearly immediately, which you probably will. And speaking of loading in, you can tell we've got an incredible set. We're inside the C-130 itself. We're about to be dropping into Verdansk for some Mobile Royale. Talk about some production value, folks. All right, we're jumping in. There. We're jumping in. We're, we're, we're the parachutes. Right there, yeah, we're jumping in. Okay. <laughs> I feel so immersed right now. It's such an immersive experience. The set looks fantastic. I already said that a while ago, but my goodness, this looks so great. Yeah, I love my parachute in the hotel room. Oh, uh, uh, is it have to pick that up? That's uh, honestly embarrassing, like, Bobby. Incredibly unprofessional to not bring your parachute to the broadcast. <laughs> I, I guess you're gonna be the one that tries to kill someone off of like midair. Oh, I'm shooting turkeys. I'm shooting, shooting turkeys. turkeys. <laughs> I'm shooting turkeys out of the air. I don't know if there will be turkeys again. I talked to Wind before the broadcast and he was like every lobby feels like scrim lobbies <laughs> yeah. so it's gonna be tough there i don't think there's any turkeys right now but uh maybe uh maybe you at home are one of those turkeys who knows uh <laughs> creators hopping in right now i had a chance to see hotness there just shortly uh gonna be dropping into verdansk and uh look when we talk about some of these challenges of course 150 kills they kind of like you said bobby will rack up as you're playing I i'm looking at vehicles i think this is going to be a, a pretty strategically difficult challenge and something you may want to press prioritize pretty early too you've got to get kills with the vehicles and there's not as many vehicles on mobile real because this is a, a much more aggressive kind of play style the circles already shrunk so find a vehicle early the number one vehicle i'm going for i am heli racing this is such a classic verdance thing to race to a helicopter you can chop people up like sushi and get that challenge quickly yeah it, it'll be interesting because if these guys end up in the same lobby going against each other you also have That's that true. blow up a helicopter challenge That's so i am curious if maybe we see some people throwing the rpg into their loadouts to try to go for that one because at least as far as the games that i've played the mobile players have not really moved toward the helicopter meta so far it's definitely been more vehicle oriented so anytime you get an opportunity to take one of those down they're definitely going to look to capitalize mm -hmm. that's one thing that they could actually learn here while playing it's like hey there's a heli right there that you could actually go yeah. and play and blow up potentially because while i was watching a lot of the pc console players you use a lot of helicopters there just because oh, yeah. how huge the map is and you really do gain an advantage when you're up in the air yeah, well, the players are about to drop in, so we might see some helicopter races. The classic kill race. Back in the day when we were running kill race tournaments on Verdance, the classic helicopter race was Hospital. Hospital hot drop for helis. Now, will we see that here in mobile? I don't know. It also depends on the circle. Something I was watching, I was watching Win, and the other thing he noticed was that if you wait till the last second to drop out of the plane, that first circle is already propped. You can already see where this next circle is going to go. That can also dictate okay what's going to be the hot drop where do i need to go for kills if i'm farming for 150 kills that's what i'm going for or maybe i just spot that first vehicle and drop down towards that and like you mentioned the the hospital hot drop having the helicopter there hawk said his go-to hot drop back right. in old verdance was hospital so we could very well see him trying to adapt that strategy uh, obviously once again the shoot down one helicopter could potentially be difficult i think the i think the 10 beat downs is going to be another one that going to be a challenge just because there's so much risk involved because obviously time management is going to be the most important thing in regards to how these guys are going about these challenges so going for 10 beatdowns like you go for one beatdown it causes you a death you get thrown out of lobby and have to queue all the way back in that could be two or three minutes thrown away and in the grand scheme of things that could be what ends up costing you time management is everything uh you know challenges kill races that's all it takes is how 
Cody, you made your time, but it is time to drop into Verdance. Our first challenge is here, special ops underway. We're gonna be hopping in with Roballo to start, and I think he's ready. Oh my goodness, the strats are what I'm looking at, because even though, yeah, you need to do time management, which one are you gonna be doing first? For me, I'm gonna stay What's away from a helicopter, because you have to take down one. You don't wanna be that first guy that tries to go up in the helicopter and be taken down, but take a look at that, hot drop. Look, I'm not saying I called it, but it's like I've seen it's this like you before. It. <laughs> We're going straight to hospital, seemingly fairly central in this first zone. Not necessarily. It doesn't actually look like the helicopter is there for the Mobile Royale version right now. But even still, it's a hot drop nonetheless. Grab some loot, get up to the top. High ground is everything when it comes to grabbing some early eliminations, especially if you're going for some of those elimination challenges. Ooh, and it looks like Little B's already been down right here. So this could put their squad in a dangerous spot. I don't know if maybe he was trying to go for one of those beat downs and it backfired on him or maybe just an outplay early on. But uh, you got to now make sure that you make the most of your gulag because getting taken out of the equation, 4000 or is it, it might even be $6,000 to get bought back. I, I can't quite remember on the mobile side of things, but oh, there it is. that is not the start that you want. Hey, look, a gulag okay, is a free win. There, oh, These days, probably not. But, uh, we, anytime we're talking about competition, we talk about those gulag percentages. And as a content creator who's really talented or a pro player, usually your percentages are really high. It's kind of like basketball, right? You're shooting from the free throw. Are you a 70% win in the gulag or are you a 90% win? These days, with the game just launching, I bet your opposition is going to be pretty talented. It might be on the lower end of that. Mm, yeah, and it really is important that you really try not to give as much kills as possible because whoever got that takedown that's already one kill on there and trying to go for that 150 kills for that one space in a bingo card and now for sure he's gonna win right do you put your money on him he's gonna win right you put money on it okay i mean we're talking i'm looking at 85 percent here we win this every day of the week pushes the he's not even looking at the right loss in the sauce not even close right back into the mix all right, well, that's where you want to be. Obviously, we've got our uh, 12 objectives and already three minutes in, you know, little be at least able to pick up one kill. So it's a starting point. It actually is going to split from his team right here and head toward downtown. So maybe trying to maximize the time and maybe a little bit surprising that they didn't do this off the start as you uh, you do want to try to make the most of the map that you have. And here we go. Opportunity for the execution. But he botches it right there. That's okay. still a beatdown. That's still a beatdown. Beat he could have still gotten the execution. <laughs> yeah, I know. The ground, to be fair, so maybe a, a missed opportunity, but should be more chances at that in the future. I thought he was going to do the, the whole mid-air thing, and he's going to try to get him, because the guy was just so oblivious that he was there. Yeah. It would have been so fast. Uh, Aronson multiplayer, multiplayer with a cruise missile. Does this count? Can, can we get some rules clarification? Uh, if you can grind kills in multiplayer, Aerith just broke the system and uh -huh. might win it all right now. So <laughs> I love this. That we're going to get a chance to see Scrapyard on main stage. Uh, this is a kind of a preview of the multiplayer mosh pit that's coming up here shortly as well. So I don't know if these count or not, or if she just really wanted to get warmed up. But if they count, this is a perfect way to blind. cheese the system and farm some early kills. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe we have uh, an early drop into Verdansk and she got Got smoked so felt the need to refine her skills a little bit on the yeah, multiplayer yeah. side of things and build some confidence heading back into Verdansk. <laughs> you can see uh, Space already got two kills on the board so once again just continuing to move toward that 150 kill objective. And I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't seen more utilization of the vehicles. We're seeing a lot yeah. of foot races, and especially on a map as big as Verdansk, that's not something that's going to be very time efficient. Well, and, and that's the thing about Mobile Royale. There's less vehicles on the map, so you really need to prioritize that. And I think as, I mean, we're only four minutes in, I think the players will start to realize, oh, wow, I could be farming way more kills if I grab a vehicle early, especially because my opposition please, in this bro, public please. lobby won't have a vehicle oh, likely, please, right? So you can fly at them surprise them hop out all of those good things and speaking of like flying something that you need to consider too is if you want to get that one part i'm still on it because i really want to see it but either you drop in or you go to the gulag so you have no choice for either like the timing and everything oh there you go we're gonna see a beat yes! on the yeah i love that there's like two other people too oh Wait. there you go what oh, everybody oh, come on, oh, come on. <laughs> look it's that was three. these players are in their settings yeah 
not where they need to go. There's, no, that's there's, me. There's that's the me. The equivalent of Christmas noobs. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Wynn was saying it was sweaty. I, I, Wynn, I don't know, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting explosions. Oh We're getting some assassinations. We might be seeing some that's challenges really completed here in the first five minutes I mean, or so. A nice start well, here. Little B's already got one. Oh, Aerith does have two. Wall. Now, I did get word from, from production here. that uh, multiplayer, she's going for kills, and apparently it counts. So, oh, I love that. Uh, wow. Aerith has smart. already figured out the system. I love it. I, oh, I, mean, I don't know why these guys aren't going for that. Like, you you can farm 150 kills in multiplayer in probably 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. And you still get a lot of time left. Obviously, it does limit some of what you can do. Uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult. It's going to be basically impossible to take down helis to get those vehicle kills. But as far as the rest of the objectives, you can 100% get that taken care of very, very quickly. You know what I am really excited to see? Uh, Warzone Mobile's version of, of a rock throw kill. It, whoever gets the first clip of that, wherever you are in the world, your rocks, sh I think they do like one HP damage. Uh -huh. And we have seen rock kills uh, forever in the Verdansk's okay, history. So can we I want to see the first well? Warzone Mobile rock kill. Somebody post it on the timeline. Can we do like a at me, Grandmaster well? Goj on Twitter. I need to see it. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does that count as a kill for the guy that throws the rock? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. There is a infamous Tim the Tatman clip as we see another Gulag victory there of him placing a, a bouncing Betty. Uh, and a <gasps> rock hits it <laughs> and blows him up. So, <laughs> that is uh, hilarious. Which is your rocks effect? Actually, right. hilarious. Okay. We're here for exciting gameplay, not camping. Yeah, we're here for exciting gameplay. Yeah. Give us exciting nice. gameplay, Hawks. He's fine. a he's a man of culture, you know. Give yeah. the people the what site. they want. Battle Royale on Verdansk. We're here nice for one. it. Nice. Another kill for him right there. A little bit finding one for together. himself. So it is a, a little bit interesting to see the squad playing together. I I didn't know if the if the two teams were required to do that, but. Even though you're trying to farm as many kills for yourself as possible, these guys opting yeah, to try to make a little bit of a team to play to see if maybe the they can help each other achieve some of these objectives. Well, I don't, I don't actually mind that. I, I think you're going to be the, the problem is time, right? If you're splitting kills in lobbies with your competition, maybe not as effective. However, if your time sync is in the lobby with a with a lobby full of streamers playing together, maybe you're going to kind of mitigate some of that time by not heading to the lobby as much. I don't know. Mm -hmm. One thing that you like, we also have to consider is Aerith already has two objectives cleared and she can actually do majority of the objectives there that are kill based, like 15 kills in one game. Pretty sure she's already locked that down just because the rounds just go by so fast. At to what point can she go into a, a, a Verdance map to try and clear out the BR objectives this time around or is it going to be the harder objectives first for every other streamer that you're seeing now they're actually hopping into Verdansk here yeah uh, space showing us a, a stereotypical cod motion of a little drop shot and then beams one off a heady on top of the building uh, I, I love seeing this type of gameplay from space already he feels so comfortable on the map yep trying out the uh, the Bruin I, I know there's been a little controversy in the mobile community like the if Bruin? the Bruin is actually that good because you can spray it down that's and, why yeah <laughs> and obviously you have much higher HP values in Battle Royale mm -hmm. than you have in mm -hmm. multiplayer so that's naturally true. having that larger magazine is going to work wonders for you when you're trying to take multiple gunfights yeah uh, look a uh, quick history lesson here the Bruin is one of the most infamous and even some players favorite metas of all time back on Verdansk so hey maybe it's making a resurgence here this time around obviously different weapon set uh, from early Verdansk to now with uh, Modern Warfare 3 release and kind of integration Modern Warfare 2 weapons and such but uh, the Bruin, uh, a staple. Mm -hmm. I, don't even care. No, I saw Godsley actually rocking the Bruin and he was like shredding because of the mag size of it and the fact that you can control it pretty easily when it comes to the recoil. So if you actually saw the leaderboard a while ago, you did get to see like some sort of reset happening. It's only like that one team. It's only Little B that was able to achieve that one point. As you can see, the objectives are going to be flashing right there for you. If you're curious what these streamers are actually trying to play for, there you go. You got 12 objectives in 90 minutes and we're already 10 minutes now. Down. Yeah, can somebody do some caster math for us? How, oh, how many uh, how many objectives do you need to complete per you know downtown. minute? Is there like some sort of ratio there I'm, we can do? I'm that? a caster. I almost <laughs> nine high minutes of divided by twelve. Like you got it. Around eight. Wait, that's not eight, right. Yeah, that's right. Ninety six minutes. Oh yeah, so one per eight minutes so one would be the math on that. So one per eight minutes, and you're going to be heading. just shy of completing all twelve. So I, that's good math, Bobby. I'm proud of you, my. Yeah, I, I brought up my calculator. By the way, yeah, right now I'm not sure if there's zero bots, but the bot count is like 
I mean, damn near zero. All right. Also yeah, the think that actually, that's why it's so hard. It is. In, in, in a great way, it just challenges ah, you to be a better a player. Hope. Oh. You know, I was playing, this I was so doing time challenge. drops against yeah, Hawks the other day, a little up. and he was hitting those headshots on me like it was nothing. So I don't know what the issue is right now. I don't know if my head is a magnet for sniper bullets. It's a magnet for frames, though. I'm pretty sure. But, uh... <laughs> Definitely would have been nice to get one of those objectives knocked out as obviously he's kind of struggling to get them on the board. Aerith oh. with two, last time we checked, Lobi with one. And I don't think anybody else had any knocked out. So the, the execution getting little be some progress house, through so these annoying? special ops like, challenges. Like but uh, still struggling to find kills, I would say, for both teams right now. Space does have eight on the board, but with only uh, 15 teams left, what gotta get to work. Can, yeah, you know, I, I, I totally agree. And again, it, it's, it's a conversation around, hey, if you're playing with other streamers on your team, there's gonna be less people in the lobby because they're all going for kills. So maybe they're even kind of delineating challenges that they're going for. Who knows, maybe they're just kind of talking smack in lobby and wanting to play together. But hey, an opportunity for a free sniper kill, grenade kill, what are we going for here? Does it need the, maybe the beat down? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, uh, this, this player definitely in their settings, trying to figure out what they want to do. Little B. Oh uh, my gosh! Little B, a little B. Why wouldn't we take the opportunity for a free beatdown right there? Beatdown into assassination. Oh, why are we not optimized? Uh, man, it's just poor gameplay planning. Like you gotta, you gotta think about all the options. Obviously, he was thinking about like getting the grenade kill yeah, right the there, but you, you don't just throw away one of those opportunities that have an objective for no reason. The headshot's not landing here either, but I think he did with the follow-up, so that could be some progress on a second objective for him. Yeah, I saw the uh, headshot Bullet icon hit. there, so nice job. Oh. Little B continuing to kind of rack up the projection. This is, this is actually <laughs> loud. Oh, oh my gosh. On main stage, choking, no, yeah, hits it again. Shot. He's Please. just farming headshots. I was yeah. about to say, uh -huh. that might be, does that count as two headshots? I uh, assume so. Like production you, you guys are the admins. I don't know what's going on. I'm having a great time, though. This is so entertaining, and I love it. I love how we're seeing both sides of the coin for a little bit. Like, we're hyping him up. He's such a good player, and then stuff happens like that off screen. No, on screen, buddy. We're seeing you. And now, well, speaking of, I wonder when it comes to the objectives, like, who's actually doing who? Are they going to be doing one objective, or are they doing an accumulative, like, thing? It's really nice to see when we hear their comms. Yeah, no, I think that's a great shot. Which challenges are they going for? Again, just outside a hospital here. Uh, oh, he's very fun uh, drop for a lot of people at home. What up, and, uh, what are you doing? Looks oh. like uh, somebody's trying to warm Bro, hocks. I swear right right is, that, is that Noah? Noah. I yeah. think that is Noah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> trying to warm hocks us up. I think he's <laughs> so seeing, sweaty. He's been seeing all the missed shots and is saying, hey, oh, I, I might need to loosen him up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. and oh, like, like nice actually sweaty. Oh, I, th <laughs> I thought you just meant the kill. <laughs> if you guys didn't hear, Noah said yeah, that like hocks is very sweaty. Like physically. Literally and figuratively. I'm on peak graphics right now, 60 FPS. All right. What? Rocking the, right, the peak graphics. Call. Obviously, that was one of the right more here. recentions oh, in yeah. those updates that happened over the past month as well. Uh, and even seeing some optimization for the peak graphics to run a little bit more smoothly in some of those more recent updates as well. Kind of crazy what it uh, what it plays on. I'm a little surprised Hawks is running it in something competitive like this because like right. the majority of players like. Yeah, anyway. Even even playing other mobile shooters, I'm never running max graphics. Right. I want 120 yeah. FPS. Yeah, yeah, I want that's every true. single frame that I can get. That's it looks like Aerith has actually hopped into the Battle Royale, but uh, not having a lot of success so far. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think she's a little stressed um, she about completing these challenges. While deploying in the air, just 10 headshots with snipers. That's she, she could it's get it here. Difficult. Yeah. I think the vehicle one's going to be the easiest. Um, one kill with the vehicle, perform Excuse two me. assassinations, double kill with an explosive, 15 kills with blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Also, if I give up on the, uh, on the thingy-ma-bobbers, I am so invested right now. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Let's just be very clear. I love that it's she just walked through all the challenges guys. for us. We don't Manuel, even have to do anything. Just let Aerith months, cook. You goat. She could get the one kill here, like midair, because she's going to be deploying once she wins this 1v1. If she wins it, Ooh. Oh, oh, that, I, I got so scared. Scary. No, yeah. that's actually a great shot. 
an, an opportunity. Oh, she's yeah. out of the air here. Mm -hmm. um, should have a pistol when she redeploys her parachute. I don't think there's necessarily going to be anyone else in this area right this second. Scout, scout but you spawn in with, with an RPG in the air. That's true, air. Well, I know. A vehicle well, kill as well. Probably or if somebody is flying a helicopter, you Dude, RPG the helicopter out of the air and you knock out well, in three the, objectives at one time. This is and a huge uh, kind of, uh, you know, callback to what Warzone's doing on the PC side, too. Like, when you win your Gulag, you I'm come back with, with your sniper, Gulag weapons, which right? Crazy. Which is uh, a little bit different than the way Verdansk originally worked. So a very cool opportunity to showcase that. Uh, maybe a yeah. bit easier to maybe Thank grab you. a couple eliminations out of the air, too. I do not have a good amount of plates. Also, that... Looks like Hawks like does have his loadout right now. That Ram 7 that we've talked about a good bit. A lot of uh, versatility for that one, and obviously, if you're trying to farm 150 kills, need to be as versatile I as possible. I think we just and, play this. And, and I think the the way that he has that Little loadout set up is about as good as it could be because you give yourself the right. versatility, no, but you've also got the sniper to try to knock out some of those headshots. Right, and, and it's something like a hybrid between the AMR and the HMR. Like, do, can we'll you agree to that? Because of like it's um, a little bit of a medium range build. Yeah. Ram 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the crazy thing is that the Ram 7 has I been the go. staple sniper support dating all the way back to Verdance too. Mm -hmm. So again, That's another cool. great callback so to cool. original Verdance release. The, the Ram 7 the has been a, a fan Push favorite up. for a very long time for a lot of our PC creators. Oh, actually, I wanted to pick your brain on that. Uh, what kind of weapon combination is your favorite while you were playing in Verdance? Me personally? Yeah. Big sniper, big uh, oh, Ram 7 guy. Ah. I, I was rocking the AX50 for a while back in the day on original Verdansk, and uh, sniper support like the Ram, Ram 7, 7 is like the perfect combo to be able to fight at pretty much point? every yep, range, because yep, yep. even at close range, the Ram 7 oh, does still cook. Yeah. Anytime I hear Ram 7, I just hear the voice hey. in my head of Tim the Tatman saying, Ram 7. Ram 7. Trust, trust, what do you mean? I need the confidence. You're right, you're right, you're right. You have a skin? You have a skin? Uh, yes, that's my main skin. <laughs> that's Let's why. Go back. That's Let's okay. Go back. Hey, Hoxness. All right. Victory, that, that is a challenge, by the, the way. Let's go, baby. Mm -hmm. He's excited about it. I don't think it. that was 15, though, so. Yeah. I, I don't even know if we knocked out a single, let uh, him single cook. bingo card one on that, but. Feeling good, feeling Got good. some we'll uh, some YT usernames in the in the kill feed as well, so maybe ruining some streams in the process. <laughs> you know what I love about that? Hox was like, I don't even know if I completed a challenge on that, but it was a win. <laughs> Hox, one of the you challenges did. is winning the game. What are we doing here? <laughs> How many stairs is this, bro? See, I mean, yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. Chris said. About that. Auto That's stairs why up. That setting, it just automatically turns for you. Well, so instead of in the having it constantly yeah. turn, you know, oh you hit God, the, the auto run so button, my knee, all the way up. You know, it's one thing that I actually, like, did not even utilize at all when I was doing my HUD. Like, I'm not going to use this. And then when he said that, wait, that is actually super smart. Well, I guess it also kind of depends too. Uh, we'll see if Little B can hit a couple of these. But like, uh, you know, something we haven't talked about is like the mobile community all plays with different ways to hold them. Exactly, like, that's true. Some people play, I think, four finger, claw. right? Claw, and then some people, like, I think Godsley plays like seven finger. Yeah, yeah, something. he's seven finger. Yep, yep. All right, well, let's take a quick look at our challenge oh, boards and see where our players are at right now. Little B in particular, how many challenges he Later has he completed. Let's take a look at that board and see where we're at right now. Because I think right now at, at the top players are one or two. And here we go. Aerith has already won a game of Warzone okay. and 15 kills in one game. So up to two on maybe some of our other players. I'm assuming that the 15 kills is in that multiplayer map, Still right? Technically yeah, Warzone exactly. Mobile, oh, I love saying. that. I think that's where the win was, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, and then Hawksness, obviously we saw him picking up a win. Little B, two assassinations already, uh, making the most of the, the opportunities off the knocks. And kind of surprising that we haven't seen more people go for that because that should be one of the easier, easier. objectives to knock out just because a down person is uh, not going to pose much of a threat to you. Well, I mean, at the same time, it's like, well, if that's an easy one, maybe save it till the end. You don't have to focus on it right this second. Let's go for some of the more difficult ones while we have the time. Uh, several different strategies here, and uh, we'll see which one pays off. But space, it looks like already on 14 eliminations, so has an opportunity to make 15 very easily here if things go his way. If you're checking with Revelo, uh, taking some of the high ground positions here just with a pistol in hand, and apparently that's all he needed. Oh, wow. Just barely grabbing the victory there. I don't there. think that's how bingo works, bro. That was uh, always a scary endeavor when you're landing back with a pistol. Yeah. Because obviously, coming back from the gulag, you get your gulag weapons, but if you get bought back by a oh, teammate, right. you don't have that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. Able to catch him off guard right there. And once again, adding to the tally, but you're trying to do the math if you're these guys of how Bro, many kills you need to be getting 
basically per 10 minutes, I, I think is the easiest way to do right. that. You, you need 150 kills, you got 90 minutes to do it. So what, just over a kill and a half per minute. Um, it doesn't seem like space is really making pace for that right now, given the fact that I think we're probably kills. around 20 minutes in here. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah. It is on 15, though, so that is a yeah. challenge completed. Like, we'll just screenshot that and report it to our admins, uh, get that into the system. So congrats there. And it uh, looks like there's only a couple players left in the lobby. So should just, just be able to grab on. this victory pretty quickly and maybe tack that Where's one in, on the, in as well. That's one thing to consider also is like if you've already got that dub, you can definitely just hop out of the game and go into a new lobby once you do get that one objective just so you can keep farming kills later on because obviously once the circle closes, there's like less and less players, so that's less kills for you to farm. Yeah, I think there's only one player left in this lobby. Little B's only got uh, 10 kills, so it looks like maybe uh, kill stealing there from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, making sure that little B can't it? complete it. This team already has one war zone win, I think. In, was it? Or no, was it Aaron? Oh, they're they're bro, playing the 20 minute one. one. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, it was a bold strategy. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously there's more people, but you, <laughs> you do like the right? overall math. 10, er, 80 <laughs> people <laughs> in a 10 minute lobby oh, on versus on 120 people in a 20 minute lobby. Yeah, uh, maybe not oh, quite no, as much room shot, for optimization. Well, let's take a quick listen in with this shot, victory oh, here. See where their brains are at while we take a very short break. Gremlin, bro. <laughs> Who does that? He just Houdini dude, but he just disappeared and it just like, oh, yeah. after he dropped, he's like, looks nah, good. Bro. Mm, bro, he just sits in the corner like, you know, having problems and it just can't be resolved. All right, where are we going? I still need a vehicle. This guy's just lonesome self chilling. Oh my god, I'm trolling. Boy, I literally just landed. I didn't even see him. Okay. I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting clapped. Is solo really the move? I think I should, I should, I should get like players. I'm not players, but I feel like I should like squad up just so if I die, like. I'm thinking. Pode, has it been 30 minutes? Ooh, let me check. Let me check, let me check. 30 minutes, code guys, code. No way you're playing like this. Oh my God. Oh, nah. <laughs> That's so ratty, bro. <clears throat> That's so ratty. This is dropping this guy, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, he's not dead? What? Ain't no way. It's like, no way he's not dead. plates oh it's tough i had zero plates we are back finally and, and had a chance to kind of listen in to some of the different streamers povs they're loading back in checked out mining for a second and i think what Aerith was talking about like we were saying is is uh you know between that break there was really important uh, sometimes you just need to queue in with randoms because they can always buy you back if things go awry you are on a clock so going to the lobby is always uh not a boon mm -hmm, exactly and not just that but you can also farm as much kills with double the people with you sure. there so that's one thing that you need to also kind of consider and she was almost so close to getting that kill mid-air. Yeah. Like, is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? And our face was just like, oh no, 51st. Yeah, definitely uh, painful to see. And, and she could be employing that Ferg strat as well. Like, I do hope that my teammates die and I can just solo squad the rest of it. And that's the way that I'm gonna be able to farm, farm the most kills is, is whenever you are truly going it alone uh, and wiping those squads. Look, kill races, challenge cards, everything in between. There's always a high risk, high reward strategy and maybe a lower risk. Like, let's play it slow and consistent. Oh Unfortunately, you only have 90 minutes. So I'm probably erring on high risk, high reward as well. You are running out of daylight we are already 24 right, minutes in, in and only an hour and six left uh beef mommy if you're dropping in right now 
Yep. And uh, we're dropping into Mobile Royale. We're dropping into our 20 minute version, normal Battle Royale. Is this your strategy? Go for a vehicle first and the rest will kind of follow. Yeah, I, I need to have a vehicle first. Like when I play BR, I am just more secure in the knowledge that, okay, I won't die to the zone. I need to get in really good positioning. That's the number one thing, positioning, positioning, positioning. And you're going to be seeing it a lot more. And it's interesting, Ooh, the leaderboard, wow. my goodness, that's like, they're even when it comes to the points. Yeah, even when it comes to the points, but there are a ton of people here in storage. Another fun drop that became a hot drop uh, for a while in Verdana. I mean, Bobby, this is an opportunity to farm, but you've got to grab a weapon. Got to win the pistol war first. Will we win it? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, feels Wait, bad. Did, their, oh, I, did their whole team get wiped right there? I'm not 100% positive. They, they, they did. did. Oh, and I can't imagine there's a whole lot of kills. Like you said, ridiculous hot drop right there. It looked like there was probably minimum three squads Dang. and uh, not able to come out on top. And shows maybe the importance of, yeah, you could take some early pistol shots, but if you spend a little bit more time, it might cost you a little bit of armor, but you find a primary weapon, you're going to be able to farm so many more kills because it's so limiting with how little damage that pistol does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, look, it's it's a strong starter weapon, but it, it is still a starter weapon. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, let's find some loot. If you're playing Mobile Royale, some of that loot will be a little bit more powerful, a little bit more advanced, and, you know, a few more attachments and things like that give you some advantages. But back to the showers we go and you're right it'll be looking for okay, another no, no, elimination no, no, no. might be 100 percent on main broadcast i think for a little bit there there are good comms there too space was calling out for him the location of the the guy that he was going against in the gulag so definitely uh important for getting the win right there Ramalo did not need any help on that one is <laughs> I don't think the other guy was able to fire a single bullet. So kill on the board for both of those guys. And now all three players back onto the battlefield. Yeah, that's one thing that I just love to hear when it comes to pro players is the comms. They're just so clean. They definitely know how to be systematic when it comes to approaching these things. And that's why they have two on the board already. So Space also has two. Aerith with two, Rivalo one, and Hawks Nest one. So there's still a lot of time for them to go into it. A minute, I mean, sorry, an hour rather in three minutes is a lot of time for them to gather as much objectives and I'm very curious as to who is actually the most likely to get that 150 kills by the end of this. Yeah, I mean, if you're averaging about 15 kills per game, 10 games in 90 minutes, it's possible, but it's tight. So we'll see what they're able to do. Maybe uh, some 20 digit uh, games or something like that. Let's take a look back on that Showers Gulag though with space in particular to see what went down from this side of things. And uh, I think aggression usually pays off here in the Gulag and that's exactly what we're seeing on stage. Yeah, I think uh, especially with how knew a lot of these players are going to be to the touch controls for somebody like him who's been playing competitively for three plus years right <laughs> yeah you, you take advantage of okay, every us, uh, opportunity you can That's get and obviously they're not going to be expecting that looks like a uh, little b maybe rage quitting out there or something else but He's going to drop out of the lobby, so it's going to leave it down to Space and Raballo. Raballo already taken down, and they might just be chalking it and trying to drop solo to see if they can farm some additional kills, because right now it's all left down to Space for the rest of this one. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's part of it. Little B might say, hey, I completed the challenge. I need to complete. There's not as many players as I want, or maybe I didn't actually win the hot drop. I'm going to go hot drop again and just try to farm a ton of eliminations. You don't have to play together. Camaraderie is great, but competition is what we're aiming for right now. Exactly. And that pride, that pride and joy for you to say that I won the first Warzone Mobile official challenge. That is definitely something that you can brag about. And again, we're actually learning a lot of things when it comes to watching the gameplay today. Like I'm learning a, a bunch of stuff that I'm actually writing down when yeah, I I'm play not, not during our break. Right. Once we you do are swap, taking quite I'm notes taking a lot of notes here, here man, across, because so I really like what they're doing. No, oh, I love Maybe it. Kind of well, over here, the train. Down here. Uh, we'll see. All in one basket. Looking for some loot. And it didn't pay off. Uh, he's got a sniper that he's he scared of me. Use, though. I hit him but once. Not so sure he's completed that challenge yet. So still looking for a few more headshots. By the way, chat. What right I'm doing right now is not scrambling, trying to figure out where done. to go and. Um, look, uh, there, we go. there's a ton of content something. creators, of course, a part of this event. If you want to tune in to these content creator streams, now, feel free. Oh, Hawks Nest streaming doing? live here in we'll studio. We've got another 150 some odd creators online from remote uh, from their Duh. own setups grinding the game. So uh, tune into those streams as well. But here's Hawks Nest going for go. the okay. headshot. No, Thank but God does get the elimination. Not like a real one, but <laughs> yeah, obviously the, the Signal 50, Speaking not a very <laughs> strong sniper. So it's not the one that you expected. 
be getting a lot of headshots with, or even if you do uh, get a headshot, they're they probably go. still going I to be I'm living. But sure. picking up his loadout should have a little bit more opportunity to try to knock out that objective once again. Needs to find some plates, though. Being down to half a plate in the position that he's in, trying to basically solo squad in this one uh, can bite you in the back pretty quickly. So swapping over to Aerith's POV, maybe Ooh, needing to refine. Oh, his sensitivity was whack. A little bit. <laughs> I messed up my sensitivity. I think it's probably. Oh, speaking yeah, of, she said it. Oh. Well, I, I think it's probably the, the ADS sense versus like traditional sense, right? When you're ADSing with that sniper, yeah. that all sensitivity is going to look a lot different than obviously when you're using an SMG. So some more settings to refine, just like you all at home, I'm sure, are refining. You've got to get it perfect. Uh, every iteration of Warzone across the board. Everyone's always trying to fine tune their settings to get the perfect setup just for them. I'm saluting. We're not taking fights, I guess. All right. Well, it looks like Rabalo's already hopped in. He is solo queuing right here. He said there is probably 12 people dropping uh, storage last time. We'll see if we get the same. Unfortunately Pistols for him, again. looks like maybe one squad, but at minimum, that means he should be able to pick up a gun before he has to take any of these engagements. So. Uh, an opportunity to start things a little bit slower and more methodically. We'll see what he can do. Still in VC with the other guys, so kind of keeping tabs on their progress, but now splitting up and seeing what kind of, what kind of progress they can make that way. Damn, he's coming up empty. That's, that's an unfortunate thing. He's also spotted as well, and there you go. He's trying to go in for the strike. He goes for the slide, and he's trying to go and challenge it. Oh, the beatdown is going to happen. Unfortunately, he loses that. Is that minus one on the beatdown? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you get beat down, oh, no. Production, let's have that be a minus one. And it's three to, oh my goodness, so that, is, that is tough. Oh, actually, 11 total now. You got to get 10 beatdowns in total, two assassinations. Missed both. Uh, headed to the gulag. So, and yeah, you can luck. see him moving his assassination button now because he whiffed it and it cost him big time on that one. That's hilarious. It's just unfortunate. He was coming up empty. He was checking every storage unit. It's just not there. No weapons at all. Just coming up so empty. And now he has to go through it again. And we've been seeing so many gulag gunfights here. I haven't seen Aerith. I, mean, I think I've only seen her once there. Yeah, I haven't seen her in the gulag, but Hawk's move. Nest. Uh, hey, look, he's. I know uh, Hawk's Nest. I'll give him some credit. He's left. looking a little bit better than I, I thought he would. He was touting that maybe he wasn't as, as as talented on touchscreen these days. And Hawk, you're, you're still looking pretty crispy, my friend. Oh yeah, that uh, those hundreds of hours of experience don't just disappear overnight, <laughs> or, or even over a span of three months. He can he can pick the the glass back up and adapt pretty quickly. Finally getting a look at Little Beast POV. Doing some more executions right there. I think he already had that one knocked say, out. So uh, may, maybe just doing it for the sake of the flex at this point, but drop in Superstore. That was a place that we knew historically had been a hot drop. Maybe not as many people drop in there just because they're uh, worried about the pressure, but the pressure not getting to him as he's able to pick up yet another kill off the start of this one. But it looks like these guys are sticking with the 120 player battle royale as opposed to the blitz. I'm curious if anybody decides to make a change off of that. Yeah, I, I think it's a great question. You know, the difference between the two, the mobile royale, of course, is about a 10 minute game or so. In, in the traditional battle royale, you're looking at about 20 minute games. So double the time to get double the kills, maybe? I mean, there's technically more players as well, 120 players in the main battle royale. I think about 80 in the mobile royale, but uh, I don't know if that's a better strategy or not. You, you do right. tend to find more engagements in Mobile Royale. It's a faster turnaround. But you're also going to be spending less time in the lobby yeah. if you're yeah. doing the Battle Royale. Yeah. So some trade-offs there for sure. Please have someone else be shooting at him. <laughs> Sticky situation. Hawk's going to be able to get out with the self-revive right here. And they don't really Far seem goal. to know where he is. He's still not been ball. able to find any place. Just terrible luck for him on that end. And with that, you definitely have to take a passive approach here, to this. In its Especially with yeah. the zone closing in the position that he is. I, He's got to find a route here, around it. It's going to be risky with nope. no plates Talk right here. If there's anybody on the opposite side of that wall, he's done it. so. So going to opt to so take the safe route right here. And tough. once again, probably going to hop through some of these tents and see if he can there's find any armor. That and that's the thing. He's really trying to find this one player that's actually close to him. Like he can hear the footsteps, but it is like you are wasting a lot of time if you are still trying to go catch someone that you can't even see. And at this point, you need to find a way to be in a more populated area. Yeah, I mean, it's in game. There's not that many players left. This is what I call a quagmire fight. Okay, you're spending a lot of time in sink and sand and you're just Running oh, around bro, finding one player, board. finally spots that player, looking for a headshot likely for this challenge. 
It's the reason he's running that sniper Ram 7. Obviously a favorite loadout for a lot of players, but no! Oh, from good. above, we have the good. high ground yet yeah. again gets the better oh, of Hawk's no, Nest. Falls into ninth. Yeah. The beginning. And uh, yeah, gotta check your angles. Hmm. Gotta check the top. And well, Aerith's back in oh, multiplayer. No, no. That's the code we got <laughs> Yo, it's her bread and brother, so I don't really blame her for wanting to go there. Maybe trying to go for the 150 because it really worked out for her. I'm pretty sure this is where she got that 15 kills hey, in what? one Why game, which is so much easier Left compared to getting it into so BR. So it, 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 once she start actually Four farming kills here, I, I wonder how fast she can get 150 in like a few games. Yeah, I mean, I think the fact that she's starting with still an hour remaining, it's 100% feasible. I think she's got to work yeah, on the ADS so sense a little bit because yeah, it's so much down. higher than all of her other oh, there sensitivities. You go. And, and oh, looking at her global see. ADS sensitivity multiplier, that's probably a big reason for it. 3.0, way higher than what I've seen really any other player using. Obviously, that's something you got to work around with, but for people that are new to the game, just basic okay, so, lesson on how sensitivity I mean, works. That sensitivity go multiplier go simply applies to every other sensitivity, and you want to get those ADS sensitivities, three times sense, all those adjusted individually. And that global multiplier just allows you to increase everything all at once or decrease it as well. Oh my God. It's a great I shout. I, I think as we take a look back at Little B, I think this is one of the mind. other, uh, you know, benefits oh, 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 to trying to play the, the normal battle royale is that, well, you can find a few more vehicles and find a couple oh splatters <laughs> right on cue, Little B. Thanks for showing us what's going on with the vehicles. Uh, yeah, if you don't have your audio turned up and don't hear the rumbling of the vehicle behind you and the beatdown, nice. ooh, this baby, man. a triple. This man nice. is completing challenges left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. I am not going to be surprised if he just achieves four. <laughs> Uh, objectives in that one time, moment. Like yeah, look, he's got his kill with his vehicle already. He doesn't have to get more kills with the vehicle. Uh, yeah, there it is. Already locking it in. Production's on, on task here. Three. Little B is technically in the lead. Has taken the lead for the first time here and may try to continue that lead by completing more challenges in this lobby. And also important to keep in mind, he was the only player on that squad that didn't get the 15 kill game knocked out. So if he can manage to get that one here, which it seems like he should be making pace to be able to do can extend that lead out even further so we'll see if he maybe tries to take the air threat after that 15 kill game and yeah. try to Transfer go over. for some of those high kill games to see if he can hit 150 because definitely a big opportunity for him especially with the level he's dominating yet but there's three people inside the building oh goodness he's still alive and he's being chased down and he does get the shots down he gets one more beat down has to deal with one more player and he still gets it and him playing all these months definitely pays off and he's just so much more likely to get a no lot of these objectives. And, and this her, is the key lie, with the Warzone gameplay loop. You have to increase your survivability as you're playing. Let's take a look at the board here and see where Little B's at and where the rest of our competitors are at. Rabalo is still only has, has a win currently. Hasn't logged any other challenges yet, but I'm sure very closely on their way to the rest of these. But Little B at the top, three already logged one kill with a vehicle two assassinations and has won a game of warzone so i think you're right beat downs and likely uh those 15 kills in one game is what's next for little b all right we got spaces objectives here obviously getting the win he did get those 15 kills and some of those other objectives i think are going to be easier like obviously one of little b's is that kill with a vehicle and given the fact that vehicles are going to one-shot everywhere, it's once again yeah. surprising that we haven't seen, seen more of these guys of that, traversing yeah. the map, not only to find more engagements, but just to go ahead and get that one off the board. Well, now, a couple oh, wins yeah. with, uh, you know, Aerith and Hawks, but not much else to write home about. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the vehicle takedowns, it's just, it's so hard. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be seeing a helicopter takedown just because you don't really get to see it in even some of the game modes that we actually have here. And so now Little B is going to be in the top of the leaderboard for now, but let's see with how fast everyone else can actually go and catch up. And he still has, I'm pretty sure, a good amount when it comes to the beatdowns as well. Yeah, no, I think he's at least halfway to yeah. the beatdowns. I, mean, I think we've seen five or six on broadcast. So we'll keep making a tally on that. Uh, a classic mantra here from uh, kind of a kill race category inside of a challenge like this. UAVs are everything. Information is king when it comes to Call of Duty. As always, UAVs a huge boon in that regard. And one thing you got to keep in mind in regards to the helicopters is they actually function slightly differently on the mobile side of things. They don't have nearly as good maneuverability as they did on the PC console side of things back in Verdansk in the old days. So that's part of the 
reason that you're not going to see as many people using it, just because they don't feel like they have that same precision of the way that they drive the vehicle around as they would with uh, with just a normal car or ATV or whatever that would be. So Rabal is going to pick up another execution right there off of a down player. Only two kills on the board, but still a lot of players left in the lobby. I think 100 if I'm counting that correctly. Plenty of lobby to farm. Uh, look, train station also one of the most iconic. I, I guess they're all iconic, right? It's for <laughs> dance, right? The nostalgia is hitting, but train station is as a fan favorite as well. There's a lot of folks that would love to land train if they weren't going for the hottest drop. Still wanted a little bit of action, but wanted to make sure they secured some solid loot and get their loadout as quickly as possible. And that's obviously the staple of Warzone. Warzone Mobile is get your loadout so you have the best advantages going into some of these team fights. Um, but this is six eliminations here for space. And is trying to figure out how to play this team. Finds one picked off on the left hand side. I think there is his teammate probably to the right. Nice. Mm -hmm. And for Space, he's one of the few people that actually already has two objectives on, on the lockdown. We have 15 kills in one game and a win of a game in Warzone. So I'm also thinking that I feel like I've seen beatdowns from Space as well. And I'm kind of surprised that he hasn't been doing a lot of the sniper shots. But granted, it is going to be very difficult to get, what, 10 headshots with snipers. But you could easily just go to multiplayer for that aspect. Kind of like what we're seeing Aerith doing and just really capitalizing on. Well, one thing about when you play the 120 player is it takes a lot longer for your, you to get your loadout if you're yeah. not stacking cash to be able to do that. That's so true. trying to get those one shot headshots with a with a ground loot sniper is going to be nearly impossible yeah. for the most part. Um, so once again, that's the opportunity that you have. And, and maybe you go over to multiplayer last 10 minutes of the challenge and you just farm a few headshot kills there. But uh, there are obviously pros and cons in each of these different games modes so we thought maybe it was going to be a, a multiplayer meta you just go to multiplayer and farm as much as you can but it seems like these guys have been able to make a pretty decent dent in the progress of these objectives even with the modes that they're playing and i believe that might count as another beat down there for little b uh we'll have the admins figure out if beat downs do count if they are already downed or if you need to get the knock with the beat down uh either way splitting hair is little b is going to continue punching people in the face with the butt of his gun or otherwise as he is nearing that 15 kill tally that he is so desperately looking for to continue to gap his competition. Looks like space has caught up, but is two away and in a bit of trouble. Survivability is one thing, but ego chows. Well, they're everything in Call of Duty. <laughs> I think Little B may have just... Oh, he didn't actually call in the precision. I was worried he was going to precision himself off of that one. Obviously, another one of the objectives was kill streak kills, mm -hmm. uh, with cluster strikes and precisions being the primary use that you're going to have for those. So I don't think anybody's made much of a dent in that objective, but Little B trying yeah. to see if he can make some progress. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of beatdowns. We're seeing a lot of the explosive kills just because they're like the easier <laughs> ones to actually do and one thing that we also mentioned a while ago is the headshot with the snipers and you'd think it'd be easier in multiplayer but even era she was talking about it a while ago she was having a difficult time with the sniper just because the mechanics and the feel of snipers are just so different here compared to a game that she's actually very much used to like in call of duty mobile yeah i think the explosive kill is a fun one because maybe at first glance the the streamers were thinking Oh, I need to get two kills with some explosives? No, 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 it's a double kill mm -hmm. with double explosives. Kill. Ah. So maybe something you could farm in, uh, in shoot house or otherwise yeah, maybe yeah. A, a bit easier. But here we go. Little B, one elimination away from those 15 kills that he's been so desperately speak, uh, seeking for. And, and I think uh, no questions asked. I, I assume Little B's going to yeah. do this. Sure. He's looking really, really sure. strong right now. Sure. Plenty of lobby to still play around with. Hard, he's going to take his time yeah. and make sure he, he nets this objective. Yeah. And, and I don't think too much need to be cautious either. The, the lobby that he's in has not really seemed to challenge him. And he's been able to pick up a sniper right here, maybe uh, confusing a color on the wall with a person. So. No opportunity afforded to him to pick up any of those headshots, but especially when you're in downtown on these high ground positions, just having that verticality is going to give you a natural advantage in hitting headshots as well, because that's a, a big part of the oh, surface area that you're even able to see from those angles. So he's not really been able to make anything oh out of it. And it does seem like for the most part, the, the mobile community has not oh. been super drawn to downtown, oh, but mm -hmm. if he can potentially get a UAV, which we haven't seen a ton of people utilize, uh, that could be something that allows him to clear out some of the 
more difficult ob objectives. Well, you got to remember too, Verdansk is uh, one of the largest game. maps out there, and especially when you include the verticality of this map, especially inside down, buildings, down, bro, uh, there is so me, much surface area to cover. Uh, I think it's a great oh, oh, breakdown, Bobby, and I think people are not favoring downtown as much if they're looking for engagements, because it's pretty difficult, and there's a lot of outplayed potential on the stairs of a lot of mm -hmm. these large buildings too. It's very risky to be in these parts, especially if you are so close to uh, completing an objective, and he's actually on the chase for that one player that went inside, and you're actually setting it up perfectly, but then he actually camps in a corner, and the beat down finally ensues. Nice work. Uh, pretty free kill there for Little B that will not only net him uh, a one more, which we saw it actually tally up there. Little B takes the lead yet again with four total challenges complete, but is just one step closer I'm to so completing the <laughs> beatdown challenges. Hawks, uh, I think he got his yeah, second kill. one. Yeah, oh, second. Nice. That was not Symphony he killed, but it was close. <laughs> oh, different Symphony? Just, I can't even tell. It was Symphony. Symphony. Uh, okay. His little brother. Oh, bro, do you see him teleport? Let's go, Hawk. All right. Sniper shot's not landing. Okay, so, Ram 7 so is. A situation where you mount He's uh, having a tough time keeping what? up as Little B continues to extend his lead, picking up that 15th kill. Um, despite the fact that Aerith has been yeah, taking the multiplayer route, the not situation. a whole lot of success with these objectives. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to multiplayer, guy. you can only really He's do a handful guy. of them. You can't even do the, the vehicle kills, which is the easiest one, slow and play. even destroy Big five vehicles here, with kills as well. So I feel like we haven't really talked about much about the vehicles in her aspect, just because she's just so zoned in when it comes to multiplayer. Back, and we right? just saw Hawk's Nest actually get that one kill and one objective that. with that one vehicle kill. Well, look, we, I think there's a lot of uh, chatter about the efficacy of RPGs as well, by the way. So, right, right. Uh, you know, uh, take your RPG and uh, blow some vehicles up. That's all I'll say. That's a, that's a good way to complete several of the challenges on our board. Um, still uh, 16 eliminations looking fantastic. I think he's just looking to kind of farm the rest of this lobby up. Yeah, any progress you can make toward that 150 kill mark is just going to be an added bonus. I don't think there's anybody outside of maybe Aerith that is where they would need to be to hit that objective is obviously we're halfway through right now Lobie's going to be able to pick up a few more but uh what we had one full game before this i think where he had 10 kills maybe 11 so that should be probably maximum 30 kills if you count the one that they got eliminated from early uh, and given the fact that he's probably had the most success from any player we've seen so far, you would assume for the most part that kill objective is probably off the table. Look, uh, we are all uh, analysts at heart. Uh, we are all casters at heart, and I love how deep we're getting into the minutia of this game. But I still just kind of gloss over as I take a look at Port, I think, for the first time on main broadcast. It, it just, it's awesome to see the map back into the mix. A, a lot of our PC players at home are, are playing Verdansk again for the first time in years. Um, so I, I just love these kind of like reminiscent moments that we get get to step back and say yes there's a challenge going on but also look at this beautiful map. I know it looks so great I mean I, I was playing it a while ago and that's the reason why I don't have any sleep and it's just I can't believe that I'm actually holding the war zone in the palm of my hand. If you told me that there was war zone back in 2020 I would be like you are are you are on something please just that is not possible and la look at that just like three years after after four years it's just it's amazing what all of these devs can do and the fact that it's actually cross progression as well is the most mind-boggling thing for me the tech is just so advanced well, and, and the memories that have been made not only on this map but just in Warzone in general yeah. it is kind of this whole new era of some of those memories doing it in a much more accessible way via some of your you know your phone devices your tablets or whatever uh, being able to play on mobile is such a win overall for the Warzone community and people that are dabbling into Warzone for the very first time so Bobby I mean we have a chance to see Hawks Nest potentially grab a win here he's playing a little timid don't know what he's he a little scared yeah right now. It's, it's very very hawks but, I mean, but he has three. Oh, he got another knocked oh, out and back. obviously with him playing solo maybe got to sweat a little bit harder make sure you get the okay, objective nice. but the cluster oh, connects tonight. right there I have gas, I have so i think that should be only one more person left as he's able to finish off the kill and he has a durable gas mask and there was oh, another one seven. on the ground on the inside of the building he's not going to need to bother with it because he's enough, there to hit the shots trying to finish things off with the hey, sniper hey, and he does bang. just that. Buster so that is oh, some big progress for Hawksness oh, as he jumps up two objectives on the leaderboard. Oh, that right there is My the dichotomy the of the cluster mine. The Hawksness you know, loved zone, it, so it the opponent hated it. Else, <laughs> got baited to go inside. Congratulations, Hawksness, wow. my friend. Looking pretty solid, I love it. 
he moves up too also like just a few moments ago he was in the bottom and now we see Aerith at the bottom kind of struggling in multiplayer but maybe that's at one point we're just going to see in like a few seconds Aerith is going to be definitely climbing up the ranks but it is going to be Little B getting majority of the objectives down and he looks like he's very efficient with his time as well yeah, that's a, that's a great shout, uh, Mommy, and I, I'm excited to see what space can do here. Dam uh, is the icy tundra that is the dam area, wide out in the open, my friend. You have absolutely no cover, and I think we all know what maybe he should have is some smoke. Bro, really the only yeah. opportunity yeah. Uh, to uh, to make this happen uh, when you have no cover. But here we go, little B. This is a replay. This is his last beatdown. This counts as his 10th beatdown there. Where so little B has netted another uh, elimination, which means another challenge complete. Look at his board. We thought he could be at the top, and I think we might have been right. That's a total of five challenges of the 12 already completed. Yeah. The thing is that he's got a decent amount of progress, but the remaining objectives are a lot of the tougher ones. I am curious if he thinks to head in the multiplayer to try to knock some of those out, because I think especially in regards to the score streaks, that's going to be your easiest opportunity to do that. And also with him being a former multiplayer pro, if he just full sends multiplayer right here, there's very much a chance that he could still get to that 150 kill mark. Mm -hmm. Headshot, double kill with the explosive, and also the total 150 kills is definitely very, very doable in a multiplayer mode, especially if your map allows you kind of like uh, an enshipment. You can definitely get their multi-kills after multi-kills. But Rabalo is still sitting pretty with those two objective points and needs to go and catch up. And it looks like, I'm, I'm not quite sure because when we are looking at Rabalo, he's always in the gulag or being taken hey, down. So yo. it's just like kind of struggling here a little bit. <laughs> hey, you just got called out, Rapallo. <laughs> hey, I'm just seeing what I'm seeing oh, on screen. Hey, respect <laughs> to the player there. <laughs> well, uh, a little bit of a taste of their own medicine space out in the open. Able yeah. to grab a player oh. out in the open and grab a victory as well. Congratulations, my friend. Nice victory net. Oh, and impossible. we'll be hopping right back that's into the lobby as quickly as possible. That's impossible, bro. Rabalo's got a lot of money to work with and, and for some of these players that are multiplayer mains I'm curious if they even like fully understand the mechanics of the war zone environment the fact that you can buy a UAV that's right that tells you where that's right. every single yeah. person on the map is I'm not trying to out people here but I, it's a good call out but but that's something that once again it, it's something we'll see progress as the game becomes more well known just because either you haven't played it or you haven't watched it these guys are they're just bringing their raw gun skill to the table uh, and maybe an opportunity for them to watch some of the vod back and say these are things i can improve on because surely there's going to be other competitions in the future and uh ways that they can try to maximize the mechanics of the game a little bit more to give themselves a chance in these environments so uh, I think we will start to see, especially once we start to get more of those PC and console Ooh. content creators on the broadcast, we'll start to see some more of those strategies employed. Yeah, that's a, uh, a great call out, Bobby, for several reasons. I think what was so fun about Verdance when it first dropped is that nobody knew the optimal strategy mm -hmm. to kill hunt, right? It was like, oh my gosh, I dropped a 15 kill game. This is nuts. And then it was like, oh, people are dropping 50 bombs because they figured out their rotations. Yeah. We rotate by buy stations. That dictates the way we rotate based on the zone. We're grabbing information gathering tools like UAVs. Like you're going to see that same evolution in Warzone Mobile just on a much more expedited scale, which is really fun. And we're even even seeing it on broadcast on the first day of the game being watched. And you actually brought up a really good point. Like, you, if you want to get those kills, you got to know where the hot spots are going to be with those buy stations and just find a nice position and just eliminate all of the players that are trying to rotate inside or even try to go play outside of the zone and try to catch rotation off and yep. be a gatekeeper and essentially get as much kills as possible. And I feel like for me, Rabalo is actually trying to get that 150 kills, and he's been on a shred. Yeah, one flying in. I think there might have been one on top of the mountain I as that well. I thought that as well. Yeah. They might be in their Same settings. Or... They might be in their might settings. We'll see. Uh, but grabs the loadout, which is a good call. And here's your Bruin. This is what you were talking about. It's, it's what I call a classic LMG bullet hose, right? So you don't have to be flawless with your aim. You've got a ton of bullets to throw down range. You're going to find the elimination. Yep. Rabalo making decent progress and once again playing solos it's crazy how easy these guys are making it look because yeah. uh, you would think that they're playing solos with the way that they're running through the lobbies but he's uh, been able to make light work of it unfortunately it hasn't really converted into a whole lot of objectives for him but spots one out in the corner tracers on that one looking clean as can be as he lights up the the inside of the warehouse and 
picks up another one, but it seems like maybe not quite enough laser focus on those objectives. It's oh, yeah. More just kind of, you know, enjoying enjoying the Verdansk environment. I, I don't blame him. I mean, the scenery is beautiful. Look at those <laughs> ice caps. <laughs> this is where I would usually hang if I would be in uh, Verdansk. But with Rebalo, he's so close to getting one more objective here, Go. That's right. He's only one kill away and is looking for 15 to net that objective. I don't believe he's done that yet. So a big boon for him to start uh, on the way of trying to catch up with little b but at the same time i'm sure little b is uh, only a step away from another objective so got to get a move on here and and this is kind of the nature of verdansk right here as he is running towards the hangars in the firehouse there are wide open spaces yeah, i'm talking very... wide open these runways at, at yeah. airport area are so open you have to have cover the two ways of doing that is visual cover with smokes or grab a vehicle and so finally i think he will grab a vehicle here uh to be able to move around the map a bit quicker but also be safe from being uh you know quickly eliminated from distance and having played other mobile brs i'm surprised that people haven't gravitated more toward the vehicle meta because there's nice. so many hey. what i've seen is he picks up a vehicle kill right there where people are just driving in circles the yeah. entire time and that's like so many iconic clips from Verdansk as well, where you have crazy yeah. end games like that. Uh, but just so useful for so many different reasons, especially in a kill race uh, style challenge like this or, or an objective style challenge. So we started to see them, you know, figuring out the, the ways that they can maximize their time, especially with the expanse of Verdansk. And, uh, Rabalo able to at least get one of the two that he needs knocked out for those vehicle kills. So potentially a way for him to uh, close the gap a little bit on the rest of these players. You know, I get them. Like, I really resonate with them because I'm a multiplayer person and the fact that, oh yeah, there are vehicles in here, I can utilize that. And you can see like in the late game, they're realizing, oh yeah, this is probably one of the easiest ones to do. And they're probably doing that because it, they know how easy it could actually get. Oh, he's gonna try to get another oh, take down. Yes. And he gets it. Oh, that's two yeah. challenges completed at the yep. same time. It, that's, ah. that's 15 kills and a there kill with the vehicle. That's that's Ma go. Okay, he's back on the board. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. But <laughs> little B though, with the, with the five objectives already locked down, they need to kind of focus on the beatdowns as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe he'll just add another one. Yeah, oh, there you go. Why not? Splatter spree. We're moving on our merry way. We're grabbing a, grabbing a ton Beat of eliminations, down. and this is really execution. Uh, you know, uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no! What? Wait, what? It backfired! Sometimes when you're going for assassinations, you've got to think, where where are this player's teammates, right? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe they're Fair looking enough. at uh, reviving this player, but somehow stays alive, self-revive. It looks like maybe a third party uh, drew some of that fire away from him. It'll stay alive, remake a play. Oh, does go down, but completed challenges, and ultimately, yeah. that's what matters here on main stage. Did he get the beat down? Was he able to get that? I wasn't quite I sure. I don't when he... think it went through. So. Ah. But did get the vehicles and the, and the 15 kills, so that's great. And that, that was a level 450 player with a platinum HRM, so that's yeah. definitely somebody uh -huh. that is not hopping into Verdansk for the first time. They uh, clearly had some reps on the console nice. side of things. Nice. Hawks getting there. right back into things. Uh, and he's somebody it Should seems like might cash. be building a little bit of momentum if go. we see him to okay. start to, to employ some of buy, those so higher so mobility strategies. The, could potentially close that gap on Little B. The one we were at actually, matter of fact. Or no. He's checking mm. out the zone here, trying to figure out where he wants to go. When to dolphin dive it out. Hey, dolphin dive. Hey, look, I do yeah, love the yeah. movement mechanics, uh, mechanics, by the way. Nice uh, play. He's got a three-letter name, so I assume he's good. That's just how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's true. Honestly, so true. Clan tags already this plus. early on. I love it. Oh, free nice. low. Okay. Oxnet's putting on a little bit of a show okay. for us. I love it. We just got uh, we're going to take a look back, by the way, on that Rebello play. I, I asked production, so and I was like, hey, can we please sure see this again? Because this is come two come challenges here. being completed at once. Barely yes, clips sir. that player, oh, maybe with even the door of the car to grab the knock. Then, you know, the double tap as it were. Yeah. Uh, grabs two different challenges <laughs> at once, and now you can see his board. He's at four in total. Still behind little B, but has closed the gap pretty dramatically. I feel like, like realistically, he could go for the total kills because he's been getting even shredding. It's true. And it, uh, if you do perform the beatdowns as well, I'm pretty sure that can transfer over into the total kills. So maybe they could actually get that, but they're going to go head to head. I don't know who's going to be winning it at this point. 
It's really going to depend on whether or not the beatdowns have to be on unknocked players or if you can yeah. get beatdowns on knocked so, players. So, because... a little insight on that, we saw uh, Little B's 5th or 10th beatdown was actually on a knocked player. So, I believe our admins are counting it. So, it's surprising that we're not seeing more of it. Yeah. Because that's one that you can knock out of the way very similarly to with the executions. Like, somebody's knocked, they don't have any chance to respond to what you're doing. Um, curious if, if maybe we see some adjustments out of the rest of these players. Hawks, a little, uh, nice. little shaky off the start oh, of the back, Gulag, back. but not locks it in, makes the yet. read, and keeps the game alive. Look, I, I have casted um, over a ton of damn. different challenge tournaments, and the one thing that remains the same over the many years of challenge tournaments is players will always find a way to make these challenges easier than they should be. So beatdowns on oh knocked God, players, a great little loophole they have figured out to try to net some more challenges. And uh, and I think multiplayer is another way Watch you could him. do this. Mm -hmm. Here's my, my, my problem with this. I love what Aerith's doing. She is putting in a ton of time, of likely going for those 150 kills. Should have it here shortly is my guess. Mm -hmm. The problem is, this is a huge time sink, and none of these challenges this are weighted any more than the other. It's just total completion mm -hmm. of challenges. So is it oh, too little too late is my question. I, I actually think she could be slowly getting four objectives at the same time right now in multiplayer. That's true. Because like she's been using kill streaks a lot, which is a little bit harder in BR, just because everyone here is just concentrated. Oh God, she could technically also perform assassinations here as well. And if you're really just trying to put it, you, she is probably the closest person in the entire lobby to actually actually get a, a close to 150 total kills here this so she may be last now but at I the last moment in the, 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 these 30 strange, minutes sure. she could get four at once and you do <laughs> have to keep in mind one of the default perks is last stand in work yeah, exactly so that's a knockdown you can potentially get Dude, a lot of executions and beatdowns yes. on last stand players if you play it correctly especially in a map like shoot house where there's everybody packed in together if you can find a few opportunities to capitalize on that, obviously it can be a little bit more punishing as you'll get traded more easily, but I would imagine she's had to have made at least some of that progress, but doesn't really seem to be all that focused on it. <laughs> it gets steamrolled by a Wilson. And again, I think the, the huge note here too is when you're on shipment, this is something that Warzone and just Call of Duty players in general have been using for now years to just warm up. Like there's just so much action with these tiny little shipment containers to grab a crazy <laughs> amount of eliminations i mean look at this this is ridiculous this is this is what chris was talking about this is the f frenetic uh, uh you know mentality around multiplayer that you see in warzone mobile i it would be so crazy if she could get like a kill with the wilson and have that count as one kill with the vehicle <laughs> i don't think so i think you have to be like oh, inside of vehicle. it yeah riding it but fine it would have been like a nice little loophole here Oh, uh, I don't mind that at all. But <laughs> back to the Gulag we go, yeah, as per the usual. Card, this is a staple, of course, of Warzone and Warzone Mobile. Oh, we'll okay. see. I, we haven't. Have we seen a loss in the Gulag? At least not, not in special ops, uh, right? Not yet. We haven't. Hundred percent shooting. Hundred percent right now yeah, in the so Gulag far. for our creators. I respect that. You know, I, and I think as sometimes in the battle royale environment, Dude, you can get kind of lackadaisical, like just because like there's so much expansiveness and trying to check every single corner can be kind of tasking but i think especially once these guys that have always been multiplayer focused get into a straight up 1v1 the instincts and the gun skill just completely take over and that's why we have <laughs> yeah, seen uh -huh. the ridiculous win percentage that we have shooting bodies just like the cod gods intended i am <laughs> so here for this we we talk about mats we talk about camaraderie but competition uh, it's it's really the lifeblood of Call of Duty, and I, I love to see it kind of emphasized in the Gulag, uh, even against random players in yeah. public lobby. Maybe learning the game for the first time, <laughs> we're still shooting bodies. <laughs> Space does not care at all. It's awesome. We're decades old in Call of Duty, and one thing is for sure that has remained the same. Yeah. Uh, shooting bodies is still as fun as the first Call of Duty game. And honestly, looking at the leaderboards, no one is safe. I'm pretty sure even though that Little B has that five, the remaining actual objectives is just so difficult to do. So I'm not going to be surprised if there's going to be a shift in the top of the leaderboard, but he should feel confident in like getting those five objectives down. Yeah, Space finding another one and going to go for the beat down smartly. Grabs it after okay, the knock. That's and seven beat downs? Or Ooh, he six. said seven. I think he's on seven beat downs is what I heard. So wow. only three more to go. He's going to continue to try to farm some of these players. 
over here at hospital. Should I thought he was going to go for the kill out of the sky right there because he had armor broken on that guy. And in prime time, hop down position, but I, little B taken down. He didn't even want to yeah. let the guy finish the kill. He's going to back out. 26 minutes remaining, so probably <laughs> around enough time for two games of, uh, of Mobile Royale. If I had to guess, that's probably the, the oh. avenue he's going to take. Yeah, that this was, by the way, wrong, so dude. funny. <laughs> that is, I guess I'm done. <laughs> that is so me. I don't want to give the other person satisfaction of like just finishing the kill. Man. Like, nope, nope, I'm going to hop into another lobby and get that mental reset that I need. I've seen so many kill race tournaments where like public lobby players do yeah, that. Yeah. And the people in the kill race tournament are so frustrated because they're like, I'm not even going to get netted that kill. What yep. is wrong with you? Yep. Uh, but little B showing us the other side of that. And then as we head over again to space, yeah, seeing really some stare done. out play, this player was totally caught unaware. Nice free elimination. That's four now for space three, as he four, continues five, to farm uh, hospital. I need three more. Three more beatdowns for him. And he's going to be the same one for Rabal. He's going to be camping his ladder. Well, it looks like Bobby, uh, you know, as we're kind of paying attention to space here and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. kind of farming hospital, which we talked about being potentially a hot drop, mm -hmm. uh, you know, only 25 minutes remaining. I want to do a quick listen in because space is really kind of narrating yeah. where he's at and what he's he could doing. could be a caster. <laughs> That's exactly right. Don't, don't give him any ideas. Uh, let's tune into space and see what he's saying to maybe him in the street. I see how many beat down kills I can get in here. Enemy dropping into the AO. Never lost a gulag. When you first leave, you're playing with first and middle? Yeah, yeah. I'm not playing with them, but like. Dude, I'm trying to get these beat down kills, and everyone I die is getting instant. Yeah, I saw Grace. It's crazy. I won't watch the game so badly, but we gotta finish this though. Uh, I got this, bro. It's tough. I think I hit the top. Did he stick me? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Move to cover, though, because I'm one tap from a sniper. Okay, we got a guy above us. I still don't have the best guns, and we have a loadout drop that we could rotate to. Or we can take an unwise in the open fight, which I don't want to do. Actually, let's chat one more time. Now he moved. I think we played for his drop, which it's insane that it dropped over there. And not that one. Like, why didn't they give me that drop? What? Come on now. He's got the better gun. I think I can get a res though. Hit it. No. <laughs> ah, we got goosh. Dude, the AK recoil is insane, man. I got to stop challenging those unless I'm mounted. <laughs> Cause it's like I can pull down fine, but the horizontal and like a uh, weapon kick shake, that's the uncontrollable level of recoil that's just gonna get you every time at that range unless you're mounted. So I think if we get that on, on drop, I'm not challenging those. Especially if they beam me in the first few shots, like clearly they have a gun that can laser like that. So I should just not chow. I'm taking an unnecessary 50-50. Also a gulag, I mean, I'd have to study to, learn how to play it, but a, a gulag tutorial, I feel like a gulag tutorial would be a good video too. Your authenticator showing multiple numbers? I actually don't know what you mean by that. In the open drop, got cover to run to there immediately after. I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. Staying on top of it was not a smart risk, but we did it. Do we take... Bro, I got baited. Go back and look at that. 100% looks like a dude. I'm playing for this building. There's a guy. Where I was looking, roughly. I just got shot from that direction, I'm pretty sure. There's no way someone on mobile is hitting a shot at this range, though. Except me. Ready? That... Ah, did I go too high or too low, chat? Too high, too low. Still learning the drop. Is he still shoot? Is that him? It is him. Saw a guy gliding over there too, I think. Huh? 
Okay. The lead that I gotta put on these snipers is not something I'm used to yet. I feel like I'd, I'm overdoing it. Come on, baby. You're joking me. It's crazy that it didn't hit, bro. I might have to put away the sniper. Dude, I'm getting... Hold on. Sleeves up. We're locked. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I think, um... Let's play cover to cover here. Try to get to... Can I auto-sprint and pull up the map? Nope. I mean, yes, but I'm getting shot at the same time. Got no plates. I have to snipe this guy. He's actually probably... I actually have no idea where he is. And I'm in the open. I gotta keep going. I think I can use this hill as cover, so if we get to the right side of it, we're good. Just play on this building and then push up when the zone starts pushing, I think. Or can I make it to this one? Is it clear? I don't know if there's a guy in there right now. Yeah, we go, we go. Dude, I have no plates. I could get beamed so easily. Thank God he's not pinned. It. Thank God, a lot of thank Gods there actually. Oh my. No. Get him. Oh, bro. Relax, bro. Yo, my skin go hard, bro. My skin is hard. 113 people in this whole, like, real close. Dude, where are these guys? Why do they just hide? What's happening, Space? Every time I chase someone, like, I'll, I'll crack someone, I'll chase them, and they'll just hide, bro. Like, run. Are we landing here? Oh, that's not good. Where he run off to? Yo, I'm tweaking out. Where bro go? Okay. I lost them. Very well, hey, folks, we are back, and I had a blast listening to our content creators on our listen-ins because you get a little peek behind not only the way their stream is, but also their mentality around what's going on. Hoxness was saying, Dude, these names I don't know crazy, if this sniping's bro. for me. I am not hitting my shots, and now Eric's back into Verdansk and finding a little bit of sniper, success. So overall, very interesting. Of course, like you can absurd. watch all of our streamers Holy. on all of their streaming platforms. They're all chill. live, but these streamers are here in studio doing this all in person. So I was actually walking around i saw their stream setups on the other side so really really cool yeah nobody's uh nobody's really been able to close the gap on little b so far as obviously the the beatdown challenge i think proving maybe more time consuming than people had anticipated that it would obviously space having a difficult time getting the finishes on some of his kills especially the ones that you're getting uh, at long range and so We'll be getting those knocked out early on when they're in a lobby. That's maybe a little bit easier to manage. Is definitely a huge W. Still trying to get those sniper headshots. There are a lot dude. of people out oh in an open God, field. This is prime terrible, time dude. opportunity for him to get another oh knocked out. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is what's hilarious too. Like yeah, he's like working on his snipers. Like uh, somebody that maybe comes from the multiplayer space. There's bullet drop in Warzone, right? Yeah, you have this to, is yep. so far that yep. you actually have to account have to for the drop, it. especially in Verdance. This is so something that players perfected over Ooh. the season. There is finally a connection. He's been hoping and praying for that okay. for the last 15 bullets. Might have to reload again here if you can't grab a, a full. There it is. Nice cleanup there from Little B. But yeah, there's bullet drop in this game. Yeah, there is. You have to calculate. It's actual math that's yeah. kind of involved, like the bullet trajectory. But I mean, it's so difficult to just get that headshot from far away. He needs to go and play it up again. He almost did get taken down. And I mean, there you go. There's that free sniper headshot 
Now, one thing you can actually do is to take things close up and then finish the kill with a headshot. That's probably like the smartest thing to do, right? Well, look, hey, if, if we're counting kind of like finishing up these kills once they're already knocked, I think this is a, another it's small little play, micro right? strategy that little B is succeeding in. Yeah. You want to be playing in squads because there's going to be more people knocked, right? So there's so many little micro strategies that we're discovering along the way. And little B, yet again, one, two, three, connects again. No, can't clean it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my. So close. He's just oh continuing my. to throw bullets downrange. Okay. He has no attachments in the snipers, too. That's the most difficult part. The base sniper there it is. is so, yeah. so difficult to really just control. Ooh. But he still, nonetheless, gets there those go. kills. There and look at all go, those bro. bodies Dude. littered around him. Let him cook? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, he's cooking now. You know why? Because he's closer range and he doesn't have to account for bullets. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's fair. He learned. He the learned. Memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has uh, obviously done this in multiplayer a ton. But when it comes to Warzone, he's got to accommodate to those longer sight lines. So, uh, yeah, look, I, I'm impressed with Little B again. He is leading the competition right now. There's only 16 minutes remaining. I don't know if anyone will catch him, especially if he can net a few more challenges in this singular map. This is the problem. 16 minutes means you're either a game and a half of Mobile Royale or less than a total game of traditional Battle Royale. Yeah. At this point, I think they need to drop into a really quick game. If not, maybe even multiplayer. He can still do his snipes there and probably get even more kills. But maybe what we saw with Aerith, she was struggling in that multiplayer map and maybe isn't as easy as she thought it was going to be. Oh, oh, okay. A little jump shot over the wall? This guy is, is cooking. That is nasty. And another headshot right there. I wonder how close he is. Oh my oh gosh, my. Okay. he can't miss. Oh, oh the no. turn, but he doesn't get the headshot. Stays uh, alive. Go, 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 kill him. Go, 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 I think he might have enough headshots as it is. I'm pretty sure he's gotten like eight in the past minute and a half. Little B, I repent on calling your sniper shots not maybe up to par. I don't care if you've played a lot of Warzone or not. That was disgusting. That was wild. I'm so glad we were on his POV, man. He was like on a terror that was so impressive and oh here's the thing that we just found out right now from production is space does not have a vehicle kill doesn't have his vehicle and, uh, kill now he has a vehicle just waiting for that one person Dude, to this, unfortunately oh, the tires are blown out that's him. why okay well he's missing a few tires so that <laughs> could be a little bit of an issue uh maybe it makes the vehicle more unpredictable to dodge though i don't know uh, it's not going to go very fast. He wants it to be, you know, more challenging. That's why yeah, he sure, did that himself sure. for sure. Oh, 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 oh. This oh. is not the truck. <laughs> Deflected by the tree. Oh, and somebody else is spraying him down from distance. Maybe losing even more mobility, obviously. Not the truck. The, the little attention to detail with the fact that you can shoot out those tires, making it that much more difficult to drive. Honestly, a great tip for those of you who are getting frustrated yeah. by vehicles. Uh -oh. And he can't <laughs> seem to turn it correctly. It's looking like Tokyo Drift right the, now in Verdansk. And now we're oh looking at the perspective. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just right. At this point, just chalk it and no... try to get another blitz in because it's not happening with this vehicle. I am yeah. just uh -oh. laughing. Uh -oh. I can't even shoot my gun. Uh -oh. Bro, I oh, no. actually it's brutal. Uh -oh. There is no way that just happened. <laughs> There is no way. Uh, it's like, are you it's like driving me, a vehicle without a tire is hard. I don't know. <laughs> bro, it's, it's like, I was driving on ice, bro. Like I couldn't do anything. Yeah, it's I maybe because so you were hard. missing a tire. I tried so hard. And I love it. Vehicles. I and, mean, and, you know, this is know, another God, fun dang, point bro. too, God, like dang. to harken back to some of these changes. Like original Verdance, that wasn't a thing, right? So we we kind of uh, built this product inside of Verdance yep. that is kind of reminiscent to some of the more updated pieces side of things with the Warzone, where you're able to shoot the tires out of vehicles and make it more difficult to drive. So very, very cool as we hop into another nice little outplay here with a pistol from uh, Riballo. Definitely not the situation where you expect to see the pistol coming out if you got a shotgun in hand, but if it works, it works. We got a replay from Aerith right here is obviously she's still trying to close that gap on the rest of the competition. And uh, some of this multiplayer gameplay, running with the akimbos. Come here. Nice little show right there. <laughs> Maybe She's a little so feed. 21 Savage, down for the count. <laughs> and she's absolutely cooking. This is the perfect map 
to be running akimbo anything run, 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 run. and again i just love that you can play shipment in warzone mobile it's a great way to level up weapons you. get your settings My right get your hud set up correctly when eric I just have, goes um, on a tear I with the akimbos i think only one hp and a dream there and it didn't matter the dream is called uh, the, the akimbo i mean just hold down the trigger and fire very very fun replay there from Aerith to not only grab the victory on, so but also better. a crazy amount of eliminations right, and now speaking of this is the amount of objectives that she already has and unfortunately the objectives that we actually mentioned a while ago that she could have had and obtained here in multiplayer it seems like she hasn't gotten anything yet but i'm really curious as to how close it is actually here for the beatdowns but we just had a notion that she is the kill leader exactly <laughs> she's the kill leader she might be one step closer to 150 kills but she's got to get it for it to count for anything but that's only one objective that's right look, look at like little views already but i i do think she's the only player right now that actually has the double kill with explosives Ooh. so that's another challenge that she's already completed that some of the other players haven't yet uh, and so because of that maybe it is close to being able to knock down three four challenges right, and like yeah. you said kind of jump this leaderboard right the last second she needs to hop in a car she needs to get that one vehicle takedown. It's the fastest way that she can have. Wait, she has what? 11 Eric minutes to play with. Oh, you just <laughs> heard it. They you know. didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Uh, but it hasn't even mattered because she's at the bottom of the leaderboard right now. Little B, three objectives exactly. ahead. Okay. And potentially well, more that he can get knocked out has been very, very efficient with the time that he's had so far. And, uh, you know, now that they realize that multiplayer is an option, we may start to see some of those kill streak kills come through if they make a last second switch. Yeah, maybe maybe that's kind of the strategy. Era started multiplayer has now come over to Verdansk, and maybe some of the other players are going to try to like bump into multiplayer the last five minutes and just grab a ton of eliminations or something like that. But uh, nice shots here. Uh, Rabalo is uh, he is not missing right now with uh, kind of that single fire option on the weapon. Rabalo's been really good when it comes to getting the kills. I'm not going to be surprised if he's probably like third on the leaderboard or second, even maybe close to Little B as well, as he we did see that he was on a rampage. And one thing that they could win, like especially for the players, I'm not quite sure if everyone already had a dub when it comes to a single game. They can like literally hop on over into a multiplayer map and get that one in the last few minutes of this whole entire kill race. Continuing to hunt for a couple of players nearby, and this is uh, Bobby. I'm going to bring it back to the point you made. I mean, I'm going to call you a battle royale aficionado at this point, my friend. UAVs, right? You've got to throw a UAV up to figure out where the players are if you're looking for those eliminations. Aerith goes down, oh. no, outnumbered by her opponents, and is going to have to load oh, back in. No. There are only nine minutes and 36 seconds and counting on the clock but let's look at little b this was a ridiculous uh, sequence. You guys you gotta pull it back up for you if you maybe just are tuning in watch uh what little b is able to do with the sniper in uh, verdance yes he's a talented multiplayer but uh i think it does translate if anyone proved that i think it was scump and little b's proving it again here on main stage so here's his board wow he is in the lead yeah six objectives already uh, Rabalo, surprisingly enough, had a slow start, but he is not that far behind as I believe last time we checked. He was at five, so it's very much still a competition right here. Aerith trying to decide what she wants to do for the last one, and it looks like she is going to spawn one more time into that mobile royale. Fortunately for her, she's already got the win on the board, so at this point you're just trying to farm stats for the rest of those objectives, but has not seen much success on her dance so far today. I feel like it was just like a little bit too much time yeah, in multiplayer. Yeah. Like I get you trying to get those like kills, the hundred, well, one objective. That's only just one uh, objective. If she was trying to do the knockdowns, uh, especially um, trying oh, wait, to do the executes and also the the, the beatdowns, oh, maybe she could have had more objectives cleared out. But it just might be a little bit too late, especially when you have guys like Rabalo <laughs> just shredding from far away and not so far away. Speaking of from Little B, as he, he does get taken down though. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the nature of using a uh, kind of single fire or like DMR like that. Is uh, <laughs> yeah. It's great at mid to long ranges and close range, maybe not so much. And his secondary was an RPG. So you literally don't have a single thing that you can use if you get into a, an engagement with an SMG player. And uh, once again, showing the importance of picking your weapons carefully. And Rabala with only seven and a half minutes left may very well see him hop into a game of multiplayer now that they've found out that that is an option, especially with the time remaining. You don't expect there's going to be a ton of progress he can make in a, in a mobile royale.
I have been though blown away with the amount of eliminations that some of these players are netting. You know, obviously game just released. They've maybe had some experience in, in other forms of COD, or, or maybe they've been kind of playing wow. some of that limited and release. But uh, uh, here with Global Launch, you're still seeing Little B put up crazy numbers. It, Little B's on 19 kills right now in his game, um, and we've seen several of our players easily hit the 15 kill margin and even push the equation far past that. Ooh, clean shots coming in from space, and again another player that is very likely to overtake Little B or even meet him at the six objective hard, mark yeah, seven hard, minutes is still very much doable but you need to be very much wary and aware of how many objectives like that you already getting cleared. 150 kills before uh vehicle kill <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wonder I, I wonder what his actual total is like i feel like the 150 kill challenge is kind of a red herring it's kind of uh -huh. like take Dude, you off the course so of what driving, you should bro. be like, doing <laughs> <laughs> and he's still thinking about how bad he is at driving from before so yeah i respect it look if you've yeah, played good, uh, you know other con titles maybe you haven't driven a lot of vehicles and you got to get used to it reminder never hop in a vehicle oh, with space it's <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, something i'll keep in no, mind I, for the future I, I, he's picking up the rest the kills like the fact I that he's been able to make the progress the that he car, has man. without doing anything via vehicles is impressive nearly naded himself right there but <laughs> we'll be able to push up and pick up another one but I, once again, I don't think anybody's really very close to that 150 kill mark, so I would like to see him lock in things a little bit more right here, especially given you can get that vehicle kills objective knocked out in a matter of seconds like we saw. Exactly, and he's actually trying to go for the double okay, kill with I an explosive. I mean, it was like good, like but you already said it. He almost took himself out with his own. Oh my! Oh, but okay, oh. Aerith just holding a gun that she's very oh, oh. much comfortable with a sniper, and she's so talented. And it seems like she's like doing pretty good. I, I, I think she just hit a wall bang elimination. I mean, that was that ridiculous was that through was the wall of blue over there. But, you know, like a the massive like kill. Time. Will it net a challenge? Not necessarily, but uh, that's a highlight. Impressive. Let's throw that on the timeline. I mean, all of our content creators are fiending for clips right now to throw on socials. That's one you, you put up later. You heard Aerith kind of exclaim after the fact. And uh, yeah, I, I agree. Put mm. that one on Twitter. We'll see that one later, I'm sure. All right, we'll see what kind of progress she can make. Is uh, the one thing that is to her advantage is that she does have the majority of those objectives remaining for battle royale. So maybe the the most room to improve her score. I don't know what Little B is going for right here. The, the grenade launcher doesn't seem to be having a whole lot of success. Maybe not quite as strong as it is in COD Mobile. And time to switch over to a different weapon. Looks like he does have a Ram 7 to work with as well, but I'm not sure what objective the this would be. Explosive, explosive double kill? It's technically, oh. technically an explosive. I, right. Oh my goodness. Look, yeah. Yeah. I, I, Little B has got to be one of the best players out there. I am not going against him in anything, but I will say using the grenade launcher guess what it also has well grenade, grenade launching launcher. drop uh -huh. there's yeah. a drop to it he was trying to aim right on their heads it's like no, yeah. you're shooting a grenade launcher lob that thing in there you're that. gonna be totally fine but uh even still he is That's still leading out. the charge here likely will win this but still four minutes and 20 seconds start. remaining uh we'll see what he's able to do and if anybody else can catch him i will say i was playing shipment the other day and there was a guy that was adsing and sniping me with a grenade launcher and is one of the most tilting experiences oh of my life <laughs> did you did you die to him yes oh, many times. Goodness. Oh, that's that's got us. But I am here. Air is gonna be in the gulag. Okay. But well, we continue the progress in our gulag. It's no! our first one. No, oh, I I did it. Aerith, this is on me. Okay, Production, just just, just so pretend bad. like she's give her an extra minute or something. That's so bad of me. I think even <laughs> cast or curse it like that. First loss in a gulag on main stage here in special ops. Uh, that's my bad. I, I think I might I... need to give her some sensitivity tips and tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gotta put it way down. Like even for me when I was trying to set up all of my like settings and HUD, I had to put the sensitivity way be, like, down. Impossible. It took me like a game and a half to figure out okay this is not what I'm used to and especially like you just gotta climb up after if you're like a new player for mobile if you're trying to transition from PC and console what's important is that you start at a very low sense because if you're starting on the phone if you're doing the claw method you don't realize with how fast your finger actually travels and that definitely the travel distance will be a huge right, we're back deal in the car again. You know yeah that's no, a great breakdown uh, and I appreciate that as we get a chance to look and see if maybe space can redeem himself in a vehicle here running out of daylight my friend looking for one singular kill and I think he's just honking the horn saying some Somebody, please.
come to me because I'm not going to find you. Uh, it looks pretty efficient, maybe, with all four tires on his vehicle. <laughs> Found a vulcanizing shop, fixed all the tires. It looks nice. A little bit easier when you're not driving on ice. Yeah. A little bit trying and downtown should be like trees. prime positioning to find some players out in the open. Oh. See the loadout? I, hey. I don't know if that would have counted as a vehicle kill if you send the loadout yes. and it falls on somebody. I am making that would be freaking hilarious. Uh -huh. I am making the executive decision that that definitely counts. Right. That what? that's another hard challenge. Hit a loadout <laughs> to kill somebody. That's you know that's that's such such classic. There's so many clip. clips out there too. Oh, here we go! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 We celebrate with him, Space. We uh, we Yay. see you. We we hear you. You get your double kill even with the vehicle. Very oh. well done, my friend. You have Super finally man. found it. All right. And that's big because he bro. may at the bare minimum be able to okay, tie up Robalo, but it looks like Little B has now made his way up to seven objectives. What? So still two ahead of the rest of the competition. I don't know what other objective he could have possibly done, but maybe he double found explosives? that double explosive kill. Yeah. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I think the other note yeah, here is it looks I mean, like Hawks know. goes down. That means he's that likely right done with the competition. Him, I, I don't think he's going to have time to hop back in. Maybe if, it's a, maybe if it's a quick cue or like hot drop somewhere and just see what you can do. Was not the but best what I'm think thinking of is, it early. here's no, the other I'm thing that, that I know, is if Robalo can net two challenges, it's not enough because Little B hit it first. It is yep. about time exactly. as well yep. for a tiebreaker with only a minute and 15 seconds unless remaining. Unless it's another objective. Uh, yeah, unless you can net three, then of course you can win. Um, but uh, I, I think we're running out of daylight for anybody to catch Little B. We are so close to finishing up our, our special ops section of this event. Wow, this flew by so quickly. That was just like 90 minutes of pure chaos and action, and we uh, love to see it. Station. At some point, it was kind of getting close, but at oh. this point, Little B is just so on point when it comes to all of the objectives and he's timing everything right he's hitting two stones with one bird two stones with yep. one bird i, I totally agree that. honestly <laughs> look if you can hit two stones with a bird then yeah. you're doing something yeah. right i am here for that 36 seconds remaining maybe an extra beat down no it's just gonna go for the elimination space putting on a show for us for the last 30 seconds uh, you know, Bobby, as we kind of close this special ops section out here, uh, what are your big takeaways uh, from watching people uh, like Little B, who may try to hot drop for the last 20 well, seconds? Uh, what, what's been your big moments to, to look back on? I mean, I, I think it has to be the crazy kill feed that we saw at a Little B where he hit maybe eight snipes. 10 seconds remain right here. Obviously not going to be enough for him to drop back into Ferdansk. But it's not going to matter as he has led the way in the competition the entire time. So efficient with his time and obviously those hours on the battlefield. Page. Look, uh, you know, whether he's played a lot of multiplayer or a lot of Warzone, he's done it here on main stage. Our first official competition at Warzone Mobile and Little B is your winner. A fantastic seven challenges out of the 12 completed in 90 minutes. A huge feat, I got to add. I mean, that's that's like a challenge every what, like two-ish minutes? I mean, he's he was cooking. Yeah. That was very impressive to see, and we just saw his perspective so much just because he had so much highlights, and comparing it to everyone else, they are pretty close. I think Rabalo was just so close when it comes to the kills, but again, it was the objective that was the hardest to actually go and obtain, and at the very end, we can call it be the al -Gaib. That's what we saw a while ago. <laughs> I love Dune, by the way. I love how we have Dune skins. Timothy Chalamet there was amazing, but Little B definitely deserved this. Well, well, let's take a look at those boards because, yes, they were completing multiple challenges, per game but here's our total challenges complete little B of course winning with seven out of 12 and like we expected the red herring 150 kills I don't think anyone was able to secure that one but it didn't matter when you've got seven out of 12 you're gonna be winning against your competition here's the rest of the boards though Rabalo not too far behind just missing out on some of those kill streak eliminations or shooting down vehicles destroying with vehicles things like that uh, just barely outside of the mix I think double kill with explosive was the other very difficult one that a lot of of our players weren't able to net like space yeah uh, interesting to see that some of the players that were even kind of dominating the competition still didn't get that 10 beat down mark i, I think that's one and, and to little b's credit it seemed like every time we were watching him he was very definitively going for one of those objectives i think there were some players that kind of got lost in the experience and, and were just <laughs> enjoying their time which is okay but if you want to win the competition you got to have that type of focus and little b able to capitalize well little b top of the leaderboards today at least thus far we've got a ton more competition 
action right around the corner. But for now, that's all for Special Ops. And we're going to take a look back on some of the highlights from Special Ops of such a fun challenge, uh, you know, kind of format for our teams. I got to give a shout out to production. I love yeah. what they were able to do. <laughs> so many kind of recapable or, or timeline yeah, well, moments that, that we saw good, from dude, assassinations to sniper clips. A uh, little B really did put on a show. So congratulations one more time. Yeah, production is doing all the heavy lifting. We're just like calling the shots on what we're seeing on screen. And for me, one of the highlights is actually oh, space, space vehicle and just not getting his kills. But I mean, speaking of the highlight map, look special. at that. It is going to be little B with all of those snipes every single time. Yep. Very, very diligent to make sure that he, uh, he capitalized on those executions and beatdowns as well. So. I, I hope that we have a clip oh of him getting the double kill with the explosive because I'm I'm very curious and I, I'm hearing that we actually do so <laughs> I would assume given that we're looking at his highlights that's probably going to be one of the next things we look at but I didn't think it was going to be possible given the the weapon that he was trying to do it with. Well, this is one of the times although Rabalo didn't end up winning at all did complete two challenges at once that was a really cool moment our special ops but here's those sniper clips we were referencing if you missed this uh, this is just two or three elements out of the like seven that he had in a row in this moment so uh really did well and here's, no here's the double kill yes the firehouse oh, tower that? one's right down already oh and my he's able gosh bait the other one that out and great. get Amazing. the double kill so little b you did it congratulations <laughs> you are the first winner of the first competition in warzone mobile <laughs> He is him. He is Himothy. Himothy Chalamet. He is the. <laughs> uh, I can say because that's his skin. I'm not quite sure if he was the one. If that was his skin, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. Well, hey, look, folks, we've had so much fun already on this broadcast. Now, we here in the booth are going to take a break. There's going to be a whole nother set of amazing casters. Shout out to Lottie Van Prague. I hold shift. We got reflections coming right around the corner with some really, really fun segments we've been talking about all day today. So don't go anywhere. During this break, we're going to take a look at some streams, head over to our streamline, and when we come back, you're going to see some fun moments from some cele us from some celebrities in our new talent cast. Get back 100% at the end of this, right? End of this year, some shit. So, like, I'm saying it's so impressive to watch your like movement just using touch.
think so. I think so. I'm assuming that's them. I don't know for sure, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm kind of off right now, but if you can hear people talking, this team is the one thing. What's up, Warzone Mobile fans? It's Puckett here alongside Alley Cat and Nameless, and we are coming at you live from Florida where the action's just about to kick off. If you missed the qualifiers, we're coming into today with Optic Texas, the number one seed, the only squad with a perfect 7-0, and and they had to get it done in a final round 11 against the subliners. Oh, yeah, and Vegas Legion are looking to cause the first upset of the weekend versus our major one winners in Toronto Ultra. And you mentioned that. We have about four teams that are real contenders here at Major 2. I can't wait to see who comes out with the championship. Stay tuned to all the storylines, and of course, you can catch the action youtube.com slash COD League after your games are over. Enjoy the battles. We'll see you soon. Major in Miami. It is looking so gorgeous out there in Florida, but I've got to also say it's looking gorgeous in here. Welcome to the Call of Duty Mobile Wars and Live. And I've got wonderful humans on this sofa with me. What's up, Shift? How are we doing, Reflections? How are you boys doing? Got a little dance moves for you today, Lottie. I don't <laughs> know what they are, but I'm dancing. I, I don't know what that is either, man. Does. Maybe no, maybe we can explore it, though, in a little bit. We got, we got, we got plenty of time, all right? But I won't be joining you because these dance moves, you do not want to see them. But it's great to be here, seriously. We're in a C-130. All right, let, let's, first off, let's, say, let's say that for a second, all right? I haven't been in a C-130 since uh, I was deployed, so this is, like, really, really cool. Bringing back some memories. Uh, yeah. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I bet the smell might be a little bit better, though, right? Much better. Yeah, I much better. A feeling. I had an absolute feeling. Uh, we obviously have the second shift of the day. So excited to be on here and joining all of you guys live. And we have been watching some crazy things happen already this morning. I mean, I literally had my alarm set, ready to go to watch the <laughs> forecast, to watch, of course, our wonderful talent team here talk through all of the action. And shift. We've seen some incredible things. Not only cross-platform, but joining kind of the streamers and their journeys as they're getting right into the mix of things in Verdansk. There's so much to talk about and the excitement is just honestly ever growing. Yeah, it's really funny because you have, I, I, again, we featured a lot of the COD Mobile pros, content creators yeah. in our first block and they come from a very different space than mm -hmm. like those that are trying to relive Verdansk after three years or right. so not having seen it. Yeah. So it was really kind of appropriate that we had Tim on stream like <laughs> talking about like, man, I really miss the look of this and I'll be curious to see like what weapons they gravitate towards compared to like our cod mobile pros from for four so it'd be fun. that's right yeah for dance man it feels good for it to be back you know a lot of people were, were super excited that cod you know mobile was going to be or excuse me uh you know cod warzone warzone mobile was going to be bringing that in uh for dance is one of those things one of those maps that's just so nostalgic yeah, okay yeah. and and a lot of also features like for example you know uh gliding down being able to shoot your opponents out of the air is yes. also back right so it's just nostalgia it's great you can play it anywhere it's it's quite beautiful the fact that you mentioned Tim though so Tim fall damage <laughs> hand in hand 
and that's going to be such a real thing today. It really is going to be the thing. Honestly, you just took me back for a second. We were talking in the green room before about gliding down and the damage that you can do. It's just so many fun little things, I think, that are back. And like you said, the nostalgia around it and surrounding the game is so much. It's very impactful. Mm. But yeah, I, I can't actually wait to do that. I used to literally challenge my brother. Yeah, you were bragging about it in the green room. Yeah, you sure were. I had the gunny back then. I didn't know any more. <laughs> I definitely had the gunny. You With those you, nails, too. I, know, well, I mean, maybe come not, on. Honestly, no, actually, seriously, though, when I do have nails, if I'm getting into to a series like session they just come off i just get the clippers out <laughs> yeah no you absolute savage yeah i was gonna say these are I'm issues not... that taylor and i do not have yeah, you know there's a there's a you know potential or not. <laughs> potential chance we get a, you know to play each other today i'm not messing with her no. now you i'm messing with you bro this is why you put me and next door in this couch right right we do have something uh, on the screen right now i, I have been looking 22. forward to talking yeah. about this with you guys all day long so far <laughs> the things are looking sure so good for our streamers i think yeah, they yeah, are so comfortable sure. i think there, there is a difference right between right. having an entirely new game a new map as opposed to the nostalgic feeling of coming back to something that you've loved and you've grinded for quite some time like that kind of muscle memory unlocked once again shit it's one of those things like it, it, i really have to give a lot of kudos and credit to just the developers in mind because you got to think about how massive when warzone first dropped it took the internet by storm yeah, right. but when you got a you know a whole other two-thirds of the world that doesn't have access to things like high access pcs or you know, even necessarily like new age consoles being able to now see it live out on phones and tablets at this quality is really really cool so i know for like our creators and stuff Again, they come from different backgrounds, and there's yeah. going to be different preferences and different play styles. But for those that are trying to revisit it or trying to see it for the first time, it's just a really cool kind of rebringing of life to the Call of Duty space. It is, and it's just more Call of Duty, which is always a great thing. Absolutely. You know, it, more platforms to play it on, be able to play this anywhere, which, you know, I, for me, you know, it's, it's a big comfort spot to be able to play Warzone specifically, right? So now that I can play, you know, Warzone Mobile wherever is, is truly awesome. Never going to be disconnected. I can play with my friends. I can drop whenever I yeah. want to. Uh, but, you know, I love the fact that you brought up, you know, that there's multiple players, you know, competing today. But not only that, across tomorrow, but anybody's going to be playing this. And I'm curious how that translation is going to be from some of your, you know, more standard, you know, PC players, controller players, which you can play controller on mobile, how well they're going to be able to adjust to something like this. And I mean, even, you know, case in point, before you fur. Yeah. I mean, shit, yeah. Ferg's been like a mobile player forever. I remember watching him years ago across BR. We had a chance to hear from him earlier. He's stoked this game is here, and so am I. Well, the thing is, I mean, he is the pinnacle of mobile content creation, That's right. especially when it comes to FPS style games. Right. So if he's able to find that kind of success, kind of bouncing between a different variety of mobile games, now going into one of the biggest FPSs to ever drop, right. I, I think Ferg's got to be pumped from multiple levels. A, 100%. He's super talented, but B, it's going to do wonders for his channel. I just want to note there with Ferg a second ago, I mean, just being able to just toggle that hip fire so perfectly. He's oh, nasty. He's, is, he's nasty. There is there is something to be said about the skill of mm. being in, on thumbs rather than a controller, and it is very difficult, I feel like, to kind of go across the both. Sure. So I don't know. He, to <laughs> me, his gameplay just didn't look as kind of. I would say, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as say disjointed, but you can kind of tell when somebody is on mobile sure, or right. using thumbs. His is very smooth. It's smooth. Dude. I I remember the first time I started casting mobile Call of Duty in any fashion watching some of the pro players go out i was like these guys are cracked out more than like simping up easy yeah right flat out they are just moving and snapping and that's the kind of thing is i think you know generally and I, we're all kind of in the same boat whether we come from mouse and keyboard right. or control or now right. we're getting our fingers on tablets and phones for the first time it's like there are so many customizable options to make the experience feel super fluid. I think that's something that the Warzone mobile team really spent a lot of good time on to make sure of, not just the fact that the map is obviously cool, but the game is super accessible. Because I was playing on my tablet this morning, and when I was first playing mobile FPS, I was getting smacked on. But this morning, I was like, wow, there's so much customization that I actually started to feel comfortable after an sure. hour or so. It just takes a little bit of adjusting, you absolutely. know, and that's the big thing. It takes a little bit of adjusting, but I, I think this is a game that I'm absolutely willing to put effort into to learn, especially use my thumbs. I had recently switched back to controller after so many years of not playing on controller. Uh, and, and you know, it's it's a little bit frustrating at first, but like once you get it, it just feels so good. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the same thing here. And by the way, I just wanna say, Ferg has almost an impossible task here. 
In what way? He's got to carry Tim the Tap. Now, <laughs> that's not going to be easy. And I want to, Tim the Tap man, very early on was dead on screen, okay? Now, Ferg, he's got to bring him back. Luckily, he's got good comms from, from Tim. I don't know if Tim is necessarily calming out or if he's just complaining about being dead, but Ferg has got to carry this man. But it looks like he's, he's up to the task anyways. He certainly is indeed. You know, I'm just amazed. I'm, I'm just really honestly fixated right now on watching Ferg and, and how he's actually doing that. Because my question is, <laughs> is it similar -ish to a feeling of clawing? Because, you know, in terms uh, of the yeah. that you have to use like open, basically uh, your entire hand sure. to ensure yeah, yeah, that your yeah, movement yeah, and everything that you're doing it is perfectly tuned. Because to me, it kind of gives me that claw feeling. Yeah. It definitely, I mean, I think first and foremost, when you look at a mobile player, the first thing you look at is your two thumbs are, are what you still use as like your joysticks, right? But the curiosity point is where they throw like where their fire is versus their ads versus where all their different movement stuff are right, and you can so customize that. absolutely yeah because like ferg for instance he's got this set up to where he can slide and crouch on the same essential button depending on if he's sprinting so like that is something that i need to figure out how he's figured that into his setup because mine is on two separate buttons i think so mm. again it's just like the the dynamic of being able to move the buttons around and put them down what figures you want combine them and stuff absolutely yeah. you can turn it into essentially what feels like a claw on a controller or you could do this where you've got you know your ads and your fires on the same side right yeah he's, he's smooth with it for sure the way that he's even just maneuvering now he's already i think well ahead of pretty much everybody competing in the game currently we'll see i say that we, we've got a lot of great guests who's going to be playing today all right so they, they might they might make me eat my words but uh for for now ferg seems to be leading the charge for sure very highly competitive i i, I would say so his goals and mindset you know it's just day one of this dropping and he's really still testing out the waters to be perfectly honest uh, sure. looking so comfortable with it i mean you're looking at these 1v1s now. <laughs> Got a down coming across the board here, and you can see others in his area. Um, but yeah, just it's just a very, very interesting kind of mindset listening to you know the interview earlier with him, and that he just wants to be the best in the world. And yeah. he wants a chance to kind of prove that with you know begging for rank to come in as well, making sure that he can be on the top of the leaderboards, and you can kind of see that with his, his gameplay. Here. I mean, he's just, he, and the crazy thing about it, and look, this will be a conversation point that will be echoed across the next handful of months is, you know, controllers versus playing just just on phones or right. tablets with fingers like <laughs> you look at the gameplay and you say you know especially for you guys who have been doing a lot of stuff with world series of warzone right. this is just right up there in terms of the same type of movement you like to see oh sliding jumping you able to bounce in fast yeah, plates right. i mean he's just doing it all at the same level as a normal controller player would so he's he's finessing he said 16 eliminations by the way just want to point that out casual just casual 16 what is the record going to be i don't know I, maybe we can keep track of that production if we know 17 at this point in time which is pretty nutty uh, i think on the bingo sheet so the most we've seen is 15 so far on the broadcast right so he's already beat that he's at 17 at the moment which is pretty nutty tim i don't know how many he had probably uh, two maybe maybe two okay you know that that's probably a healthy amount but uh god bless him for being here and i do believe we're getting down to end zone so we're we could also be seeing a victory here relatively soon which is pretty special. We just we just got up here. Yeah. You can see him rotating right now out to the kind of basically as far out as you can go in the tree line here, which is a great spot. Can, it can be a really good spot, and it also if you're not prepared for these fights, it can also be a very dangerous spot. But I feel like somebody in his skill level and range, this is ideal for him. This is the hunter's kind of area. He's got high ground. He's got zone to his back. He's got OB to his right. I mean, this is literally just read and respond in terms of wherever the last couple of players are. And you know, again, just kind of we'll learn throughout the day what people like for loadouts but this is an ar smg setup just like you would normally see in right. dance so it's very much so it's supposed to be mid to close range battle that we're looking for out of them uh, it just comes down to again finding these last couple of players and more importantly how many are left it looks like there's maybe five left yeah I think, I think there's three that he's got to deal with okay. maybe, maybe three or four that he's got to deal with and he really doesn't want to push it it's just such an open field like that but luckily he is going to be on top oh yeah absolutely you know whoever's in that in position in that low ground is going to have such a tough time here yeah, actually, he's in a really good position right now. Obviously, with the circle coming in, he's got the gas mask equipped. But towards his right-hand side, he knows he doesn't have to really worry about it. No, yeah, it's OB, yeah. He's totally out of bounds. Uh, so he's in a really, really nice position right now, waiting for the circle. I'm just it's curious to see kind of how his competitive brain works. And you will start to see things that you want to adopt in your own gameplay. Well, sure. And the thing is, he's no stranger to playing Battle Royale modes. I mean, it's not a new thing in terms of seeing in Call of Duty, whether it be on mobile or not. So, yeah, you can even hear Tim's kind of just talking it through oh, with them in terms of where are these last players? How do you want to move to this next circle? Because he's really close, but he does have to go back up this hill again. So this is tough. This is a tough setup. This is... 
almost becoming an impossible situation. He can't play it up at the moment, Wait, which is tough. He's got a player holding him down. I believe he was sniped just a second ago. Player is going to be in front, so this is good for him. Yeah. He's on the hunt. This guy wants it, Ferg. Looking to clutch it up for Tim. Give him a victory early on. And that's going to be one more. I think, nope. oh, how many? Maybe two more to deal with. Yeah, it's hard to see. Gets a read on the second, no worries. Oh, yeah. Oh there, you know, gas mask animation. Yeah, that's the most unlucky. Oh, self rise it's not over with. He can get back in. This guy's still gone. The guy's going to be down. Hold up. He's got to reload, though. If he didn't have to reload, that's an easy elim. <laughs> Fern, come on, you got this. He, he's literally surrounded right now. He has a player either side of him. Yeah, he sure does. Looking at the minimap, there's that's very two players but on They're not side. shooting him. They know where he's at. They have to know where he's at. Zone is just continually pulling top two. That's Tim's calling it too. As I said, the zone keeps pushing him further and further out into the open. Tim is his like conscience right now. Oh, yeah. Just trying to. You know, Tim's good for that. Morale booster. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Oh, he was only able to get this one is a plate good clear. on. Yeah. I mean, he also can't have too much of that gas mask left either. This guy's a mountain goat. He's got about half of it by the look of it. He does? I yeah. See. It's a bottom middle. Ah, I see. Oh, no, he's chilling. All right, I'm calling an Alfred wins this 100%. He, uh, granted, he only has one play, but he's winning this. There's no way. His positioning is right. It is great. It's perfect. It just comes down to how much of this slope is actually playable. Because you saw him try to, like, grind up half of it, but... Looks like someone clustered it, though. I help. Or... Or actually is that a, oh, he's got him. So there is a guy to his right. There's a mortar strike <laughs> called in, sniped oh. again. What, where's this? Where's the sniper? He's on top of this ridge. Has it's to be. Yes, sir. Is it, it, yeah, one v one right now. Oh no. This is oh, not good. God. Oh, this is oh, tough. Sure. Wait, does he get the jump on him though? He's gonna flank. He is those. he flanking? Ah! Nate <laughs> out. Okay, hold up a sec. He sees him. No way. No good way. shots. No way. Great no shots. Good wow, down. Dude. Easy finish. That was a hell of a win. I've never oh, seen oh, oh, it. Oh, got it. Respect. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, bro. <laughs> don't, 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 don't play around too much. There we go, baby. That was sick. That was actually dope. I'm not joking. Yeah, my, my jaw was on the floor at that point. I was like, what is about to happen here? Oh, that was perfect. That was sick. Played perfectly. But, but, but wasn't doable if it wasn't for Tim's comms. <laughs> Tim, Tim the Tapman, his, his comms there is what made that win possible. I just want to point that out. Give him credit. I, I want to go I want to go back, though, again, like how he plays through that situation. We can credit the individuals all we want, but this is a guy on mobile likely playing up against someone else with mobile or controller, and you would never have guessed if you were to take away the interface That's right. that he's playing on mobile. Yeah, because it, it's so smooth, like, so smooth. like like Lottie was saying, right? It's, it's so smooth. Nuts, Absolutely. Yeah. And you can, I mean, you literally see it. It's like, it is so smooth. Uh, it, it, Honestly, amazes me. I don't know how you are able to do that. I mean, that's got to be just pure hours. Pure oh, for hours. sure. I mean, that's all he does. That's all he yeah. does for years. That's absolutely incredible years. stuff. I love to see all of that and those clutch moments too, which are amazing. I think for me, something that I'm learning quite slowly is being able to have things in your back pocket to pull out when you need to. Having that self revive just saved yeah, the day for me. It, it quite literally did. Um, and obviously, that, and lucky with the the animation for the gas mask the gas man, yeah. being pulled on, but he was able to get out of that situation and then caught everyone else off guard. And the perfect rotate from him trying to get up to the higher ground cheeky little flank yeah and over and he finished like i think 19 eliminations which so is the highest the day, so top of the day 19 beating the, the previous record for today by you know four which was at 15 before so wonderful job i mean the thing is is like uh you know he has the smarts plus he already has the mobile playing ability so like he's going to be a powerhouse but everybody's going to get better from here i mean it's literally the first day so yeah, yeah. from this point the client i'm curious where the the limit the ceiling is going to be you know who is going because right now i do believe there's there's a player sitting at home competing Competing, or at least just you know grinding the game that we don't know we've never heard of before doesn't have the biggest brands but this title now is going to give the opportunity for you know that player at home to to truly make something of themselves which is which is awesome you know it's great you're talking about big brands and we're talking about incredible talent members we do have two exceptional young men coming to join us on the sofa right now we have swag and lucky chamu uh -oh. and chat to us about how they <laughs> approved this segment <laughs> what's up what's up, what's up, what's up dude? hey guys it was good what's, what's up, up how you doing all right it was good how you doing okay. good all right call hey, of duty boys. Warzone mobile fellas i mean lucky first of all you know, you guys have a great setup. You're streaming yeah. day one. How are you feeling about all of this excitement surrounding Warzone I mean, Mobile? 
I'm excited to like make my return to like Super Sore and Verdansk, and then uh, mm -hmm. when I'm warmed up, Rebirth is calling my name. So I'm about yes. to get <laughs> about to get crazy about my present. You know what oh, I mean? Man. He might not be able to hang on Rebirth, oh. but you know, Super Sore might, might be his lane. You know? I'm Verdansk, man. <laughs> Rebirth is cool, but I like Verdansk better. That's actually an interesting subject. So Swag, what is the difference for you in terms of preference to Verdansk as opposed to Rebirth? What uh, I think for me, it's just more so the satisfaction of winning. I feel like Rebirth is like a multiplayer. Like you just kind of get lost in it. It's good. For like if you if you're a like casual play, but Verdansk, I like it. yeah, casual. <laughs> uh, but if you like more competitive, the satisfaction of winning that dopamine, I, mm. I think for sure Verdansk. I like that. And then Lucky, what about you for Rebirth? Is it just because you can't hang the swag? It, he can't. He can't. He can't. I mean, <laughs> it's unfortunate. I mean, Chris is still reminiscent on his uh, Wars on One wins. So Come on, bro. Over here, no, but I, I don't know. They're both cool. I, I think they're both great. Two different experiences completely. Yeah. I just like Rebirth because, like, I'm very auntsy, so it's just yeah. very fast-paced, non-stop right. fighting, and then before you know it, resurgence closing. It's like, all right, hold on, let me, like, slow it down. Lock. You need your redeploys. I get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a KD check on Swag? I'll show you. I'll make sure I, you know, don't yeah, yeah. Thank, it. Thank We're you. watching you, Swag. Yeah. But let me say this, hey, Swag, to come to Lucky's defense, though, Lucky is a little demon. Wow. Hey, now listen, Lucky's a little demon. I've seen him slay out. He's put up some high numbers, and his yeah. energy he brings is pretty incredible. But granted, you both were at World Series Wars on Global Finals. Yep. But one was playing and one wasn't. Ooh, so, uh, wow. But, Why did you do that? But, hey, oh, no, no, listen, wow. but, but you, you were putting on one of the best shows out there. Wow. Well, I did, I did win a solo YOLO, though. He did, did win a solo YOLO. Win. Oh. He won a solo yellow at the at the optic event. At the optic event, yours extend. I, I, won, I was there and I was casting. I had to show up. Oh, but you you won a map. You didn't win the whole thing, no. No, no, but but he but he won a good chunk of change. What place you get? I need a play now. <laughs> oh, World Series. Man, I'm <laughs> oh, see, I, no, I'm not I'm not going that far. I'm not going. That's crazy. I'm not going that far. You know, you did, you did. I mean, you technically win if you make it because what was that? Like five qualifiers. It, it was, it was, it was, was It was a gauntlet for sure. So I can't wait to see like if there's going to be, we don't know, right? Any any competition here ranked? I think. I'm about to say, you about to confirm it? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, 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 I do not have that power. I do not have that power. But uh, Ferg was saying, you know, he hopes some ranked is is going to happen. You know, but, which which would be great. So you guys, so the both of you, controller or thumbs? Yeah, controller, of course. For sure. Control. Controller? Yeah. 1,000. Have you guys tried I'm just fingers though, so far though? Yeah, I've tried it, you know, as I'm getting older, the arthritis is <laughs> oh. That's a fact. Yeah, so I think for me, controller is just more like, uh, this is better for me. That's fair. Yeah. Have you always been controller? Always, yeah. yeah. I've never. It's so hard to revert to something else. Like, I literally, even PC stuff, I can't. Like, master key? I yeah, can't. yeah, I just can't do it. Like, I have to. There's something about controller that feels so, like, at home. Mm. But yeah, I've got to say, though, hats off to the mobile players because I just, there's no way I could do that. So, have you guys had a chance to play with or know that you've played up against anyone who's, like, straight mobile? Like, have you guys felt much of, like, a skill difference between players that are on tablet or phone versus playing up the controller? I think uh, I went to London for Wars of Mobile a sure. while back, and I was the only controller player there. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm going into it. And I didn't know anything, like, prior to, like, a lot of, like, the mobile content creators, but watching those guys play is it's insane. insane. <laughs> it, no, it, like, the, the in-game, like, what people see, like, as a viewer at home, they don't even see, like, half. Like, when you're watching it in person, yep. it's insane. Like, so, like, props to them. Oh, my God, seven-finger clock. Claws. Like, where did the finger come Boy. from? How did this guy get it on his iPad? The evolution insane. is crazy. Isn't it? It's insane. <laughs> but I think when it comes to actual like skill gap between both players, I think it's the same thing with mouse and keyboard. I think each of them are going to have their strengths and stuff like that. I think yeah. there's a lot easier to flick when you're, you know, I'd be seeing them flick crazy like their mm -hmm. mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, you know, we have aim assist, a little bit more comfortable play. So I think uh, they all have their pros and cons to it. But I I'm controller for life. Yeah. How are you guys feeling about cross progression? Because I think that's really cool. Like, I think especially for the casual player who, you know, a, a new game drops or they want to get on they want to grind their their battle pass their tears yeah and then to be able to like do that on the on the go like say you got a family vacation you're like um i can't take anything there's and a new update yeah. 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 And you're like, i'm gonna literally miss out i'm gonna go home and i'm be so far behind like all my friends like that is so big so do you guys see yourself also like kind of jumping onto mobile and just at least you know leveling up and stuff for sure i think it's awesome you know i was just talking with lucky earlier i was like it'd be cool if like like they drop like exclusive only guns or yeah. skins 
hands that you can only get on mobile, but so if you do it, you can use it. Yeah. It's like, almost like if you're on, like, console or PC, you can kind of flex. Like, I got flex, this. exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think it's cool, and uh, like I said, like, when you're away from your setup, you know, an update happens, or you want to level up a gun, you can just do it while you're on a flight or on a vacation, stuff like that. It's cool. On a flight? You know how crazy that would be? On a flight, you, you can maybe do it. If you're Yo, paying for the Wi-Fi package. For sure. <laughs> you never know. Can you imagine? <laughs> Bro, that would be nuts. And if you could find a way to stream as well when you're on the flight, like I, I understand there's limitations with Wi Fi, but that would Winning be crazy. A game dude, wars, on, a plane. on a plane. That's your next video. <laughs> dude, there it is. That's your uh, next wait. video. Do it in a, do it in, a uh, in and out drive thru. Do it in crazy. just a bunch of places. A PJ. Who? You. I'm PJ. A PJ. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly? I can tell you. Private. Ooh, hold on. Hey, I gotta start streaming again soon. Nah, but I don't know. Warzone Mobile. The cross progression, like, okay, so for example, like, yesterday I was all day recording, and I didn't have time to level up, like, their newer weapon, the the battle rifle that came out. The best. Yeah. I saw yeah, your yeah. video on it, yeah, yeah. and I was like, damn, and then I got off stream, and then I was getting ready for bed and stuff like that. I'm like, damn, I, I know it's a couple challenges away. I wish I could just, like, boot up real quick, and, and now you can. Yeah. So it's so it's so helpful from, like, a content creator standpoint, or if you just want to, like, kick it and just, like, want to play some games and stuff like that, you want to get on a PC and stuff like that, I just like the how easy it is to access it, and so, the cross progression helps out so much. I do have a question. Actually, I don't know if anybody here knows because I don't know for sure yet. Uh, so I know when it comes to like doing your dailies or doing like you know challenges, there's specific challenges for for zombies, there's specific challenges for multiplayer, there's specific challenges for Warzone. Do you know if there's like specific challenges for Warzone Mobile as well? So like you're gonna have four uh, different ways, four different ways to you know get your challenges done, especially for like the weeklies that are current. Like you know you unlock the new sites, you unlock yeah, the new weapons. Sure. So I mean because that gives you potentially like. How many is it? Like eight additional challenges yeah, yeah, that you yeah. can complete, yeah. making it much quicker and faster. So I don't know if that's a thing for sure, but like if it insane. was, that would be crazy. Yeah. Did you drop Intel? I think you dropped oh, Intel. I'm not, I do not have that power, bro. I'm, I'm not that important. Leaks over here, man. <laughs> just, just an idea, man. I'm just curious. That'd be insane though, yeah. because like you know, level up the guns and stuff like that. But let alone unlock them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's crazy too, because you know that's that's the first part you gotta do is unlock them. Right. That, that could take some time. I mean, it does, yeah. Yeah, jump on different maps and stuff like that. But if you do it on your phone, psh, come on. Can you imagine doing camo challenges as well? Cross progressing over? You can, yeah. Yeah, you can. Well, you yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Cross I'm progression. <laughs> I'm totally. I mean, I'm it's saying. Perfect. To it's do perfect. You're, just, you're chilling with your friends and you're just on a sofa and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to quickly just go on a camo. Yeah, I'm just going to get your desk real quick. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely perfect. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's so cool, man. Uh, Warzone Mobile is, is, is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. So, first challenge, though, for you two. Like, what, what are you really wanting? Like, you gotta make a content video, you gotta make a content piece. What's your first content piece challenge wise? Mm. We'll drop a 30 bomb. 30 Ooh, bomb? That's a we saw 19 just a 19, second ago. Yeah. From who? From who? From, from Berg. 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 He had 19. With a win. With a win. Well, yeah. With the most today? Ooh. Most today. 15 was the most, and then 19, and Ferg just hit it. Oh. One of us gotta get it, right? 19? You can get 30. You got chance me, though. Like Ooh, you gotta help me. Like, just tag the players a little me? bit. Let me finish them off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is this wars on one. This wars on one swag right here. <laughs> <laughs> you. you clearly know each other pretty well. Yeah, yeah I've I How met Chris back in Wars on One. Yeah, yeah, so we I met him through Booyah, and we said we played all the time back in Verdance all the time. Like, so I've known. I want to know you. Three years? How long has our relationship Too been? Long. <laughs> Too long. Too long. Now, so I've known Chris for a minute. So it's cool. Like, I mean, since the last time we jumped into Ver Verdance, I mean, it's been like. Pfft way too long and now now we can do it again so uh it'll be a lot of fun and uh i don't know if i'm gonna let him get that kill record yeah uh, it seems yeah. like a competition now so i might, I might be shooting Come on, for man. Like i'm here 30. for this it's 30. head to head so anyway, i'll let you get the 20 i'll get the 30. Oh. Ah, okay 20 30. Uh, <laughs> but now you talk that big game let's see if you can back it up Ooh. talking about seeing it i want to let you guys go get back into the action get on your streams get everything settle down and have some fun but thank you so much for coming on and yeah cheers boys appreciate, appreciate it. you guys, you guys it's always good to see you yeah. Yeah. yeah and good luck and i want to see some kill records okay let's, let's do it come on we got a head to head yeah. now that's the thing we, we got we, we got to track have, this like a friendly rivalry happening yeah. i'm kind of loving that today. well i i I love that that swag brought that energy like, you know, I'm better than Lucky and this and that, but he's also asking Lucky for help. Like, yo, you you get the damage 99%, I'll get that last 1%. I'll throw I'll throw the rock in the gulag. It's the real truth in that by the end of the interview it's like, but you will help me, right? You will help me. No, it's literally it's, it's 80% how you say it, 20% what you say, so. Good friendship, good friendship. We're jumping back into some gameplay right now on with Marley 13. And we've got a little sniper action happening, which I'm really excited for. Yeah. I just, there's something about watching somebody pop off with a sniper. Rooftop battle's happening. 
Didn't quite get that shot, but could be. Yeah. Oh, there it is, baby. I'm not going to lie. I'm watching this, and I'm instantly getting PTSD. I forgot how crazy rooftop battles in downtown were. Yes. Oh, my God. Nuts. And even like now, right, coming up the zip, you got to keep your head on a swivel, and that's exactly what Marley was able to do. Rooftop fights are back, and I can't wait to see our first end zone. Dude, I remember when the zip lines were first put in, right? I got claymored so much. <laughs> so much, yeah. and then just the camping. <laughs> yeah. the oh yeah, was insane. I mean, I know it's still uh, probably going to be a little bit prevalent now, oh, yeah. but it's just not as much. I think it's more of a head on a swivel. Who's up on that rooftop? Okay, if you can get there first, that's great. But it is a dangerous game to be playing halfway through for sure. It, it's 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 always scary going up one of those uh, trying to get up to the roof. You get up there and like uh, you know, Shift said, you've got the claymore, the bouncing yeah. baddie just waiting hey, on you, dude, and you're just you're fried. Up the elevator, up the elevator. Outside. I, oh out, man, out, 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 out. I legitimately just like aged three years rethinking about <laughs> the amount of stress I went through trying to push people on rooftops in downtown. Sniping on this on Warzone Mobile. I also love how there are very, very firm different ways to play. Oh yeah. People, you can just tell right now, like Molly's just chilling out on a rooftop, just doing his thing, just watching out. You know, he's obviously early doors here, but I like the fact that it's a very relaxed kind of environment for him. All he has to worry about essentially is not getting your face ripped off, but also that door on the way up as well, getting you know sneak attacked essentially on the flank. Absolutely. But I do love the fact that people have different forms of gameplay. Like we'll probably see some really aggressive squads coming through. Who are just churning and burning and trying to get a bunch of kills all the way to the win. The more aggressive, the better. Look, it's always really funny because I was like, when you do, when you hear Lucky and Swag talk about the game, the one thing I always try to keep in the back of my mind is that they play a very different game than I do. Mm. Like, whenever you watch those guys jump in, like Warzone yeah. One Swag, right. or like when Tommy Allman and Noobs were just yes. helicoptering all across the map, they play such a different game it is. than I think the average player does. And we're going to, of course, we're going to see a lot of that. We're going to hit a lot of the aggression, I think, early, especially if we start throwing kill race things at these guys they're gonna go back to their roots it's like riding a bike find the nearest helicopter right get an smg ar and just run at people and, and so that's the thing just to elaborate a bit more on that like they play a different game what does that mean well yeah I mean, they're trying to drop 30 bombs we're trying to get a victory right you know we're, stay alive and, and that's the two different styles right for the average player you know if they can get maybe like you know five to ten eliminations in one game they're happy i'm happy you know but it's like i, I really chase that dream of getting first play but for them, first place is almost a guarantee. Yeah. That's boring to them, right? They want to go out and get 30 and, and you know, kill records and, and really challenge themselves, but they're just on a different level. Now, will that translate today on mobile? That's the question. Yeah. You know, and, and, and we're going to find out for sure because they talked a big game, but it, it really is a different game at the top level. I'm going to be curious as well to kind of re chat with those guys when they've gotten a couple hours under their belt because, like we talked about, cross progressions a lot. And yeah. so they're going to have a lot of leveled up weapons that they're used to playing with a bunch. But how do those weapons feel on Verdansk as compared to when they play at home on their normal setups? You know, is there going to be a different style, different setup in terms of, you know, utilizing different weapons because of Verdansk as compared to what they're normally used to now? So HRM9 is meta, sure. AMR9 meta, RAM7, right? You know, Baspi comes out, the new Jack Outlaw kit, you know, kind of made that viable. Baspi was always, you know, super powerful, but uh, the Bruin long range, Lottie, one of your favorite oh weapons because you just love just sending, you know, yeah. tracers down range but it's uh I, I i am curious that's a great question because it's like what will the meta be on mobile right. will it be different will it not be different will the weapon balancing be different will it be the same right and i think now we're, we're not going to get like solidified answers throughout you know the broadcast but we're for sure going to be seeing i think everybody kind of mess around and yeah. find that new meta 100 percent. and actually i'm pretty sure warzone mobile are relying on that just hearing Chris talk earlier, he talked about the weapon balancing, kind of the the way that they're handling that, and it and it's done so beautifully. Mm. I think they already have something so solid going on. They are going to be listening to how it all reacts. How does it mm -hmm. feel? What does the balance feel like currently? Yeah. Is there a, a balance difference between mobile and you know PC versus console? Right. How does that work? How can we find the best kind of I don't know sweet spot, yeah. so to speak? Right. Yeah. And and I love the fact that that is that is an ongoing. Thing, something that they already have day one they're looking at it talking about it and taking feedback and that's huge and the other thing that's really curious and this is more of a philosophical question
question to, uh -oh. like what the devs want to do with the game is do they want this to feel more like a legacy game where you've got all of the nostalgia and flashbacks of things that were super popular and famous when Verdansk was around like do you rebuff the M4 to make that whole meta come back to life again like we had seen or is this going to be something that is going to live on its own it's going to have its own unique identity and right. I, I do think you know with things like Verdansk and Rebirth Island being it, it does kind of touch on those legacy points but right. I mean you jump into the multiplayer modes and you've got I played Scrapyard Hardpoint earlier right. today right. so it was just like am I playing Modern Warfare 2 again like right. there's just so many cool elements to make the game feel dynamic and that's where I think the curiosity point for me lies is what will become popular and how do you kind of tailor the game towards that yeah I, th I think now it the right the right move was to do Verdansk you know oh for bring, sure bring for that sure. back in bring that hype back in for sure and then you know from there if it wants to create its own identity over time then we you know start creating that you know granted the, the developers they got a big brain we you know we're, we're just talking heads yeah. on the desk right but I, I do love the uh, direction that they're going with and by the way pre-lobby I just want to say this uh, obviously we're not there but even in pre-lobby you can earn uh weapon progression yeah yeah, yeah. which, I've is, seen that. which yeah. is really really cool uh obviously you can do that in a regular game too but they, they really did think of everything we're seeing right now in terms of the different different gameplay that we've been talking about talk about aggression yeah. i don't care if, if anyone hears me i'm gonna shoot this chopper down um i also <laughs> have a most wanted on okay. and yeah what? having the best the best time like this guy oh he's got oh, most wanted tim's gone now tim, oh, okay it was dabs but gotcha yeah but we're gonna actually do a little listening to tim the town and see if he has that type of aggression we just saw from dabs and uh, we'll have a little look at his gameplay Scan. It was. It was dope, actually. You should have recorded the mixtape, bro. Why do I drop my gun right there? You're, you're right, bro. That's, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's an example. I I tapped X and it just dropped it, but you usually have to hold. I was trying to reload. You know. Ah, okay, okay. Must be yeah. a setting. Enemy it definitely is. Yeah. Landed above us. Break out. Sure. There's a zip line over here to your left. Is left it? side of the building. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a lot of people in here. There should be two more. I got the guy under. Let's go. It wasn't pretty. We got him. Doesn't need to be pretty, Timmy. So how do you chat on a controller? How do you look around and put armor on if I'm holding Y? It, dude, it must be one of my paddles. Wait. closing in. Is that it? I mean, there's a guy near you. And I don't know exactly where he is, but he's near you for sure. Enemy dropping into the AO. He jumped down, he jumped down, he's in front of us. Oh, I died to the side. Oh, well, I think I just had terrible COD timing on that. <laughs> I've never seen you actually. Nah, yeah, nah, I've never seen you lose this because it's Warzone right. Mobile. You got it. Like, on, Tim. Right there, I can't look around while I'm fighting. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> got gas in I'm there. not sure I control it. Ooh, look at that spot right there. It's kind of elite. I can actually win this. Hang on. Yeah, you got this, bro. Lock it in. Gas is closing in. Oh. <gasps> Run away from Tim. You got this. I should have went left, bro. That was actually body of me. We lost that guy had your skin. Are you really? Yeah, guy in, on the boat. Yeah, you had your skin, bro. The guy who came to your left. That's what I was going to say. Tim knocked him. Uh, I should have won that. <laughs> nah, you played well. You I should have won bro. that. But, dude, that's what I mean. Like, I, my That's probably the most one. useful perk, dude. Honestly, high alert. There he is running. Hit him one time. I'm gonna go around. Poor guy. Probably trying to recall. Finally. Daddy Noah. All right, buddy.
Yo, type one if you're waiting for the, the, the code for the operator skin. These guys have the high ground, 100%. Yep. We gotta push them before it gets too late. Esqueci o nome dela agora. Se eu tirar nesse barril aqui. Hum, não acontece nada. Entendi. Agora eu entendi. Eu vou atrás desse cara, vocês sabem, né? Ele veio pra cá. Ó. Sabe o que é osso, galera? Eu tô jogando solo versus squad. E meu time todo quitou, velho. Sério, eu tô carregando muito, tá ligado? Sempre eu fico vivo no final, sempre meu time quita. Sempre só eu faço as kills. O negócio tá complicado é que eu preciso de uma equipe que jogue bem, velho. É, pelo visto ele passou direto, né? Calma aí, paizão. Cadê essa lenda? Opa. Tá rolando um tiroteio por aqui. Moleque, eu não sei o que é. Não quero saber. Tenho raiva de quem sabe. O negócio tá explodindo, velho. Olha isso, tá explodindo muito. Ó, o cara morreu. 19, 18. Cara, e matou três pessoas, mano. Tá, eu tenho 8 mil reais. O que, que eu faço? Dá pra comprar alguma coisa? Tem uma loja aqui, ó. Vou na loja, chat. Achei uma estação de compra. Eu que achei. Eu vou na loja, chat. Tem alguém por aqui, vou pegar a 12. Tá botando tiro aqui. Tô escutando, chat. Tô escutando alguém aqui. Mano, esse cara tá por aqui, velho. I'm just better, buddy. Uh oh. I'm sorry, dude. I tried. Ah, mano, o jogo lançou ontem, viado, e já tá rolando o campeonato. Os caras dando a vida, mano. Ô, jogador de ranqueada, miserável. Eu tô solo, velho. Eu tô aprendendo a jogar parada, os caras. Comigo? Comigo na casa? Tô, vou fazer um HE, vou fazer um HE. Correu, correu por trás, vai pro lado. What gun is in my hand that I'm not getting a kill right there? Okay, wait, bro. There's literally there's a guy on the roof that's YY slide canceling, and he's a fucking demon. I'm not kidding. Dude, I'm not kidding. The kill cam I just saw, I would have thought I was like, literally, I would have thought I was watching a normal Rebirth Island demon. Well, that's the thing. You can because it's just controller. Like those guys are on right now, you know, because they all want to play Rebirth like you do. They joined us. I mean, I love Rebirth, bro. So fun. What's your feel? If you can only bring back one. Well, I'm bringing back for dance, bro. Yeah. I got the, I got him. I got him. I got the really good player on the roof. Oh yeah, he's a Japanese or something, I think. He's one bullet, bro. Getting lit up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he was literally... That's what he was twisted.
All right, folks, so Lucky and Swag are actually currently just about to drop in, mm. and they were talking quite the big game up here against one another. Yes, they were. So I really want to see exactly what these two fellas have gotten. As you can see, guess where they've dropped? Oh, <laughs> no one was surprised. No and look, surprises. we don't have this on the, on the production docket, but this is currently the highlight matchup of the day. <laughs> Who gets the most kills in their first Warzone mobile drop. That's what I want to know. Yeah, we started something. We absolutely started. And, we, and I don't know if you can see us in the background of uh, background of Lucky's. <laughs> but we are here, um, and we are watching. And I'm I'm hoping that oh, I don't know who are we rooting for here, Lucky or Swag. I it's I no no bias. I'm I'm a non-biased caster. All right. Non-biased. Oh, Non-biased caster. First time you ever said that, Chefs. No, I said it every I'm day. Joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm actually, it's in my Twitter bio. Is it actually? No, but okay. I'm about to say what? <laughs> Why would you have that? Uh, yo, uh, this kind of. I don't know. On it for me. Behind me. If I had to pick, if I. What is oh. going on? Oh. No idea. All right, so if Lucky, okay, if Lucky doesn't drop a thirty bum here, there's no excuse. Uh, I just want. It was just one. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see what Lucky could do. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the easiest kill ever kill seen. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I that, say that's like no me. Disrespect, just the guy was looking at the floor. That's, that's it. me in my first drop. <laughs> what is this weapon? What does it do? Is it good? I was like, what, what ammo type does it take? <laughs> so, Superstore is interesting because from what I was hearing earlier, I think Ferg was talking about it. It's not as popular. Um, just people really don't land there as sword. much anymore. So. Well, I mean, again, day one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, th I think people are trying to, you know, figure it out once again. Yeah, sure. L Lucky's on the hunt for sure. He's only got one, yeah, know, but if you're going to drop a 30 it. bomb, brother, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to go. Rotate out. Get yeah. that heli like you were saying. I Absolutely. Like hospital has been a little bit Hospital's fun. Today. Well, it's one yeah, of those things that, I, again, I, I have to say, like, right, as awesome. the first Warzone had come out, yeah, the Superstore is right in the middle of the map, so everyone dropped there. Right. But then there started to become this helicopter meta, so people started right. dropping where helicopters Life's were. So, like, hospitals started to get really big. Uh... So, I don't know. Maybe there's a little bit of lingering thoughts on that, but right. people will figure it out. It's actually, I'm not going to lie, it's very strange seeing Roof? the store so quiet. Oh, yeah. yeah. In fact, it's actually very, See, it's, it's like oh. a movie like that, because you expect action. When there is an action, you almost get a little bit too It's too quiet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no way. Oh, wow. Bro. I yeah. got dropped. I thought, I thought Lucky was about uh, to choke so hard in that moment. I think moment. he did too. I thought he was about to choke, so he's gonna figure out his stuff. Uh, you know, pretty. By the way, going on the hospital, it's right outside downtown, so I think that's a, another reason why it's so popular. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's right outside downtown, allows you to rotate it a little bit easier. That They're shooting over here. I was ask you as well, Reflections, is, is oh, in I'm terms me. of where you're actually dropping. Down mm -hmm. low, down low. Do you have, like, often I used to when I played with dance back in the day, but did okay. you have a game plan? I, I know, obviously, in terms mm -hmm. of circles, oh, front, that does front. dictate a lot of what you do in terms of rotations. Right. And Always I would on me, say Chris. later on, the, the kind of second half of the game is where you let the right game here. take you. Right. Um, nice. And try and get, you know, the kind of curve Come on, on that. Baby. But at the beginning, are you like, play. okay, team, this is where we're going. This is where we're going to go after that. Do you have a couple of different yeah, locations you want right to loot through? Um, and yeah, and yeah, you kind of dictate right your game that way. So. For me, military base for some reason was yeah. like was always my area to go to, and I have no idea why. It's just kind of I'm a creature of habit. I was gonna so say, I, it's a place from like <laughs> nostalgia for you. Nostal like, well, because right. because the, the army, yeah, right, yeah, military base. Feels at go, home, yeah. Whoa, you know, like no, uh, I don't, dude. I, you know, I just find the spot and I just learn every nook and cranny of that spot, and then that's where I go. But Lottie, that's a great question because it's like it, it depends first. Uh, you know, when it comes to competitors, it depends on the format of the event first and foremost. So Absolutely. If it's, if it's an elimination race do you want to drop pot if you drop pot you're going to have a super well potentially a super strong initial where you're picking up a ton of eliminations which sets you hopefully above the team that you're playing but it also that risk versus reward right you can also die early on now granted here you've got the gulag okay if you're playing regular verdansk if you're playing rebirth of course you got resurgence so you can continue to come back risk versus reward um, so you always have that gulag you can think about so you can afford to hot drop if you like if you're a team that's not as comfortable hot dropping and, and going for that 50 50 weapon off of the ground right then you start to land on the outskirts you get kitted up a little bit and then you you know start to rotate in for example like you know if you want to go hospital and then you want to rotate into downtown and start you know going through those rooftop fights that's something you can do too um if it's just straight like i want to survive i want to go for a placement multiplier right you know like depending on like world series of Warzone, something like that then there is value in not getting into those early engagements you want to preserve your life you want to try and go for that placement multiplier 
but I, I'm always a firm believer that regardless, a, a good balance is, is always needed. Yeah. Right? If it's too strong off the start, you're going to burn out fizzle out too quickly. It's hard to keep that intensity up. If you're too passive and too slow, the competition's going to blow you away. I think there's also something to be said in like using all of your resources in the first moment. Absolutely. I was going to say the exact same thing. I always believe in everything in life that you should everything in moderation, right? You, you want to try to have a little balance of everything in the mix. Because legitimately, there have been plenty of times that we've even seen some of the best players out there in public lobbies running kill races where they just run out of plates and all of a sudden you're going into a deep circle where you've got three different teams looking right. at you because you just don't have ammo, you don't have plates, you don't have don't UAV, like it whatever it happens to be. So, no, it, it's, it really is a personal preference thing. I mean, we saw a lot of teams when they were really, like, maximizing how to participate in these kill race tournaments that right. everyone drops in different locations and they try to go <laughs> one versus the POI and then if you drop, you just assume that your teammates are going to be able to buy you back. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's a lot of little differences in terms of play style things, but... Looks for these two guys, they're just kind of running and gunning no matter where they find themselves. They're, they're doing a great job. I mean, I'm going to give them credit. The vibes are high, as you expect. You know, Lucky got brought down a little bit earlier. Swag was there to get him picked back up, right? Ready to fight again. And these guys know the map. They're going back home. You heard on the on the couch a little bit earlier, like, how excited they were. They know this map like the back of their hands. They do. We love seeing some of the default, like, just, like, ground weapon fights as well. Like, right. No, just pure iron sight. There's nothing to it. There's no help here. And just absolutely beaming across that. Pretty talented, I'd say. Again, they play a different game than you and I do. Say that it's, much. it's just not. They just don't see it the same. No, they don't. They really, <laughs> they really don't. don't. Yes. I don't think a lot of people understand that too. Like you know, like casual players, like you know, like us, is just how good some of these competitors truly are. Oh, like not even, not even just you know from the from the mobile aspect. Just in general, their minds work differently. They've got that you know years of competitive experience. Uh, you know, playing in person, playing in front of large audiences, that also has an effect. I don't know how deep and theoretical we want to gear because I can get super nerdy, but no, we get, but get but nerdy get get, get nerdy. Get well, you know, swag and lucky, they just got that experience. You know, playing yeah. on the biggest stages out there, playing in front of the biggest crowds. Uh, but I will say this, and, and I think we can all agree on this, what makes a good competitor great or a professional is their ability to adapt. And I think that's so important now with Warzone Mobile Red. Just came out, you're relearning yeah. Verdansk again. You're going back to it. Maybe you're learning, you know, uh, you know, different input consistencies. You're learning how to play with your fingers. Like, all of this stuff plays a difference. And some of the best, like Lucky, Swag, Hawksnest, Ferg, like, you know, all of them, they can take that, have such a short readjustment period, and then start to dominate like they never they never left. It's almost like this game comes out at a really interesting time because you have all your old heads from the regular wars That's right, that yeah. are gonna know every little nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. I, I will say Verdansk is, I think, a more simple map in mm -hmm. terms of how the POIs are set up. You don't have 30 different types of buildings. You have, the houses are all pretty much the same. None of them are super high except for the ones in downtown. Right. But at the same front, you're also dealing with new age movement, right. new weapons right. that have been used in the current game they're coming off of so it's like you're taking what you know now versus what you knew then and trying to find a hybrid of it as i thought he was going to go for a car kill but this guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah just that's beneath players. them they want to pull out the gunny the comms are fantastic i also love how they have hype men behind them too that's true. They do have the hype man behind, which is actually pretty incredible. Uh, Chip, my hype man, dude. I'm always your hype man. When, when I'm playing later, constant hype. I'll do it to you too, Lottie. We got you. I will be nothing but hype woman. I love that. Okay. I love, love that. This. Send it. Nothing but hype woman. Talking about hype though, let's actually listen to these comms as we're getting into this really kind of lucky. Right here. lucky. <laughs> no. Absolutely destroyed, unfortunately. But let's hear how they regain maybe with this self res. Oh. Where'd you die at? Where'd you die at? Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV no. active. Your teammate is sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Come on! Come on! Different team, different team. Where's the guy kill Lucky? Lucky, where was he at? Stand by. In here? Like up the stairs? Like I holding the stairs? Two. Not anymore. Did I kill Bounty? I'm gonna get a Yui. Got hella bread.
Why? You got audio? Oh. Uh, that's insanity. So you have to, so you have to buy the, use the buy station. Okay. Yui, Yui. Yui. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Oh my god, behind us and in uh, yeah, yeah, behind us and... Yeah, I know, I want these kills though, low-key. Yeah, but I got a car, hold on, hold on. It's not mine. Alright, I'm gonna come around, Chris. I'm gonna come around. I'm not with. No, I don't know. I have no ammo. I can't jump. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello behind me. Hello behind me. Hold on. No, let's fight him. Let's fight him. They're on the open. By the trees, to the right. Enemy Another one coming in from stadium, Chris. More stadium, more stadium, more stadium. I got lit. To our right. Got. He's behind that tree in front of you. Another one to the left tree, another one to the left tree. They're all hiding. Yep, weak. Smack, 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 smack. Smack. Got him down. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Smack, smack, smack. You smacked him? No, 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 no. Let's go. Got him out. Where? 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 Bye. Oh, I got, I got smack, smack, smack. I don't know. To our left, to our left. I got sniped. I got sniped. Yeah. Um, I have zero too. All right, folks. So I'm just tuning in right now. I'm trying to sneak behind. Look, I want to speak to you, Me? sir. Yes, okay, you. Okay. You. You are the moment. We're seeing you hyping these boys up. So first of all, what's your name? Jay Smooth. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Welcome, Jay Smooth. Um, so, role here, is it to be the hype man? Are you coach? Are you just hype man? I think I'm hype man. I'm hype man today. They, they got it. They got the comms going on right now. We just want to see them break PRs. What's the most kills today? I heard 15, right? 19. 19? I need 20 out of these guys. One of them. Well, one call for 20, and Lucky called 30. Well, Lucky, he's been having bad aim mostly recently, so he needs to turn it up. But you got it. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. Okay, so... As the hype man with your role, what what do you do? Is there is there a time that you get hype? Is there a time that you try and calm them down? What's nah, the kind of tactic? I think I think we just give them immense confidence, and I just yap, just just yap, just be the number one yapper. Just say anything and everything that makes it work. You know what I mean? I love that number one yapper. So in terms of their gameplay, how different are these two? One aggressive, one support, one kind of sits back and kind of just fires you know mags into people for support. One's a cleanup. I think they're both as aggressive that's why they work well pretty to get much together but lucky's a little bit more strategic i think swag on the other hand we just say hey your gun my gun who's gonna win that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense and do you have a favorite because they're up there having a friendly rivalry so do you have a favorite to hype up well you know luke squad i mean it'd be kind of biased to not say swag but i do love lucky but i do love swag so i it's hard to say both but i i, I take swag I like this running in with him, dying, you know, trying to get my gun up. So I like that more. I love that. I lo well, I just want to say you're a fantastic hype man, Jason. Right Keep it up, okay, because we do want to see a lead in kills here. So 20, 30, we've got it. You think it's going to happen by the end of today? It needs to happen by like the next three games, or I'm going to kick him out the house and I'm going to take out his router so he won't stream for a month. Everything's on the table, folks. We're going to head back to the couch now. Thank you, Jay Smooth. Back to your, back to your hype man duties. Uh, let's go back to the couch right now. So we can right, talk so to the right, lads so about the hype, man. We've seen close, him in action. Close, close, close. So, fellas, 
What do you make of Jay Smooth? Uh, Jay Smooth seems to have at least the proper balance of persistence while also keeping real expectations because he says Lucky's not got the straightest of aim, but he's on 14. <laughs> so, I mean, he's, he's up there. I mean, first game on, 14. You know, it's not bad. He's cooking a little bit. That's not, I didn't realize it was Jay Smooth. Jay Smooth is awesome. So the fact that he's back there, he's able to support and also get some comms is great. And by the way, 15. He's cruising. 50, you know, it's not bad. Still plenty of teams left, too. Still plenty of teams. Tons of opportunity. And also, basically, first drop in today. Yeah, it literally, is literally, first literally drop. the yeah. first drop. Imagine this is the warm-up. Oh, baby. I mean, 13 might actually on, not be a bad shout at some point today. Combined total, for sure. Combined total, they're on, they're, I mean, they're yeah. not fully on pace, but I think uh, when we looked at Swaggy, like, eight. Did he have eight? Yeah, something like that. But, I mean, 16, first game on. It's not bad. Drop together. Yeah, it's not bad. I can't remember who it was. Was it Lucky or Swag who said 20? I mean, the definite Lucky said 20. 20. Yeah, Lucky, Lucky said, said 20. 20. Lucky said 20. Swag is like, nah, 30. We're okay. going for 30. Okay. So 20, 20 for sure. 20 right, this game? Right. Mm, there's only no. 20. Well, I don't know. It's still doable. It's, it's still, still doable. doable. There's four still players doable. they could take out. He needs to get all four of them. Yes. I got, I got Daddy. I can make a play. Yeah, Swag's got eight. eight. He's got eight. It's done. No? Well, well combined it, it 20. Combined 20, but they want individual. They wanted, yeah, they were talking smack between each other, this, playful this banter. Indiv individually. I see, I see but I will say this, yeah, Swag's this ability yeah, to Daddy. scream get smack get mixy, every mixy. time he hits a bullet. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> legitimately, I don't, I've, we've heard people matter, like, but, through like the CDLs, yeah, I'm like, oh, he's got slammed. Right. I don't think I've ever heard someone say smack, 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 slam, slam, slam. Who needs a hit marker sounds? Oh, turned on. Wow. That's my Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those plates back no, in no, as well. I didn't get that one, I didn't get that one, I didn't get that one. It's just really fun too to like you could hear the just have... raw enjoyment they have playing right. this map again. You know something I'm actually loving as well that I've noticed uh, coming from, you know, competitive oh FPS God, games mm. is Lucky noticing him kind of screen watching a little bit too, which is huge <laughs> for like a LAN environment. Right and here. obviously they're playing right next to each other. Right. So him leaning leaning over when he is, you know, chilling, but just seeing what Swag's up to and how he's getting on is a really, really big thing. And that's something that's nice to be able to play with each other, which again, coming into Warzone Mobile, if you're going to play with your mates on the sofa, on the couch. That's true. You could absolutely look at each other's POV at times. Well, think about this. This too, and I don't know if we've really even had a mention, the mention of this, but like, not only is the game's ability to log on and play super accessible, right? Think about their ability to also stream at the same time if they're on a remote setup. You don't have to bring your whole PC. Really, you just need a laptop with some sort of a USB port. To That's it. Pull a capture card. Right. That's super it. Simple. It's perfect. Super simple. You could travel. I mean, for these guys, they travel wow. a bunch. I mean, they could still create their content. They could still fire up their live streams while also still being in a competitive world. As looks like they're about to clean it up. I think they are. Nice slide Come in, on, nice finish, yeah. and boom, the reaction. Come on. Let's go. Game Check, in. Give me a w, give me a w and they get that, they're getting hype over there, by the way. Buddy, they buddy, are. buddy. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, he's ready for another one, bro. Come on. So I, I think 18 is what uh, what Lucky, Lucky finished, finished off, and then I think Swag was around 9 or 10. Like 9 or 10, yeah. So not a bad literal first, first game. Drop. Literal first drop of the sauce day. Is crazy, would it? And they uh, and they already matched what Ferg put up just a little bit earlier, which was Come our. On, uh, so right now, 19 is still on, individual. individually the uh, the ceiling at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what. Another streamer we want to check in with is of course Tim the Tapman. Of course. As you know, he is streaming right now. I want to see what he's up to, how he's getting on, because we just saw pure perfection on the first drop there from Swag and Lucky. So Tim is also cleaning up shop here as well, which is impressive stuff, not falling off the map right now. Are we sure Tim's playing on a controller? Because his aim is all <laughs> over the place. Well, that's, that's, he is, that's but... I'm par for the course, though, you gotta understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm par for the... But I will say, there's a noticeable improvement from when we first uh, got in and he was already dead to now, like he's actually <laughs> getting cleanups. He's got, what, four eliminations now. Tim, the cool thing about Tim is like a lot of people may not know this because he he's been streaming now for for a decade. Ever, you know, Since yeah, he for, was in diapers. For, yeah, for <laughs> for like a decade, right? So, but he but he comes from Call of Duty. Like Call of Duty was his his main game that he started streaming because I remember meeting him when he had you know four viewers literally, and, and we would go on and we would do 
uh, you know, we would cast over 1v1 snipe battles, like, against each other on Nuketown. And um, uh, Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Like, he, he, fun fact, he wanted to be a caster back in the day. He made the right decision being a content creator, I think, you know. Uh, but, you know, Tim, he, he's got a large Call of Duty background. So he knows this game like the back of his hand. He's a big fan of supporting. I mean, uh, you know, he's absolutely incredible uh, as far as I'm concerned. So it's great to see him, you know, and I think this is an easy transition. And we and Ferg was asking him earlier, what would you rather have if you had to, to choose? You know, would you rather have, you know, Rebirth Island or Verdansk? He says Verdansk all day, every day, you know. But the great thing is you have the option for both. But for dance, like, don't you remember like queuing into a stream and watching him play for dance? Absolutely. I mean, it's some of the most entertaining content across the board that we've ever had. Yeah. I mean, not only because there was a plethora of opportunities for people to compete in events, but the streamers were getting massive. And you know, you talk about the collaboration of some of the biggest names on Twitch or YouTube playing together. Right. You bring all these personalities together, and again, this, this whole thing just feels like it's a giant celebration of like what we used to know in a way. I mean, right. now. And now you're adding in giant mobile creators as well. That's so it's it, yeah. just, it really is going to feel, I think, like very harmonistic as we start to get more and more action across, not just the, the week, but as the launch starts to become more global as well. Just to get a little sappy here. Do it. I do think it is pretty incredible to see very similar types of communities within one community under entirely the same umbrella. Right. Oh. I think that is so cool because obviously you do have PC players, you have mobile players, and you have console players. And you know to be able to kind of release something here that is very universal people can come in and give it a go and have fun the cross progression there's so much to name i do think that is very very special and it's something that yeah. i i think is totally unique and what an incredible incredible thing that we have here today i mean and the thing about it too and you know i think we were kind of spitballing a little bit on this earlier but i i truly do believe that adding the ability to have cross progression changes the way that people will look at mobile gaming for ever yeah. forever well, if it well, uh, flat out if mo if the mobile progression well, didn't well, count over to what you're doing on ps4 well, or ps5 well, and <laughs> ps4 uh, xbox or pc I, I i just think that yeah. you know the player base is just gonna not necessarily gravitate towards it you know it's it's more than just an accessibility thing now it is quite literally I'm hopelessly addicted to Call of Duty, oh and I'm going to play it all the time. I'm not going to lie, this is painful to watch. Uh, not from Swag's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> that was like watching <laughs> ducks in a pond um, just oh coming God. in off the parachute and poor, you know, bless them, honestly. <laughs> poor people. Uh, oh. That was that was a problem for sure. Uh, <laughs> this guy's about to get it, he doesn't even know it, and he's gone. I mean, so, this is Rebirth Island now that we're going into. And yeah. by the way, uh, Lucky, you know, at least on the couch when they were saying, like, Lucky is, he loves his resurgence because his multiple, you know, uh, or he has oh, multiple chances oh to get back God, in. But Swag right now, like he said, he's frying at the moment. He's already up to four eliminations. He got two of those, mind you, uh, just I'm with his frying. default pistol off the rip. And then the RPK off the ground. And then the RPK <laughs> off the ground. And, and, like, so this is going to be great. How high can yeah, they go? And they are playing, by the way, with, I believe, two... Where they at? Two randoms, if I'm not mistaken. This looks like, yeah, because I'm pretty sure the playlist for Rebirth is, is fours. Right. You kind of have to jump it as fours. So they're blessed. Like, this is a cool opportunity for them if they even knew who they were playing with. Dude, could you imagine? Right. Jumping into your first game of Warzone Mobile yeah. on Rebirth and you see yourself laid, lo loading in with uh, Swag oh, and Lucky. Dude, I'd be stoked because <laughs> I know I'm getting a win. One shot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I think this is actually phenomenal. Uh, you know, if, you're, if you are just dropping in... Uh, for, the, for the beginning of your kind of grinding right. on the day, rebirth is perfect. Like Absolutely. Lucky said, you just churn and burn. Like you, you just grab guns and you start shooting and you respawn in when you need to, and it's it's literally perfection. It's because um, sometimes it's hard to you get a little bit. Yeah. You get a little bit slow off uh, off the mark with with Warzone. Sometimes mm -hmm. you drop into the BR and it's just like well. Vedansk is not really giving me what I want it to give me right now. I'm I'm just running and then I suddenly just get absolutely tackled from behind and there's nothing you can do and you're out of the game. Now it's curious because we kind of heard the boys talking about it, but I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think because I used to use things like Rebirth as a way to kind of like, it was like my shipment toward uh, playing yeah. rank. Yeah. That's like fair. Yeah. Jump in, get right. a lot of engagements, just fight for fighting's sake. Right. And to get yourself kind of warm and loose. Right. Because I won't lie, there are times where like you drop in, you're just kind of in a blender in because a blender. you're only picking up ground loots. People got their loadouts halfway through and it's just like, ugh, you're just getting absolutely <laughs> tranched on. But I think that's the way I look at Rebirth more than anything else. It's always been just like, I want the gunfights. I want right. to feel what the game feels like. Right. 
you know, just get in there and get in the action immediately. I, I think I've pretty much exclusively only been playing Resurgence recently. Yeah. Um, granted, I mean, you know, because like I said, that's where Ranked is at. But like, I think Rebirth is going to be my go-to. There's only so many areas he could run to, and he was taking so much damage. But he's back in 30 seconds. But he'll, he'll, he'll get there. Swag's going to stay up, or at least one of them is going to stay alive. But no, nah, Rebirth is, is definitely my thing. Uh, that's where I'm going to be going for. Dansk is great for the nostalgia, but like sure, I said, sure. dude, like get in there, get warmed up. If you want to learn the game, I think this is a great chance to do it. And two, four, and swag himself, and that's going to bring him up to seven. Make that eight. Crushing. He's killing it. And also just to get a feel for the, the gunplay. I yeah. think if you are if you are brand new to Warzone Mobile, like this is the perfect way to get a feel for the gunplay because it's just you can pick up so many different floor weapons oh, and ground loot. And you can just give it all a try. Well, I think on top of that, there is oh going to be some God. environmental learning as well. Like your screen is now a tablet. Oh yeah. So like you're looking at a different interface. Oh you're gosh. looking at a different aspect ratio. Oh you're got to kind of feel what the connection feels like between your controller and sure, your tablet. Yeah. Absolutely. Sort out what you want your HUD to look like. I mean, there's a lot of different little things about it. But when they get into gunfights, you can definitely tell it's pure nostalgic enjoyment for these guys. Bro, these boys are getting me pumped up right now. I'm not I'm ready to run through a brick Yo, wall for these guys. They, bro, <laughs> seriously, like the cool, these guys are slaying out. And, and it also hits differently too, having them in the same room, literally just right in front of us. Yeah. Like, you know, you can feel their energy. Because normally we're kind of separated, you know, whether it be remote broadcast yeah. or- It's making me hype. Right, or yeah. like even like, you know, when we're on the desk and stuff, maybe we're a little bit further away, but being able to hear them and like, you could feel that energy and they are bringing the energy. Swag's already at 10, Lucky's about to be at nine. Stunning. 30 bomb for, uh, at least on Rebirth, Absolutely possible. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Rebirth, I would say they're guaranteed 20 plus on Rebirth. I would say so. I would say so. 12 for Swag now. Yeah, Swag is absolutely destroying. Nutty. Fully. Oh, Here we definitely. go. Air one as well. Mm. Yeah. Air one, I like that. You can, you can, you can definitely tell that he has got a feel for it now. Yeah. Because it has got to be a little bit different. Even connecting a controller, it's got to be a little bit different. We I know it will be, like and the weapon balancing hour. is gonna is gonna come in so perfectly. We listen to the devs like talk about it, and they're just looking out for it. But it has to be different, and you've got to get yourself situated. It's not gonna feel exactly the same. But my goodness me, is he adjusted well? Yeah. Well, again, it goes down to the discussion I was having earlier, like uh, about the adaptability and, and you know, even Shift saying these guys play just a totally different game. Yeah. Like they played one game, they're already now they mastered it. <laughs> Bottom line, period. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah. 14 now. Come on. If this doesn't convince you to play on the go, I don't know what does. Well, because that's the thing. If, like you can, if you can still do this, like this level of gameplay absolutely. on the go, I absolutely. mean, oh. Think about Screaming. it this way. I mean, if these guys, let's just throw a hypothetical out there. Yeah. Next event they go to, mm. we'll talk about it either as players, spectators, whatever it happens to be. And like, you're feeling the itch you want to play. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is bring something about your tablet, bring your wireless controller, and they're in. Right. I, I mean, it's just, it's so quick and easy. And again, I think just with the cross progression, it's going to encourage them to want to do that more than just loading into it if it was a standalone. It really is a brilliant piece of FPS content to be able to do this. Plus the game, I mean, I'd be curious to get a take on this. We didn't ask him about it. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious to see, like, at any point did you feel like you were playing a mobile game? Whether yes. it be graphics yes. or just Coming smoothness, up, because I'm looking at this and it, it legitimately oh, looks yeah, like original Rebirth. So flat out. I was shocked, honestly, when I, when I first saw it here in person uh, when Bobby was playing it, and I was, like, blown away Dude. At how good it looks. He like, put it into his shoot house. I thought he was playing Modern Warfare 2. I'm, and I'm not even saying that because I have I to I say that. Like, it absolutely, genuinely looked absolutely. incredibly yes. good. I was blown away. I really was. And the playability, it's so smooth. I haven't I haven't tried a controller yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I've been, I've been learning, you know, the thumbs and everything, but it's, like, it, it's so good looking. And it the is. fact that you could play that anywhere is just nutty. And by the way, we're getting close to the end on this. Lucky's on 14. I believe Swag is getting close to the 20 mark, if I'm not mistaken. Should I've got be. to say, in terms of the aesthetics, though, absolutely crushed how it looks. It's like unreal. Said, crushed it. But I do think that there's also this old school charm to it that I love. I, I, there was something that like kind of brings that nostalgia even more, um, even though it's like graphically not obviously as crisp as you would have it on a PC or console. But for a mobile game, the size, it has an old school charm and it is graphically stunning as well. Mm -hmm. He's one off 20, by the way. One off 20. Still four teams alive. He's about to do it. He is. He's about, about to get it. that 20 bomb. At least on Rebirth. Least I don't know Rebirth. how many we've, we've seen on Rebirth today. But we kind of need that warm up for him anyway. For the dance, so he's got to, He's got to know what it feels like to get the numbers here. That's true. <laughs> That's a good point. Actually, I didn't even <laughs> yeah. consider that. But but the important thing is though, two back-to-back -back wins. 
on two different maps two different maps two different modes yep. entirely absolutely about to happen and there's number 20. yeah and there's obviously no more redeploys at this point That's so it. it's literally just him Isn't versus that? two at the moment they are they are a duo though yep. two teams two two other players so one v two that zone is getting pretty small oh he's right here so to be always down low. Down, he knows. Uh -oh. They've spotted him. Does he drop down though? That's the question. Hell no. <laughs> I, I agree Hell with that. Hell no. <laughs> they did it. That's oh, that player. Game. That's, yeah, game. that's game. That's there game. he is. What are you doing there, you little rat? Give me two. <laughs> I love it. Give me two. That's two back to back two. wins and 21 eliminations for swag. <laughs> wow, boys. 20 pieces in a biscuit? That, <laughs> that man's hungry. That man's hungry. 20 pieces in a biscuit. It doesn't wow. look like the same ring when I say it. I'm not going to lie. That does. Well, no, because we think you're talking about cookies when you say biscuit. No, that is true. <laughs> Your biscuits are different from our biscuits. Very, very different, actually. Yours are more like scones. Yeah, they are. And I don't like scones. What? We don't like scones? They're too dry. Oh, you You're haven't had dry. a good scone. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. Let's not go into but it. But you better stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is what look we're talking about. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. So this is something that is very, very new to me in terms yes. of mobile. So you boys, you're going to have to kind of teach me the ropes here when it comes to, to this. But this is obviously fantastic for leveling up weapons as well. Oh, th this is perfect for leveling up weapons. You know, for I think the Warzone streamer, you play Rebirth to get warmed up. I jump in before I play ranked yeah. to jump onto a shoot house, jump into a shipment. And it's just, again, it, the game looks like it just came straight from the most recent title, flat right. out. Like, it just looks so uh, good. Yeah, I've given out three of the four limited I, I like I like the three more. maps, by the way. Shoot House, Shipment, Scrapyard, I think are great. Yeah, right? same. To yeah. be introduced. Then Rust coming anything. out soon? And, and Rust. Ru oh, dude, and when oh, Rust comes out, gosh. come on. You got Verdansk, you got Rust on the same title. By the way, just want to highlight Ducky. Uh, Ducky is a long-term uh, mobile player, an yep. incredible human that. being. He's played across multiple BRs, very talented, and incredible content creator. Uh, I highly suggest anybody check him out, uh, you know, on the content creation side of things. And I'm sure he's going to be leading the charge when it comes to videos, uh, you know, based around the meta and how to play and get really nerdy, yeah, right, about absolutely. this game. Make sure so that you get yourself straight as well. Hundred percent, hundred percent. He's he's my guy. Been watching him for, for many years as a competitor. So, and I, and I do think, can't put words in his mouth, but I think this is a game he's going to be hitting quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. That's good. Got exotic gaming on screen right now as well. And we're in a little 1v1 here with a shotty. That's a crazy fight. That Ooh. was the craziest fight with shotguns I think I've ever seen in this game. Okay. <laughs> Boom, shunk, shunk. Yeah. Boom. Hello, dodging. That was oh, legitimately. The hurdle, <laughs> the finish. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was something right that there. That was GG. That was something. Ooh. Wow. Okay. We're re redeploying back in. And this is what I'm saying. Like, you can get caught in the blender. <laughs> like, he's going jumping in with a base AR and a. Sh and was that an RPG? He's got in his back pocket. I'm so scared. Yes. That is. is. That is definitely. I'd be terrified dropping in with that. RPG. You can definitely. Tally definitely liked. Enjoyed that. Little. What's he doing? Little moment there with the shotguns. He's still smiling from it. What's he doing? He doesn't know how to use the zip line. Oh, this is a perfect. Oh, he doesn't. Oh no. Oh, this is sad. Oh wow. That's so BM. This is so sad. No. Literally me like. Oh no. Exotic. He enjoyed okay. that moment now too much. They were going to get those freebies, good. those clueless. He needed to use the R. Oh, I don't think he has any bullets for it. Or maybe he has I one. I'm such a noob. I'm just going to wander around with There he goes. Launcher. Oh! <laughs> Wowza. Oh, I'd be gosh. so mad if I was going against on this guy. Move. Who's on the move? What does that mean? <laughs> 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 oh, not, a, not too close. Oh, oh he still no, got it. No. Let's go. So You're on the I'm move, brother. Idiot. You're on the move. No, don't Oh, my goodness me. Oh, he's back up. Got that guy? There's his teammate all the oh. way down there. Okay, hold up. Oh, little, little, little squad wipe. Oh, no. oh, RPGM. Oh, perfect no. RPG moment. God, that guy got away fast. Okay, we're good. He was torturing that guy. Somebody else is shooting at me from behind me. I can tell that. These people are mad because I killed their teammate. <laughs> Dude, I love that. This is like me at the airport, like creating storage for people I don't know. He's doing the same thing. like, yeah, his teammate's clearly mad. That's clearly, right. Clearly on the hunt. Right. <laughs> To be honest, it's kind of hard. You're the creative oh! people. Oh! There's a guy behind me. Wow. <laughs> Why? Why? As he That's questions so it after he just ran through three, four players Look, with an RPG. Honestly, though, though that is my stuck. copium as well. Why? Oh, I'm so sorry. I How? Oh, no. I just watched the copium. Get killed. <laughs> this guy's out Don't kill me, please. 
I will avenge my team. Oh man, I'm dead. Okay. All right. That is GG's, unfortunately, for Exotic. <laughs> Didn't quite end the way he wanted to, but they did get revenge on him. He's still got a couple teammates up, though. You'll come back. Yeah, he will. Well, I'll tell you what, though, we had an incredible run so far from the duo that we had on the couch moments ago. Obviously, Swag, Lucky Chamo. We have some highlights as well from this one, which I believe we, rebirth we're back in Rebirth. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so incredible kills coming in from both of these and just looking so warm and looking like they're at home. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm, I'll, when they get a, you know another hour or so into their belt, I really want to see their reaction to how the game played, how it felt. Right. You know, playing it on, you know, looking at your screen, which is essentially just a tablet because based on how they're moving around the map yeah how they're looking with controllers and hands it looks like they have not even had a moment of concern yet not a moment of hesitation and that's really encouraging and i think it helps too like the, the vibes between the two. Oh, like, sure just, yeah 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 it's at an all-time high like swag there was pumped oh up he, by the way four people he eliminated in that very room it was yeah. two, two in the first and then two in the second but he tore it up first uh 20 bomb at least that i've seen yeah. uh, when it comes yes. to broadcast i think 21 in total 20 in a biscuit as he said uh pretty incredible they're going for the 30. So yeah, yeah. chat, support them. Send I mean, them the energy because that was a good run for it. 30, 30 is going to be a lot. I'm not going to lie, but it, that was only their second game, and they look like uh, they're they're feeling right at home. And yeah. that was two victories back to back. So well done from Lucky uh, and Swag. Do, do we know what uh, the world record is? The world record? I don't. Overall, it's too new. It's too new. Uh, well, I mean, in just in general, in Warzone, maybe. Oh, in, oh, I, in the fifties. In the fifties. I think yeah. in the fifties. So that's yeah. be roughly in the fifties, right? I, I know in Resurgence, it's like I want to. Well, someone in chat, correct me. I think it's like fifty-seven I'm in Resurgence, TV, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, I don't know what it is in regular BR. Oh, I hear but it, it gets up there, yeah. uh, you know, whether it be individually, and it really gets up there when you're talking about like a squad record. Right. We'll have to have it's somebody, not. I'm sure someone out in chat knows, and if you do, yeah. at I hold shift, Lottie Van Prague and Reflections on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I want to know. What was the Verdance kill record? Yes, that's that, that's that is the, true. That's Actually, the more important part of it. Is mm -hmm. it on Codpedia? Do you know? I'm going to check right I, now. I, 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 I want to see, not obviously today or even tomorrow, but eventually I would love to see that top. Well, because uh, Warzone Mobile. Think about it. Like, we could do we could do a service here. Like, if some, seriously, if anyone does know what that record was, someone please tweet at us what it was. Because then all of a sudden, with Warzone Mobile coming back, people are like, wait, I have another shot at breaking the record. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. there's going to be a race for that. Back into multiplayer now. Getting a little look at the fast paced versus kind of the patience sure. that you get in the I just, I, I remember early gameplay coverage coming out where there was like, a, a, there was a hard point being played in LSC low or something. And I was just like, wait a second, this is, I had to double check the Twitter account because it looked <laughs> just like Modern Warfare 2. Right. This came from the Warzone mobile account? I was like, this is crazy. And he's this. This might be the auto fire mechanic that's built into mobile. Yeah, so I'm, kind of, I'm kind of looking at it. It's there's the ability. I saw this in yeah. This yeah, is the auto the fire. Auto fire. Do, do you keep do you keep it on or do you turn it off? I turned it off. I personally. turned it off too. But it was a cool like I remember going to the tutorial and it's like this is kind of a cool idea. Like it kind right. of takes away the stress of having to play with like the guy just like with seven fingers or at once. You know where you it just you put your aim on the guy and it automatically starts to lock in once you've been on him for X amount of time. So it's like a really cool again accessibility tool. And I don't think it's like too cheesy either. Like it right. like you have to be locked on for it to start taking shots. Yeah, but it's a cool feature. It is a cool feature. Uh, I, th I think for people just, it, it makes it a lot easier to transition into mobile play, which which is always good. Magoo on your screen, big fan, big fan. <laughs> what he's up to. It's Mago. Mago. <laughs> and is it really? I've been yeah, calling him Magoo fine. forever and no one's ever corrected me. No one has ever corrected me. That yeah. is crazy. He's, he's played in a couple of other mobile events before. He's 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 good piece. I know, I've cast it over him many times. Yeah, no one good. ever said. <laughs> I, I, gotta have a, I gotta have a conversation with Goge later, man. But I know this guy, Stan Play. Stan is breaking his hard point perfectly right now. What? There's no one Nader RPG. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so uh, this is a good look at it. So you'll kind of see the reticle will go from like yellow to red, and it, mm. it has to hit red before it starts to shoot. So it's not like it instantly is like an auto aim type fire. Like you have to be locked on, and it kind of takes away the pressure. You can even see like on his setup, he doesn't have a fire button on his UI. So this is legitimately just him ADSing and tracking. Right. Wow. 
God, that, that must also be just unbelievably difficult to, to try and kind of be consistent. Yeah, that is crazy to me. I've never wow. seen this mechanic in a mobile game before. I think it's a really cool way to like kind of soft launch you into playing in mobile. Yes. Like you're trying to learn your controls a little bit. You don't have to worry necessarily about firing. Right. Get yourself ADS'd and then just learn the tracking movements. Right. It's really cool. It's, huge, it's really actually. cool. Movement is, is going to be so difficult to try and adjust to. So Absolutely. Yeah, that's such a good point, actually. Cheeky uh, self revive. Little stim. Oh. That looked like he needs to turn it off. Mm. Uh, he's locking on quite fine. Oh. Um, <laughs> it happens, goes. respawn. He'll be back in it, though. No worries at all. No worries at all. I'm just pumped to see this game introducing multiplayer elements. Yeah. Because, wow. It just, it looks so good. And like we were talking about with Swag and Lucky, it's like progression wise, if you're someone who like, there's a new gun out and you don't want to just go run into Rebirth, you don't want to just go run and hope you get your loadout in Verdance, you can just load up the mosh pit, yeah. play Scrapyard, play Shoot House, play Shipment, right. and get it leveled up. Right. You know, it, on the go. You don't have to worry about having a full setup. You don't have to worry about loading in just to BR. You can get it in multiplayer. And all the maps that are out right now are all provided for those grindable moments. You know, Rust coming out, same thing. Think about how many people's commute to work is just about to get that much better. Oh my God, could you imagine someone who like takes the train into train. the city? Yep. Oh, that's true. Loads in. Absolutely, take the tube. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it used to be me. And I honestly, what I would have done for this on my commute, because my commute was honestly making me more tired. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I would sit there and I was staring out the train window and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep right now. But if I was locked in yeah, right. to a, a game, it would honestly, it'd be waking me up. It would oh. be perfect to start the day. Well, I mean, it's just a beautiful thing about Warzone Mobile. You take it wherever you do yeah. it. I mean, it's really, you know, endless uh, as to what you could do with it. And by the way, I brought up earlier about unlocks and, and rewards. Uh, so Mobile will have its own daily challenges. The rewards are given in Arsenal coins, which you can use on Warzone Mobile specific, uh, which is like their currency Got you. that you can use as well. So, but again, those like unlocks can transfer over to the to the actual traditional. Oh, I love that. Right? Yeah, I love that. So, and, and Swag was saying like now you can flex your your mobile specific skins. Like, how did you get that? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mobile, right? It's the same thing. Like whenever a new COD title releases, there's always the difference in camos between the multiplayer and zombies. Yeah. And so now you've got the ability to add that into mobile would be sick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I said, is it can't hurt. It's it's more Call of Duty, which is great, right? It's more Warzone. God it's is more, life. God is life. Warzone is life. It's it's exclusively all I play at the moment. Exclusively. I still cannot get over the fact that there is no. He he does not have a, a shoot button right. on his, on his like, UI. He does not have yeah. a shoot button on here. I'm like genuinely locked into it. I cannot believe that. You point, it shoots. Yeah. That's it. I'd be curious to see how that works in the BR sense, though. Because, like, I, I the one thing I will say I noticed pretty quickly is playing with some of the default loadouts that were already kind of given to you when you load in. Right. Playing it on the mosh pit versus playing it in Verdansk was like, oh, my God, the recoil. Yeah. So, like, I'd be curious to see how locked it stays versus, like, having to manipulate. Well, actually, I didn't even... So, I, I tried it whenever I was playing because, you know, by default, you have to, you know, switch it on and off. I yeah, wonder... Yeah. But sniping, is it just literally... Point, That's a good point question. Because I, I didn't good snipe. Question. I was trying to run and gun, at least initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have no idea. So that's I wonder, question. that's, and I wonder how, hmm, that is a really good question. Now, now I'm starting to think, because it's like, do you connect every time? Because right. it's like it shoots when you're on, you're locked on. Sure. Something to think about. But how much leading do you have How to much do? leading do you have yeah. But But you got to be locked on for it how to shoot. How much whiffing can you do for it to stop? Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Infinite. Indeed, but that was absolutely incredible to see that as well. A little bit yeah. of multiplayer in action. We saw Swag and Lucky Chan. We were just going head to head, looking so good. Honestly, yep. right now, a little bit of a mini competition within their own duo system and friendship, which is, we're loving that. Absolutely loving that. We have so much more coming back. But while we do have to take a quick break, I need some coffee, boys. You need some coffee? Let's do it. No, I'm not saying no to gonna coffee. Going to get locked in. We're going to talk to some of our streamers, see how they're feeling. Let's take a look at some of their streams while we ha have a quick break.
Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. My name is Lottie. I'm joined by Shift and Reflections. And before the break, we're just honestly having a chat, chill, watching gameplay with you guys and just loving everything that we're seeing so far. Shift, first question. What's been your favorite part of today so far? I think for me, nothing tangible, but I, I loved watching Swag mm. and Lucky play and just yep. see them just immediately back immersed into everything that was for Dansk and Rebirth. This looks like it's just like it's pulling on like that childhood string, right? Like right. they've been around for so long, getting a chance to kind of see it again, play it again. They look like they're having a fun time. It, it's it's the positivity from everyone. Yeah. You know, everybody's so happy to be playing this. They're happy to be involved with this program. I know, you know, people at home are having an absolute blast starting their rewards, you know, just competing once again. Uh, on Verdansk, you know, Rebirth Island, bringing it back. It's uh, it, it's been great. It's been encouraging. You know, it's it's been a great launch so far. I can't wait to play it. I can't play it right now. Producer, get <laughs> mad at me. But maybe I'll get a chance in just a little bit. But it's been a, it's been a good day. It certainly has been a good day, and I promise you guys, it's only going to get better. We have more special guests coming our way. One being ever so special, a content extraordinaire. We have Hannah Stocking <laughs> coming to join us on the couch. How the hell are you, champ? What's going on? Hey, good to meet you. How you doing? You all right? I'm all right. <laughs> okay, good to see you. Oh, wow, it's in. so cozy. Isn't it? It is very. Get in yeah, there. Just get in there. Up. Nice. The love sack is getting some action for the first time today. <laughs> I, I'm not, I was told I can't sit in that, Hannah. You're was, special. Really? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't. Am I allowed to? No, you're totally. If you could do, you, are, you can literally <laughs> do whatever you want. Honestly, you could 100% just just burst through the back wall. No, actually, don't. don't do yeah, yeah. Oh, she's okay. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you might hurt yourself doing that. But it's lovely to have you. And how does the love sack feel? Uh, it feels nice and tight and responsive, just like. The Warzone mobile game. Wow. <laughs> Perfect segue. <laughs> Ship right. it, clip it, it's good. That's all you need for promotion. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm about to take your job, Taylor. Like... I'm saying she can. That's fine with me. <laughs> exactly. But Hannah, have you had a chance to play yet? Oh yeah. You have. And oh, loving yeah. it? All morning, loving it. Um, I'm just I'm so excited because I'm such a on the go kind of person. Mm. And there's nothing that brings me happiness quite like Call of Duty yeah. Yeah. in general. So now that the mobile is out, my therapy bills are going to go way down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. You said, you know, Call of Duty brings you joy. So what, you know, what is it about Call of Duty? Have you played Call of Duty titles in the past? Is Call of Duty something that, you know, has always been a go-to game for you? Go-to. Go-to? Uh, yeah, if I was to rank it, it would really just be Call of Duty number one. Okay. And nothing else. Love that. Love that. Um, but I, t I love the... Um, that's swag. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. That's swag. <laughs> okay, when I first walked in, I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, so you're a fan. Fan? Yeah. Like, yeah. fan? yeah. Yeah. Right there. He, he's been tearing it up too. I think 20 <laughs> eliminations, 21 eliminations. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, he's well, of course. so he's setting the bar up here for you. If, if yeah. you play, which well, I'm hoping to see you play a little bit too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd love to play. Uh, I've clocked in so many hours. I'm not sure if my gameplay proves that, but. Um, I, I love the game and also the community. I'm a part of a, a group chat called COD Before Brats. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And I've also met people on COD through COD that are now friends in real life. I mean, I okay. think literally all have. Everybody. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the story of everyone. I actually met my husband through. Yep. No. Yep. Yes. Are you serious? Yep. Serious. That's a real story? Real that's a real story. Yeah. Story. Real story. yeah. Real story. Legitimate. So, like, community-wise, I feel you, girl. Oh, my gosh. That's, <laughs> like... Really. <laughs> the perfect love story. It really is. They and should make a, a movie, a Christmas movie about that. A, cri a, Christmas, a Christmas one. I like that. Sell it to Hallmark. Hey, Hallmark. Hey, Hallmark. 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 Yeah, Hallmark. Yeah. Right, call, call my people. Um, but Hannah, it's, it's so lovely to have you. And in terms of like your gaming kind of just, I would say career, but you know your hobby. What what first started it? How old were you? When did you first pick up Call of Duty? You know, like when did it all begin? Uh, I've loved immersing myself in video ga video games ever since I was in high school. Mm. Right. Um, I did take a break okay. when my dad uh, got rid of it to make a friend. <laughs> yeah. right. And so um, I got back into it in college. It was kind of tough because I was double majoring. Um, but then I really got super into it in uh, lockdown. Okay. And that's when I started learning uh, keyboard and mouse. Okay. And so that was that was like so fun to learn because I love learning new things and especially things I'm unfamiliar with because right. I started off on controller. 
and um, no, yeah, fell in love with it. Love cod. Love all aspects. Yeah. Okay. Cod. I was gonna say fish when it's glazed. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> Were you more of a war zone? Like, did you gravitate towards war zone? Did you gravitate more towards like the multiplayer element? Oh, I have another one. Well, um, more so, yeah, rebirth. Yeah. Um, but obviously leveling up all my guns on uh, yeah, yeah. multiplayer, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is so fun. Yeah. You get addicted to making all of your guns gold-plated, uh, which I'm into. Okay, I like that. Um, yeah, spent a lot of uh, nights not sleeping. Right. Yeah. Pod, but, <laughs> but it's the best way. <laughs> so, well, so obviously, uh, you know, you're a gamer, like plain and simple. You know, you've been gaming for, for several years at this point. Uh, you know, rest in peace when your dad took it away. But, uh, you know, I've been there before. Okay, it yeah. is what it is, right? <laughs> at one point or another. Other. But swag, you mentioned swag. Are there any other, you know, content creators that you watch yeah, that you're a fan him. of? Yeah. So uh, this kid I actually play with, his, he goes by Jinsu. Okay. Um, he's incredible. He's zone, huh? um, he carries me a lot. I think I need to kind of be carried. I'm still same. Like, relatable. Same. Relatable. Relatable. Very relatable. Uh, yeah, it's I like still kind of new for me to be completely immersed in the game. Right. I feel like I'm in it. Right. Um, I scream uncontrollably when I'm playing. I've had like my security guards rush into my home thinking I'm attacked. Really? I'm like, no, I'm just playing the game. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say Jinsu. He's so good. He mm -hmm. does a lot of crazy trick shots. Okay. Okay. And my boy Clappuccino. Clappuccino. Lapa lapa ding dong. I love that name. <laughs> yeah, that's his his. That actually, might be one of my favorite game attacks I've ever had. Yeah, Clappuccino. That's a good one. That's it's perfect. It's so, uh, sometimes the gamer tags are my favorite part of the game. What what's yours? Yeah. Uh, mine's just Hannah. Just Hannah. Yeah. Hey, look. Fair. On brand. OG. Yeah, very on brand. Very on brand. OG. I'm yeah. reflections. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, just the thing we lie. picked once, mine, right? That's it. We yeah. just picked it years ago. I definitely got the best one out of us too. Yes, please, please say yours. So mine is Nerd Slayer. Nerd Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nerd Slayer. Why not? And that's how you meet a husband. That's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Who was totally a nerd that got slayed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you slayed your nerd. Completely. That's it. I, I should it. change mine. Why? I, I want to slay a nerd too. You want to slay a nerd too? Yeah. Clappuccino? Slayer, you can be slayer of nerds. Slayer of nerds. Little um, You know. I've got my. my... Captivator. Huh? Ooh. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I like really, that. Really? I like this that. off the top. You got any, anything else? <laughs> you got any others? Like nerd, I nerd slayer? I like Noob Captivator. <laughs> noob Captivator, it has a certain panache to it. it we'll does. say that much. It's long. It's panache. Another cool gamer tag. Pan yeah, oh, yeah. Go in there. I wouldn't know what it meant. What What is a panache? I don't know. It sounds like a It's fruit. a certain je ne sais quoi. See, now, and then he's going to say that after panache. I don't even know what panache means. Je ne sais quoi. I don't know what that means either. Well, we're getting into things. French right now. Is that, that is, French? Yeah, je ne sais quoi is French. 100%. That's a well, certain night, I don't how unsophisticated I am, Hannah. I don't know. I, so, anyway. by the way, this set, guys. <laughs> look great. Awesome. Like, C-130. We're floating in the clouds right now. Truly. Really, it's, literally. It's actually, literally it's floating so, in the clouds. It's so perfect. And the lights flash when we get into game, and it's just, it's very, it's very it's immersive. The whole thing. Oh, yeah. Very immersive. Um, it looks like we're just a whole squad of, about yeah, to drop. Well, we are. That, that's we exactly what we are. The have been tied down. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so epic. <laughs> I love been, this. So if, if we if we were a squad, you just met us. I know you know us in and out. Who who would be the team captain? You think, Anna? Would it be you? Would it be one of us? Would you be the main slayer? Would you be support? <laughs> okay, I would say my role uh -huh. that I've always ex exceeded in um, when playing Rebirth okay. is I'm I kind of let the others ah, navigate ah. find the teams and what all do call the they're shots. going into the room i stand back like that. so if they are if if they knock my teammate i go in get them Perfect. hit them with that revive I like okay you're a support player support player, yeah, support player yeah. then supportive i yeah. like that a lot that's actually super important in terms of the squad like when you're talking about roles like getting actually for real into it yeah like that is a huge part of, of the team it's a support role so you actually have a very incredible role. Yeah, yeah, uh, crucial too. That's also my role too. I am also a support player. I was about to say, but <laughs> like, you know, okay? he would say support, yeah. right? It depends on who we're playing with. Okay, so we're playing with us. I'd probably be first in. Wow. First I'd, in? I'd sacrifice. I'd go first in. Is that okay. your way of saying that we are terrible? No. No, I just, now that I know I've got two support players around me, I, I feel confident that I'm going to get That's pulled it. by this. That's it. Entry fragger, then. Entry. Yeah, give entry me the entry. fragger. I'll, I'll, I'll be right behind you. I love that. I'll be right behind My you. My diehard duo right there. And, and, then, and then I've got two to pick me up. 
Because yeah. I'm, I'm dying. I'm going down. For we're sure. both yeah. going down quick. All right. We're both going down quick. <laughs> oh, we're here to pick them off. We're, you're here to pick yeah. us up. But it's cool. It's cool to have you, Hannah. Like, you know, and, and obviously, you know, you do a lot. You've done a lot in your career, you know, as a whole, which is, and I had no idea you double majored, which is, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. So, I like, don't use it. I yeah. double majored in biology and chemistry. Wow. No kidding. Yeah, and I did yeah, embryonic stem cell research. Wow. Really? So, so wild. So you knew what Panache meant then, go whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I don't remember that in my. In my <laughs> That's actually really crazy. So I mean, have you? Uh, I guess your your career's been doing so well. You've never really had to, to Wait, fall Eric, back on that. But I guess you always could. could. If That's you the know, beautiful could thing. Be a little about party it. trick, you know, like embryonic. Like, how? Guess what? Uh, I don't know. Krill do. <laughs> Huh? Sexually, krill. Okay. Have you krill? Heard about it? Uh, what is a krill? Yeah. Krill, krill, krill oil. Yeah, like the little, yeah, the little the fish. Yeah, the, oh, the shrimp. Yeah. 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 Krills eat. When they reproduce, uh -huh. they don't reproduce where they typically live, which is near the surface of the so water. They're like, they go into oh, the dark yeah, depths of the uh, ocean, and, and like they like have. Uh, I don't know how to word this. Like, <laughs> they all join together. Right. Right. And reproduce that. Wow. And, yeah, okay. it's not just, just that gets what? So, so wait, so like salmon, stars, you know, right? Because salmon, they travel a long way and then they go upstream. Yeah. Yeah. So krill or salmon? Yeah. Relatable. <laughs> well, sort of, kind of. Okay. Kind of, sort of, yeah. about traveling. Okay. You're quite far away from us. I'd love to see you play the game. Are you down? Oh, yeah. She's okay. like, oh, I'm in. Gonna, here. Do it. Here, sit, sit next to Lottie over okay, here. I'll so move right for here? Right here. Right here. Right here. Got okay, cool. I'm going to try and what a transition. Out how real this arm thing <laughs> real, real, real mobile gaming immediately. So, I believe. Look at this. Yeah. Whoa, this, this couch is this actually is awesome. sturdier than that right one. Here. Sturdier? Yeah. Love your voice. I feel like I was. <laughs> And Singing how you use Well, I'm a big boy. You're going to take into this one, Thank too. Thank you very Whoa. much. <laughs> it's it's going to curve. All right. So, so this will be fun because I'm I'm used to keyboard and mouse. I was just about to say, have you played yeah. any mobile game like this where you get fingers on screens? Yeah. I mean, I've been ripping uh, the multiplayer yeah. of okay. this, yep. and that okay. was so fun. Right. Um, and then I played uh, Warzone. Oh, he just swag said I'm the best, and I agree. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been playing uh, Warzone Mobile uh, just all morning today. I okay. So I'm a little. It is so hard though, isn't it? Like playing mobile. Like when you're used to something. To... I'm, I'm a controller player. Oh, okay. So for me, this is just so alien. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to be terrible. I have to play a bit later today. Yeah. As well. I'm going to suck. But here's here's what I here's what I will say because. Um, you know, I've been on keyboard and mouse for so long. I tried going to controller very hard. Yo, it is hard. very much so. And just yeah. the vice versa from right. controller to keyboard and mouse. But the, the transition from what you're used to to mobile right. is actually like pretty seamless. It's not as hard as the other transition. True. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's so fair. This is that's like fair. pretty you can cool. Absolutely load in if you fancy. All right, let's. Uh, it's fancy this show. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, just by the way, did you guys see my nails? Wait, oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Can we get a close? Oh yeah, my get goodness. a good look at this. Warzone no, I'm not Mobile. At Warzone yeah, Mobile. That's actually quite dope. That look how perfect. cool. Warzone Mobile. Those nails are looking. By the way, outfit just stunning. Thank you. Stunning. I tried going for a girly battlefield warrior it, it's, worked well <laughs> worked well stunning absolutely stunning so yeah. right, we're loading in you are um, loading in my also, my team is really excited to be here there's someone in a team. ghillie suit i was gonna Wait, say is there yeah, yeah, yeah come on oh, yeah. Come, come on come, come, on, come on in here oh yeah <laughs> no way <laughs> on in here. Dude, i rock <laughs> your skin non-stop <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is but my man. boy Daniel. I love that. Daniel, yeah. where's the headpiece, mate? Because you're gonna get your head popped. That's right. Well, we, we've we've got one back here, oh. but I, I don't have I don't have clearance to take one down. Where should we get this? No, that's amazing. Uh, actually, it found me. It found. Oh. How does a ghillie suit find you? <laughs> it's weird. You... <laughs> Very good, Dan. I appreciate love that. that. Dan the man. <laughs> That's actually He's awesome. So sick. Now. That is crazy. No, he blended in. I, I just saw a floating shadows. head. That's yeah. all I saw was a right. floating like, ghillie suit. What are you talking about? It's <laughs> actually crazy cool. I like that. Yeah. So when you played this morning, were you playing like on mobile or iPad? See, stuff, like, auto oh, I was playing on on a phone. On the phone, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a little bit bigger now. Which is yeah, bigger. a little bit bigger. So the, the the cool thing is, at least that we were talking about earlier, is there is a setting that uh, if you just aim at somebody, it shoots for you. The manual. So yeah. It, it helps yeah. you transition into like you know like you know tablet play, phone play, mobile play in general. 
Yeah, let's see. Which is uh, which is pretty time. awesome. And I will say, I played on my phone last night. I played on my tablet this morning. Tablet was way easier. Way better. Oh, really? Way easier. All right, so this is how you yes. mobile, oh God, or sorry, uh, manual. Right. You just aim down sight, point you just at aim them. Down sights, it turns red. Yeah. yeah. A little second, That's and then it. kicks in. Oh my God. That's and it, it has to be kind of in range because I yeah. noticed earlier I was trying with a pistol. I was trying to shoot someone really far away, oh. and it was. How in far orange. are we talking? Like pretty far, <laughs> and it would it won't shoot if you're too far. Okay. But, but you know what that shows me? You're a demon. If you're trying to get the pistol shot from like 300 meters away, like you really can shoot. Okay. And it's like I'm sniping with a pistol. Right. On keyboard and mouse. Yes. That's okay. But this we're working on it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is the perfect segue. We were just watching one of the streamers play with that same setting. We were having the same conversation about yeah. how does that react at distance yeah. and range, and distance and range, and sniping, yeah. and, and oh and yeah, like that, which oh is which gosh, is pretty God. interesting because you just simply don't know. But uh, it's it's a good feel, good way to transition kind of in, which yeah. uh, which is pretty awesome. So the real question here, Hannah, as you're getting set up to play, mm -hmm. what is the probability percentage that your TikTok starts to turn more into Warzone mobile content now? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the real question. That is, I mean, if it stays alive, right? You've got a ghillie suit that you have a chance to utilize. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I feel no, like true. we're missing on a beat if you don't. No, I mean, if uh, if TikTok stays alive, right? Oh, well, true, Aren't yeah, there? okay. <laughs> I hope it, I hope it so does. It's a whole, to totally different conversation there. Because I, I have a whole Warzone mobile career on TikTok now, so. That's I hope, I hope well, it survives. You, you'll, you'll find, Hannah, come on. You'll find a way. Yeah, oh yeah. You'll find we'll, a way we'll regardless, there. no matter what. You'll, well, you'll find a way to make some content. Where does your love for content creation come in? I've always been into creating content. Ever, it's so funny, but ever since I was a, a little kid, I would make, um, oh shit, my, my team just got someone. I'm still looking for a gun. <laughs> yeah, where is the ground? It's like nothing. I know. Um, so I would actually make, like, Right, yep. videos with my sister right okay uh, growing up and we would make funny skits and then show it to the family at like thanksgiving uh -huh. and yeah we we've always been chat. into it and yeah then i just started making it i, I found lose. some friends um and they were making vines at the time and yeah like i just started 13, making 14. vines with them so not knowing it would be like a a thing, thing. yeah 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 i got you don't, don't yeah. want to make you nervous now but we do have your feed live the stream oh Gosh. We're watching you, Anna. She's definitely not nervous. Anna, think. we've got you. Okay, and I see you aiming in. I got the red. You popping some shots. This one has a lot of recoil, though. Does it? it does. Yeah. Got to pull down. Right Wait, this is actually lit. Thing. Seeing this happen. Yeah. Right. Going from yellow yeah. down to red. Yeah. I gotta say that is actually quite a long time to wait. It, it might matter off a of distance too. Yeah. Come on. I may have to use this setting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Dude, switch it back on. I was sitting there Am literally I him trying at least? to claw, Come on, get and I was just here. like, I can't get my fingers to move that way because it's not the same as a controller. Like, I may have it's to, not. I may have to cheese this up a little. Right. When we do our competition. Oh, you are talking about later yet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Okay. okay. You're definitely beaming it though. Or, I should probably get another gun. Wait, the movement's actually on point though. Yeah. yeah it is. Smooth yeah, it. and this is this is touchscreen too. This like is. I've. Guys, the graphics on this are so crazy good. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. touch screen is, like I said, like tight and, ooh. Oh, here we right. go, Hannah. Up close and personal. Someone that's tight and more Here we go, perfect. I've never felt so powerful on a touch screen before. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically a pro gamer now. Okay, wait. Where'd he go? Oh, Where'd Casper he go? the ghost, he's gone. I know. All I'm waiting for is to hand it a pop off in this guy and then to immediately scream louder than Swag has yes. for his wins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is all I'm living for. You guys for haven't right. heard the guttural scream yet. <laughs> Trust me, we're all waiting for it. <laughs> okay. I well, here we go. Now. Come here. All right. And that's how we jump. Oh, oh wait. Whoa. Whoa. Where'd he go? Oh, my God. I think your teammate got him. <laughs> your teammate's a little demon, too. Yeah. Honestly, that, thank you. Yes, please. Dropping in, I I'd hope your teammates can do something. Wait, I think there there might be someone. Oh, you got a person behind you. That's right. On the mini map. I think you got a mortar oh, strike behind you too. Some, also oh, a mortar oh, strike oh, behind oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. Down. And your teammates down. This is the chance. He's pinging them. Come here. Come here, you There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like swag and everybody just went. No, hey, come on! on. Oh, oh, nice shot. Plates attacks. are broken. Plates are broken. Oh, you're gonna get this girl. I know. I, feel I it. hope so. I feel it. Oh shit! 
he sees me. He sees me. Come on, let's go the other side. Let's get him. Nice. I am shield's so, broken. I've never been more peaking, into a single that wall, one in one my entire life. Right? You got this. Okay. I I don't know. You don't let, know? Let me, should I get to my, my team? I think, I think honestly, decision making wise as well, Hannah. Team was right here. Oh, ah! Hannah, you, you gotta get out of there. You're going down. Wait, crouch. Plates? Crouch. We got plates. The good thing is this guy, he's gonna push Hannah. There he is. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> you got this. Easy beams. Easy beams. Yes. Woo! Go, Let's go Hannah. Yes. Go Hannah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Double kill. Double kill territory. Almost close. Oh, this guy's on controller. Uh, oh my, oh my God. God. Yo, what did he hit you with? The, uh, oh, different guy. Different guy. Different guy. Oh, that was a different, different guy. guy. Okay, that say, makes sense. I actually came up with your game attack. What? Scholar Demon. Scholar, Scholar Demon. Demon. That's actually tight. That is perfect. That's tight. That she, she knows how to find a husband. I'm talking about. This will help me lock it in with someone. All right, ghoulie time. So one elimination for Hannah, now in the gulag to stay alive. Yeah, I got a kill. I got a you kill. Got, you got That's one. Big. That was perfect. And, yeah. now, that was big. and now you're about to get a second one. <laughs> Hopefully. First game on tablet. That's right. Yeah, first game on we tablet. We take these. We take these. Oh gosh, okay. What's no the play, guys? Here. The play, okay, honestly, let them come to you. Okay. And then beam them. Yeah. Just... Let them come to you. Check left and right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choose a lane. And don't freak out. And also don't forget the flag opens up in five seconds. There he is. Oh, yes. He's staying still with oh. the play, Hannah. Let's go. You're nasty. Right, and that's two. Cracked. And that's two. Let's no. go. <laughs> my name is my name. Yo, oh, my God. <laughs> Your name is your name. Sorry, guys. We're good. I just blacked out for a sec. That's my good. That's my new trash talk. Are my back? name is back? my name. We're back. You know, we're back. <laughs> no lies were detected. That's it. No. No, yeah, zero it's 100% the truth. Facts, straight facts. <laughs> that was That's two. That was nasty, though. That was nasty. He was playing hide and seek. He was. Air shoot movement I got him. On? Wait, if we go to the stadium? Oh yeah, she's got the parachute Perfect. tech down. Mm -hmm. She got everything down. I'll say. <laughs> like, I'm actually. I, love, I wish I had you guys' commentary all the time. Oh. <laughs> you pouring a coffee? Well, that was perfectly poured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where's my teammate? Okay, and then to go through doors is like. I see that. That's okay. All right, we're regrouped. This is still solid. Two kills, 39 left. All right. Come on, X Droppy 2 3. Scholar Demon is right behind you. Scholar Demon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's always such a difficult There, There is a loadout to drop yeah. straight ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, should we push? Something to get, but you also got to keep in mind you see that white line? You do have a little bit of distance to travel until you're in safe zone. Okay. Also, but, we don't know what the loadout actually is. That's, that's true. On this tablet, that that is say, that is 100 percent <laughs> true. Loading you right now, I sh I, like I have no idea what would the iPad, the tablet loading me. Yeah. And I, I think you probably have, should build one out on the, on the yeah. tablet. I think you have a signal, by the way, as your secondary, which is a sniper. If you if you wanted to get mixy. Oh, okay. Spicy. Right here. Yes. That's the one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Talk about trick oh, shot, and you were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Huh? What would that be like without the uh, shoot button? We're about to find out. Yeah. We're, we're literally about to find out live. Oh, and we're going to wow. find out with the nasty headshot from him. Oh, I, I believe it fully. So I have to mention that th this setting, when you have the auto fire on, you don't even get the button as an option to be on there. No. Uh, this is the same. This is the exact same setup that uh, our other guy was using. So there's a crosshair, the maybe. The, you... Well, the crosshair is that was just that's just purely the ADS though. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that like setting like defaults the UI to not even have a shoot button on it. It's possible. I, I mean, it, it would I be redundant, right. I think. You see, I, I'm doing the tactic I was talking about. I let them let lead. them go. Let them yeah. lead. Yeah. Perfect support. The amount of times I've hidden in these is un unbelievable. <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so many times. You hear them running on the roof. I hate that. Oh, yeah. Like jump scare. Like, don't see me, don't see me, don't I see know. me. I know. 
Now, storage used to be an area I went to all the time. You were a storage yeah. guy? I love storage. I was a scrapyard guy. Wait, were you scrapyard? I was a scrapyard yeah, guy. Yeah, scrapyard was dope. Did you rotate to storage or were you drop? Hmm? You no, I would drop storage. You drop on storage. I, I, I was a madman. Nice. I Didn't like care. That. I like that though. So you said you played Warzone a bunch during the pandemic. Yeah. What was like your go-to spots you like to drop at? If you were to like rank them. Um, Favorite and worst places you like. What? Uh, if I had to guess Superstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was a big one. That was a big one. Um, pretty much wherever the squad would want to drop, I just follow them. <laughs> where, where, what was it, Cup of Frags? Clap, Clappuccino. Clappuccino. Clappuccino called the shots Clappuccino. with everything. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we kind of knew, yeah, he's just out here ready to clap. Um, but, uh, yeah, we play with, uh, our boy Steve Aoki would oh, play a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, and yeah, we would always Steve's battle. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, he's, he's a gamer. Yeah, he's he's so fun to play with. Me me and him we play uh, similar, very similar. Okay. Yeah. What are your comms like with your team? Pangs and comms, comms and pangs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you a vocal one? I'm more of like on me, yeah. on me, yeah. help me. My name is my name. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that get me hyped when I heard that. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Or where you want to be, Shiv. This is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. Live inside Scrapyard. Scrapyard has good loot, too. It, it does. does. Very good loot. It's like, and the thing is that you find a lot of it on the ground. You don't have to worry about opening no, chests. 100%. Yeah. It's perfect. Although there are people who camp. Seriously, oh, absolutely. Seriously here. Um, striker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that a striker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's, that's, that's one of my favorite. Okay, how do I? There you go. Nice. I uh, actually just got my... Um, Striker gold. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah. So, so it's a GG from now on is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. And I, I typically actually go on TikTok and I say, what's the best uh, guns currently? <laughs> and okay. then they, one guy was saying Striker. Striker. Yeah. Have you guys played with Striker? Yeah. yeah. Solid yeah. choice. Absolutely. I love the Striker. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely fitting into the meta at the moment for sure. Strikers are good. And I noticed when I was playing it um, on multiplayer, like without any of the attachments yet, it it's was still fries. solid. Yeah. As, as a ground loot gun, Striker's always oh, solid. Oh, yeah. Gun, yeah. Sure. It's actually interesting. Like, that's actually a great conversation about ground loot and mm. what the best ground loot sure. is versus a, a meta loadout. It's yeah. funny because when we were talking about this earlier, like, sometimes the ground loot actually dictates what the current meta is because you're yeah. using it so often. It's interesting. Like, like, WSP was on ground a lot. Oh, yeah. For, for quite some time before it wasn't, yeah. I mean, you think about it, especially with hot drops, right? Superstore. Yeah. Like, it is all about what you find on the ground immediately. Well, like, when Kilo was meta, that was also a ground loot weapon, too, when the mm -hmm. Kilo was out. Mm -hmm. oh so, my gosh, sometimes the, the ground loot is nutty. Like, <laughs> oh, with yeah. the attachments, like, it, it gets pretty wild. What's my guy? What is he okay. staring at? Are we good? You okay? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Where is, where is he gone? He's okay. figuring it out. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> he's, he's learning right along <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, he's learning, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow. We haven't seen anyone. No, you guys really haven't. But I will say this, Hannah, one thing you're unintentionally doing, or maybe intentionally, because you got a big brain, is you're playing the gatekeeper role. Yeah, we're getting inside. So anybody that comes in, they're frantically trying to, you know, escape the zone, they're going to be running straight into you. Yeah. Which is perfect. I just see. You saw a shadow, didn't you? Yeah. I saw it too. Somebody dropping in. You did? Yeah. I saw it as well. Oh, gosh. If there's a zip, maybe get on top of a roof. Because you are in zone. Come on. X drop E. Should I go up? Do it. Try it. I would. Okay. It's going to be nerve wracking, but right. why not try? And you got the striker. Right here, right here. Yeah, I got the striker. Got okay. The striker. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No one camping. No one camping. Okay. Nobody's We're here. Good. We're good. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm still learning these. <laughs> You're I'm, I'm actually beyond <laughs> impressed. Like, it's silly how impressive. Okay. Maybe, okay, maybe that was good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. We're up. <laughs> I, I honestly couldn't do this. Oh, this is insane. Oh, shit. oh wait. Oh. Oh, um, oh, absolutely. Got his ass. Destroyed. That's three. That's three. Let's go, Hannah. Let's That's go. Three. Her name is three her name. Kill. Her name is her name. I just love high ground. Yeah. This is my jam. Anybody else? A little camperoni and cheese we could get? A little snack? <laughs> and we could snack on? Perfect. Oh, wait. Full meal. Oh, we got four. Four elims now. Where's my guy? He's over here. 
Yeah, you're. I, I can't tell who's leading who. At, at certain points, Santa, it seems like you're leading the team. Like he's <laughs> following you. I'd follow. I haven't seen this guy in the kill feed yet. Yeah, so I haven't. I think you're the slayer more yeah. so than a supporter. Yeah. Can slay it right now. Hundred percent. We're starting to get close to final circles territory too. Are you serious? Yeah, pretty act, close. Act, so the zone is really compacted, and you actually have a red dot just to your left on the buy station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, on that buy. That. so now you got a couple of options. Are you going to play it a bit slower? Oh my God. So you go for the victory. Do you want to get eliminations? You've got options. Oh, he's over here. Oh yeah. He's oh, they're here. pushing towards. Is he coming? Mm-hmm. Is he coming on the ground? Oh shit! Wait. Come on. Where is this going? Oh, he's over here. Wait. Should we switch? Oh, wait, are we sniping? Oh. Where is he? Hmm. I always get, um... <gasps> oh. The heartbeat? I wish I had my the heartbeat heart right now. <laughs> oh, your hobby right now? No, the, the, heartbeat, the heartbeat sensor. sensor. Heartbeat sensor, sensor. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're about to get to round five. This is starting to get yep. small. Okay, I think I need to get to my boy. Let me just say, Hannah, if you're our first guest on and you find a Warzone mobile victory Set the bar on a high. tablet oh. you've never played it before, setting the bar high, that would be legendary. Yeah. yeah. No pressure, though. Yeah. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> but also win. But also win. So the cool thing is, I think there's only so there's ten players total minus the two. Yeah, eight, with Hannah eight and left. Teammates. So really? eight left. Yeah. So this is very doable. Very winnable. Very winnable. And you're in a good spot too. I know they're they're around. They're near. Hey, X Droppy, wait for your girl. <laughs> Here I go. Oh shit! Uh -oh. Oh, shit. oh, is that an LMTV? That that's is. a fucking. That's a fucking. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. You're good. It it doesn't see you. <gasps> oh, he's got out. Oh gosh, he's got out. Should I run? Uh. X Droppy. <laughs> <laughs> drop your ass over here. <laughs> imagine, imagine she's got open mic right now and X-Drop is hearing all of this. Like, Literally. Why, why do I hear four just, voices? Uh, he's just chilling. Oh, he's uh, pushing. Is going in. He's oh, going pushing. in. He's going Should in. I? He wants action. Okay, I'll push. All right, let's go. He wants action. We're going in. Use the support roll. The support roll is in full swing. God, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they've left the car. So, oh, ooh, ooh. again with X the snipes. Get him! Get him! The bait. Get him! Oh, X Drop is coming back. Oh, no, get him! Get him! Get him! X Drop is coming to pick you not... up. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, he got there. Oh, wow. He just wanted to take your loot. Now wow. we gotta watch X Drop because X Drop. Oh, I, I got sniped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was yeah. A, it was a bait for sure. Big bait. Big bait, but we're gonna have a little look at some well, other gameplay as well. Oh, great. We'll by that wow, How what a fun game. <laughs> Heck of a start. Wow. Um, I feel great. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I blinked <laughs> that whole time. Fair. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, that was so fun. And yeah, guys, this is my first game on tablet. Right. And the fact that I was able to get kills. I know. Is so Four of them. That's like, how you know. I just want you to know something. Yeah. I kind of love and hate you at the same time because I'm going to have to play this and I'm going to be so much worse. Than <laughs> no way. I actually am. You would, you're going to be, be surprised. Terrible. Have you seen my nails? How long these are? That's, there's no way. Ooh, there is these are nice. No, there's no shot. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so done. But that was unbelievably <laughs> impressive. So that was just you, incredible. Uh, that was so um, fun to do. Like a little um, bit of dopamine getting kills, funny, getting kills on camera as well. Everyone can see. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you taking the tablet. Oh! Knock me out. <laughs> got fifth apparently, by the way. Fifth place. Fifth? Yeah. fifth place, four eliminations. That's not bad at all. Let's go. That's a good bar setting tone, honestly. It, it really is. That's a good bar setting tone. Yeah, there we go. I got so Woo! And, and some of the best trash talk too, by the way. I Legitimately. I don't know if Legitimately. you guys will be able to match that. You committed. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Yeah, absolutely committed. Um, so you, you yeah, mentioned uh, making content with your sister. Um, is this a game maybe you two can, I don't know, start playing together or what? Yeah, uh, I mean, I will, I'll do what I can to get her on the game. Okay. She's kind of like done something different with okay. her life. She helps people give birth now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, that's kind of in line with what you do. What and, are yeah, you double major? Rebirth. Re when no. I oh, yeah, rebirth. Yeah, rebirth. You got to get the word play in there. You got to <laughs> yeah. get the word play in that's there. It's actually pretty intelligent. I'm not going <laughs> to That's pretty good. <laughs> um, but, um, wait, what's... I deleted the subtweet. Are, are we just off? Oh, okay. Yeah. But either way... It's been fun, though. It's been, it's been fun experiencing the game not only with you, but just with everybody else. 
Yeah, yeah, so best game in the world. When you're watching Swag, or for instance, watching Dad play, he's got the same tablet set up. Yes. Where do you find like the most impressive moments of their gameplay come from? Is it like in their aim, their movement? Movement. Movement. Quickness. Sure. Um, their IQ of the game too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they could bait people into Certain a house situations. and then they jump out of the house and then go in a different right. way because they already know what way they're going what in. What way they're going in, yeah. Um, it's, it's a, uh, yeah, high IQ is involved, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of respect for that. Right. And. Um, yeah, a little natural born killers over there, dude. <laughs> what would I, what would your reaction be if I was to tell you that you are going to be playing in a dream squad oh, with Swag bro, very shortly? Oh my, well, really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm dropping in with, with Swag? Yes. yes. You're lying! And you're gonna, you're gonna play multiplayer with him. So you're really? gonna be, yeah, in the, absolutely in the mix. <laughs> really? Oh that's God, it. dude, that, he's part of my dream squad. Actually. Is it? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who, who else is on your ideal dream squad of all time? Oh, I'd probably kid. say, like, my dad, not because he's good, just like, hey, dad, I know you moved to Mexico with someone younger, like, I still exist. <laughs> and then maybe, like, Oppenheimer, because he knows yeah. how to use a gun and, like, an, or a, a bomb and yeah, annihilate okay. a population. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're and then I just crafting. know Swag's just also going to carry Swag us. is on that list. Not, not, even, not even Killian Murphy, just straight up Oppenheimer. Just, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. who I want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is not at all what I thought your list was going to sound like. I, yeah, we got Dad, you know, we got Oppenheimer, you know, yeah, like swag. it's it's a full it's collection. Swag. Yeah, I just, want to, I just want to be known that we that Stan didn't even win his gulag. Hannah did. I love you. Just saying, I love that. Saying we're watching somebody who's like literally doing this for. A <laughs> yeah. You won your gulag. I did. I did. And gulag, one of the best things you can do is do nothing at all and let them come to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. That was. Hey, look, that was the coach. I'm telling you. you just, <laughs> just stand still. They're going to come to you. You're good. That You're good. Coach pop for you. Well, I'm, I'm good at doing nothing on, a, on the battlefield. Okay, what a good. Everybody else both, around. Brother man. You know what I'm saying? You're like, giving me any more faith of you being my second guy into these buildings that were apparently. <laughs> I'll play the role. Yeah, I'm, okay. So this is the thing. Yeah. Going in is no problem. Doing something once you go in, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, but I'll right. go I in with Austin it. Butler's character. No problem here. at all. That looks no problem at all. So good. I think, which one's Swag? Is Swag the one? Wait, one? Swag's in this party? Yeah, with yeah. you Yeah, Swag's in the party. Mm -hmm. This is your, this is your roster. That's your this team. Is... All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> no, you're, you're going to be so good. I can't wait to see you light this up. Can you hear me? Um, I don't don't think so. Production can swag here, Hannah. If I scream loud enough. If you scream, scream loud, loud enough, enough yeah. you, he'll hear you. If you say my name is my name, he will Again. Get. My name is my name. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you, were, you were a Spartan in like Slap a different Slap my chest. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that actually happened when you blacked out. I don't know if you remember that or not. But. Yeah, I know, I don't. <laughs> All, right. All right, it looks like actually I think your game is about to start. Here. I know. Get, there you go. Get the, you're ready. locked. The good right. news is you're like guaranteed to win right now. Yeah, yeah. I just have to sit back and... I follow swag, really. That, I mean, that's it. If you, it's, he's quick, though. Is are you? I, is she dropping with Lucky Chamu as well? I think Lucky. I think Lucky, Lucky swag. Well. You're yep. gonna love Lucky. Lucky. Lucky's yeah. just as good. Lucky is Lucky just, is just, just east to the right. That's, that's, that's Lucky. Fantastic. That's Lucky yeah. right there. Same energy as Swag as well. And he's good. Really? Yeah. Yes. And he's good. You're, yep. I think I think you're Absolutely. gonna be a fan of him as well. He's brilliant. They're yeah. both quick players. Very you nice. know this is the best day of my life. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I had a wedding yesterday. Oh. oh. And I still stand by what I said. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the best. Person in the wedding is like, wait a second. Well, hold up. Hold on. You just said that. You said that yesterday. What's going on? Every day is a new day, you know what I mean? Every yeah. day. Every day is a new day. And is that lucky right that there? That is lucky, lucky right there. That's Aww. lucky. Rock, he, rock in the duck, duck as he typically does. Yeah. Let's go ducks. Let's go, let's go ducks. Let's go ducks. Go ducks. Let's go ducks. I'm from Oregon. Are you from Oregon? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Into ducks? The ducks? Oh, the ducks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they play today, don't they? Yeah. Is it? Okay, ducks. Mm -hmm. huh? They play today, don't they? March Madness? Yeah. Right? I think they do. Yeah, I haven't followed it in a while, but yeah, they're the best. I'm from the UK. I hey. haven't got a clue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, woo! Nope, no idea, but love that. Go Ducks. Sko Ducks. Sko Ducks. Sko Ducks. Yeah, Sko Ducks. Sko Ducks. Love that so much. Oh, I think uh, Hawk's Nest is also in your party, too. Yes. He's Which, a big time mobile player. Big time mobile big player. Time mobile player. He's really, really good nice. at the game. So you're playing with like three legends at the moment. Oh my gosh. Actually, they're, playing We're with legend. they're playing with the legend Hannah, though. They're playing with it. Make no mistake. <laughs> yeah, make no mistake. Make no mistake. Let the record The reflect. legend Rezzer. <laughs> Yo, th honestly. I'll res him up. Imagine, though, if, if they set uh, an elimination record right now as a squad yes. and as a part of it. 
Yeah. I'm here for this. Obviously. Again, we're breaking records early. Yeah. Put her in the <laughs> record not, books. There's no record set yet, so we're, you know, we're, we're setting the tone. Put her in the record books. Setting the tone for the rigatoni. Rigatoni. Yeah. Rigatoni. Um, I think, uh, hold on. Oh. We got a, we a need, passcode. We do have a passcode. Yep. We're, we're, we can get that going for you. Hold the phone. So Watch what are your guys' favorite guns on this? Uh, so for me personally, uh, HRM nine, like that, that's my go-to. It's kind okay. of the meta at the moment. Nice. Um, but you mentioned a striker. Striker's fantastic mm -hmm. as well. You can use that. Uh, I know a lot of you're really big on the Ram. Uh, the Ram. The Ram Ram's, I'm, Ram's I'm real popular. For my SMG, if mm -hmm. I'm feeling really dicey and I have to be on it to be SMG out there. <laughs> uh, but Bruin, I love a Bruin. Um, yeah, I think they're saying just... Ram and Bruin Ram are and Bruin, one yeah. of the top guns. That sounds right. Right, right, right now. Yeah. yeah, I just I just love the Bruin. It's very, very powerful. And if you hit your shots, they're going down. So yeah. I, I love that. And, and if you don't yeah. hit your shots, you got 100 more you got a, rounds. Yeah, you just, <laughs> literally limitless so, ammunition. You're good to go. You yeah. Just, yeah. just continue to it's fire. It's called the backup plan. Uh -huh. it. The backup plan. 99 the backup bullets backup of backup plan. plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, the backup plan. Yeah, that's probably, those are probably my two favorite. Yeah, Ram's good right now. So I, I mean, I come from like the competitive multiplayer side. So like I spent a lot of time with the MCW in hand. Of course. Just mm -hmm. because that's what's meta for the pro league and stuff. But I've said, I lately I've been flexing on the ram because it just came out and then the striker is always really good yeah. so oh, nice. that's like my ar smg duo if i were to have to well, pick two the mcw 762 is, is also like yeah no it's good it's good two. yeah so yeah. like i mean if that's an easy transition too with the mcw 762 for sure yeah uh but yeah ram 7 amr hmr or hrm excuse me like th those were all guns mm. interchangeable but it's like we were talking earlier hannah like it's you know now with it being mobile what's the meta going to be here yeah like, can it be different is it a different build you know so yeah something to consider. I think everybody's going to be messing around with a whole bunch of different guns. So, so. neither of you snipers then? No, I'm terrible. I don't snipe. sniper rifle. I try, I, I really, funny enough, I, I, I actually took a class from uh, Swag <laughs> trying to, no. I did, I did, I took a, really? I, I did a class. Oh, so, well, I, dude, I, I, oh, you took a, <laughs> why did I think of No, not a class, like a literal <laughs> class, like an educational class. She's a scholar, I want to take a hand class. No, I don't get one-on-one -on -one classes I'm, with dude. Swag. No, I, from one of his videos, I took one of his loadouts and I was trying to snipe. He's like, dude, this is the best quick snow, uh, scoping, you know, oh, sniper you can yeah. get with the cat. And I'm like, dude, I'm in i was out i was out i could not hit bro it's hard it's hard it's hard i i love sniping but i snipe in different fps games so the feeling of of the like call of duty sniper is a little bit different oh big time a little bit heavier and a bit clunkier so i can't really get I just can't get a decent shot off on on, on call with a sniper, even though I want to. Maybe at some, maybe I should just grind it this year. You just gotta, oh, you just gotta yeah, do why it. Not? Like, why not? Why not? You just have to go for it. It's I, one of those things. It's kind of cool to get some nice clips. It was kind of like me. When oh I, yeah, nothing says sweaty <laughs> more than a quick scope <laughs> on yeah. a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is what I can do. Different <laughs> as well. Like when you get that shot, and yeah, you, it, it hits so hard. Well, because oh, yeah. you, you got the lead up time, you have to lead your shots. Yeah. That's where the struggle for me always came in. And that, well, that's the new struggle too. Like even, uh, you know, MW3 came out and now, now obviously going into the new Warzone and, and, and Warzone Mobile is like, you have to lead a little bit more, but right. that makes it way more satisfying. And even whether it be as a spectator yeah. or as the person shooting the sniper, you know, itself, like when you do see a shot get hit or you, you know, you oh, connect yeah. a shot yourself, it's so satisfying because of how difficult it can be. See, at the I, str I struggle with that. That is the leading. I can't, the leading. I find it so difficult, yeah. especially yeah. if they're moving. Like you see, you see <laughs> right, people yeah. like sniping out of out of Unreal. trucks. I'm like, how are you sniping out? Like, first of all, you got to get that through the window. Yeah. Right. Second of all, that thing is moving. <laughs> and even the trick amazing. shot. I know. Right. Yeah, they'll do a 360 and then quick scope them out of the air. Or no scope, it gets nutty. Oh nutty. God. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's well, that's very swag it's later. Very right. Yeah. <laughs> he does it. Some trick shots from from these guys for sure. Oh yeah. I mean, they're but, ridiculous but multiplayer how do you actually shift how do you think that these guys are going to fare in multiplayer they're going to absolutely dumpster everybody <laughs> are you kidding me yeah. they're going to just run over everyone i'm not going to see anyone to yeah kill. your your plan of like following is going to be great to watch the action from like a third person right. perspective right right, <laughs> right. <laughs> no they're going to run through i saw some of the the old mobile pro players were jumping into the scrapyard and all that and they they're already posted clips on twitter it's just like really? unreal mm -hmm. 
spinning on people, slide canceling, whole nine yards. Oh, well, wow. and the beautiful thing is too, it's a six v six, so yeah, there's only yeah. four playing. But like, there's going to be two random people who's going to have a chance to you know play alongside all of you, which is going to be wonderful. For so those at home, if you're playing, hey, this is your chance. Better start ready to queue up. Uh, queue up, man, and, and come in and play because uh, it's about to get spicy <laughs> for sure. For sure. I can, I can hear Lucky already getting geared up. He's ready. Is he? Yeah. Lucky, Lucky's always geared up. Lucky, yeah. Lucky's one of those yeah. people. That... That's it. It was the, it was the cool. She slaps. Here we go. Yeah, she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we go. Come on. Lock in. All right, here we are. Uh, we're, we're oh, we're dropping into we're Warzone. Oh, okay, we're doing Warzone. This is full on the dance. Okay. Okay, great. No, this is cool too. Yeah, we're we're in here too. All right. Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see you and Swag become a dealer here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't touch the screen. <laughs> Look it up. Okay, hey, it doesn't count. Hey, it's not, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, this is just free lobby. Just the, just the warm-up. Don't worry about it. We're good. Free lobby vibes. You're done warming up. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. All right. I would expect this is going to be a super... Boys? Probably going to be a superstore drop, if I were to guess, <laughs> based on these guys. Yeah, where are we going, guys? You tell me, I'll follow you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he, he, did you see? He, he looked at me. Yeah. He, lo he looked at you. <laughs> he, he looked at me, I think. <laughs> he looked at you and said, I had to keep up. We're going in hot. Who's he's rocking really the fade like, Rothos skin, by the way? I, <laughs> I think Hawk's Nest? Hawks is running the fade Rothos skin? I think Hawk's Nest. Because Lucky's the duck. <laughs> Lucky's always the duck. Lucky's always the duck. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we going to? Oh, they so they. Hospital? I think they marked hospital. All right. Yep. Here I go. Here we go. What could go wrong? <laughs> nothing. With swag under Wait, game? Wait, let nothing. me just hold on. Where are my boys? Where are they? They did not go hospital. They baited you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. <laughs> Guys. They're going superstore. They're dropping okay, super. Okay, okay. Yeah, All yeah. right, super. Let's go. He knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, there's people, there's people landing. Oh God, hold on, there's a lot of people let, yo, this is about oh to God. hot drop. It's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. It's a hot drop, people. Hot drop. Hawk's Nest, I'm landing on you, on top. There's somebody right there in front of you, Hawk's Nest. Get him! <laughs> Get him! Oh, you got him. Okay, here I go. You the most oh. oh, she knows how to read poison. Okay. I was okay gonna say wait, somebody's the right there. Lucky Charm, get him. This is your chance. Get him with my pistol. This is your chance. Got him down. Yes, Hannah. Yeah. Let's go, Hannah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually happening. It is. There's another one in front of you, Hannah. This is perfection. Oh my god, what? I need a gun. You need a gun. I need a gun. I can't do this with my pistol. Oh, uh, uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Wait, Hawks Nest, how did you do that? Did he just... So they mastered the belly dive. flop. Yeah. Dive. <laughs> that was a, Wait. It was also a large one. That was, that was, I need... came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It looked like he fell from the sky, I'm not going to lie. Did. <laughs> okay, um, oh boy. Should I just, I'm going to go find out. Yeah, I'd hop it. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, thank God, that's my friend. Okay, here we go. We'll load right. it. And then let's. No, this is fine, right? You You're got good. both. You got both, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. And if you want to switch, you just click the. Yeah. The weapon you want. All right. Where are my Where boys? Her hype team up here. They've Where are my team. boys? I know it. Where her hype team? Phase doozy. Mm-hmm. Big swags. <laughs> Okay, I'm still learn, learning the lay of the land. <laughs> you're actually the first one to break out of the POI, so you're the first one leading the charge. Someone's uh, in there. Should I go avenge him? Absolutely. It. Have to. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I'm trying to beat him. Guys, someone's inside! <laughs> oh, someone's dropping in on you. Um. Yeah, they're all fighting. Base doozy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Abort mission! No! Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 oh, she's wait, got wait, this. wait, wait. Oh my gosh, she's got this. Oh! Hannah! Oh! oh! 
literally got him down to one shot. <laughs> yeah. I was already one shot though. You were, but he was with it. Like, he was choking. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, we, got, we got gulag. We got gulag. Oh, we got gulag. Yeah, you got gulag. And then, hey, if not, You're, they're gonna buy me back. That's right, they're gonna buy you back. So what's the game plan? Stand still again, or are you pushing? I think I'll do a little stand still. A little stand still? <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this one plays out. All right, here you are. Okay. Same gun, too. Yep. Five. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you got hit by a rock. It's a rock. It's just a rock. It's just a rock. It's a rock. Don't worry. Ignore them. It's Ignore just another them. rock. Oh, my God. Don't worry. Ignore them. Oh. Whoa. That was close. It is close, but no cigar. <laughs> But it is kind of jarring getting hit by the rock. The it is. Yeah, I feel like that, like, shakes. yeah. That's that lower my, my health? It does. By, by, by one. By one. By one. Mm -hmm. it, it's more of a That's panic freak out. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys? Yeah. Honestly, Absolutely. the rocks. Honestly, you got hit by two rocks. Those three rocks were the difference between them. So. All right. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. Uh-oh. what I do? No, it did no. You're, you're chilling. No, you're chilling at the moment. I got out of the game. Oh, wait, spectate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I thought there I we logged go. out. No, <laughs> You're you okay. absolutely fine. So what, what was the what was the experience like playing with Swag and Lucky and, and Hawksnest just absolutely diving in front of this you? Is, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. was jarring. A lot of things going on at once, right? Yeah. So when I'm when I'm playing, I'm always pretty close to my teammates and mm -hmm. they're all pretty close together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I'm seeing is they're so good they could team wipe they just whoever run. they want. Yeah. So it yeah. was a lot, like everybody was just, Everywhere. it was like you poured water on a bunch of ants. And then they all just started going in <laughs> other different directions. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, face doozy, we're sweating. Like, <laughs> um, and that's what I noticed. Right. Yeah. Um, they disperse. They do, the, yeah. yeah. They disperse to try and get as, as many kills as possible, which can be really <laughs> yeah. fun. It's, I, I'm used to also playing in a squad, so like, uh -huh. that to me, I'm When you like, keep uh, together, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But Hannah, it was so, so wonderful having you on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you guys for, so much for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, Aw, oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful rest of the day. If you want to go hype them up on their streams, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on. Go on. I'm going to go. Uh, go right next to Swag. Breathe near Swag. Yeah. Okay. Breathe near. You go breathe near him, okay? <laughs> All right, here well, I go. Nice to meet you. Hope that wasn't creepy. Hannah, stop. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Just own it. Okay. My name is my name. On the show. <laughs> You'll be remembered. Name, Scholar Demon. But it's incredible having her here. We're going to head to a quick break right now, folks. But when we come back, we do have Jimmy O. Yang joining us on the couch to talk a little bit more about Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. We'll catch you guys on the other side of this. You hear what? Humans. Bobby's still alive. Oh, yeah, they're... Um... At the gas station to our west. I just saw some people. Probably not the Wait, ones you're hearing, but. On my face. Oh my god, missing all my shots. Love that. Classic. Oh, he's what are you shooting at? Oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. cracked. What the hell just happened? That was weird. Let's see if I'm good at this game. Oh my god, I know hop ups. Guys knocked. Chill. What do you mean? I that was my I kill. <laughs> I got there first. Okay, buddy. I need to change my map placement. This is very awkward. Enemy precision air. Light ping. I'm going deep in there. They threw a precision on us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I warned you. Uh, 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 I'm in the uh, building, uh, dog. What? Don't fight for a dog to redeploy. That's kind of crazy. Please, I'm behind you. Crawl in the building. Help. Hold on, I'm really bad at this game. Can you swap weapons? <laughs> This is the most NPC day one video game gunfight of all time. Oh my god. It got worse. It just kept getting worse. Oh my god, please help. Please help. Shut up. You're fine. Wait, call me daddy? Yes, yes. Fuck no. Alright. Actually, Enjoy 20 death. Gifted. 20 gifted? 20 gifted. 20 gifted. Wait. What's worth what's worth more to you? I'm <laughs> Oh, 
Dude, that gunfight was so bad. I don't know how, but my frames has gone up. It's at 100 now, and then it started at 60 to this game. Hashtag ad chat. And now it's at 55, so. Oh. I guess. Never mind. That's what it is. Where am I going? I'm going to the airdrop. I'm going for a run, apparently. Party, yo. There's gunshots over here. They're definitely in this building. You're on your own. You got this. I have. Oh, easy. Oh wait, this guy's cheap posing. The the world. Wait, two pro. There's a guy two cheap posing. It's Mateo two pro, yeah. Two pro. What the hell? Are you shooting? Nope. Oh, it's that guy shooting. I'm like stuck on top of the This game still doesn't feel real. I don't believe this. What the f just happened? Oh, there's a guy on the roof. A guy on the roof. Yeah. Apparently. Hi guy. How are we doing? Are you live? Yeah. Oh. I wanna use LMGs. That's probably what I should use. I should customize. Oh, I don't know if I can switch to a different custom mode. But... Alright. No, there's a guy right there. Guy right there. Guy right there. Multiple! Dude, there were like four people! Are you freaking kidding me? What? Somebody raging in the background? Dude, is there somebody raging in the background? How do I turn that off? Where's the where's the kill feed? I are where's my player? Somebody's raging, I think, in the background, and I apologize if they said anything. I didn't know. As I said, I'm not playing with my headphones on right now because I didn't know how to... Bro, we got to get to pro Promenade. Oh my lord, Promenade. Go Promenade. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Jailbreak? I'm going promenade. I wish the mini map was touchpad. I gotta switch that. You got another Yui or Chibity? You guys see guy in front of me? Can you interrogate? Oh my lord. I'm dead. I was trying to buy you up and then I couldn't get off of it. I lost my plates. We're dance mobile reaper. Our drops enabled. No, we have, we give away codes, chat, like every like 30 minutes. We have one more code. The next code we're giving out is a Warzone mobile skin. I don't even know which one it is.
It's like code, it's like manual code, yeah. So like, probably like next like 10 minutes or something, I'm gonna give you guys a new code and it's gonna be a skin. We give it away all the time. First come, first serve in that. So it's not, it's not just one though, it's like, there's a bunch. Sometimes the reloads be taking so long. This is really bad, chat. I need to fix my buttons for multiplayer. Come from? There's literally two teammates in that doorway. Like you just disappeared, bro. You just appeared. Uh, my game wouldn't let me do anything. Else. I don't know if that was wrong. I feel like shit. Do these mosh pit maps are not the maps to be having to level up this gun?
We are back with Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live, and, and we're back here in the booth. Beef Mommy, Bobby Plays, myself, Goj. Uh, really excited to be back, and I love that we got a chance to look back on the Hannah Stocking highlights because I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. I think the best part about that whole segment were her uh, exclamatory phrases every time she got a kill. Uh, an incredible sequence, a, a lot of raw emotion, and some cool stories about kind of like background around her gaming history, Bobby. Yeah, no question about it. I was actually streaming the entire time she was on, so I didn't get to hear a ton of <laughs> oh, it. Fair, hey, fair, fair, fair. Uh, it was honest. Like, you know, we gotta, we gotta get some reps in. I, I can't let everybody be playing all day, and I just be sitting here That's on fair. broadcast. Maybe I'll start playing while I'm on broadcast. We'll see. But, uh, uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, Beef Mommy, what did you think about the <laughs> Hannah Zocking uh, segment? Spoken like a true gamer, like all of her yelling. That's me. Like at yeah, the back, yeah. I was also playing kind of like Bobby and watching her at the same time, and I was yelling like her. I was playing multiplayer. Then one thing that I learned is that she. She's actually really good at doing the claw. Like I was yeah, amazed yeah, yeah. that she didn't use the controller. And her just here on the iPad, just chilling, and her favorite being the striker. I was like, yeah, yeah she girl really plays. Yeah, it was cool too. Like I think during our, our other caster segment, we got a chance to see what it looks like when you're not using the manual shoot button, right? So if, yeah. if you're maybe coming into mobile for the very first time and you haven't played a lot of mobile games, there is a setting where you can actually turn off the manual shooting button and you actually get walked through that in the training process of the game, Bobby. Yeah, and there was it also looked like in some of her clips she like couldn't see the person but it gave her like the little indicator <laughs> so maybe like it doesn't necessarily let you see through walls but gives you some extra information so there's like a slight delay in the way that it works but uh a little bit of a gain back as well and obviously you know only having two fingers to work with for a lot of people that are just starting off playing thumbs, it, it does make life a lot easier. Yeah, and I, and I think that's the thing, right? We've been talking about it all day today. Last segment when we were on originally, it's all about accessibility. Like, not only accessibility with where you can play Warzone Mobile, but how you play it with controller support, like learning touchscreens for the very first time. If you haven't had a chance to get your hands on Warzone Mobile, it's live. We've been playing all day today. We're going to continue to play. You've got to get your hands on it. We'll take a quick look at some more gameplay uh, while we're getting ready for our next segments and look uh, ducky i, I love ducky a lot he is a, a great player and a great content creator i swear this guy posts like three videos a day yeah. i i don't know if that's <laughs> yeah. true but it feels like that it's like he's churning out so much content and this guy just thinks of so many things to post on his youtube channel and not just that it's like in every event that i actually go to i just see him he's so active and he's really good when it comes to br as well i mean that's the reason why he's posting so much it's because he has just so much knowledge about every game that he plays that's right yeah that's right and, and Bobby, while you were streaming, since I was going to ask you about this, but you didn't get a chance to see it, we saw we Swag and Lucky map. cook. Oh, oh I'm yeah. sure. They, they <laughs> were in the kitchen, all right? They got their controllers hooked up. I mean, we're putting up like 18, 19, 20 kill games. It was actually yeah, insanely pro, impressive. The they won their first story. Verdance game and their first Rebirth I game back to back. It's 120 FPS. I, all I got to say is hertz. the guy's got is it, it, all right? I, I am very curious, like, whatever Dude, tournament do you start running, especially if it's like content creator tournaments. Obviously, I think Touch can keep up, but those yeah. guys have so many hours on both Rebirth like and Verdansk. I don't know if there's anything the mobile players can easy, do to easy. eclipse like that kind of <laughs> instincts and knowledge. Years. So I'm, I, I'm very, very curious what that's going to look it's like because like those guys, I, I'm sure, would turn it up. Yeah, you know, that, that's the fun part, too, is like uh, for Swag and Lucky, you could see the joy on their face of the nostalgia, of course, of Verdance, but also like, oh, my gosh, this feels so good on controller. Like we're able to put up like double digit kill games like Ferg put up a 19 kill victory with Tim the Tapman right after we got off, which was he made an incredible last minute play where he went down in gas self-revived with a durable and then ended up winning it it was awesome but then seeing guys like lucky and swag still put up like you know 15 16 kill games uh you know with a guy like ferg putting up a 19 kill game i don't know it's just really really cool to see kind of this camaraderie between all of our content creators and people playing the game maybe for the first time or maybe for the 300 millionth time or whatever That's it is you. for ferg You're basically describing or me. yourself <laughs> and it's a good thing that you pointed it out like all of these controller players i feel like it was a huge question mark before getting into our first day that is it going to be as good oh because for me, I already know it's so going to be intuitive, it's going right to be touch, now. but it looks like the controller players Basic are doing kill. an absolute beast of a time just because of swag with the back to back Jeez, wins, man. kills all throughout. But you also see people like Ferg just using touch, very much back. used to that. Know. And I think at this point, it's an even playing field. The only thing that the controller and PC players actually have is that experience and playing for dance already sure. beforehand. Sure. 
Yeah, no, I, I agree. But, Bobby, we're taking a look at Rebirth Island again, and I think we want to remind everybody oh, at home that you can play Rebirth uh, with That's Resurgence, you can play Verdance, there's Mobile Royale, and then, of course, some of our multiplayer maps that we've already seen uh, several times. Uh, Bobby, what what'd you do on your stream? What were you cooking up over there? Oh, it was uh, it was full of Mobile Royale. Just the All entire day. way through, me and Noah. I got carried the majority of the time, but there was one clutch that I actually had <laughs> that I felt pretty good about, so it was uh, it was worth the stream. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, look, you uh, we're gonna be live here for 36 hours straight. You're taking breaks, but when you're taking oh breaks, God. you're streaming at the same time. So <laughs> no breaks for Bobby. Uh, the man only shoots nukes. Uh, go check out his stream. Uh, we talk content creators all day today. Oh, all day today, of course, Bobby, a fantastic content creator in his own right. But yeah, Ducky's cooking on some rebirth here. Um, I think over the course of the day, we've seen some evolution of learning that the game is... more and more. I think everybody's putting in a crazy amount of hours to, to do so and learn what works best. So, Beef Mommy, uh, you were grinding uh, during our break was. as well. I'm if the only on one me, that actually took looked. a break and That's like drank water. Um, so Skill how was you. your multiplayer experience? Oh my goodness, it just feels so good, man. Like for me, it took me a little bit to kind of get used to the differences when it comes to my sensitivity, the movement. But after a few games, I was just on lock. I was ready. I was actually being top fragged in these okay. lobbies. Sure. By top frag i mean i was at the bottom and i was just like okay. i'm being delusional right now let's be real i can't i can't top these players who have been grinding the game since like beta or sure. in their region that's been that played but for me i honestly have i think i've acclimated while playing multiplayer just because i'm not used to br i want to transition sure kind yeah of like what we've playing what we've been saying the entire day is that it's a good transition to have the rebirth island as that crossover between multiplayer and br I, oh, for I when i do yeah. go into verdance no i think it's an exact pathway you should take mm -hmm. multiplayer into resurgence learn how a br works even with this kind of uh, nice mechanic where if you go down as long as your teammates stay alive you can get right back into the mix right yeah. a, a huge oh, huge win the there so I, I love that progress uh look ducky's talking about meta builds bobby we've been talking about meta today um anything changed on your stream or is it still hrm actually, it and like ramp no i uh i made a sniper loadout but then i forgot to use it the entire time <laughs> that i was streaming just because i didn't have it in slot one and my muscle memory is just hit slot one every single time sure so uh if I hop back into some games, I'm going to try to pull out the sniper, but uh, it might be a little rusty. Well, we've had so much fun here in the booth, and it's good to be back, but we have to bring in a very special guest. Now, you might know uh, this person for uh, maybe being hilarious, or you may have seen him on Silicon Valley, a stand-up special Guess How Much, uh, maybe as the Dragon King himself, or maybe Steve from that one New Girl episode. It's time to wel welcome on Jimmy O. Yang, going to be joining us here in the Yang. booth. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jimmy, thanks nice for joining you. us. Man. You guys want to deep dive Steve and uh, what, I New know, Girl? I really did. Look, wow. Man, I, uh, I do my research, but also my wife just loves New Girl. She was like, oh, that's that's Steve from New Girl. I was like, I think he's known for like a couple uh -huh. other things. I, I, I auditioned like five times for New Girl, and I had one line on that episode. It was like she, her using a dating app. And I literally, the one line I say, I'm like, I think Meryl Streep is kind of a bitch. And that, that was the line. If you go back and watch the episode, I'm not like, you know, saying anything out of pocket. And I do not believe that. It's not I my personal that episode now. You, you do? It's I, called Dice or no, something. I, it was like I've a, seen New Girl like all the seasons like at least 12 times and you saying that line it I would like to think uh, when I when I pass, when I'm in the in memoriam at the Oscars, that'll be my legacy. Sure. <laughs> well, I, I would hope so. I'm glad I could bring that back up for you, Jimmy. Look, I, I, we're really glad you're here. Uh, you. I, I know you know we've done some deep dives here, but also you talk about it pretty publicly. You love video games. Love. Uh, had, had a history in video games growing up. I want to hear a little bit about that story, like what your kind of history in video games was like, and then specifically with Call of Duty. Yeah. So my brother, my big brother, he was always like the cool kid. I grew up in Hong Kong. So he was the one that put me on like Super Nintendo, but we had like the bootleg thing where you can use like <laughs> floppy disks, like free yeah. floppy disks. Oh. And then he got the PS1 and we played a lot of like FIFA on there and Street Fighter, uh, King of Fighters back in the day, all those like flat, you know, 2D uh, fighting games. Um, but he would always kick my ass in that. So I wasn't, I was a little discouraged. Sure, you sure. Know? And then yes. I got into, uh, I think my first first person shooter game was when I was in high school, I played Medal of Honor. Yeah. And that was like a history lesson. I don't know if you guys know this. Fun fact, Steven Spielberg was the producer, executive producer of Medal of Honor. 
I did know that, but I wouldn't have remembered if you would have asked me. So thank you for <laughs> jogging that. Just like Steve, uh, I'm being jogged of this incredible memory. Steven Spielberg, obviously massive. Yeah. Um, and, and so that was your kind of like beginning in the gaming was, was Steven yeah. Spielberg. Yeah, it was uh, Uncle Steven um, got me into uh, my first first person shooter. It was just so fun. Like, I feel like you're learning about history and it was just a fun game. That was n not like an online element yet. Yeah, sure. And then like senior year, um, I'm 36. So this was like probably around 2004, sure. five, yeah, yeah. you know, a couple of my buddies got DSL. You know, I I, I was still using the AOL dial-up. Dial so oh, I couldn't man. I couldn't play, you know, the first person shooter games, but they were playing like Counter-Strike. Yeah, yeah. But then we'll also go down to the uh, Cyber City Cafe in Westwood uh, and play um, uh, uh, Counter-Strike. And, yeah. and they were like much better than I was. Um, but then in college, that's when I got into first Halo and then I got into Call of Duty. Um, it was all the Modern Warfare. So yeah, yeah, I was yeah. always a Modern Warfare boy. And then I haven't played it in years and years. And then this Modern Warfare came out and my old squad from high school was like, let's get no it. No way. Let's do it. Um, and I suck just as bad as I used to. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> For some reason, there's zero improvement. You know, like I feel like I, I'm, a, I'm a nicer person. I'm a better person in general as an adult. Sure. But uh, zero improvement. If, if anything, I'm way past my prime now in Call of Duty. If it makes you feel any better, I've been playing Call of Duty for the last four years and I haven't improved, so. That's fair. Isn't that like the worst part? Like <laughs> I I play so much and, and I thought I, I was like, I'm like, you know, anything I put my mind to, I can mm. probably be pretty good, except Call of Duty. It's just, how, however many hours you put in, there's some Korean kid putting in more hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't get me started. There's there's a kid probably 30 feet from you putting in more hours. What are these guys? Yeah. I mean, look at yeah. them. Yeah. They're fusing to the chair. They are, uh, One with the chair. these are some of the best uh, Call of Duty players in the world right across from you. And I think you're gonna have a chance to play. You know, I will say as much as we love to degrade Bobby Plays, uh, which is the guy sitting right <laughs> next to you, uh, he actually is really talented. I think you're gonna have a chance to play with him later. Um, but uh, Jimmy, I really, again, love that you're here. Uh, love that you've kind of gotten back into Call of Duty. As somebody that's also on the older side, uh, the older generation, as it were, for video games at least, right? Uh, we're still And you're what, 25? That's very old. <laughs> no, I, I'm 30. I'm turning 30, 30. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah you, know. Um, it, you know, talk to me about what video games meant to you as a, as a kid, too. Like, I think that's kind of, uh, you know, something that you and I probably share is that it, it holds like a special place in our heart, like when we were growing up, right? That That's how I made friends. Yeah. Like honestly, I, I know it sounds nerdy, but all my closest friends was when like my buddy got a copy of GTA and then we went and played, right? Like when we played Call of Duty together, that was like my college crew and we still like remain friends. And when my best friend actually moved to New York and had a wife and kids and I was still like single in LA, that's how we kept up every day. Cause you know, especially I feel like old like 30 plus year olds like we don't really pick up the phone and call <laughs> people especially yeah. like they say adult males are like really hard to make cl close friends so a video game it's like a nice low stakes way to kind of keep in touch right mm -hmm. like and, and and you just have a real camaraderie and I looking back all my closest friends that we had in common was video games and my brother too oh I totally get that because like growing up I lived in the Philippines and mm -hmm. so I didn't really know English too well only in class and I actually learned English by playing video games watching TV shows and Call of Duty was the game that was the biggest in that time and so I learned a lot of English and I mean to be fair it's not the best English because it's yeah. profanity right? I'm like 12 11 I'm just like yeah suck it yeah and then my mom would be like what the heck are you even doing and that's it's like what? I'm living with my cousins. I'm okay, trying okay. to get that PS4, that one lone PS4 compared to five other guys in the house. Wow. I'm trying to fight them. I want to play Warzone. I, I want to play Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Yeah, so I and get that. It, it makes you feel like you're just part of the world. Even yeah. if you're in a different country in a small town or something, like when you're on, on Call of Duty, no. you just, you you are e even leveled. Like yeah. it, nothing yeah. else matters. It doesn't matter how nice your living room is. Doesn't matter how big a TV is. Mm. You know, somebody's gonna get shot and somebody's gonna win, you know, and that's <laughs> yeah. it. Look, that hit me right deep in the chest there. That hit me in the heart. I mean, that's, but that's what Warzone Mobile's about too, right? Like yeah. Warzone has been out, um, you know, since lockdown even, right? So, you know, it's been out for, I think it was that's 1,742 days, uh, Warzone <laughs> released on PC. and But on mobile, the accessibility is what's so key. Like that's you can team, quite man. literally play on the train on yeah. the way to work or on your couch uh, or anything uh, like that. Have you have you played or dabbled into mobile games at all? I, I'm not a big mobile game guy because mobile games yeah. usually like, a little clunky, a little cartoonish, yeah. whatever is bombarded with like IG ads of like, you know, <laughs> leveling. It's like ridiculous, right? But then I, I played it this morning, the Call of yeah. Duty. 
It's insane. It's a full on game now. It's finally caught up yep. where it's just as good as like a PlayStation 5. It, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you said you played Call of Duty in the past. Have yeah. you been primarily a multiplayer? Have you played Warzone with the boys? What's your go-to? <laughs> I'm mostly a multiplayer guy. You know, uh, even now in my uh, game filter, I do team deathmatch and kill confirmed. Okay. Yeah. I, I care about my kill death. I care about my, you know, and then I, I try Warzone in preparation for this, a lot sure, of it. Sure, sure. And, and, and here's my theory. Like, team deathmatch, even if I lose, if I get a good kill death, if I just, it's a pl one plus kill death, I'm pretty happy, right? Can, can I pause you? Uh, CDL major is going on right now. Call of Duty League, professional league. Mm -hmm. We're talking KDAs. What's Jimmy O. Yang's KDA? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what I want to hear on broadcast Especially right Especially if that's dude, your main focus. Dude, I, I, I've tried. I think, um, first of all, I, I, I looked at my game log. I've logged seven full yeah, days playing Call of Duty, which is a lot for me. That's, that's yeah. sizable. Yeah. So like 150 yeah. hours, right? Like I could have learned yeah. Spanish in that time. <laughs> but... My kill death, I think it started bad, you know, because I got to get acclimated, but no excuse. It was at like a 9.5. Not 9.5. Oh, no. 0.95. 0.95 is not that bad, especially in multiplayer. I, I promise you, seriously. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I don't think it's terrible. It's just but, horrible. You know, but it was like creeping up to like 0.96, mm -hmm. 0.97, but like it would take so many kills and so much mm -hmm. to get up to 0.96. You know, I, I, I have a rule. I, I rage quit a game. If uh, I'm about like negative seven, okay, because so, you know negative seven, you're gonna be negative fifteen, then you're gonna mess up your kill. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know, probably not the best uh, sportsmanship, but um, uh, you know, your teammates don't love that either. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. So I'm I'm at a point, uh, maybe like nine seven now. Uh, my goal for this year is to get to a one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know, you're not that far. I uh, I thought it was gonna be lower, Jim. Wait, what? What are you guys this, Bobby? <laughs> Well, so my, mine's a little bit <laughs> yeah, different because it's not a, like, mainline Call of uh -huh, Duty. Uh -huh, so yeah. mine's like a, I think it's like a 1.9. Whoa. But also, I only play against mobile players, so the competition is not as difficult. Is that is that true? These guys have to be. And it like, depends on like what kind of game mode you're also playing. Like if you're yeah. playing a lot more respawns, then your KD is probably going to be a bit lower. But yeah, yeah, right. Uh -huh. play, yeah. Jimmy, do you know yeah. what they call me? I'm, oh. like, I'm the objective hound. Oh. If we're playing, if we're playing domination, we're playing, you know, any sort you of get the seconds. hard point. Oh, I'm the guy sitting on the hill. You know, they what literally I mean? call me OBJ Bobby. Yeah, OBJ, OBJ Bobby, Bobby right next to you. So. Oh, oh, I like that. <laughs> they call me Gulag Jimmy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that means you're. At least it means you're good in the Gulag, right? Uh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. I, I just told myself that <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm horrible at all of it. Okay. You know. Uh, wait, what, what, what's your kill death if you're uh, the objective guy? You know, that's a great question, and I think somebody at home is gonna have to let me know because I'm a I'm a Warzone guy through and through. So when ah. I out myself on a Warzone KDA, I'll basically never be hired again. What so, is a Warzone gonna... KDA? Like, what is a good war? Because you can't get... So think... so there's a guy sitting over there. His name's Joe Woe. Um, he's, a, he's a war zone professional, Joe as we can call that. Joe Woe, yeah. Uh, he's he's known to, for movement. Like, his name is Joe Woe? That's uh -huh. right, Joe Woe. He's Chinese or... No, no. he's not. No. Or I thought his name was Joel or Joe Woe. No, Joe like... Woe. He's from Charlotte. Joe Woe. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Chinese people from Charlotte, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, his name is Joe, uh, Joe Woe. Okay. Uh, uh, Joe he, Woe. I think his KD is somewhere around, like, a 5.9 or a 6.1. Oh, wow. Yeah. In Warzone? In Warzone, yeah. Well, you got to think about it, too. You're going against, you know, 119 other players if you're That's playing solo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so oftentimes these players will drop 50 kill games with two deaths. That's they can do the math crazy. on that, you know. Um, okay, so here, here's another good question, Jimmy. Mm. Now that you've kind of, you know, I mean, you know, you've gone big. I mean, you were Steve and New Girl, right? I got uh, <laughs> So uh, you, uh, you know, now that you've kind of gotten bigger and, and your brand's really exploded, I mean, you've been doing some incredible things. Um, have you? Do you play with any other like uh, celebrities in, in some video games, or is it just the, the homies from home? Mm, during the pandemic, I was playing uh, uh, a little bit with Ben Schwartz. Uh, uh, we we're in Space Force together. He was in. Uh, Parks and Rex, yeah, yeah, yeah. very funny guy. Uh, but he's incredibly good at uh, like Mario Kart, and, <laughs> and, oh, and wow. he would just bury me. So I stopped playing with him. <laughs> and I only like to play with uh, people that are worse than me and children. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, and some children are better than me. Fair. So yeah, I actually still only bad. play like like my PlayStation like list is pretty short. It's just literally like three of my homies from high school. Yeah. And we get on and we chat and we, we always put on private. So we just literally like catch up on life. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, 
no celebrities, no. Yeah, that's that's what I call it too when I'm getting dumpstered in Call of Duty. I just I'm catching up on life with with the boys. So yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, yeah. You know, like oh, I'm curious. So what's your IGN in game? I mean, like what's what's your name there? Like ever oh, since, like from your like, gamer tag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't tag. changed it. Uh -huh. My gamer tag is actually the same as the first name I used when I went on stage in the open mic, and it's Lowball Jim. Lowball wow. Jim. I no rhyme or reason. I just thought like all my favorite comedians, like Cedric the Entertainer, and like you know everyone has like a nickname, you know. So I was like, I, I'm gonna be. So why didn't you stick with that name? Lowball Jim. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I got some good advice from okay. people. They were like, Yeah, if you want people to take you seriously, probably not Lowball Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and like, imagine you're doing a business deal. You're like, Yeah, hey, I'm Lowball Jim. Yeah. They're like, Okay. Sounds like a car salesman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man Singh. Man Singh. That Man is my uh, uh, my my, my Chinese name? name. Yeah, only my close friends call me that. Uh, oh. Uh, it's my legal name. My government name. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Beef, I, beef, mommy. I wish I was name. like. That's my real people name. call you beef or mommy? Mommy. mommy. I always tell them to call mommy. How'd you come up with Beef Mommy? Actually, I was a really broke college student playing Call of Duty, uh -huh. and my IGN was basically noodles. So that's actually a dish in the Philippines that you can buy in store. Try to find like a Pacific Island here or like a Filipino store. Yeah. Try to look for like this like Lucky Me, and it's like noodles, and you can basically just get it ready two minutes. And that's the only thing I could afford back in college. Uh -huh. Really unhealthy instant noodles called Beef Mommy. Oh, the yeah. noodles called beef, mommy. The noodles I, are I called learned something beef new today. Mommy. That was yeah. an incredible story. Really mommy. yummy. Is it? It's good. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, shout out to beef, mommy. But there you go. Bobby plays. I think that speaks for itself. Bobby plays games. Bobby buckets. <laughs> My name is yeah. not actually Bobby, but <laughs> wow, it's. <laughs> I started out playing basketball games. I didn't want people to know who I was, so I was Bobby buckets, and then I started playing shooters, but everybody knew me as Bobby. Wait, 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 this is real. Your, your real name's not actually Bobby. My real Bobby. name is Drake. I know, it's so far. I'm not making that up. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you guys, come on, man. Look, I, I, You guys I, are playing with me. No, I, no, 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 his, I, his name's I've not actually Bobby. I've made a YouTube Bobby. video about it before. Your real name is Drake? Yes. How do you feel about Drake the Rapper? <laughs> like, has he ruined like your life? Music. What do you mean? Or has he like helped no, you like yeah, get No, yeah, so girls, like anytime you know? I tell somebody my name is Drake, they're like, oh, the rapper. I'm like, yes, yeah. I'm, at least you have a point of reference. Do you hate it or do you, you no. like kind of cool? I, I'm all right with it. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. like his music, so it's like not the worst thing in the world. So your real name's not Bobby. No. <laughs> This is a whole sh this is a But people tell me I look more like a Bobby than I do like I a Drake, think, so it almost works. I think this is a I great agree. segue, because I've been waiting all weekend for this. Oh, what okay. is the origin story of your name? We can't you owe go into me that this. right you now. Owe That's me this crazy. One. <laughs> this is, I'm wait, trying to make it like We short. gotta focus on Jimmy. Hey, on. we gave our own. Listen, <laughs> Super listen. Super short. Why is it, why is it Goj? So I, I go by Goj. Um, in high school, it was a word that meant opposite of gorgeous. So, but ugly, basically. <laughs> we we recoined that term and it became uh, a, a word that just meant anything, like ish or, or you know, yeah. uh, whatever word is close to ish. It, it's something like that. It could be anything. So I became the oh, any, anything I man. I, I recoined this opposite of gorgeous term that was really a derogatory term of your butt ugly, your goge. Now I am goge and here we are. Goge is anything. Basically. There you go. It can be anything. Huh. Terrible story. I, I like no, 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 no. It's a good story. <laughs> but, but Jimmy, I want to bring this full circle here because I think when Warzone dropped again, 1,742 days ago, in like a couple hours, several minutes, uh, you know, it, it the really the game exploded during lockdown. Um, yeah. and, and you started doing something else during lockdown as well. Jimmy's Kitchen. Yes, that's uh, true. Big fan. You're you're a cook. Yeah. You know, does that translate anywhere into gaming, right? Your, your cooking abilities. Are you gonna cook on the That's map? So interesting. You know what I mean? You know, like, like let them cook. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, You're yeah. up with the link. You're not that old. You know, I'm not. I'm cool, <laughs> guys. Guys, <laughs> pretty cool. Let them cook. You know. And then there's a song came out, Jimmy Cooks. You know? I don't even know about that. That's uh, what is it, Drake on 21 Savage? That's your boy. Come that's, on. that's you. That was about you, though. Yeah, that's about me, clearly. I was inspired, you know? <laughs> uh, I was the inspiration. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, I thought that was a really oh, fun and um, kind of soothing thing to do, meditative in a way. Uh, uh, during uh, the pandemic, but it also became just like a hobby. Sometimes yeah. I would spend hours cooking a meal, and then they always say, "Why would you spend hours cooking a meal? It takes 15 minutes to eat it." But it's the process of it. I find it very creative, and to me, it's very much like stand up, and also in a way, very much like Call of Duty, because if if you mess it up, come back and be better the next game, the next day, the next set, the next meal, and it just it just goes away, right? Like you know, it's not like. You do something like sometimes I get stressed out when I'm filming something. Yeah. You know, because then it stays out in the ether 
forever. You know, you can't go back and like change a performance necessarily. But I think with cooking, with stand up, and and with playing this, like it's okay to have a bad game. It's okay to have a bad dish. You come back and 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 you try to go for a better one. Mm. But what's your best dish? <laughs> oh. You know, recently I made some uh, Wagyu meatballs. Oh, I love Wagyu cubes. You know. Jimmy, that sounds fantastic. Oh, my yeah. gosh. He's cooking. He's cooking. You can call me Beef Poppy. Oh, <laughs> he coined it. Got it. I, I, th I think I win in this broadcast. Yeah, yeah I know. Again. That should be your IGN. Uh, yeah? Point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new name. When we log you on to play some Warzone Mobile, yeah. we're going to have to change it behind the scenes to Beef Poppy. So yeah. yeah. Get full maximum, you know. That's actually good. I bet you that's taken. Yep, it 100%. is. 100%. No, it is. You tried it? I should. <laughs> Even my name's taken at some point in some other games. I'm just like, come on, I need a Twitter handle that I can choose, like Beef Mommy. It's taken already. Um, and unfortunately, they're active, so I can't just tell Twitter, hey, just remove this. Do you one. know who it is? Like, can you I, find I know out? where they live. I know their address. I have what? a tracker on them. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Did this person know that? Like, we gotta have the Beef hey. Mommy's showdown. But the thing is, I have Intel. I'm listening to her right now. She's playing Warzone Mobile. Okay. So, oh, okay. We're, there you we're, go. Cool. Cool. we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, nice I got plug. you, Beef Mommy, on Twitter. Yeah. I'm stealing your IGN, though. Jimmy, uh, controller, mouse and keyboard? Controller guy. Oh, perfect. Uh, never what? been a that mouse and well, You know Warzone Mobile has controller? I know, I was trying it. It, it felt like it just like a real, like my PS5 was hooked up to it. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We, again, we've kind of got PC and console creators from all over the place competing uh, and playing the game for the first time. And it's they're playing a mobile game, but with the controller accessibility, yeah. you're going to feel right at home. Well, let's do it. You know, And now I have no excuse whatsoever. Yeah, I suck. now I you you have to at least drop a 0.96 KDA. Possible? <laughs> not in uh, not in the uh, uh, battle royale though. I, right? Like not, no, not you definitely Warzone. could. All, all you, you need is so? yeah. two kills. This is like, so I need this, guidance. This right now is like the mobile equivalent of Christmas noobs because the game just came out, so like everybody's trying to figure That's out how to play true. it, yeah. That's and true. they're all gonna be playing with their thumbs. You're gonna be on controller. Oh. Nice. Real competitive Don't worry, we, we got you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd like Bobby to carry you. I, I'll be your meat Yeah. Shield. I have a theory that uh, people are much better at like 2 a.m. Oh, yes, 100%. And like, do, at like 10 a.m., like they're still, like the good people are still asleep. Mm. That's right. You know, the degenerates yeah. are still asleep. Uh -huh. So you're playing against like actual children or something. So no, that, the, that's the, why the my stream good. schedule is actually from 8 a.m. to noon. So I. That's how you get the 1.9 kill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At I 3 a.m., you probably got a point eight, Bobby. Uh huh. Because once the degenerates wake up, I just hop, hop off and enjoy the rest yeah. of my day. Yeah. Bobby's got a kid of his own. He's uh -huh. got to take care of. Yeah. I mean, this guy's an oh, early yeah. morning grinder. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, I got another question for you. If uh, one of the characters you've played, maybe Steve, uh, for example, was to play video games, uh, is there a, uh, a character you think would be the best at video games out of all your characters you played? Oh, that's so interesting. Um, let me think. Jing Yang would probably be pretty good from Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like he got too much going on on his plate. Maybe uh, Josh Lin character I played on Love Hard, this rom-com. Yep. It's kind of like a stuck at home, stuck in his parents' basement type guy. So I feel like he probably has enough time to play a lot of video games. Was it uh, Bernard? Was that his name in Crazy Rich Bernard Ty, yeah. I feel like he would be pretty good. Yeah, or, or he would just pay his friends to lose that's to him. True. Yeah, that's okay, true. That's what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I love it. Well, well, Jimmy, you can hear some of the gameplay. I mean, people yelling when they get wins. Damn. We had Hannah, Hannah stocking on right before uh, saw, you, yeah. and um, you've got to beat her, okay? How does she do? She got fifth. Best game she did was fifth place in the Battle Royale. That's, a, that's really good. She did really Solo solid. or? She, she had four kills in total and uh, she was playing with some random teammates. So you've got a nice little competitive advantage of being able to play with maybe some professional Yeah, gamers. you guys, you guys, you guys guide me through. Um, we might also get you into tougher lobbies. That's no, just don't, like don't. throwing that out there. <laughs> Not like intentionally, but like it might just, it might just happen. Yeah, but, but can you choose how tough the lobby is? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Kind of no. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody at home. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we've got some, you know, some some friendly neighborhood professional gamers that are going to help you out. But Good. the goal is you got to beat Hannah. So fifth is what you're going for. Four kills. Four kills. That's easy. And four kills. And if you go, you know, you die twice, your friends can buy you back. But if you die twice, that's a 2-0 KDA. I mean, that's so you have two deaths. Than, you can technically die as many times as your teammates buy you back. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, th- stop buying me back if I die more than two times. <laughs> I'm not, like, don't. We, we call those money sinks because it costs money to get you back. So ah, you just, you're just yeah. burning holes in people's pockets if you're doing yeah, yeah. that. My buddy Noah is over there already playing. So he was carrying me the whole time I was streaming earlier. So I saw him uh, Noah Sunday. Yeah, you won't have to worry about me buying you back. You'll just have to let him know. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're playing with Mo after this one. That would be, mm-hmm. that would be a, one yep. heck of a show. Yep. I would love that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, well, Jimmy, we've got Bobby is going to go actually get set up uh, okay. to play with you. Oh. But we have we have somebody else that definitely needs to play with you. Uh, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2012, Heisman Trophy winner, Manning Award winner, now analyst, launched his own pro- podcast this last year. We've got Robert Griffin the Third himself going to be joining us on stage and playing hey, games with Jimmy. Fan. RG3, I'm Rob. Yeah. Bobby, you got to get you got to get out of the way here. Bobby. Go get ready. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. <laughs> yeah, you're going to meet him and he's going to meet you. But, Rob, nice to meet you. Hey, nice, great beard, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Right? It's a beautiful beard. It is a beautiful beard. I was beard. asking him a while ago, like, how long does it take for you to get your makeup done? Because it's literally half his face. It's just the beard. No. So half the face yeah. has the makeup? Yeah. yeah, it's half the time. Why no beard for you? I can't. It's it's impossible. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I got this and, like, this. It wouldn't connect or anything. Asian things, um, right? Mine's a little patchy, yeah. but it is what yeah. it is. Bro, I think you look great, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Hey, Ro- Rob, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, wanted to, to talk with you quickly. We've got Bobby Plays getting set up. Okay. You guys are going to all drop in together. Oh, wow. So you've got a squad that's anyway, just that you know, top uh, tier. You okay. got you got Noah Sunday, a fantastic content creator, and then Bobby Plays who just hopped out. Okay. But but Robert, I know you're you're a gaming fan as well. Mm-hmm. Talk to me a little bit about your your gaming history. Yeah, I mean my Call of Duty gaming history is uh, is very similar to my man here. It's it's like you play and you you focus on it, and then you drop in and like backstage I'm playing and I, I got killed while I was on my parachute. Like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, can I at least get to the ground first? But no, I, I really enjoy gaming from a standpoint of I really believe as a gamer, it helps you as a football player. Yeah. So yeah. if anyone out there that's watching thinks that they're playing too many video games, you're not. All it is is strategy. Sure. Right. You get in there, you figure out the map, you figure out what your opponent is doing to you and you find a way to win. That's football. Mm-hmm. That's basketball. That's track and field. It's all those different things. So, uh, I, that's how I viewed gaming, and uh, I used to stay up till four or five in the morning when I had school at seven to play video games. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, I absolutely resonate with that because I'm an analyst actually for Call of Duty as well. And okay. so, like when yeah, you mentioned, like, yeah, it's basically the same thing because mm-hmm. essentially it's just on the computer. It's like basketball. It's basically the same thing. Esports. Exactly. Like, that's a thing that has been growing all throughout these years. And as an analyst, I'm always just looking at the different plays, the rotations. No, 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 of all of these players like very much like basketball because if it's like a 5v5 6v6 like here in multiplayer i've been playing this for like hours mm-hmm. <laughs> we're all learning i mean yeah. beef mommy is next level i gotta tell you what i mean she's been grinding in behind the scenes in the green room while we've been taking breaks, she doesn't take breaks man. Uh, it's, very much like it, Bobby. it's so impressive uh okay so jimmy and and robert you guys are going to get geared up here in a second okay uh robert i'm gonna ask you the same question i asked jimmy yeah. controller player are you a controller guy you play console you mouse and keyboard what's kind of your your go-to I, I, I've done it all you know I, you played on mobile I, I go always have I've done it on mobile d- d- don't I got you yeah. PG here. He, is, he is a triple threat player <laughs> <laughs> He got it. He got it. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> that was next level, just like your name. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I've done it all. I've played PC. I, I've done, you know, the mouse keyboard. But for, for Warzone Mobile, I've mostly just played on the phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and to your point of, like, being able to have team members, right, and people do things well. Like, there's a LeBron of the team. Oh, for sure. That you want the ball in his hands yeah, at yeah, all yeah, times. Yeah. Are you the right? LeBron? I am not the LeBron. I am not the LeBron. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Mario Chalmers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be lucky if I'm the Austin Reed. Of, uh, of my, I mean, he's a very good player, you know, but, but uh, probably, yeah, probably not even. I'm in the D League. So like, you don't even know my name, you know. I'm trying to get called up. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm the guy that just kind of yells at you and says, keep going. You know what I mean? I'm the motivational speaker. Yeah, yeah, you're the coach. You're the coach. Well, that may be a stretch, but sure, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Or just coach. an angry fan in the. In the, the angry fan in the yeah, stands? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. the angry fan. Yeah. I'm the angry dad of one of the players that's not playing. You know what I mean? Oh, yelling at yeah. the team and the coach. To, That's why my son should be playing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, okay, I need some words of wisdom from you. Uh, you're somebody. Listen, listen. Let me give you a little, little bit of a head start here. You're somebody that has worked hard. 
in life, right? Uh, you really, you know, created a name for yourself. You were given an opportunity on Silicon Valley, and you ran with it and you killed it. Mm -hmm. When it comes to gaming uh, and working hard, I mean, what's what's it? What's your words of wisdom for going into these matches? Uh, how are you going to work hard at these games? <laughs> hey, I was like, <laughs> your entire <laughs> wait a minute, wait. Jimmy, Jimmy, you have to getting motivational here. Entire life experience and boil yes. it down to maybe two sentences. What you got? Oh. I think it's to follow the lead of someone that knows better than you. You know, it's like listen to your mentor. There you, go. you know, and 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 you're not like like even if uh, say I am funny, you're great at football. You still gotta listen to your coach, yep. to people that's been there, done that. Yep. You know, and and uh, listen to advice. So I I'm gonna be a a follower. <laughs> you know, like uh, uh, especially in the beginning of these games until I can develop my own rhythm and stuff. So I I'm I'm. I'm very coachable, as they say. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Robert, I mean, same thing for you. Yeah. Uh, what's the, what's the strategy uh, based on your life experiences? Is the same kind of thing. Look for a mentor. Yeah, I mean, I think we all want a mentor in life, and when you have people that are in the room with you that have been and experienced things that you haven't experienced, uh, they play the game better than you've ever played the game. It's smart for you to to follow that lead. Like they asked me backstage, hey, where do you? What's your favorite drop-in location? Uh, wherever the team goes. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah. Wherever I'm, Noah Sunday's going. I'm not trying to drop in way over there and be by yeah, myself, yeah. okay? Yeah, I need yeah. I need Noah Sunday and these guys to help a brother out. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I just would say if you if you don't know, watch the people in front of you so that you can figure that out. And I think that's a life lesson you can take not just from gaming but in real life as well. Mm -hmm. And life lessons here, a lot of fun. We're going to get you all <laughs> set up for some gaming here shortly. You're going to play a little follow the leader. We call that the support role in Call of Duty. There so you go. play some support to start things off. We're going to take a very short break, but when we come back, both these guys are going to be playing a lot of Warzone Mobile. And I think Robert's going to actually be rating some of the top plays from today as well. Ooh. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a moment. Nice. Ooh, this would be a rating system? Yeah, nice shot. Wow. Job.
Me too, Sierra. <laughs> I'm plating, I'm plating, I'm plating, I'm plating. Raise it, thank you. Welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. We've got Jimmy O. Yang and we've got Robert Griffin III. And we're going to be rating some of your top clips from today. Now, Robert, you've got a whiteboard on you. We've got uh, a scale of 1 to 10 okay. that we're going to be utilizing. Jimmy is going to be our lead commentator here to Ooh. determine whether or not your ratings are fair <laughs> and accurate. Wow. Um, and we're going to have a good time taking a look at some of these plays until you guys get into some of the gameplay. All Let's right. So whenever production's ready, Let's swing that first clip. Robert, you take your time. All right, here we go. That's double kill, yeah? Yep. That's All right. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. We see you now. He's got no armor in, by the way. No plates. No armor. Yeah. That's four. Is that the whole team? He's killing the whole team. There's another guy. He's trying to res the other guy. That's all right. And then... Oh! He's just using an SMG, no scope. He hit him with a little bait and yeah. switch there. Fire, get, you know, retreat. Here we go. Jesus. Oh, this guy's How real. many kills is that? And he's in the smoke. Here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's the real deal. Job's not done. <laughs> he's not done yet. Look at that body. Oh, I love that body slide. And that you like the body slide? What'd that you, was it? Yeah. What'd you think? I mean, that was one on one. He basically aced the whole team, right? So in gas, in, ga in gas, like nobody wants gas. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Relax, man. I, I don't want to get I can't get him too high right away. Right. So let's go with a uh, little eight action there. Eight out one. of ten. Eight that's out fair. of ten. That's From fair. Robert. That's Jimmy, what do you think? That's like a point per kill. I think that's pretty good. But you, 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 you want to save it for later. You like, want to like, say I can't I can't give the ten. Is that possible to like save the score for later? In case there's a 360 between the legs, you can't just give him a time. I mean, if we're doing 360 between yeah. the legs, we yeah. might have to go to 12. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair, All fair, right. Fair, fair. I like it. I like it. The very first clip that was Ferg, one of the biggest content creators in the space, uh, a dynamite guy. Uh, he's got almost a billion views across his YouTube videos. So oh, wow. here we go. I should have given him a 10 then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Tell me what you think. Here we go. Oh. Nice. He shot him in the butt. Uh. Golly. He's a dead man. Wait, was there a cut? That uh, that was the yeah, clip. This is it. That, that was the clip. Short. Oh, this is the, is that was the Did he let that guy live? Boom. Nope. Boom. And then boom, this boom. one coming up. Bop, 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 bop. He says he's a dead man. Is that Bob Marley? I don't know. Hey, what do we think? Well, I mean, very impressive, but I gave the last one an eight, and he basically took out the whole team by himself. So, yeah, sure. unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go a little lower on this one. And uh, Robert, you can be as fierce as you need to be. Go with a six. Six. That's also a very fancy looking six. I that know, looks like a, a little... cursive A, but backwards. I think I just forgot to pick up the marker. <laughs> Watching you do that, so like, what is he trying to Where is he, where is he going here? <laughs> but that's a know. fair six. I feel like yeah. that was a good play. Yeah. It was a great play. But like, on a good day, I've done that. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, you've like, done, on a good day, you've yeah. done really? I mean, that's three. That's three, you know? Okay. That's, that's, Triple yeah. kill, I've done that. He's better than he said he is. Is it a good day today? No, no, see, 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 I shouldn't that? say that. <laughs> <laughs> now the next day, like, well, it's going to be very embarrassing when I play now. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, to be very clear, I'm going to be waiting for that play. No, no, I'm just saying on a good day, on a good day, you know. I this, think today's a good day. Oh, we'll I hope see. so. We've Dep got, it depends on when you above. play and who's playing against yeah, you. you yeah, know yeah, 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 That's yeah. right. Let's roll yeah. the next clip and see where we're at. One of you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, she's seen this one. This was just a while ago, too. Oh, did you just run someone over? Oh, oh. nice. Oh, my God. All right. This is it Twisted Metal? It's, it, that's a short one. Oh, okay. that's it. A little vehicle play and dance. Two. It's quite hard to 
run people over in that truck. I, I, right? I just think it's pretty cool that you ran them over in the truck. You can't do this in real life. Well, you can't. No. But I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't suggest sure. anyone do that. Uh, but I, I, I like this one, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, going with a seven. Wow. Nice, going with a nice, seven. Nice. Yeah, yeah, seven. Yeah. What do we think yeah. about the vehicle play here? Jim? I agree with that. You know, it's Warzone Mobile. He, he'd be killing people with his mobile. You know, that's, <laughs> that, that was a stretch. That was a stretch. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes. That one right here. That was oh awesome. My gosh. We got to get you on Monday Night Countdown, man. <laughs> yeah. You should be a comedian. No, oh, oh, really? Oh, oh come on. Yeah. I don't know. Is it a stretch? Oh, I'm not quite good. sure. But actually, we got to roll the next clip. Holy <laughs> Let's bring in another one. Nice vehicle play. Uh, all right, here's okay. the next clip. Oh, with the scope. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, this was from earlier. This is Eris. So you can see, Ooh. tags him up on the first shot through the Good wall. Ball. No visibility. Wow. I Cleans know. Up How did kill. he know? Like, look at that. And then he gets out of dodge before he oh. gets hit. Yeah, that is Eris, wild. That is, is freaking wild. She is uh, known as kind of the sniper queen these oh, days. Oh, wow. Really, really talented. X ray vision. No. All right, what do we that's think? That's impressive. Yeah, it was. I mean, Ooh. oh, the highest rated. Clip We're gonna go of the with the highest. Oh wow! That Listen, is... the, there's just something about a sniper. That looks that... like. Oh, no, that's fair. That looks no, like a beautiful yeah. flower. That's a nine. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> is, that, is that a nine? That I, looks like a flower. That does look like a that flower. That looks like a flower. That's and that's really, exactly what she is. That's a flower. beautiful, man. There like, we go. I feel like they should sell your fonts. <laughs> They sell some people with skins on this game. They just sell you fun. I'll buy that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I appreciate that. Can we just like see all of the numbers then? Hey team, team, yeah. listen to this man. We're yeah. selling fonts. We're selling right after this, we're selling yeah. fonts. We're getting twenty percent on a font. You know. <laughs> Highest rated clip of the day, Aerith snipe through the wall. We call those wall bangs. Uh, it was a beautiful wall bang for it was. a nine. I think we've got one more clip if I counted correctly. Let's see if we can get the ten. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. Grenade launcher. Parachute. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know wow. if Cleans up the double kill. Here. I, I've I tried mean, using the grenade. It's very hard. you got to get it the right hit. Use the grenade launcher to get him to jump out the window. Yeah, That's right. Should we give the context to this clip? Yeah. Give us the context. We did. We ran a special ops event earlier where they were completing challenges. Okay. And, uh, this is this is Little B. Little L B. Is, little B? Little B. And he's nasty. Oh. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, this clip actually won him the competition because this was a, you needed to get a double kill with an explosive. Hence, hence the double kill here. With so you got to kill up there. So it actually zoned him out. There was somebody already that he had knocked down on the ground here. So wow. he stoned out the other one down to that knocked player and then blew them both up. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. I, I can't we, 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 got the, we got the we got the launcher. So We've got, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're selling <laughs> fonts. <laughs> We're selling fonts, okay? Oh, nice. We're giving them the 10. I like that. I like, I like that. The context made it all worth it. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. It's good story. Context matters. As an yeah. analyst, you know context is everything, right? Yes. You just watch a play, and you're like, okay, that was pretty cool. But when you've played the game and That's you true. know the context, That's true. totally different environment. It's fourth and five. 30 seconds left, you know, he did it, you know. That's right. It's, it's, yeah. it's throwing a touchdown in the first quarter versus throwing a touchdown in the fourth quarter, fourth and five. Yeah, yeah. Game's on the line. You yeah. know what I mean? That, that was, was cool. a 10. That and it's good. so satisfying to kill someone with a grenade launcher. Yes. It's really can we hard. Can we cap that, like what he just said, and then put that out on social media? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no context, though. No context. No, no context this time. Oh, God. Yeah, there's something about that, man. Hey, look, it, it's time to get you guys in the game, though. All right, let's uh, do it. You don't even have to move. Uh, you, you, oh, we don't? White, no, it's right here. Look, I got you. I'm going to walk around production. Sorry, I'm going to hop off screen here. You guys got it. I think, I think awesome. this, this is, is like my dream. Seven times. Like to have this in my bed, like, Ooh. you know, just like this little arm thing. Oh, wait. You want this off. You want this arm <laughs> thing in, <laughs> your, in your bed. Oh, we love Ghost. Thank you so much, Ghost, host, Shoutcaster, and Trick Guy. Tech producer. Tech. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> he got you. He got controllers, you. make sure you get your controllers connected. It says connected. If you, oh, yeah, you guys are great. Tech team's already got you set up. Uh, oh, I'm not yet. There we go. So it you says connected. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should there. be in lobby together already. Yep. Already squatted Wait, Am up. I connected to his, maybe? Yeah. Uh, are not, are you? I think you're... I think you're good. We might need a. We might need some some tech help here on the controller. It says, con it says connected. Yeah. It says connected. It's yeah. just not. Here, let me see. Doing anything? Yeah, I'm not sure that it's it is working. We might have that to, looks really. Might have to lock in. I mean, that's pretty closer. awesome. Do you oh. have any skins? Like, what's your, what's your favorite so skin so far? Like, oh, well, the last two you. years that you've been playing oh, okay, this I one. <sighs> I mean. Like not even just for for Warzone Mobile, but also for like the main. Maybe it's a setting. So I have I, I actually yeah. don't buy any of the skins. I usually just go through the game and whatever 
I, I unlock throughout the different moments is what I use. Like right now, I think I, I have ghosts for sure. But Wait, we uh, can do it. But you might have to use yeah. touch controls. Everyone just has ghosts. There go. oh, you know, oh, you have it here. I have it here on my phone, so. That's perfect. Uh, but we don't we don't lie here, okay? I play I play. Is your on controller the working? It's not. Oh, okay. It uh, says connected, but it's not working. Right? Where? We, huh? We've got an amazing tech team that's gonna help you out. I think yeah. I think I think the, the controllers just don't want it us to just play. Says connected. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't want to do the touch instead. I, mean, I see. So see, I just so, need so to know. it's good. We'll start. We're good to go. So we're good to go. We're just. Oh. Oh, it I only see. works in game, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that makes sense. Word, word, okay. Yeah, it's connected. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, it's just. To the tech team. Appreciate oh, you, tech guy. Hey. Appreciate you, dog. Much love, much love. Yes, sir. Look, this is why we're here, is just to have a great time and get everything connected for you guys. Okay, so look, you're going to be playing with Bobby Place, mm. who obviously plays quite a bit of the game. They're all here, these people? They're, that's right. So you've got you've got Robert in your game, you've got Bobby Plays, and then you also have Noah Sunday, personal friend of mine, great guy, okay. really talented at the game as well. So uh, we know him, we love him, and I think a lot of people at home know him and love him. Uh, they're excited to play with you guys. But play support to start and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. frag out. I mean, no no bounds and restrictions. Robert, I don't know if you heard, um, but we actually had um, Hannah Stocking on right before you guys came out. She got fifth, four kills. Oh, whoa. You got, that's what you got to beat. We got to beat, we gotta do we gotta it. beat we four, gotta kills. four kills. We gotta <clears throat> Wait, who's who here? Who's... uh? Who's Burlap Sack guy? Burlap. I was gonna say I don't think this guy can see. Yeah. One of these guys has got a he's got something over his a, face. Is like a zombie guy? Yeah. I saw the Austin Butler so skin, the Dune skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh Elvis gosh, skin. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Timothy himself on here too. Yeah. The Nicki Minaj oh, skin was kind of. Cool. I was gonna say. But then the I'm Nicki like, Minaj skin. That, that's a that's a like. Isn't that a bigger hit? He's box? going there. Like, oh on, wow. On, on you know what? Never mind. Yeah, he, yeah, I mean, he went there. I, I mean, didn't technically, say it, it could be. <laughs> yeah, I need a riot shield, you know, but just yeah, protect, you know what? Back, protection. Shit. There's a lot of people <laughs> pissing off right now about riot shield. <laughs> Am I like? Is that a is Riot Shield not cool? Uh, it's like uh, you know, if you're a competitive player, it's like a oh, Riot Shield. But a lot of people at home love them. I like Riot Shields. Protects yeah. you from oncoming. Fire. Yeah, if you have a knifing package, you know, you gotta get the Riot Shield in the back. That's know? exactly right. Jimmy yeah. knows his stuff here. Jimmy does know his stuff. Come on, come the, on. You know, the classic back of the day with Verdansk on PC was the Cali sticks. You guys ever use that? Oh yes, the Cali sticks. They look sticks like drumsticks. Oh and yeah, like people. the Kendall sticks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, beat yeah, people yeah. down. It was yeah. a whole like movement for yeah. a while. Even in multiplayer, that was like actually broken. Really? Like, ship was okay, this is happening, yeah, right? This is happening. Can, okay. I, like, can, I hear my, can I hear my teammates? No. No. Yeah, no, 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 we can't no, hear them. No, 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 can't we can't hear them. Oh my goodness, I almost, okay. I almost forgot to open my shoes. the good news. You're in pregame lobby right now. So oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the panic on both of us. I got so scared. Warm up your aim. Oh, Oh boy. Dude, I can play, man. Wait, Jimmy can play, y'all. Let's go. Hey, was, is that it? Okay, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I just want to beat him. Um, <laughs> Jimmy was lying. He's really good. Yeah, hey, he's, he's been down, look, downplaying himself the entire time. You, you like that slip I'll slide? That was again. pretty sweet. 0.97 KDA is not bad at all, I'm going to say, for multiplayer. I mean, you know, definitely could be worse. And also, I just mostly play with randos, you know? Now I That's finally true. have a squad. All right, we're dropping in. That's true. That's true. I'm going to drop into Verdansk, my friends. All right, I'm going to wait for a teammate to drop, I guess. Um, but I can't hear Noah or Bobby. Yeah, no. No, nope, we just uh, got to follow him. Yeah, it's time to follow right, him. I like it's that. It's time to put your life advice into action. Oh, there we right go. Now. Yeah. Well, we got a, how big is that squad, four? We got a four yes. team, yeah. Four teamer. Okay. Here we go. All right, soldier, mark a drop point. Let's see, Let's where's see. the drop point at? The zone's gonna be around. Is that, is that us dropping? What is that, who, there's a lot of people coming out. Uh, yeah, I know I'm out. You out, you out? <laughs> yep, I am out. Bro, you gotta tell me when you drop. Hospital. Oh man, I'm gonna be by myself, bro. I am too. Oh wait, somebody, so, is that a marker that, somebody that dropped? That is a marker so you can see Noah Sunday, the green. Yeah, that's your guy. Come there you follow go. Noah, oh, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. Bobby. I see him I see now. Place. So this, I, was about to, him, I was about to drop that's in with somebody area. else. He was like, yep, I got him. You yeah, know. This is hospital. It's a pretty hot drop. I'm not going to lie. They're leading you into the fire. Oh, okay, awesome. Wait, wait, why did, I'm going to shoot that guy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh. Jimmy. Jimmy's really cooking? see anyone right, here on our side. Yeah. Jimmy's kitchen is back. Hey man, that was an assist. Give me a kill on that, bro. Somebody jacked my kill. I think it might have been your teammate Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me live, Noah. I got this. All right. Um, 
All right. I don't know. I guess we just clear out this building. Yeah, you get look for some weapons here. You know, yeah. pistols decent, but yeah, no, I need weapons for sure. That's right. A little nade. You're him. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Jimmy's down. Oh, I repeat. No. Is Jimmy down? down? I'm down. Jimmy is down. Jimmy, uh, That's what they, I get for they, grabbing a gun. They called you Gulag Jimmy, is that right? Yeah, we'll see. Gulag Jimmy. Gulag Jimmy. Here? Uh, you do. It's time for the Gulag Jimmy. Yeah. You gotta show us what you got. All right. It's in your the, namesake. I love it. This is uh, the Gladiator, you know? There we go. Let's see what his chances are. Okay, so you've got one round till you fight. So you're kind of yeah. lurking in the shadows here. You're up yeah, in the balcony yeah. waiting. You know the drill. Just, yeah, just, just yeah. beat some people up. <laughs> Does this do anything? No. It's just a great time. Okay, okay, that's pretty sweet. That's you pretty can sweet. throw rocks, oh, though, yeah. into the actual... <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right, here you that's go. 1v1 so cool. right, for go. your life in the game, Jimmy. They say always go left. There we go. Him. Shoots him in the back, Jimmy. Yeah! Gets the kill. Always go left. Always go left, Jimmy. I am not. Gulag, Jimmy. I told you. I'm changing What'd my I tell Instagram you? description. All right, where's everybody at? Still at the hospital? Okay. Yeah, where's where, right. you, where are you at? I'm, I'm coming down now. I just uh, escaped the Russian detention camp. The Russian detention camp? <laughs> That's what a gulag is. I looked it up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, That's actually a gulag. That's right. What do you know about Russians? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay away from that. Yo, uh -oh. yo, 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 yo. Go, 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 go. So you, you've got an MP5 right now. You got an SMG, which is great. That's not my weapon. Uh -oh. Ah! Grenade. Oh no! Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Is there a stim? Oh! oh no. I was just trying to get my help, man. Oh man! Here we go. We got another gulag over here. Oh, Rob going to the gulag. Yeah. I am in the gulag. Yeah. Are we gonna follow the Jimmy advice to always go left? Shoot. To always go left. Yeah. Is that gonna, are we gonna follow? Jimmy. Yeah, baby. Is you got Jimmy last doing words? I wish you had more time. That's, that's what you say when people. <laughs> and that's a Denzel, baby. <laughs> Jimmy's Ooh. on two. Oh, no, I'm oh. it's, telling you. It's a scope in. It's a scope in. Here we go. Yeah, put that board down, you know. It's okay. The board was distracting me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was trying to rate it. Let me let me rate my yeah, yeah, my, rate, my rate, death rate, there. Rate, that's that's not play, a sniper, that's just a scope. Yeah, that's a that's an AR. <laughs> like a 10x scope. Uh, 4x scope. It's the one. It's one. That part it's a high. one for yourself. It was a one for myself. I have to go. <laughs> ahead and yeah. You've got some incredible like. teammates like Jimmy who can who can buy you back here whenever. Uh... What's this rope? Does that get me up? Yes, yeah, zipline. You can zip to the top. High ground uh, advantage here. Is that suggestible? Here we go, Jimmy. It's suggestible if there's not somebody up there. So you can see. Look at your mini map. You got a thousand people around you, but only about four or five inside a hospital. And our, that that's my teammate. The other thing. Yes. Okay. Stand by. Oh, oh teammate, who, who, who got redeployed? Who got redeployed? Uh, looks like Bobby Plays went down. So oh. he, he Bobby Plays? Bobby. Uh, I mean, Bobby's known for going to the gulag quite a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's wrong. I tried to hold my lips. I was literally like this. I don't want to say it, but you said it for me. Thank you so much. What's the strat here, Jimmy? I'm um, just kind of keeping an eye out my teammates, see what they're doing, you know, uh, holding down the hospital pretty well. I mm -hmm. think this guy's about to die. Nice. Oh, nice. That, that, that player is in their settings. Clean. You're cleaning them up, no problem. Jimmy's on three. All right. He's on three already? Oh. Well, two and a half, two and a half, right? Like, because they, uh, hey, that, they hey. took one from me. You got no, the no, scope? No. Gulag You're... counts? No, no, no. Gulag counts as a kill, yeah. Gulag counts as a you kill? You got three full kills. There you oh, go. Far away. Nice scope, though. The recoil. That, that was a really nice scope, gun. right? Yeah. So we got to get you a loadout weapon so that it's got less yeah. uh, recoil, you know? I don't think I can shoot that far. Yeah, also, tap, tap, it's fire. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like giving me away a little bit. Agreed. Hey. Uh, yeah, you see, he yeah. knows. Look he at him. Know. We just like, looked at each other. They're on that side strategy. of the hospital. Yeah. He's, hang on. Let me Trigger drop a discipline. We gotta get, he's pulling the yeah. sniper out like the... Line here. the yeah. I think we gave a nine on the snipe last time. You know, for the plays, and I know, my I know, man's out here sniping. I, I like know it. what we can do. Like while they're playing, we, we go. go have our highlights. Like we rate the highlights. We can rate the of, kills. Yeah, I rate the we kills. We can rate the kills. Exactly. I like it. I mean, I, I figured some of our incredible content creators, Bobby Plays and, and Noah Sunday, would buy you back, Robert. But maybe they just—they're like they're better <laughs> off. They're better off without me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, I got no cash. I, I haven't gotten back to, uh, to my feet since I uh, escaped the gulag. You haven't got back. Oh shit, is that a sniper? 
Yeah, that is. Oh, ooh. Thermal. Ooh. Thermal. Can I can I have both guns? Thermal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Swap your pistol can. out, bang. There you go. You actually have a, a decent bit of cash. I think you could potentially buy Robert back here if you can find a buy station. Here. Unfortunately, there isn't a buy station I see That's on the mini map near hospital. So you guys kind of have to rotate out. Okay. Find a new POI. And and, yeah. and also we're um fine at the hospital here. There's no gas or whatever, right? There will be some gas. So if you uh, if you check the map, you can see how that line's pointing you to the, yeah, you're the not, next you're line. Yeah, you're gonna have to move soon, next but circle. oh. Uh -oh. I think they're gonna be. They're, they're spotted by someone right now. Spotter nearby. Here you go, Jimmy. Come on. I don't like this in building fight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't. I will say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a jump scare. Are we okay, the circle? So you want to follow that line? You guys are gonna have to move into the next circle. 400 meters. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait for them to move first. They are moving quite late. They're really doing you all no favors right now. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> where are they? Where are they? I don't know where they're they are. For their lives back in hospital with one player or something. It's awesome. Oh, is Bobby back? I Bobby. think Bobby's, Bobby's back. back. Right Bobby's back. Wait, yeah. where are they going? They're going to the edge of that that side. Yeah. What does that do? Is there like a bike? Wait, wait. Here? I don't know. Whatever. But whatever they're like doing, a... you gotta follow them over yeah, there. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, no. they coming. They don't coming back. don't be the Lone back. Ranger. Okay. Nice they're line. starting to move. See, see this red zone starting to move in. Yep. That zone's gonna do some damage. You gotta move to the next one. Was he able to pick up a gas mask? He has. Is that a guy? Yeah, he has. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Come yes. on now. Jimmy, if you hit this. Oh, oh, Jimmy, that would've been a heck of a shot. Come on. Mm -mm. Got a little bullet drop, go a little higher. Oh yeah, because like the distance really the matters distance. here. So you have to put the scope and I can, I can very shoot down, right? I can parachute shooting. down. Oh yeah, yeah, so just jump. Uh, what is it, A? Jump and then hit the jump again, yeah. Bang. Nice. I love the fact that the shooting is so realistic with I the wind know, and I agree. the you distance. It's awesome. Yeah, the like bullet drop has gotten the better of some players that haven't played Shoot, Warzone it. before. You know, it's just a yeah. much larger map, and we you were, gotta kind of account for that. Did he get him? Oh, shh. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, oh no. There's one behind oh. you. Ah, uh, help. No, the boys got everyone? you. Where's yeah. Everyone? I think the boys got you. There's, there's, there's two. There's two. Oh, there's another one. Get out of the way. Heal. Come on now. Bobby, help. Heal. Somebody help this man. Drake, help me. Press Dang heal. It. Oh. oh my goodness. Dang it. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> I tried, man. You I did. Tried. Oh, I tried. Like, you really got some start. kills in well, there. Wait, am yeah. I, what's going on? Am I loading into cool? I'm done. Yeah, I, I think, well, they're going to have to buy you back. I think we're going to get you guys That's in okay. duos for just you two. That yeah. was fun. Because Bobby plays in Noah, really, I mean, they really struggled. In <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if we're doing that or not. I don't know. They, they have like twenty thousand dollars in cash right now. Right. Mm. Well, they could. They could back. buy. Come on, that. fellas. You know. Yeah. They're, so, they're focused. Someone from from here, like, run back over there. <laughs> I, I can do it. Like, hey, buy like them back. Looks like we're trying. Oh, try they go. They go. They go into the cart. Here we go. Oh, they are. So they are. Okay. Nice. Come on now. Uh -oh. We're trying to play the supporting role, but we <laughs> yeah, need, to, we need some on. cash to yeah. do it. We need role players, man. You know. Uh, so, so far, though, pretty impressed, Jimmy. Three oh, kills. Oh, thanks. Well, Jimmy, that was really good. It was really good, man. Thank you, thank you. Not bad. It was really good. Think about it this way. You get three kills, two deaths. Hey, good, good you're cake. Right? That's you're what I want. Crazy. I have, I have yeah. zero kills, one death, two deaths. Two, oh, yeah, the gulag. Two deaths in the gulag, yeah. yes. Can't go, gulag. Gulag. Can't go any lower than zero, so. I learn a lot, you know, and, uh, you know, hospital is fun. Yeah, like uh, it's really nice that you actually dropped into an area that is just intense. Yeah, that, that was just fun. Gives you like it, it can't get any worse than this, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's like that's a good entry point. That was good action, and I just didn't ha get a good load. I feel like I could have popped like one or two more guys. You right. Know? Like, yeah. So I'm on the sniper. It was very much open. I feel like if Bobby and Noah were closer to you guys, he, they would have given you that. Help. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. We needed the help. Jimmy, I uh, we loved having you here on the broadcast, and you've already showed us your stuff. So I think everybody at home. We need to give a big round of applause for Jimmy. Yay! What he's been able to do. Listen, Jimmy. Positive KDA. You've yeah. increased. Yes. Your Jimmy gets team. it. Wait, Yay. hold on, hold on, you're hold fancy, on. Fancy, you're fancy. Right. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy gets the ten. The RG three ten. Yeah, he gets the ten. Right. Five, Jimmy, five that was recruit. awesome, man. That Jimmy, was awesome. Thank you thank so you, much, thank my you. friend. So thank you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That was so fun. A lot of fun. Robert, you're gonna hang out with us, but we're gonna send Jimmy off. Um, Jimmy, good luck in everything you got going on. Thank you. Appreciate. Nah, man, you were you're hilarious. Great dude. Man. man, yeah, awesome. You got Jimmy. Thank you. It was Thank nice you. to hang Beef out with you Thank for you. sure. Beef Poppy. Yeah. Oh, thanks. taking that with yeah, you. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, seriously, awesome, man. a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks here. for being here. Bye. Woo! Appreciate you, Jimmy. All right, Robert. Yes. That was your warm up.
Okay. That, that was the warm up. Yeah, that was the warm up. Yeah. The warm -up. Um, Are you playing? I guess we're coming back in, folks. Look, okay. The, uh, Come on, let's go. Look, Robert, you're in, right? Yeah, I'm in now. Okay. I love look, this. I love this. I, they used to call me the voice of Verdansk. The voice. The of Verdansk. voice of Verdansk. Right. But is they, it because you sing? No, it's because I got commentate over Verdansk. They oh. Did not, okay. They did not call me, uh, you know, uh, a player on Verdansk. I'll just say that. So we'll see what I can do uh, here. Wow, controller does feel really good. Yeah, does it? Oh, wow. I actually haven't played it with controller. Yeah, so. it feels great. Um, so I'm going to grab a, uh, I'm going to grab a bounty for us here. See if we can get a a in action since we can't talk to uh, Bobby right. and Noah. Okay. All right. Hey, you see that car? Are you near me? Me? Yeah. I think so. Somebody just hopped out of the car there Ooh. next to me. Oh, oh, someone's there. Someone's there. Someone is there. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. High ground. Got to get to high ground. Come on, come on, come on. So this is where the the whole button where you're going auto up the stairs would definitely be super handy. Yeah, so Robert, you uh, grew up playing video games. Yep. Played video games like while you're playing sports and stuff. Is, yeah. Uh, and, and Call of Duty was a big part of that, right? Yeah, Call of Duty was a big part of that. And I try to tell people, like, if you ever play golf, like, if you're really bad at golf, no one wants to go on the golf course with you if you're going to be... Mr. Sassy Pants. Yeah. You know? <laughs> sure. So it's like, no matter what, whether you're playing, you're good or not, just have a good time and uh, try to get better every single time you go out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good advice, too, I think, uh, as we take a look back. Oh, there we go. Noah Sunday. Going big for me. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, as we take a look back at kind of like the history of, of Warzone and Call of Duty, too, like so many content creators, streamers, and YouTubers, oh, he's got fried. Uh, like created their careers around this game, you know? Right. Yeah. So it, it's cool to see, like, same kind of thing with sports, like just time in uh, usually pays off. Oh, up on the back, you got turned on. Oh, that was so close. Ah, dang it. Yeah, you try to go in for the 360, but. Are you yeah, trying to trick shot? I was not. I was yeah. trying to turn mm, around. I was trying to turn around. Turn around. <laughs> I was coming to join you guys at the other side, and he saw me jump down. And look, I uh, I don't know if they're gonna buy me back or not. Right. Oh, they did. Okay. I was gonna say I might have to start raiding you. <laughs> now, you know what? Since you both of you are playing, I'm. I'm you go, go ahead. You get here's yeah. the pin. There you go. There's the marker. You guys. Okay. So that's I'm, I'm landing back with Bobby and Noah. Are you headed that way? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So am I just rating you your kills, or do I rate your deaths? You too? just rate everything. You're probably going to have to rate my deaths. Okay, got it. But go ahead and rate everyone else's kills. Gotcha. So if you go, go to that blue marker, it could get loadout here. You can see the boys bought a loadout for us. Yep. Could get some nice weapons. Um, yeah, we'll go sniper striker. I like that. Do you have uh, do you have a kind of a weapon of choice? Are you like an AR player, SMG sniper? What's your kind of? Uh... I've normally been an, an AR player. I like what Jimmy did on the previous time where he had the sniper. Yeah, yeah. You know that. All right, so let's get to the high ground. Come on. Okay, I am not I am not little B with a sniper. I'll say that. You're not little B. I'm not little B. Yeah, when it comes. To Is it little B or little B? Little B. Little B. There you little go. B. Could be a little bit of both. Yeah. I guess it depends on where you're from, right? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Will be. Oh, Noah's taking some serious high ground here. Yeah, he is. He's going up on top of the tower. You guys are. We got a long way to. Yeah, run. I was gonna say you guys have like a long way to go. Look, I, uh, I have a, I have a small sports background, in running. In running. Uh, yeah. What did you, what did you run? I'm running across Verdansk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, that, that's oh, fair that's enough. Good that was good. Yeah, I, 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 cross uh -oh. country, actually. I am I rating that a nine. That was a really good one. Wow, thank you. Yeah, just like out of out of everyone here. Heavens. Uh oh. I got a guy in front of me. That, hit, that hits every day of the week. That's crazy. I have no plates either. Didn't Noah cleared him. Yep, he did. Heck yeah, Noah, my this boy. A, honestly, Noah's balling. This is a really good recovery from everyone else here. Like I know it's like a lot of buying back, but this is you got a chance now. I will say this: Jimmy is better than me because he has three kills and I still have zero. Maybe because he haven't really shot anyone. Yet. Also, I'm trying to snipe. <laughs> I'm trying to snipe too. <laughs> Oh, that, that's just like, they know what they're doing because they're actually putting up those smoke bombs that are covering them. So that's going to be a really good strategy on the 
guys that you're actually trying to get on that building over there. Robert, we gotta bring this full circle to you. What you want? Yeah. What you got? We we gotta beat Hannah Stocking. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. We gotta we gotta uh -oh. get we gotta get four kills and we gotta get better than. Oh, 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 oh. One player's gonna go there. Oh, Noah's gonna be pushing them really aggressively. Yes, he is. Go into the house. I see you guys. Yeah, we're here. Great spot. There have been uh -oh. lives have been changed in this building, by the way. Were you one of those people? Uh, yes, but also <laughs> others. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way. In a good way. Big That's tournament good. in circles in this area. It looks like yeah. we're going to be pretty similar. Yeah. Okay, they're smoking out that side. I'm going to run up this hill with Noah, Robert. Yeah. Okay. We got some people ahead of us, behind us, left, right, center. You're actually in the final, like, I hit oh, this. final spot. Are we in the final spot? Yeah. Oh, Cracked no, one. Almost, yeah. Nice job. Over here, Bobby plays. Can I get a cleanup on aisle five, please? Here's the thing, though. Does anyone rock any smokes? Because it, it's just so wide open I've right now. I'm stunned. Uh oh, I saw somebody. No, I'm looking at him. Peek your ugly head. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a nice statement. <laughs> Yeah, All right, yeah. Robert, we got to win this. Yeah. Let's do it. Just simple fact. Uh -oh. Oh, Somebody behind us. Yeah, near that loadout. Oh, no. Everyone pushing in now. Mm. And there are no structures here. This yeah, we're a little bit out in the open. We got some rolling hills. There's one crossing. Yeah. I'm, I lived him because I'm definitely not going to hit this. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, I cleaned him up. I'm so glad. Let me grab an assist for the boys. That's so good. That's so glad that you guys have snipers. Like, I'm glad that you picked it up, actually. You're dealing with Yeah, it's I'm helping a little bit. We're trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying. I'm, I'm literally, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're finding the damage. They're seeing us shoot, and they're like, oh, wow, we have to run. Oh, there's one more guy there. The cracked one. Oh, yeah, I'm about to Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take that and take it to the bank. That was disgusting. Thank you. Thanks, team. Yeah! Nice Let's job, guys! Go. I'm Let's so go. happy! Good job! Robert. Number Good 10 job. support! Let's do Let's this! Go. Robert, you are officially the best guest we've brought on so far because you're the only one that's won yet. <laughs> Jimmy yes. didn't win. Jimmy, Jimmy didn't, didn't win. win. Sorry, Jimmy. He, he wins on the stage, but not on this stage. <laughs> I love that. Wow. That's that. awesome. Did we rate that an 11? An 11, and it's in a traditional 11. Oh. I yeah, that's not in the Robert logo. font. Can we get that real? You know what? You're right. You're right. He needs to do it. I'm sorry. It's not right when I do it. Please. We have to do Please. We have to do the 11s. You know what I mean? So yeah, there Something. you go. There it is right Boom. there. Boom. <laughs> We're selling fonts, people. We're selling I fonts. I can't wait to buy them. Oh, you guys did an amazing job. That was awesome. Like, the recovery. You're much better than you really say. Impressive. He's much better than he than he says. Because he has the rotation. Look. Like he knows the rotation. He knows the buildings. Every building in Verdant. He already has like an encyclopedia in his head that just I can say something. I've been around the one. block. Exactly. You I've been, been around, around the block. block. I, I I can talk about a lot of the buildings. I'm not sure that I can execute gameplay inside of them. But okay, okay. shout out to Bobby Plays and Noah Sunday for the hard carry. Yeah. No, yeah. that was a very hard carry. Very. But hard carry. Robert, you did exactly what you said you would do. You played support. Play support. Covering fire. Learned from those ahead of you. I'm, I understood that having the rifle and being out in front was you probably not my strong suit in this out. game. So I went ahead and got the sniper and just tried to su provide some support cover. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Yeah, sure. They're like, where's this guy shooting from? It's me. I I'm not going to hit you. Yeah. But those guys yeah, are. Yeah. I mean, you are also <laughs> the binoculars of the entire team. Like, you That's very true. I can see away. from far away. Give the comms to them. It's all Big support player over here. This is what we do. This is <laughs> be a distraction. When we can't be LeBron, we try to be Austin Reeves. Yeah. Austin Reeves. You know? Hey. People are, people are catching strays on Brock. And it's not that I, Austin Reese is not a bad player. Sure. He's not a bad player. He's a, sure. he's a role player. He knows his role. You know, I one know thing that role. I always say, like when I do shoutcast, is that the objective, the OBJs, are just a phenomenal part and an, and an integral part when it comes to team play. Le LeBron's, yeah, but who's going to pass the ball? That's right? true. Someone needs to pass the ball, needs to do the rebound, right? Sometimes somebody needs to die for the rest of the group exactly. to be like, they're right there. Right. That's exactly right. <laughs> you know what? Like, I feel like this team call actually is working out. <laughs> we were those guys. <laughs> we were the guys. We were those guys. Taking the bullets for the guys uh, getting the actual kills. Yeah, we just, <laughs> just buy us back a couple times and yeah. we're good. You know? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we talked about this a little bit before with, with Call of Duty. Uh, you know, were you a multiplayer guy or, or a Warzone guy? Like, with, with your Call of Duty background, what did you play a little bit more? Because on Warzone Mobile, you've got both. So yes. you could technically tap into some multiplayer if you wanted to. I would say, uh, for the people out there who aren't 
as good at the game. Multiplayer is much easier. It's faster, a little faster pace, not as more big. More redeeming. Not, more redeeming, not as big of a map. Um, I've played a lot of multiplayer just to try to get better. And then when I drop into Battle Royale, it's like, oh boy, it's it's tough. Yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. I, I would say if you're not that good at the game, stay in multiplayer until you get a little more confidence and kind of know how to move around. But uh, I play both modes. It, it's I'm not afraid to be a support guy. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, everyone, yeah. every like we talk about this with the NFL draft is coming up, right? So every receiver wants to be the number one receiver, of course. but somebody's got to be the number two. Somebody's got to play special team. Someone's got to run down on kickoff. Call of Duty the same way. Mm -hmm. Some, some, not everyone is going to be the lead kill guy. That uh, you know, I, I think that's near flawless and analysis. It's like you analyze things for a living. It's I kind of crazy. So you should be an analyst, man. I don't know. Just a feeling. But you, know. you brought up a really good point because essentially this is a team game. Like yep. you're going to be playing majority yep. for me at least. Like I'm going to be playing with my friends. And one's going to be really good. One's going to be probably carried a little bit. But it's a matter of the like team chemistry is Correct. the most important. Like if something happens, like hey, it's okay. We have the gulag. We can buy you back. And that's exactly what happened. If we called it a while ago with both of you like going out early right. I was like okay if we gave up so early on then you already lost at that point but the fact that Noah and Bobby bought them back which turned the game around and got the first dub of the day yeah no that's it's like Tom Brady in the in the Super Bowl when they come back from down 28 to 3 yep. Yep. Oh, right yeah. we were down we were down 20 <laughs> we, we were down we big. were down <laughs> we're down big but we came back we got it done and and I've, I've seen gamers that are good enough to kind of go out and do it on their own right like they can just go in the middle of the map and they they're so good at what they do that they don't really need the support yeah yeah but if you're one of those players like myself or like jimmy or like yourself who's, who's not quite that level yeah being that support player is good and some hopefully at some point you can become that player that can just go around free nilly willy and and, and make it happen but yeah. until then don't be afraid to support. Yeah, I, sage advice from Robert <laughs> Gifford III here for Call of Duty. You're all learning something here. And I, you know, it's funny, we were talking about before the Call of Duty League, professional league, yes. is happening right now. They've got their major, and, uh, you know, there's support players even on the professional level teams. Like, Correct. everybody's got their role. Uh, I, want, I want you to talk to me a little bit about your play style, not only in sports, but gaming yep. in yep. particular. High risk, high reward player? Are you a little bit more strategic, low risk type of guy? What's your kind of uh, your play style? I, I think Beef Mommy over here realized like I'm I'm very very high risk. Sure. Like I I for personally feel like you can't be afraid to fail, mm. whether that's in life or in gaming, because that's the only way you're going to get better. If I just like I, I did a little bit more camping out in the last part of the game sure. with a sniper. We're going for the win, though. right? We're going for the win. But if you if you just do that the entire time, you're only honing in one skill. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to eventually get yourself out there and figure out, okay, well, I, I can't do a 360 spin the Rooney with the rifle and try to shoot this guy. Yeah. I got to figure out a better way to attack that. So I kind of approach gaming the same way I approach life. You got to put yourself out there. You got to try, and then you'll hone your skills from there. Don't be afraid to fail because uh, that's the only way you'll get better. Cool. Wow. That, I feel like I could put that in my book, like that's like an autobiography. Yeah, you're writing a just book. Like yeah, literally, yeah. just like an autobiography, <laughs> Beef Mommy's autobiography. And uh, that's really good words to live by and not just something that you can actually play in game, but in life in general as yeah. well. And that, that sounds really good. And not just that, though, when you're playing a game, you have to also be self-aware of what's happening. Like, 100%. If you know that your skills, like you mentioned it already, mm -hmm. you tried to be a sniper because you know you can't be upfront with that. I couldn't be upfront. Like, exactly. So it's not nice to be adaptable when it comes to these things. How about you go? Uh, like, well, hey, how do you play? No pressure, no diamonds. Yeah. They are, oh, exactly. you're bringing it back exactly. now. I got to give you that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> it's true, though. And, and I think yeah. at the highest level, we all know that. But even if you're playing at home, you got to get your hands on it. You got to put yourself out there. You got to try. Be willing to fail, especially you uh, folks at home that are like me who maybe aren't as good at the touchpad controls. Go learn. I, I, I think controller felt great, but uh, Beef Mommy knows those touchpad uh, controls are fantastic. Well, Robert, you're not going anywhere. Not yet. We've got another very special guest to bring on right this second, uh -oh. by the way. So I'm going I'm to move out of the way here. Uh -oh. We've got a very important somebody hopping in here on main broadcast. Uh, you might know him for, uh, you know, for his Billboard Top 100 shot of flow. We got NLE Choppa joining us here in the booth, my friend. Nice to meet you. What up, what up? How are you feeling? I'm nice feeling good. To you. Nice to meet hey, you. you. you Great doing? shoes, What's by up, the way. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Well, look, Robert's been rating uh, gaming clips and everything in between. We, we won a game uh, before you hopped on. I know you're a gamer, my friend. Talk to me about kind of your gaming expertise. 
Man, um, since I was young, I always been intrigued by video games. You know, um, started out with the GameCube, PSPs. Uh, that's bringing it back now. I know, I know. GameCube. Yeah, I always loved the gaming aspect of life, and it always kept me, you know, a kid at heart. You know, even growing up, kept me a kid at heart. I love that, man. That's that's super cool. Well, we're really excited to have you on here. I was actually born in Memphis as well. Yeah, yeah. Moved to moved to Nashville after that. So it's good. It's good to have you. I've been following your career for a long time. So yeah, you're 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 killing it. Uh, well, look, I, I think we're we're getting some tech stuff set up for you here, but I know we're gonna get to some gameplay later. Uh, Robert is a true support player. Okay, true support player. He he's the backup true guy. True support um, Oh, perfect. You got a mic. There you go. Uh, yo, yo. <laughs> talk, talk, no. talk yeah, you're yeah. just talking. Yeah, okay. I think. We, we got you set up. Look, a, a big question for you here. Uh, Call of Duty. Uh, you a Call of Duty fan? Yes, sir. Uh, obviously, you're here playing Warzone Mobile. Uh, talk to me about Call of Duty in the past. I, I know you played some games with like Kai Sana and some other folks. Yeah, you got yeah. a gaming PC set up. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, what's what's kind of your gaming setup? Man, my gaming setup. I got a PC setup, but I'm I'm um I don't really know how to work it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've only played it like for the guy the guy that set it up for me that one day and then I never knew how to like turn it on. Okay. So I just always play on my PS5. I just hook it up to my Love TV. That. Um yeah, so but but I'm finna get the PC back going. I'm finna learn how to cut it on. <laughs> you gotta get it, man. And now you can play it on your phone too. So yeah. now you have another thing to turn on, but at least it's always just on. Yeah, that's dope. That's <laughs> and it's just dope. right in your pocket. Yes, man. <laughs> I was gonna say the one thing I, I've noticed uh, both of our, our our hosts here have been staring at since you walked up is your grill. I have my yeah, well, we got we gotta I get we gotta get them <laughs> with your grill, man. <laughs> who who made that bad boy for you? Uh, Johnny Dane. Shout out Johnny Dane. Flawless game. Okay, okay. So, hey, flawless. Actually, though, hey, I we're gonna know. take a very short break. Here I paid good money to see you guys have that. Awesome. We'll be right back in <laughs> just a fun. moment. In a lead chopper, Robert Griffin the third. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Just here in a second. teams, welcome back to Verdansk. This city's been through hell and back. It's a forsaken battleground that's become a haven for chaos and disorder, which makes it a target-rich environment. Your objective is to get downrange and re-secure the city. To do so, locate supplies on your grid, complete contracts, and engage all movers in the AO. Bringing in reinforcements will be key for this mission. It's time to call in those favors. When zones are deemed clear, we push forward to the next until all threats are eliminated. All Hammer Team's performance will be tracked along the way, and rest assured, your efforts won't go unrewarded. 
For now, let's focus up on the mission at hand, starting with the airport. Operation Day Zero begins now. Yeah, he's, he's got you set up. Hey, we are back with Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. I've got Robert Griffin III. I've got NLE Choppa. We're just getting started here. And uh, Choppa, look, we're going to get you into some gameplay here shortly. Uh, I know you're a gamer. Controller player? Or or what's your kind of mode of preference usually? with Controller. Contro Don't worry, we got you on controller. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, I'm yeah, the yeah. exact same way. Uh, Beef, Beef Mommy over there is a fantastic touchpad player, by oh, the way. Oh. She, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> that, that's what I I've been saying the whole time. Finger sleeves. We're going to get you started. Uh, I think your controller is right next to you guys. We're getting you guys straight into a game. So Right into a game? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, Let's do it. We've got you loading in. There you go. There you go. There While you go. we're doing that, we'll get your controllers all good to go as well. Uh, Chapa, talk to me a little bit about um, you, just your, your kind of music career and your grind. Um, because, yeah. man, you've been, you've been on your grind uh, and you put in a ton of work uh, early in your career. Talk to me a little bit about what that was like. Man, um... I got I, I put in so much work. I forgot balance, man. You know what I'm saying. I had to um, reiterate it in my life. Learn how to, you know, have a personal life outside of work. Um, it was just like once I blew up, it was like work, work, work. Staying afloat, staying consistent, um, and trying to keep elevating to a, to a different height. And um, in the midst of that, I feel like I kind of lost like the relaxed time, the vacation time, and all of those things. So you know, I'm starting to implement those those things more. But, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much how the journey been, just, yeah. you know, working so hard to the point to where you exhaust it, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it takes sometimes. Yeah, well, and there's a lot of content creators. I mean, Beef Mommy, yourself, too, like, we've, we've all been on that grind, too, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and even pro gamers, so they do the yeah. exact same thing. Is gaming a part of your, like, relaxing time? Yeah, man, um, whenever I had a time to, I was just telling some of the people um, in the back, like, you know, gaming sets up space to where I could, you know, relive that kid feeling, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Remember how I was as a child, like just zoned out. It was straight video games. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I feel like um, habits we develop as adults is like the overthinking thing. <laughs> you know, you know, we be in our head all day, so we sometimes need something to get us out of our head. And, you know, yeah. video games can do that. Yeah, one thing I'd like to say, too, is like, we're, we all we all are busy people, especially if you're going to be on tour. If you have yep. any, if you're going to be flown out anywhere else, it's perfect that you can just play Warzone Mobile on your phone. Like, yeah, I can just brain off. Like, literally after this segment, like, I, I appreciate you guys, but I'm playing Warzone Mobile in the back. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be smashing some duos. But yeah, it is going to be really important for everyone else to know that you could play this and have cross progression. So just in case you go home, at least you have a game to go back to after grinding for so long. So yeah. That, that uh, that's a big part of why I love Warzone. All right, so uh, Chopper, you're getting your settings locked in, man. Yeah, you're oh, he, oh, he is, he is locked to. in. I seen him. He was, she talking. He was over there. I'm Let me know if I can help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working like on your moving. sensitivity, or yeah. yeah so click into. Oh, you got touch. Yeah, touch. yeah, yeah. You can make it higher, lower, whatever you want it to do. You that's to gonna be that's gonna be hot. I did not have to adjust my sensitivity. Uh, I just got to get the kills. Hey, Robert, remember <laughs> support. Support. That's what we do. No lone ranger things out there now. Oh, so, so now we have to. So which one? Which one is um, RG? Three. Uh, three digits. I think uh, you we only got three our, members. Our production yeah. yeah, we're in trios. Okay, so you're okay. running with three right now. Okay. okay. Dropping into Verdansk. You guys can drop whenever you're ready. You don't need to follow anybody right now except for each other. I'm going so. wherever RG go. All right. Let's go to the pink on the map. Hit it. There we go. The yeah. Chopper, you. Score to beat? Chopper, you talk about, you know, balance and that and that that work-life balance. Yes, sir. How, how did you figure that out so young? You know what I mean? Um, having a child on the real. I mean, like, she creates time to where I can be like a human, um, and feel like a human, feel regular, feel cool, um, and also just focus on different things outside of music. You know, when I'm around her, I'm trying to be off my phone, things of that nature. Right, right. Oh shit! I'm shooting at you. <laughs> Man, you have this awesome moment talking about your, your child, and you're getting shot in the bag, and you're, and you're, and you're shooting Robert. That was yeah, perfect. Man. He's like, hey, who's that? Who is that? Yeah, well, that was me. That was me. Hey, don't worry. Uh, we are, we are, no, Jimmy, Jimmy won his gulag. Robert ended up losing his gulag, so we're 50-50 on the I gulags did. right now, so you're going to be hopping in in a second. 
a lot of other people died at the same time, so you got three rounds that you're actually fighting, so you're hanging out on the balcony. Yeah. Um, I love that answer, though, right? Like, things that put your life into perspective and, and having some of those times to, to kind of relax outside yeah, of life, you know, is, is a huge, huge boon for all of us. So even for us that work in video games, you know, even, even having video games like that. As nah, you throw nah. hands in the gulag waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's important too, uh, Chopper, because you you got a big a big fan base and you're doing great things. Like people need to hear that you got to be centered and be intentional. Yeah, man, you know extremely. I mean? You got to be grounded. Um, you gotta you gotta create that space to where you 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 f you remember that you're just human as well as everyone else. Uh, All right, gulag fight is underway. Oh, found him. Nice connects. Oh, close. Almost. Close. Yo, All right. Actually, what did I miss? Wow. I'm over here trying to run away from it. Was a, it was a close gulag fight. I'm not going to lie. You're gonna have to buy you look pretty game. comfortable on a controller. You play uh, quite a bit on controller? Uh, yeah, yeah. I play with PS5 controllers, but um, this Xbox, I played a few times with Xbox. Yeah, it's yeah. still cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did, uh, what, what's your relationship like with Call of Duty? You play like a decent bit of Call of Duty with uh, like friends from home or, yeah, or man. Other friends currently? Yeah. Yeah, man, for sure. Like a lot of lock in. Yeah. <laughs> um, most of a multiplayer. Type yeah, head. yeah, yeah. I rack up about 20, 30 kills or some multiplayer. We was just talking about Team that. Deathmatch, you know what I'm saying? So that's really my niche. Warzone, I love Warzone as well, but Team Deathmatch is just like my real niche. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing about Warzone Mobile too, is they actually have multiplayer in yeah, Warzone Mobile. Yeah, I've seen know? it. They yeah. let me know, yeah. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're quite a bit better than Jimmy. Uh, I, can say that. <laughs> I can say that now that yeah. he's gone. Yeah. Uh, but like, uh, he has to beat the three kills, right? That's true. Kills. Jimmy did get three kills. Mm -hmm. Now he did it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say camping. He did it sniping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, off a roof. Vantage points. Vantage points. There we go. Positioning. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah, scoped AR. He was kind of cooking exactly. with it. Exactly. Jimmy's kitchen was real. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, goodness. So one thing's going to happen now is we need to see that elimination just to get the, like money as much as possible to get the buyout so we can yeah, buy I think out. your third's got enough money to buy you yeah, back, buy Chapa, but oh, no, but then we gotta get to a buy station. I know, that's will the they? thing. Yeah, that's the, that, that is the thing, like, will they buy? Oh, oh. Recoil control, how's the recoil for you? Uh, that's a good shot, though. Mm -hmm. That was a good shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta get some loadout weapons for you guys. Yeah, Ground loot is pretty solid, yeah. especially in Mobile Royale, but Loadout weapons always superior. Okay. Ah, Send it route to the gulag, though. You still have a chance to redeem yourself. Here we go. Yeah, because the, the, the first time didn't it was pan out, It didn't pan out very well honestly, the first time. I think this time around, you, you're going to get this one for sure. Yeah, we just got to get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to get warmed up. They don't even give yeah. you time to warm up. You know, we got to get you out of here, get warmed <laughs> up. Then we can run it back. All right, Robert. Here we go. The gulag. Concentration. Iconic showers gulag. I love these showers. Very classic three lane. Oh boy. Here we go. Flag to the right. Like that. Robert oh, right pushing oh, the yeah. 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 Dang. Come on. on you. We manifested good one, man. it. Good that one, man. Good one, man. That was, that was, that was appreciate it, Appreciate it, That was good. That was good. All right. Rob's got to get uh, some cash okay. here, though. So we can get Chapa back as well. I, your teammate I do does have, have a decent bit of cash if they can win their gulag. Uh, while we're in the did he also time, get put in the gulag? What'd you say? Our teammate got put in the gulag too. Yeah, he mm. he also they also yeah. won to be honest okay. with you. Oh, okay. so, so you guys have a decent bit of cash. Just yeah. got to get to a buy station to get Chapa back. While we're waiting, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I've been following you for a while. Talk to me a little bit about No Love Entertainment and, yeah, and what you got cooking with that because I, I know that's part of your grind outside yes, of just your own music. Man, um, just simply, you know, um, finding talent, you know, that's one thing. Um, just knowing I have a label and a brand. Um, just recently signed a um, new artist, a singer, Kerry Washington. And um, being able to put those things in motion and to play to change other people's lives. Yeah. Um, it's, one of, it's one of the things I take seriously, you know what I'm saying? It's a priority thing for me. And that's my label. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love to hear about that. Yes, and, sir. Um, I appreciate you talking about it. Um, I guess next question here: Who who do you play with uh, these days uh, when you're playing video games? When you're kind of on your uh, your kind of relaxed time? Man, myself. Who, who <laughs> <laughs> just me, and I call the guys to get on sometimes too, but yeah. mainly just me. Yeah. Like sometimes you need that time though, just to relax and not have to talk to other people. You know, when you're yeah. talking all day in business meetings or whatever. 
eventually would you want your kids to play video games with you too? Okay. Yeah, Is man. that like a dream? Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We were actually, I was asking you that a while ago. It's just like all, all, all the girls play video games? All the girls all play the video girls games. Play. They not, they don't play this one. <laughs> they will now. <laughs> but they, there you go, there you go. They, but they don't play this one right quite yet. But uh, nah, they they love it. I I think it's uh, it's important for kids to play video games at a young age, uh, because I like we talked about before. It's just problem solving. Yeah, man. Right. And like sometimes, like when our youngest, uh, when they get when they go through a tough time on a game and it, it gets hard, it teaches them how to work through adversity yeah, too. Yeah, so, yeah man. I'm not just saying it because we're here, but there's a, there's a real truth to how video games can be impactful for your entire life. And mm -hmm. exactly. I, I was a young kid that played video games all the time, and I think I turned out decent, somewhat. You know what I mean? So. Somewhat. You know what I, mean? I don't got. I don't got the the, the, yeah, the like, shoes and, and and everyday moments yeah. out here. But uh, no, nah, I think it's important to teach kids how to fight through adversity, and video games can teach them that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's a great shout. Uh, Actually, I wanted to ask Chapa since you're like basically in music. You make music. You have a record label. Uh, how is it like? Have you ever dreamt of making music for video games? Because oh, you man, I wouldn't mind. Video games. How I wouldn't mind. You feel? You know I mind? would not mind. You how know? would you make a soundtrack for Warzone Mobile? Like, uh, how how would you want to structure that? Man, music that just gets you ready to go shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so, I mean, make your butt pump. You know, some hype music. You know, what I'm saying something that gets you going and gets you ready. Um, that's a that's a beautiful thing because I always looked at Warzone like um, not even just Warzone video games in general as movies. You know, they got they create storylines. You got the online aspect of it. So um, it's already a movie. So you know, as artists, we try to put songs in movies all the time. Um, a lot of my music has been in video games, um, UFC, Madden, 2K. Okay. Um, so a lot of those different things, but I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the producer is in my ear right now saying that they, they signed you. They got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> call the Somebody's They're talking like, to somebody yeah, yeah. back there. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Contract, contract is in the back. They are ready to go. <laughs> Tell them let's do it. That's awesome. We got to get Choppa bought back here, Robert. All right, where do I need to go? Where are we, we going? We need to get you some cash. Uh, keep looting some buildings here. Your third is not helping out yeah. at all. He's not? Who is that? I don't know. We have no idea. Oh, we don't know? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, whoever our third is, we can't call you the third anymore because that's my name. Yeah, all right, Robert Griffin right. the third, you're not being helpful <laughs> right now, man. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, there, there you go. All right, we can loot up some gas stations here. There might be some cash registers or something. Find some cash. No, nothing mm. there. I was probably the third that took it. Yeah, that's honestly, they've got almost four grand in pocket, which is enough to probably buy you back here, but... Uh, We'll keep loading. Uh, look, the game's going to keep going. We'll, we'll find you some cash and get you back into the lobby. While we're waiting still, uh, Chapa, uh, you know, I know you're a shooter on the court as well, yeah? Yes, basketball sir. player? Yes, sir. Uh, is that is that kind of some of your other pastimes? Is yeah, man. Basketball? What a lot of people don't know, um, to pick out RG3, man, I was actually better in football than basketball. Okay. A lot of people don't even know that. I, I didn't know that. Oh, no. Tell them, uh, tell them what it was, yeah, man. man. I was a um, running back. I played running back. I had a high waist. They kept trying to put me a receiver, but... I just kept acting like I couldn't catch. <laughs> <laughs> they kept me a running back. And um, in high school, I ended up stopped playing sports or whatever. But um, I really could have had been successful in every aspect of life. On the That's real. awesome, man. So, but I mean, yeah, high school was when you first started making music, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So you kind of made that decision to go to music rather than. All right, and we. I'm gonna breaking news here. <laughs> in game event. Okay. Jailbreak. Which means everybody's coming back into the lobby who who is waiting. Which means, Chopper, you're getting a free buyback. You're coming right back in here shortly. There we Everybody go. Everybody, just stay tuned. Uh, Jailbreak in 27 that. seconds. Uh, thank you to whoever's pulling the strings. There you uh, go. We, pre we appreciate that. <laughs> developers, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Not cash enough. <laughs> Let's hit the jailbreak button. <laughs> Bang! It was fake. So we got the jailbreak coming. But but Chopper, you talked about yeah. uh, you're better in football. Uh, than you were in basketball, but yeah. uh, are you, can you guys play at all? Basketball? Sport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we go two on two, me and Chopper versus y'all two. <laughs> hey, give me a call. I'll give you my, uh, my phone number after the broadcast here. Yeah. We will runner. lose. He's, uh, he's a runner? runner yeah. Oh, okay. What, you, what was you running? I ran uh, cross-country and track. Okay. Yeah. And then I played a sport that nobody cares about called Ultimate Frisbee. 
no, great time. Such that's a, a sport? sport. That's yeah. a really good sport. I don't though. want to go into it, but I play professionally. You know? Yo, oh. Oh. Yeah, just, just Yo, is RG the pink one or the yellow one? I'm the yellow one. Okay, okay, I'm right yeah. above you. Have you seen Ultimate Frisbee? I have seen Ultimate Frisbee. It's like football, except with a plastic disc that flies super far and floats. And the and the guys who play are very talented. I, hey, I've been on ESPN a couple times. Oh? Getting scored on. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> not scoring, getting Get scored, scored on. I, d I did not know that it was even on the network. That yeah. I'm, I'm with know. a bunch of athletes here. I love it. It's to me. I'm just like, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm like, I do Pilates at home. I do sure. white thai actually, so white thai oh, is okay. a you fun just, one. Okay, you just, you literally. Yeah, so I'm, she's, I'm a, mix, she's like a mixed cod. martial artist. Yeah, yeah I, cod, I'd get smoked. Yeah. <laughs> Real life cod is fun. Right. I wish I could switch to tactical. Oh, see, this guy knows what he's talking yeah. about. This he's, is a game yeah, 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 because I'll be able to slide. Yeah, this, to the slide, slide cancel, you have to code over to be, yeah, it's tough. Uh-oh. It's all good, though. You good, RG? Yeah, everything closing in on us. That was it. So, RG3, do you play with anyone in your team? Uh, I, unfortunately, at ESPN, uh, everybody on those teams is mostly on TV all the time. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's you know fair. what I'm saying? But when I was in college and when I was in the NFL, yes. Uh, it, I think the, I think Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes yeah. talked about this, and Juju yeah. Smith-Schuster about how gaming can can be a, a bonding, like a team bonding moment for you. Funny story, uh, when I was in college, we used to play video games every night before the game. Uh, oh, really? It was just a way to get our minds off the game. You know, Chaba, I know when you go, maybe you go to a concert or something like that, and a million people, however many people there at the concert, sometimes you just need to take your mind off of what you're about to go do. Yeah, man. And video games can do that for you. Mm -hmm. That's true. And something about the playing for a Monday Night Countdown, like, <laughs> give us a, a look about that one. Yeah, I mean, really, I, I like to put it this way. Uh, you work so hard so you can play around, mm. right? So I, I work so hard, study prepare so that when I get to game day or I get on set on Monday Night Countdown, I don't have to think about what I'm going to say anymore. I don't have to worry about it. I know the teams. I know the, the stats. I know everything. And it makes it easier for me to just have a good time, which is what I think people want to see anyway. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why to put in plates? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I feel like you're a person since you're an actor. You got your three plates, like so you got extra now. I already got them all. Yeah, there's that broadcast. blue marker right there. And oh, shit. Yeah, that you're chilling. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? A god is also asking, is very curious, is how about that Goku post that you did last night? Yes, yes. We were talking about that yes. one actually in the group chat. What was anime that? guy? Yeah, anime I'm guy? a huge anime guy. Like uh, oh. Chopper, I don't know. Was Dragon Ball Z? Or you, were you a Dragon Ball Z guy? Um, or are you more? I always uh, tried to get into it. I just never really got into it to really watch. I ain't gonna lie, like. I was I always watching SpongeBob. Man. Oh, yeah. I love that. Miho <laughs> Minoi. Mean, so, so like I was a huge Dragon Ball Z guy. Still am. Uh, Goku, I think, is the greatest anime character of all time. Vegeta is the greatest character arc of all time. Heard it here first. Uh, for for the animes, but uh, you know, rest in peace to uh, Akira Toriyama. Yeah, I just uh, seen he, he just, recently pays. He he, he's away. a legend. He is a legend. And you, like for us, I'm 34. Uh, so, generations that are younger than us have social media and, and video games way more prominent now than they were back then but I used to get off the school bus and run home to go watch Toonami and watch Cartoon Network and catch Goku, Goku. you know powering up for seven episodes <laughs> and, and getting ready for that that spirit bomb that took him what yeah. felt like 30 episodes that was that was my childhood okay. so and, and, you know it's funny I want to bring it full circle to to like uh, you know powering up I mean getting ready right and you're talking about playing video games getting ready uh, for your games yeah Chapa what's your what's your kind of preparing like preparing moment before a concert oh wait we're, we're in a fight here yeah get, I, get out I'm of trying my, to my analysis. Oh. Oh, Chop is fighting. Oh, shit. I missed every goddamn shot. <laughs> Not yeah. every single one. You know, there's a couple yeah. that hit. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we, we got one kill over here. Yep, That's gotcha. one. Is, is that your oh, first one? That was my first, first one. Kill? First kill of the day. See, listen, Chopper, yeah, Chopper, did Chopper go down? Yeah, Chopper's down. See, Chopper, down. Chopper went down. Oh, I'm about to go down, too. Chopper went down, and, and that's like, you know, got to be a support player, right? Yeah. Sure. That's what happened to me. I went down a couple times, and... Guys, guys, come in and, and clean it up for you. Yeah, R look, Robert just had more time to warm up. That's all it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I'm here to play with Jimmy, so that's why. <laughs> and that sniper, you got to get in on that sniper. Y'all are funny, man. <laughs> now we got to get that cash back.
again as per yeah we're, <laughs> we're nearing the end of the game i got like five thousand dollars oh really oh, yeah actually robert you've actually got enough to yeah. buy him back I if do. you swing back yeah. to that buy station behind you swing up that's yeah perfect. up there up the hill no oh, that's perfect. there's probably going to be somebody there yeah but yeah, uh you can careful. buy chop it back for the final kind of fights here cool. there's only it looks like nine other teams left so that's a major way again we're trying to beat i i guess we've already won but trying to beat top five here uh to beat uh, uh -oh. Hannah Stocking. Uh oh. <gasps> free? Yes, free. It's uh -oh. free. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's Bang. go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> wrong gun. Yeah, that's the wrong gun. Wrong gun. Well, <laughs> it was the wrong gun. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodness. I love it. Well, hey, great effort. Yeah, man. Yeah. Great effort. Yeah. It was uh, not a great effort. Just... <laughs> Robert. So disappointed. Here's the key. You got to kill. <laughs> that is true. Exactly. And that's all that yeah. matters, that's yeah? I'm very happy walking out with one. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to thank uh, my wife and my four daughters. <laughs> okay, you know, At least you got one, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Before, before I bounce, I wanted to ask you this because I've always been fascinated by, by, by artists, right? And mm -hmm. I, I consider you an artist. Yeah. What's your motivation? Like, what's your mu muse for your music? How do you come up with, with the songs that you come up with? Man, I ain't gonna lie, like, my motivation comes, you know, I gotta give all praise to the Most High. Um, I feel like my motivation comes from the heavens. You know, I always challenging myself as an artist to, you know, progress, be better, and elevate my sound, and, you know, not even, you know, keeping the same type of music where I started, you know. Right figuring out different pockets, different avenues to showcase what all he put inside of me. So, I mean, that's really my motivation. Um, just always coming back to prayer and being guided, you know what I'm saying, through this whole journey. No, that's wow, awesome. great answer. Uh, look, Robert, in true form and fashion, best question of the night as well as an analyst. <laughs> so, Robert, thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Oh, man, You've you been a blast awesome. here in the booth. Amazing. We wish you well. And, we'll, hey, we'll see you on the war zone, yeah? No doubt. See me there. And we got to do this again sometime. I, I really enjoyed it. This was awesome. Yeah, let's add each awesome. other and uh, <laughs> yeah. give each other support. We'll squat up. Yeah, we'll squat, yeah, squat up. up for sure. I love it. Robert, thank, thank you, you so baby. much, my friend. No problem. No it's problem. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Appreciate oh. it. Nice to meet you. I forgot this one. Oh, that one fell? Yeah. Hey, man. Bless one. Bless one. Bless one. Bless one. Bless one. Appreciate you, man. Great. All right. All right. Light. Beef Mommy, you're hopping in. We're getting chopping back in. That was a warm up game. Doesn't count. Let's get you in and start cooking again. All right, sound good? Okay, well, I am severely, very much nerfed right now. You, you could play and touchscreen on that That's stool. the thing. I still have to set it up. So uh, it will take a while. So no, no, no. I'm going to try controller? Myself. Yeah, I'm going to try controller. I love it. Welcome, baby. You should play again. <laughs> Okay, main menu, right? Main menu. Play again. Yeah, it should hit a play again button. That should got work for it, you. Got it, got it. I'm just going to go through the main menu real quick. I feel like I'm streaming again. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're you're back, back, in the, yeah. back in the content creator mode. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm like Bobby Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm already here, but I think we're not in the same lobby. Okay. We have to like squat uh, up. Yeah, and let me see. Check it over oh, nice, here. Perfect. Is it Genprod 02271? That, Is that, it? that should work. We might need some. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we've got an incredible tech team that's gonna help us out here. We're gonna get you all set up. You don't yeah, need to go anywhere. Yeah, we it, look as much as we think we're experts with this, we don't know what we're doing. Exactly. So we're getting I the tech folks here. in. We're gonna get talk. you set up. <laughs> uh, Chopper, let's let's talk a little bit more about gaming. Let's talk about Warzone Mobile. What do you think so far? Uh, pretty clean for a mobile device, huh? Man, clean as shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> clean, very clean. clean. While you're on tour, do you have any tours soon? Um, yeah, man, I got a tour coming up with hey, Boogie around like um i think may this summer mm -hmm. so that's gonna be real dope real dope real dope honestly i give so much respect for artists who go on tour because that thing is a lot of work yeah hiring yeah man it's stressful like, city yeah. to city exactly do you ever plan on going abroad for like shows like is that, is that always on the horizon man um i just love performing on the real so yeah. i'm always willing to take whatever measure yeah. it is to get that experience for to sure. my fans you know what i'm saying so yeah man yeah I love it. What well, big question here? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let you kind of get set up. You're gonna pick your weapon. That's the question. We're gonna find you some weapons you like. We're gonna make your loadout all set and ready to go. We're gonna get a tech team ready to go. Don't go anywhere when we come back. It'll be Call of Duty Mobile, uh, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile live. We're back here with NLE Chapa. Don't go anywhere. I'll be deaf. Whatever. Forget where the dudes at, man. Where's the gun? Enemy UAV 
Got you. Got your teammate. I already want to load up. <laughs> That's enough mines here. I don't think so. I added a play more to it. Nice. Oh, I put two clusters down. I think I got rid of one of them. Somebody on top of this building. I'm gonna chuck something. Get a feel. I load up there. Nice. Yeah, this really is the ultimate ADHD mode. I don't know why people play. Why they play what? Resurgence over this. I don't either. This is so fast moving, it's still like real VR. Is this guy coming to load up? Oh, guess not. I have a lot of guys in front of me. A lot of people around me. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm getting executed in the building. Oh, what? oh no! <laughs> what happened? I need he a just better jump. <laughs> he just jumped up behind me. I think it's auto. Oh, oh, cheeks! We have like negative one HP. Yep. Is that a Ram 7? Oh, it's yours. Oh, that's my loadout, yeah. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. You can keep that loadout. I'm about to get another one. Run to 100 wins. Rotation happening. Wait, is the guy's in the sky? Oh, he's on the roof. Duty Warzone Mobile live. We've got Beef Mob. We got NLE Choppa. We're gonna be dropping into another yes, sir. game. Choppa, it's time. You got your warm up in. It's time to get some more kills. Yes, sir. Uh, Beef Mommy's gonna lead you, okay? And I'll, I'll warn you uh, twofold. I suck. No, <laughs> not good. no. Not good. Beef Mommy, very talented, <laughs> but is not playing on her native setup. She's a touchpad yeah. like player on mm. normal mobile, and now she's I'm playing with controller. With controller okay, so. okay. You know what? We're, we're on the same boat here. <laughs> okay. we're, we're, we're gonna win this. We're gonna let's win this. It. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we're gonna be <laughs> dropping into Verdeus again. Uh, I, I love it. So, you said you're, you're a multiplayer guy. Yes, uh, sir. What's your favorite gun? Because I saw you like looking through the guns during the break there i'm trying to pick um, your favorite loadout i like the ars i love yeah. the ars and i just love to customize them yeah, yeah put yeah. the scope on there some dual clips or something extendos all that type of stuff um and the ak-47s of course yeah i love that if anybody cdl folks that are watching maybe between the majors if you need a new ar here's your guy yeah. <laughs> right here. uh beef what do you uh usually play like when you're playing multiplayer because i know you've done a lot with cod uh cod mobile so yeah. uh, are you sub player are you an ar player what's your kind of go-to i think it depends on the meta that, that's one thing because like if the meta is smgs and i'm gonna play smgs i don't want to like i can be up in your face it depends on my mood but i definitely also like being the sniper i like quick scoping so i really do want to eventually build a sniper that can be really Really quick for me to kind of just snap on people because we saw a while ago how important snipers are in a game pretty good so, yeah exactly yeah man you need a sniper mm -hmm. well this map's pretty big too you mm -hmm. know so a sniper could be super helpful how about for you what kind of loadout would you usually have i think i asked you this a while ago yeah, so but... back in the day yeah. so I, I, you probably don't know but i am not a big deal at all uh i used to play quite a bit of verdansk and i was a sniper AX50 back then uh, with the Ram 7, which is still meta. Yep. Uh, sniper support was my go-to loadout. I was mediocre at best. So <laughs> y'all are going to do a lot better than I could do. Uh, you're dropping in right now. Let's get involved. See how they could do. One more game. Inali Chapa, Beef Mommy, and then I think uh, we're going to be taking
taking a break here shortly, and maybe Bobby Plays will make a renewal appearance. I think he's just streaming on his own setup somewhere. He ditched us, Beef Mommy, so it's just I me, you, did. and Choppa. Choppa, you're our new host for the rest of the show. <laughs> you guys Let's are be commentating. Do. Let's be lock in. All right, dropping into Verdansk. Uh, okay, before we get started, what's the drop spot? Where are we going? It depends on the zone. We don't okay. know the flight pattern yet, so it, I mean, I would want to stay away from as much people as I'm possible. I'm following right you. Now. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of pressure, but you know what? I feel like that's a, that's a good idea. So as we're waiting, I don't know. I feel like I want to go to Boneyard. Boneyard. I, I, I like, I actually really do like Boneyard because the loot's not bad, but not a lot of people actually go to Boneyard, at least here in mobile. Yeah. So maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, people have been out. favoring some of those hot spots, right? Dang like it. Superstore yeah. or Hospital or something like that. So Boneyard's actually not a bad pick. I did hear some of the other talent. I think it was Shift. I hold Shift. He was saying Boneyard's actually one of his favorite spots because oh, really? of the he owed back to Scrapyard. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah a, a huge win for him. So, hey, you and, uh, you and Shift apparently are a duo oh, for the future. So. We have been doing for like two, three years now, so I feel like that the mind connect is actually there. There you go. All right. Pre-game lobby wrapping up. Time to drop into Verdansk. Here we go. Choppa, it's time to to be the best guest that we've had on this broadcast. Four kills is let's the best go. we've had thus far. Yeah. It's four. 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 All right, let me four. try to get. Yeah. Here we go. Let's least. lock in. Yeah, more than four for sure. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. Sure. Yeah. Steve, um, Mommy, all right. Pick a spot for us. Go into Boneyard. All right. Um, well, let's see. How do I oh, use yeah. controller? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, I'm trying to... Yeah, we need to do. Uh, we'll, we'll do another segment later where you're playing on controller and I'm on touchpad, and, yeah. and we we'll go one v one here. Yeah, it's okay. I accidentally dropped. I have no idea how to. I'm dropping with oh, you. She's out. Just, yeah, just drop with me. We're gonna we're gonna do this thing. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna do. Stadium. You going to yellow or are you behind? Um, I think we're gonna go into stadium. Oh, okay. So right, turn right, turn right. back around. She's actually down below you over here. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, all the way down there. Stadium. Yeah, stadium. Okay, stadium. Good. So stadium's closed on, on Verdansk, so you're gonna have to go down yeah. to the bottom. There is actually some decent loot usually mm -hmm. um, down at the bottom of stadium. That firehouse is really solid as well. Oh, the red roof? Yep. Oh, gotcha. I think I'll, I'll, I'd rather. Just watch out there. for the ladder, just so we're on the same. The ladder has a better KDA than I do. <laughs> That's exactly what you said a while ago. Oh, no, someone's here. Someone's nearby, actually. Come on, stadium. Yeah, stadium's a good spot. We should go to the stadium. Right. You've, you've been to several stadiums in your life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> doing some shows in stadiums, so going at home. All right, lads, let's get it done. No. Open the door. No. Oh, it's X. No, nope, where's my gun? Are you beating somebody down over there? Yeah, I am. Someone's in there. Oh, X. I'm a, I'm a PlayStation girlie, so when I, when I see <laughs> the X... Xbox controller? Yeah, exactly, Xbox controller. I'm not used to it. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think there's someone here. Footsteps. Hold on. Footsteps here. There's for sure someone there. See if you can find a gun. There you go. Nice. Okay, I'm going to try to find a gun first, though. I heard footsteps. Oh, yeah. I don't know Did if it's you. you. Yeah, it's me. Uh, there, there's, there's a that gun, gun you get a single shot, you so hit, if you hit one, oh, you'll have your AR. Okay. If you want oh. your AR. Nice. Okay, so that's why. A is jump. <laughs> B Bobby learning controls on, yeah, the yeah, fly. Yeah, on the fly. Live on we're broadcast. Not, gonna, like, I'm on an Xbox early, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna adapt quickly. You've got this. Okay, okay. Okay, so how do I check map? Uh, so it's that, that uh, start button kind of center right in the middle of your controller. Oh, nope, nope. Or center left, sorry. The select button should pull up the map. Uh oh. I think I accidentally pressed something. Oh, there you go, there you go. You can also just probably put your finger and click the Oh, back. there you go. I, I find. Okay. So we're good. We're inside of the zone um, at the moment. Yeah, Chapa's getting high ground here, so this is okay. this is That's high key, the, the right play. It's actually, actually we, we can just sit. Just can... try not to fall down that ladder. That's uh, a little sketchy. That has taken plenty I hope I don't. of lives. Nice. All right. All right. Yeah, that's a DMR, so that's got a nice range on it. Yep, single shot, so. Yeah, yeah if I hit something from up here. <laughs> if you hit something from up here, that'll be, uh, uh, that's that'd a be, Robert Gr wild. Griffin the third 10 in my book. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough shot, iron sights do you, for sure. Do you want the, the whiteboard? Oh, you need me to start rating stuff again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it. I, I think we're gonna. I got it with my voice here. Got it. Your beautiful voice. Gonna Thank be announcing you. everything here. Where are you? You downstairs? Yeah, yeah, I'm just like clear, clearing the perimeter. If I jump out this window, I'd be able to get my parachute. Yeah, just hit the jump button again, you'll pull your parachute. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, we're taking oh, shots oh, oh. from distance okay, here. Okay, yeah. He's, he's probably saw me. He's probably saw me. 
Getting his, he's got a sensitivity in the right spot. Someone's on top, I think, of stadium. Yeah. Oh. What, what are you shooting? Somebody down below. Broke, broke, broke the armor. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chow. I'm gonna wait for you. Is he oh, inside? Uh oh. One outside. Uh, top is down. Top is but down? he's inside, in cover. Okay, you stay there. If you can provide some cover here, maybe get the res. Uh oh, they're pushing inside. Oh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have anything. I don't have <laughs> armor plates. Yeah. That was a tough. Hey, you're both going to the gulag though. Time for a one v one. Man, maybe I should have just used my hunt, but you know what? No, I'm, I ain't no quitter. I believe in you, Beef Mommy. Thank you. To learn all of the his ass. <laughs> <laughs> right hook, left hook. Oh, 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 take this, take sure. this. Oh, that's you? Oh, that's oh, me and you fighting? We're fighting each other, my uh, bad. <laughs> friendly fire, friendly fire, my bad. <laughs> that's the gulag. All right, 1v1. Chop in the gulag. All right, let's go. I'm watching from above. Yup. Let, let me let yep. me coach. Yeah. Smoke. Let's go. Chop a first kill of the day, baby. How's it all feel? All right, all right. It's a relief. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a relief. Hey, bro, if you're not gonna hey. hit me, I'll, I'll, I'll hit myself. I got That's a great. rocket launcher. <laughs> nice win. Come on, we need you to win. Yeah. Player shoot. Got it, got it. Nice. It's from here. I can see his laser. We, we call that a barrel stuff. You just stuff your barrel in the chest and just hold the trigger down. You're gonna grab the kill. Got him. You got him. Got him. Got him. Want it. Also, yeah, you have officially you. tied RG3 for the amount of kills he got the entire time he was. Oh, right. This so good. perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's time to beat him. Start moving up the ladder here. Yeah, that gun's pretty good. MTZ. So that's an AR. Yeah. And we got a little scope. Yeah, you got a nice little slate reflector on it. It feels so good to play on the controller, by the way. I know. I, I, mean, I, I was I was very impressed with I controller very for surprised. mobile here. It's it like. Again, somebody it that was not mobile native and then kind of made the transition over, being able to play both is super fun. Because uh, if I'm on like a train or something on the way to work, uh, you know, I'm not gonna have my controller on me. But if I'm at home, I can still play and grind wars on mobile, maybe from my bed <laughs> with yes. my controller in my hand. That's you know? exactly what I was doing last night. I was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna change my HUD already, so I'm ready for tomorrow's launch. I'm so excited. The only reason why I had it was because I had it during beta, and so I'm just like, you know, what? I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna be grinding in between breaks here while we're live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet they like in a chat like, yo, in Italy chopping some shit <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna get that. Okay, I hear footsteps. I gotta give me a kill. In game. I know, you need to get one more. I need plates. Take down Robert. You're currently tied with him. I think you guys can win this game. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, I agree. I You're kind of on agree. edge of circle here, so plenty of time to move into the next one. So if you guys want, you can head to the loadout, uh, the blue box on this mini-map. You swing back around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get some better weapons as well. That's true. Instead of ground loot. Some of the ground loots actually aren't bad. That MTZ you've got is pretty solid. But, um kind of look through the loadout, especially if it's pretty empty over here. You guys have time to kind of look through your loadouts. Some of the default loadouts are actually really good. All right, headed on over to the low drop. I see, pick it up. Yay. Okay. Nice. Yep. So you can see what you like. Yep. Yes, sir. All kinds mm -hmm. of options. Shotguns, ARs, okay. SMGs. I really need a gas mask. Oh, plates over here. Plates over here. We can... What are you thinking? You thinking AR, SMG, sniper? Shotgun. I think I'm gonna just keep my default one. I respect that. That is a power Fair move. Fair point. I, I like <laughs> it. Honestly, this gun is actually really solid. MTZ, your other gun is also really good too. So you got two ARs to work with in case you run out of ammo and can't reload. So I'm in. Perfect. In the outside of the zone. I dropped the gun there. I'm not quite sure if you want that. I went for a sniper instead, just because like since I'm not that good yet when it comes to mobility with the controller, I'd rather take things kind of like what we a saw slow, a while ago, yeah, a little bit sure. slower, yeah. So you actually just picked up a UAV as well. So if you hit right on the D-pad, you can actually see if there's anybody guys around you guys. Get some info. Okay, sweet. Nice. So nobody in your area, you guys can start oh, working your way a little bit inside the circle. Yeah. How do I view the map? There you go. Ah, Nailed it. So you can see where all the rest of the players are on the map. Damn. It's a ghost land. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a ghost land. Oh, you guys, won, you guys won your gulags and exactly. uh, and came flying back uh, to the part of the map where there's nobody else. Nobody here. Plenty of time to regain. Yeah. Not as much action. We're just gonna let them take each other out, and we're gonna play for zone, play for <laughs> positioning later, and let's see what's what's in the map. Like, where are we heading? Oh. Look, uh, we have love for every type of Call of Duty player, even the corner campers, uh, yeah. like Big uh. Mommy. Yes, I am a proud corner camper over here. Corner camper uh, Carol, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard. Oh, gosh. Go oh, for high shit. ground, though. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That was Sorry. me. Oh, so you okay? <laughs> that scared me a little bit. <laughs> you also okay. have your other bumper will throw a frag grenade too whenever right. you guys do get into combat, so. Perfect. I'm gonna be checking these houses over here because I feel like if we drop over, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna be behind us. I think we're good. Yeah, it's kind of edge of dam. Yeah, we're gonna edge. Some houses over here Play called, edge. we used to call icebox. But got high ground, not a ton of cover. Maybe maybe hitting this large building for some more loot and grabbing the high ground on that building. I agree. Especially if you're Good sniping, one. Beef Mommy. I have an LMG and it's both heavy. Uh, LMG works, the bullet hose goes crazy. Perfect for me. Honestly, if I had an LMG a while ago against that one guy, I feel like I would have won that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprain prey. It's also like. So any tips for us? Like, it was free. <laughs> we are playing at the edge of the zone. You can coach us, man. Like, honestly, I mean, you've been coaching us, yeah, but I'm pretty sure, like, your knowledge, you have, like, a... Well, it just, it kind of depends on the play style. Again, we were talking about it before. I mean, Chapa, would you say that you're a, a high-risk, high-reward type guy? Or you kind of, like, play it safe, play it slow, play it strategic kind of thing? Man, I suck at planning, so I'm just kind of, like, I'm just going to go out there and just kind of do do what I feel, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm more so like a um, far from strategic with that being said. Yeah, yeah, kind of high risk, high reward, just go do it and you'll just figure it out around. along the way. Yeah. If I see someone, just start shooting my gun. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm on the high. I go to Hoover Dam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is literally, it is <laughs> damn, it is, so. Is. All right. So if you want, I think there's a buy station close to you guys, yeah. Beef Mommy. You, yeah, it, since there. there's a fire state, fire sale, you can actually buy some stuff from here for super cheap. So you could get a uh, some armor plates or, or UAV or something like that. Um, looks like it's UAV's 4,200, I'm not sure. I don't really have much money, actually. You got some plates, though. Like, you're chilling now. Nice. I just love plates. That is my best friend in this game. Yeah, chapa has got five plates, so yeah, you're, you yeah. guys are doing great. Five, five in the backpack, three five on. Each. Plenty of ammo. Looking solid. We are sticking 20 together. teams left in the lobby. Total of 27 other players. Nice high ground position. Lots of room to kind of spot some people Go rotating in, man. but you guys are pretty central in the zone, too. So we're just going to wait for the zone to close in. I mean, it depends. Yeah. What do you want to do? Do you want to yeah. venture out into the wilderness of Verdansk and hunt down some uh, kills? You want to play for the win? I mean, we're pretty in the center, actually. Like, yep. I think this is a. I'd rather look towards the like eastern side of the map just because we can like basically. Oh, there's somebody right there. Yeah. Where? Crossing the river. He's just about to come up this uh, right there. Yeah. Let's push. Yeah, you can push, push. I say run at him. Let's go. It. Let's go. Well, you got your sniper. Yeah, you, you sniper snipe for the distance. That, Chopper, you run. Go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's oh, I see him. Play. I see him. Where is he? I lost. Right, right there, right there. I broke Connected. Him. Broke plates. Oh, I got him. Whoa. Let's okay. Go. Should I walk down? Yeah. Uh, you can go loot him up. How's Should I walk him down? I, I, that was that was pretty good aim. I'm not gonna lie. You fried <laughs> that guy on a heady. He had a, he had a oh. nice little kind of heady on the rolling hill there. You gotta make sure nobody else coming. Chopper, you are officially a better gamer than Robert Griffin III. It yes. is Yo, they shooting? Yes, no. <laughs> they shooting. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's, they're crossing over, over here. Where? Um, 155 south, southeast. Ah, uh, see. Yeah, one Try to see, can you snipe? I'm yes. gonna go down swap, and try to swap play. weapons to your AR for this. It's a little bit longer. They're coming at you. They're coming at you. I'm gonna go closer. This is all good. I'm gonna go closer. I feel like I can hit them with the LMG better. Yeah, right there. Your, load, load, load up your, your plates, your plates. Yeah, hold Y, top one, yeah. Hold up your plates. Good call, Beef Mommy, IGL, in-game leader. Oh, no, I'm down, I'm down. You All right, mm. all right you're okay. up. Chop, it's all on you. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Oh. Yep. Plates are broken. Oh, no, you're out of ammo. Oh, dude. No. That was so oh. close, though. No, broke hey, plates, Damn. and it was a 1v2. That was, that was close. <laughs> Ah, uh, I could have had him if I would just really checked. Could've. If I could have looked to see if I was out of bullets. See, now this is like riling me up, right? <laughs> you ready I, to go again? <laughs> I really hate that. It's like, oh man, I was like so slow. And that's what makes me want to keep playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to just be 15th place. We yeah. put some good work in though. That was, yeah, that that was, was like, dope. Y'all did fantastic. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's roll the standings while we got Chopper here and see uh, where all of our guests uh, lined up across the board.
Hannah Stocking did win it all with four kills overall. Wow. Jimmy with three, Robert Griffin with two, and Chopper with two as well. Look, uh, I'll take fourth place. Let me let's be very clear about it. You, you tied and you get the victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you win the tiebreaker because you did more damage than Robert Griffin. You right, you <laughs> right. Sure, especially <laughs> on that last one. That was so close. Yeah, like, come on now. Exactly. Hey, here's a quick look at what's happening the rest of the night. We got multiplayer mosh pit right around the corner, and then vehicle rumble and snipers only. This is going to be a lot more gameplay uh, right around the corner. But we've had a blast here in the booth thus far, and you can hear some celebrations yeah, behind man. us. That's what people are like when they're gaming and they're gaming that hard. That me, man. But I have a mic on me, so I'll be like, <laughs> I had to, like, control myself. <laughs> Chapa, what would you think about Warzone Mobile? Man, beautiful, bro, beautiful. Um, you know, the most surprising part to me is, like, how good the graphics are, just with it not being on, like, a console. Yeah. Um, the feel of it, the movement, it's perfect. It's a beautiful thing, for good, real. Man. Well, we've had a blast with you in the booth. Hopefully, yeah. you've enjoyed your time as well. Yes, sir. The, the warm-up obviously got you ready because you looked way better in the second game. You yeah. were crying, man. Yeah, uh, we had one more. I think I could have got some yeah, more I kills agree. now. Yeah, I agree. Sure. We're going to uh, play off-broadcast. <laughs> easy, easy. We're going to head to a short break. Chava, thank you so much Let's for do joining us. Don't thank go anywhere. We'll be me. right back with Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. See you in a bit. Let's do it. I popped it. What? I literally clicked it. Oh my god, yes. I even, like, yes. I mean, I didn't die, but it just, like, broke my ankles. Shotgun? Yes, that's what I needed. Two shotguns? Sick. Are we? Jimmy! Why? Your teammate is redeploying. Stand by. Yes, sir. More. Dude, I have not gotten a single good gun. This is horrendous. Oh shit. I'm hiding. Go teammate. Go this. That's all you king. You ran this way. Daddy, daddy popped. Where'd this guy at? crash when I'm killing him. Go, go, go. There's a guy up there. Go, go. Oh, he's here. Did not even hear on him, which is not good. Should 
shooting from behind. I had a shield for this. One is literally one half. There's two. Creo que se pongan las tres de una, no sé si tengas opción. Let's go, let's go, vamos por la cajita. Tengo mi RPG, bro. ¡Bien! ¡Eh! Aquí hay alguien, aquí hay alguien. ¿Dónde? 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 El plebe es una mierda. Sube nah, con eso. El, el plebe está de adorno, bro. ¡No sube, bro! ¡Ah! ¡Seis segundos, seis segundos! ¡Abre eso! ¡Ahora la caga! Uno, ¡Bien! ¡Uh, ¡Oh, buenísima! Si ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Sí hay alguien aquí, bro. Oh, no, that's my friend. Dude, someone's literally gonna. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. Guess what? So do I, baby! <laughs> Thinking you're smart, brother. Not even. Go play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader because he ain't smarter than me. Hello. Precision airstrike. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I should re up on these. This guy's out here doing contracts, which actually is a great idea. Uh, but I am aware of enemy combatants nearby. And I don't want to give up the high ground. This high ground is pretty lit. However, I can't get approached from two different angles. Which is not lit. I saw enemy combatants on the radar earlier. But I don't know where. Oh, I heard him. Did you just parachuted down? Was that a parachute from above or was that someone jumping over this ledge and parachuting down? That was ambitious. Oh, that's a lot of cash I just got. Okay, there's a guy up by the buy station. I guess I can sacrifice this high ground for a slightly less high ground. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. But you know what? Hey, I'll throw a Steve really quickly, buddy. I know. Oh! Oh my god, I'm aimbotting. Let me clip that real quick, because that was so clean. Like a little turnaround like that, little 180 just snapped onto him, bro. It's all part of the plan, little B. 
Damn, bro, I sound just like him. You heard that? It's all part of the plan. No! But uh, the 50 man got on that. Yikes. Hey, if y'all want, make sure to uh, click the link in my description, guys, and, and download Warzone Mobile right now. It's available in everybody's region. So if you click the link in the description, it'll take you directly to where you need to download Warzone Mobile. Or your own region. Dude, this guy. What a weirdo. No, I ran out of ammo. I got my what's My little chopper again. Oh, we're losing. Pretty bad. Oh, I got that. No! We have all these intrigues, so we're losing. Sniper that you're using after this. Sniper that you're using after this. Sniper that you're using after this. Oh no, I just got collided. collided? What? It was you? Yeah, we got shit on, man. My first time getting collided in Warzone Mobile. That was with Little B. Cool. Yeah. Couldn't have wrote it better, bro. Exactly. Oh, the hit button? 
Oh my god. Are we losing? We're still we're still losing, bro. Yo, cap, 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 cap. It only goes to 180. Switch off the sniper. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. My name is Lottie. I'm joined by Shift and Reflections. You may recognize us from earlier. <laughs> and, boys, we've had a little bit of a break, but we haven't been out of the action. We've been watching everything that's been going down this afternoon into this evening. And, my goodness me, I, I'm just loving everything. I'm loving the inclusion, all of the different players that we're seeing, content creators joining in and, and getting on the bandwagon of mobile. It has been truly, truly special. Shift, how are you feeling about the rest of the day? Well, hey, you're not by yourself here. I mean, we've talked to just about everyone who is coming off the stage as well, not just the talent, but also the personalities that were here. Yes. And, you know, talking with Swag and Lucky in particular after their series, I was like, so guys, like, legitimately, how did it feel? They're like, we forgot that we were on a mobile game. Like, yeah. legitimately, with having controllers in hands, being able to see the game you know, like it used to be with Verdansk, they didn't even remember it felt like that they were playing a mobile game. So everyone seems to be really enjoying the inclusion of it. Yeah. yeah. Mobile Warzone seems to be off to, to a great start. I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly happy for it. Symphony uh, had a 21 game uh, elimination or comeback. I think after Joe Woe was eliminated, his chat was, was, you know, giving him some grief for it, whatever. But like, you know, Symphony's great and uh, it was great to see him here. Joe, like I said, tearing it up, uh, you know, Choppa getting to eliminations for his uh, game <laughs> yeah. you know, RG3 getting to it Hannah actually carrying yes. at four which was uh, which was the big uh, you know surprise I thought we were gonna see a lot higher numbers but honestly four is still really good if you consider just hopping on not being able you know not necessarily being well versed when it comes to, to mobile gaming and you know, being on the thumbs but it's been a great day and, and I think across the board it's been a, it's been a wonderful showcase of what Warzone Mobile is going to be and continue to be. She got four yeah. playing on an input that she was not used to playing That's on. That's right. Everyone else got a controller. She it's did impressive. it on a tablet with her fingers. So that is true. Crushed it. Like absolutely killed it. And also she won a Gulu as well. Oh yeah. That is like one V one straight down the line that there's no excuses you are in a gulag like right. with somebody else and she killed it i was very very impressed and yep taking the top of the leaderboard there we have so much action coming our way for the rest of the day though so make sure you're sticking around with us because next up we do have a multiplayer is coming your way with mosh pit of course we're in event number four folks after that as well vehicle rumble we're going to watch some people in some vehicles getting a bit crazy we do have of course explosions with that everybody needs to kill each other with vehicles it's going to get messy, but I'm kind of here for the uh, for the chaos of that one. And then to end things off, Snipers Only event. We were talking about Snipers earlier on. Maybe this is my time to shine, guys. Maybe this is really my time to shine. How are you feeling about the rest of the events we have left here? Should be fun. I mean, the multiplayer mosh pit is really, gonna, I think, going to highlight an element of the game that not a lot of people expected. Yeah. When they heard Warzone Mobile, they expected it was going to be purely VR. But like we were talking about earlier, like everyone's been talking about throughout the entirety of the day, I think the multiplayer mosh pit's going to get a lot of play time especially for those that are on there looking to level up weapons when they're away from home or if they're just looking to get warmed up. I think it's absolutely the proper space to be able to do both those things pretty quickly. And let's be honest, I mean, these guys are going to destroy these public lobbies. So I'm also oh, yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, I know. destroy it is definitely the right word. Yeah, it certainly is indeed. And of course, you can see 45 minutes there. And we do have a squad as well that will be dropping in. Uh, Reflections, have you played Mosh Pit? Yeah, I've definitely played Mosh Pit. Yeah? How, how, how are you for Mosh Pit? Okay. Yeah? Okay. I, I've been really enjoying the game. Like, uh, yeah. across the board, the fact that you have two different styles. You've got Mosh Pit that you can play. You've got uh, for dance, you know. Um, of course, you got Resurgence. is is pretty special as far as I'm concerned. But watching them play now and going into Mosh <laughs> like it's going to be a totally different ball game. It is. It's going to be it's going to be good and especially the fact that they've been warming up so much and you can see our, our team of three there as well uh, they're ready to go i can see a lot of kills coming across here and again like just showcasing the best of the best and, and how inclusive it is in terms of warzone mobile it's, it's fascinating to me and also the fact that we're having streamers who are not used to being on either a tablet or a phone kind of going from a much bigger screen to something a little bit smaller and a little bit more compact i mean that's also been yeah. kind of a little bit of a transition for them speaking to swag in the green room he was saying like it was weird to kind of go a little bit smaller but he loved it and he thought that the way it looked was phenomenal yeah i think at the top of that we're going to see content creators that are again like you said used to the more traditional sense of gaming kind of get their feet wet yeah. but at the same rate the captains we had listed two of which are former mobile pros okay. in call of duty and the other a super high skilled 
competitive player. Oh. Not, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say pro, but Aerith is incredibly talented. But practically. And yeah, practically full on pro. And you're going to see the power of how cracked out these mobile gamers are. Like, I'm ready for it. Oh my God. Seriously. These three POVs are about to be wild. <laughs> wild. So, I, what you're saying is if you guys were in that lobby, not a chance. Not great. Not I'd do all right. Oh. Not a chance. I like I'd do all right. No, I'd do all not right. I, hey, <laughs> someone's got to be confident, you know. I, I'd go in there and I'd play, you know. I'd play. Uh, I'm very confident <laughs> that we would get absolutely smoked. <laughs> I like the confidence even, of that. <laughs> even if I camped a corner and they and they didn't know I was there, you think they'd still outgun me? Without a doubt. Mm. All right. They could do. They could do. Well, speaking about outgunning, <laughs> we did have some epic highlights earlier on from event number one this morning. Our special ops and obviously our stream is dropping in. Things have been getting already so, so sweaty in all of the lobbies that they've been dropping into in the dance. And it was just great to see some of these highlights and how that they were playing it uh, so far, so early on. And yeah, we were kind of talking about the difference between going into rebirth first versus the dance in the warm up. But it clearly shows that some of our streamers don't really need a decent warm up. Yeah, and these two in particular, Space and Little B are, you know, for the first time, they're really getting their hands on Verdansk outside of if they were want to play on their own PCs. But again, these are two of the guys that you look at and they are, you know, mobile pros. Right. So they're used to playing on phones. Looks like Little B's got himself set up on a tablet, but Space is still going to the comfort zone of playing on his phone. And, you know, that's kind of the big exposure piece of why Wars on Mobile we expect it to do so well is that well, every, no one, people who haven't had the chance to play on PC or on a console are going to get their chance on Verdansk for the first time. And, right. yeah, they definitely highlighted uh, the potential from just the mobile side of, if you want to get involved. And, and not only that, Lil B also showcased during that first segment, so, uh, you know, where Go, Chevy, Mommy, and Bobby were on. Where, yeah, no, we're going to see a lot more of that later during yeah. our next segment, but which is always great. But Lil B with the sniper. Ooh. Yeah. You know, we haven't seen too many many incredible snipes today, but Little B was one of those examples where I think that is going to also carry over when we do go to multiplayer mosh pit oh, yeah. and, and pumped up that energy. Yeah. That's what I want some of because we saw that with Swag. Swag was going off and going nuts and Little B is going to be bringing that energy, whether it's Sniper, whether it's RPG, it doesn't matter. Can do it all. I would say when we get to snipers only, Little B is my current pick. Okay. Current pick. Because oh, he when what? he played for NYSL Mayhem, he was like their go-to guy and he is nasty with it. So he's my current pick. If if it's purely mobile gamers, I'm looking at Little B to win the snipers only. Okay. Fantastic. What about the other two uh within in you know in terms of mosh pit? What can we expect from them in terms of their gameplay? Yeah, I mean I, I, it's Aerith has kind of been a flex in the past, so I expect that she's probably gonna be running between a overpowered SMG or yeah. something that she's found comfortable with the AR, she's gonna be running and gunning same thing for space he's one of those guys as well that is just always in the mix so when you put him on a shipment or a scrap yard or whatever it happens to be I, I just they're just gonna run through these lobbies yeah I like that a lot okay big question here you know just while we're getting things going mobile supremacy so far or are we are we liking the integration of the kind of console PC gamers who who right now from what we've seen in terms of highlights who's running who's running the dance Who's running Verdance out of the Is it people the mobile that we've gamers? seen so far? Is it the mobile gamers? What are you thinking? You know, honestly, I, I don't, I want to say no, but I don't know if I'm going to offend anybody by saying that. <laughs> like, because, I, you know, uh, Lucky played really well when we saw yep. him playing. Lucky was tearing it up. Swag was dropping high numbers. Yes. Swag was putting on an absolute clinic mm -hmm. when people were pushing him. I mean, we saw him in one room get four eliminations. But then you also saw Symphony, too. Symphony, 21 eliminations, going absolutely nuts. We do, and going nuts, the lights are going nuts, because it means we're dropping into game, folks. We're going to be heading into Mosh Pit right now for the multiplayer part. God, this set is gorgeous. I love it. I I'm, love I, it. I'm never going to get tired of that. Uh, but yeah, I, I've got to say, yeah, it could be. I think, I think if anything, that in terms of you know the way that Swag and, and Lucky Champion have been, it, it just shows how smooth that integration is. So I, I, I will say I'm sorry, but I'll say this. I think because it's for dance, right? right? And, 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 a, and an OG that was where I was going to go. Exactly, and I'm sorry for taking it, but it's just like I think that plays a lot of weight into it because they've got the map knowledge. But again, when we get months now into the future, mobile gamers are going to be scary because this is their platform and they should not. Bird drop 19. Yeah, that, that is know? true. That is yes. true. That is true. How actually? I haven't. We haven't actually seen too much of, of him for the rest of the day. How has he been throughout the uh, rest of the afternoon? Do we know? I don't know. I'm not sure an idea. Slaying I'm out. Probably slaying That's out. <laughs> Maybe he had to carry Tim. So if he needed a break, I understand. Okay. Oh, uh, that is true. He did. <laughs> he had to pretty hard. I forgot. So. That's right. yeah. that, that does make sense. I wonder if he did manage to top 19 or not. I don't know. Yeah, because we had um, Swag and Lucky on immediately afterwards. So. Yeah. yeah. 
I, we should check. Yeah, I'm gonna check tonight for sure. I'd like to see. And go across like the socials of, of some of the see players. Who did yeah, and, and see, see what kind of happened. Yeah, because 19 was or no 20 was the highest we saw. 20, 20, 20. Yeah, rebirth so, though, right? Well, it was on rebirth, right? So 19 would have been the highest. Oh uh, look, it's our boy Bobby. Bobby. That's our boy Bobby. Bobby Silver. <laughs> second. <laughs> Bobby second. Silver. Bobby Silver, yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, we're just blowing around with the dance right now just while we're waiting for things to get going with the uh, multiplayer mosh pit. So bear with us, folks. But Hit it. I mean, we have a ton of gameplay to talk about. We have a ton of gameplay nice. on our screen. So <laughs> Bye, me. we're with Primrose thing. right now. And I believe we're, we're still looking pretty good in terms of circle way. So early doors. It's also really so wild because like for a moment there, I was just like, wait a second. Are we sure we're watching mobile because you had a high alert set up? Yeah, right. Exactly. It, <laughs> it looked like a normal <laughs> Warzone stream. Yeah. And it is. There. And it is. Yeah. I think that's you were pointing that out in the green room was like uh, you know there's been a lot of competitors saying like like this is like full on war zone. Oh yeah. Which is what they're so happy with. You know a lot of the players are, are incredibly happy with. And it was funny too because I was talking with some of the mobile guys kind of going back to your point Lottie about you know mobile versus controllers so far. Um, and when they had the early access when all the creators were playing early they were like yeah we could definitely tell we were playing up against a controller player compared to your normal mobile gamer but they said so far today it's hard to really determine whether or not a player is on mobile or, or on controller so you know there's probably gonna be certain advantages and disadvantages to playing on either input but mm -hmm. it is kind of curious to hear the players perspectives as well saying that they don't feel like they're super hindered by playing on mobile or that the controller players feel like they're super overpowered playing that's a on controller thing. so that's great when yeah. it comes down to this the balance overall between whatever input you want to play on balance is key balance is everything I love I'm glad that you're hearing that truthfully yeah you know uh self do you want it marking yeah. self oh I need those platters I love listening to comms I find it so soothing sometimes depending oh yes yeah, sometimes sometimes <laughs> no honestly even if it's chaotic I find it soothing truly uh, I really do I'm kind of maybe I'm a psycho I'm not sure well, it's just also cool. We've seen a couple of players, and I'm not sure if we've really talked about it a lot outside of the fact that okay. it's inclusive to have, like, your skins you've already earned. Mm -hmm. yeah. But to see it in-game, like, it, it, it's still, like, that's oh, max camo. Right. Looks great. Right. Oh, big push coming through now. She wants it. Oh, and yeah. an open field. Easy going, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you think. There we go. It's a lot oh, of the burst. There we yeah. go. When in doubt, burst it out. There's, There's three, three of them. Why are they oh, dropping? Oh, it's a loadout. Excuse me. Loadout. Puffing in pipe off. There's so many. <laughs> I fixed my hood, but now I can't. Well, I mean, they well, had the right idea. It was a little bit late, I'm not going to lie, because they, they, they could have easily got smoked there. Yeah. They're kind of lucky, to be honest. If you're not running Dropping high down. Alert, you're in trouble. Oh, here we this, go. Now, here we go. Easy, Big 1v1 here. There you go. Tap away. Yep. Tap, tap. Clean. And well, should be a down in a second, surely. Well, oh, no! God, so <laughs> no! Oh, no. my so gosh. Bro, Had a... So bad at Absolutely <laughs> world starred. You know? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she said she's never played a controller before. Okay, okay, you're forgiven. <laughs> oh, no. What are you going to do? I'm guessing no keyboard and mouse player, if I had to guess, right? I surely. Because like, I think if you were, I think as a keyboard and mouse player, like you had to choose, right? It was either thumbs or a controller. Sure. That so is I'm guessing she chose controller here. But here we go, Ghoulie. Redemption. Big redemption arc coming up. She's gonna get oh in front. No! <gasps> she yes! got it! Save. There we go, Primrose. Let's go. Let's go. Blessed. And you know what? She was shot first too, so she True. still won that while taking first damage, which is pretty pretty awesome. And she's got a loady to drop straight on. No, oh, she's good. She's the best, the best, the best, the best. Big recovery here. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you though, you get turned on like that. Oh dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sits with you for a minute. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you know, you don't let it go. Listen, we've seen Primrose redeem herself in the Gulag. We actually caught up with Primrose yesterday to talk about the return oh of the dance. Let's see what she had to say. I'm super excited to be playing both Verdansk and Rebirth. Um, just because, you know, Verdansk is the first map that I ever played on Warzone and it was just so much fun, so many memories, learning to play Call of Duty, you know, getting better at the game. Um, it was just super fun going back to all those fights in Superstore that I was so scared to take at the very beginning of it. But by the time Verdansk left, I was really confident in myself and then really sad that it was gone. So being able to go back to Superstore and then being able to also play on Rebirth Island 2 is super cool. Um, 
you know, that entire rebirth map is so fun. And it's honestly one of my favorites. Verdansk is by far my favorite Battle Royale map and Rebirth Island is by far my favorite Resurgence map. So going back to both of those is really cool. Love to hear from all of our players and the excitement surrounding, of course, Warzone Mobile and just how how amazing it is. And I actually did catch on her stream oh. earlier, literally live. I'm pretty sure she is on vacation. Nice. And I'm pretty sure her setup is outside currently. That's nice. Which play is anywhere. just so cool. Imagine playing on a beach. Truly, how truly. Nice uh, but we are into the mix now in multiplayer in Mosh Pit, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we've got space ready, ready. on the screen right now. And lads, it's just going to get more chaotic. Yep. Shoot house. Shoot house. This was where I I grinded camos. Yeah. When Shootouts first came out, was it Modern Warfare 2019? Mm -hmm. I oh, lived on this map. Oh, Shootouts is great, man. I'm glad they brought it back. I think it's perfect as well for, you know, just introducing into like the mobile sector. I think it's a great map to have. Look yeah. at that. I don't do well in kind of sweaty environments. No? No, I, I'm a bit of a panicker in that way. Oh, are you? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit, a little, a little bit, yeah. It depends, actually. It depends what mood I'm in, I suppose. That's fair. I do tend to get a little freaked out. Oh, Little B is going to snipe for the multiplayer. He's getting warmed up for snipers only, guaranteed. Oh, yeah. This guy oh, is yeah. disgusting. Oh, my God. He's wow. absolutely gross. I mean, space as well. I saw him running through players. Yeah, yeah. But little B with a sniper rifle in hand. Oh. Not many better oh, things oh, in oh, the that world. Was that was lined up, too. Keep your limbs in the vehicle when little he is out. Damn. It's just wild that he does this on a tablet. Yeah. It's like you would, if you were just, again, we talked about this earlier, if you were to take away like the UI elements, you take away the player cam, and you just watch, you would think that he was on any other normal input. It's, it's crazy. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. It's, it's very, very good. Seems like everybody's got last stand. It's a default perk, I think. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's like, <laughs> You know, you always got to double tap. Oh course. my God, I got cooked, bro. Okay, drop down. Which could put you in a sticky situation, man. Hit oh, he's marker. got the foot. Yeah, that oh. hit mark on round the right, ankle. Right on the foot. Yeah. Oh now, the fact that he's sniping right now is is just crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's, and he's, he's keeping he's pace with everybody on his team. It's just the smoothness oh, as well. Well, well like, that's a point. about it is just, like, it's really impressive. I, I feel like a broken record. No yeah, he's getting warmed up for snipers only. Oh, yeah. for sure. I, I can see why he's your favorite now. And he's just a lovable guy, generally speaking. Yeah, he really is. And also, easy way if you're that good to level up your snipers. Well, true, point. yeah. Aerith on screen. Yo, they were going to let that dude just crawl on by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, was that a body shot? Okay. I don't know who's on the other team. Well, you got to remember last stand. You know, you just never know. We're just gonna we're gonna claim that that was. Yeah, it could be last you know, stand. I, I thought that claim. was a little bit of attitude. I was here for it though. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> but you're right. It probably was last stand. See, I'm too quick to jump the gun. I'm trying to start dropping. That's fine. We're here for that too. I like the trash talk. No, but it's gonna be cool. I mean, like we we kind of had seen the Twitter releases as well. Like the addition of Rust is quickly gonna come into play, right. uh, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, again, I think there's a lot of opportunity for if you're on the road. You know, you're on vacation, you want to get a, your you know, new weapon just comes out, you want to grind it out, want to get leveled up, so when you get back, you're ready oh, to go. These right. maps are perfect for that. Oh, well, so that's actually a really great point, because they are perfect. Like, in terms of, like you said, you used to level up your weapons. Like anytime Oh, yeah. You need a shoot house, so you want to talk about, like, for me, it's it's got to be shipment. That, shipment is, like, like my quintessential, I'm hopping into like, uh, now it's uh, that right. map just to simply, like, you know, rank up, get all my attachments, whatever I need to do. Sure. You've got both of those options, and then you got the... Scrapyard, which isn't necessarily up close. Right? And personal, like you know, shows. like the other two maps that we just listed, uh -oh. but it's also, I, I think, just a legendary map in general when it comes to Call of Duty. So, yeah. like, it fits in perfectly fine, but it's a good mix. Yeah. It is. It's a great mix. I just want to gas a a little bit there. As She's well. good. I, and the thing about I, it was wow. when she, for those of you that are out there watching them, you don't follow the mobile scene as well. Like, she kind of came into the space about three years ago, but the last two years, this last year in particular, she has been a huge threat, like, in the competitive sense. Like, she has been unbelievably good. I love that. Eight. Yeah, 80 to 53. Easy. <laughs> easy. 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 Space probably had 35 of those, I'm going to guess. Maybe Actually, more. I do want to see, are we going to see the leaderboard? Because, um, <laughs> yeah, because I want to know what little B was sitting at, just purely sniping. Yeah, are, are they all in the same lobby? I think three players, one squad, 30 yep. minutes, so. Yeah, and they compete head-to-head. -head. 27 Four for space. Four drops in. 
into the multiplayer. Uh, oh, Little B's not on the main stage. Yeah, that was Win that was with him, I think. Gotcha, I didn't see Little B. Yeah, Win Sanity, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanity's great. One time mobile creator. But Jokesta, tell me, what do, what do we know about Jokesta? Jokesta's, I mean, he's, I, I actually really like his content. Uh -huh. I, I think he's a really fun YouTuber. Um, he's really kind of like, I won't say like, soft-spoken's not the right word, but he's just like very to himself, it kind of seems like. It's just one of those like experiences you watch his content. It's not like a yelling, screaming, oh my God, I'm over the top. Right. It's just like, it's Jokesta and he's just yeah. real chill. Um, well, just talking to I him, like, like backstage. Like, yeah, he's, he's a super cool guy. Super cool guy. Breaking on close to a million subs. Wow. 66. Six. Yep. 166. All I heard was something happened on the right and then it happened no. on the left. That's right. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> you know, we got to regain. She's spectating right now. We got to no, regain. I, I, I will say though, Latin America's like showed up big. In chat. Oh yeah. Huge in chat, which I, I'm, I'm always a big fan of, uh, you know, Latin America because they're so supportive. Like the energy they bring is incredible. It's the power of the vamos. I, I was gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> vamos bucks. Incredible. I mean, but you got to think about. It. You know, you look at other mobile games that are out there right latin america's always been very heavily represented right um even on the esports side of things competitively they're always putting together contenders it's just it's i imagine that they have been killing for the moment they get a chance to get onto verdansk and play warzone right a teammate should be able to yeah, looks like something. it they got enough money yeah all i know is i love that pink skin yeah the pink skin is nice Hey, I'm, you know, I'm not scared to say it. Pink's one of my favorite colors. I love that. There's I nothing wrong with pink. that, dude. Pink's yeah. a great yeah. color. Love pink. Love pink. All right, her teammate is, uh, was fine. Got pink in my socks today. Do you? I do. Oh, you do? Look at that. I'm colorful. Uh, Those are actually some cool socks, by the way. I said, I gotta have a pink. <laughs> little flare. <laughs> little flare. <laughs> But I think the other part about this, and you were bringing this up as well, Taylor, was just like, your Warzone pros that grew up, we'll call it, on Verdansk, naturally are going to have a leg up. But I'll tell you, mobile gamers grind like some of the some people I've never seen before. And I imagine that they will pick it up very, very quickly. Well, that's what I was saying initially. I, I, it makes sense that, you know, those who grind oh at Verdansk, who understand, you know, Verdansk or, you know, even Rebirth uh, Island, like they're, they have the map know-how. Yeah. <laughs> they're not scared to get mixing, get up close in. and personal, right? Yeah. So, and, and there is a learning curve to learning the map and, and understanding Warzone in general, especially if you're not used to playing Warzone. Oh, yeah. And, and, and even Resurgence, which is a totally different factor. But, uh, I do think the mobile community, really like you said, they grind. There, that gap is going to lessen for sure. Hundred yeah. percent. And and it's going to it's going to come to a point where, as I was saying at the beginning of the broadcast, there's going to be people out there that are you know playing today, starting today, that we have no idea who they are, no. but we're going to know their name by by later this year. Oh, you know, without question. From this title. Without question, I do love how there's just different tempos as well and everything, uh, between rebirth, Verdansk, multiplayer. Like just the tempo is so good you can just switch it up whenever you want and that's the beauty of it and now the beauty of it on the go oh, yeah. well, perfect and here's the thing on top of that this isn't like call of duty light you're playing a full game of warzone oh yeah against a hundred players you're playing a full game duty light yeah i mean, the, the, I like I mean mobile games I like have it. always kind of had that stigma of like yes. our games could only last 15 minutes long right. there's yeah. there's really not that pressure and i think that is again something that may not you you don't necessarily like cognitively think of that while you're playing but you right. do feel it right yep. like this is going to be a full is this kill confirmed we're playing like this is first to what 50. Mm -hmm. so i mean it's again if this is not a five minute game you jump on you're out and you're in like this is a real version of what call of duty feels like oh my that's god great point. I just got that is a great point second. from anywhere you want to play At, from like, anywhere you, know, you like, want to play it's like just hop straight into an actual game it's crazy to me it really is the future the f it's here we're living we're now. living in the future now we just sound old guys i don't know how well <laughs> I don't you know. know about you two, but I'm, pretty, I'm like a spring chicken up here. You are, okay, calm what? down, all right? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> she is compared to us, bro. Uh, you don't have to out us like that. Bro. I'm out, well, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, 
<laughs> Rob, I've been in this industry 11 years oh now, and every year I feel older and older, dude. And chat lets me know. Grandpa shift and reflection. Okay. Grandpa shift. <laughs> and then notice how she should and reflections. I'm every, still reflections. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're grandpa shift. It's because the grays are really mm. showing on this broadcast. Yo, I got a couple of grays in my beard, and I just started growing it out not too long ago. I'm already uh, devastated. Yeah. It just started happening. All right, right we got some replays here. here, and again, the sniper with little B. He's just. Oh, he I'm telling you. Good though. Ah! I'm telling you. Triple. Is, oh, he almost got the quad. If he didn't have to reload. Oh. It's like a walk in the park for him. I kind of cabbie's just like, yep, just, you know, cracked out gameplay. That's, yo! Look how fast they're flipping. Bro, you know he what I mean? Had, he just had a hat to shoot at, man, and yeah. he hit it. But, like, look how quick their POV yeah, it, flops over. That's thumbs on screens, guys. It looks like he would have to me so much. Like, it, like, that's the type of speed that he's yep. able to build with just, just his fingertips. That is insane. Sniping like, really montages are bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, and the thing is, and I don't know if, I don't think Little B plays on this, but I know a lot of players have been dabbling oh, with the, the gyroscope oh, settings to kind of help okay. with that a little bit. But I think he's just got an absolutely insane sensitivity. Wow. Oh yeah, montage coming in for sure, dude. That's crazy. It's perfect. It is. Perfect. It is just, it's wild to me. What's better, drop shotting or jump shotting? What do you think? Ooh, good question. Uh, drop shotting. Shot. Really? Yeah. I, I think, love- I think in this game, drop shotting. I think uh, I love the jump oh, shot. Maybe good. I'm doing it wrong. That's why I keep. Dying. Well, here's the question though. I think jump shotting is better in Warzone. Okay. Because you have the ability of like moving in and out of like cover that is like waist high. Okay. But I think in this game, because of how high some of the cover is, I actually uh-huh. think that going to a drop shot is, is more effective. Interesting. Well, okay. So I I could see why then in Warzone I do it. because in Warzone I'm always always jumping. That's fair. I'm always jumping. What? Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys chat do? What chat I prefer, do? Ju- I prefer chat jumping Let's just like. Let's pull it up real quick. Let's see what chat says. Instinctively, but that's just because I have a terrible drop shot. Do you? Yeah, I get stuck. Chat, let us know. You get stuck? I get a little stuck. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I yeah, I prefer jump shotting. That's I that's do. kind of always been a. Uh, well, I mean, not always. It depends on you know the titles and stuff like that. But. All right, I got chat open. Okay. I'll I'll tally. Let us know, chat. All right, chat. chat let us know. Or jump shotter. And, yeah. and and shift will give you a shout out. I'll do my best. One uh, one for drop shot, two for jump shot. I like that. One for drop shot, two for jump shot. Let's see what you guys say. And, and three uh, for on. grandpa shift. <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> yeah, three. No, Lee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just too easy. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's fine. I, I think maybe for me it's like one of those things I get wrecked by people who drop shot all the time. Okay. I got a couple for jump. One guy says both. And I think that's like yeah, having I mean, a mix of both fair, is, yeah. is, is is totally I think fair. Having a mix of both is definitely the best. Right. If you can hybrid that, it's perfect. Yeah. Jump shots with paddles, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah I think it's gonna be def- yeah. like different situations where you can use one or the other. I mean, yeah, it's all situational. Wow, we have a lot of people saying jump. A couple of ones for drops. I, I think I think jump is the way. Three for okay, three for grandpa shift. Okay, I hate all of you. Guys. I'm taking names down right now. Keep all it going, said keep three. it going. He's keeping tabs. Get those threes in chat, please. It's it's pretty even. And I you know, I, I, I would be curious, I think, you know, is it easier to drop shot off of the mobile UI versus trying to hold down the button on a paddle? Yeah. Or is it easier just to tap paddles for the jump? Maybe it's, you know, maybe there's well, something to be said about that. For, for me, for paddles, Ooh. which, you know, oh, air them up. Goodness. This is ridiculous. Little B. For paddles, it's easier to jump. I think so, too. I That I can vibe with because it's literally right there on your trigger. And that's what I use. Yeah, that's totally I'm fair. I'm sorry, but I'm now a huge fan. Of Little B? Of Little B? Yeah. yeah. Just wait yeah. till you get a chance to meet him. The guy's so nice. I am a huge fan. Yeah, okay. Oh my All God, you guys that are saying three. Right there. Just know I, I I see you, okay? He, not that old. He, he's not gonna do anything. Keep keep putting. <laughs> <He's right not. laughs> What's he gonna do? I I think I'll I think I'll call it though. It does look like jump shot has won the tally. Let's go, jump shotters. Yeah. All right, jump shotters. We see go, you. jump shotters. Maybe I'm just really bad. Maybe no. you. Maybe I just need to learn the ways. Yeah. The ways. I think we need to get you on that hybrid train. I you Get know I both. like that. I did I did need a little, a little bit of both. Seventy-five Damn, to forty-three. Gotta, the first one was like eighty to fifty-three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like this. See, Gabriel says he thinks drop shotting is easier, but jump shotting is better. Mm. That's I, an interesting I, take. I think that's actually a valid take. You think so? I think that's a valid take. Easier. What makes it easier? Though, I wonder. 
I think it's just because when you here? go to a drop, it's just, you're you're still aim locked on. Like it's just yeah. you're, you're at the right. you know, but because you're jump shotting, you're typically also moving horizontally. So you have to kind of track a little bit. We've got a win sanity POV right now in the dance. He's got a snipe out. <laughs> FZ13 oh, yeah, says, I'm 31, you good, homie. <laughs> I'm thir I, got I'm four, I got four years on you, my guy. I'm 32. Yeah, we got somebody out here, 235. And then Lottie is, I think, 23? Uh, no, just turned 18 yesterday. I heard. Like, oh, this is my it's not a snipe at all. Wins. She's got the biggest scope I have ever oh, seen. He's on the, he's on the fence. That is a massive scope. Isn't it? I thought, for honestly, just yeah, out of the, the corner of my eye, I thought it was a sniper. It's not. Wowza. But you're, but you're long oh, range. Oh, nice. wow. oh, shot. Your long range is typically going to have like a decent size scope. Yeah, like a three yeah, to four yeah. times. Yeah. And iron sight has kind of been coming back in okay. uh, from what I've noticed, especially like the, yes. the HRM. Um, I feel like iron sight is like preferred by oh, fast paced right above, kind of here. like mm -hmm. players, right here, especially right. like, you know, you look at multiplayer right in, in comp, FPS, iron sight is the way to go. They never really have a scope. Yeah, right Other than the, uh, the oh, jack, uh, I think it's glassless. It was oh, the new one that was oh, a lot of the other end. Oh, 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 oh shoot. With the, uh, people were using it in uh, using MW3. It. Yeah, it was. Well, I was using it in Warzone, too. It was yeah? Nasty. You like it? I do. I do. The, the weekly rewards have been pretty nutty. I wonder if they're going to go for this loadout. I'm going to flash him. I don't know if you need to. No. Oh, he, oh he's challenging a sniper like that. He's running out of bullets. I mean, it's well Wow, he like has no extra ammo for either gun. Mm -hmm. Whatever this has to be for wind has to be clean. They're both using our AR, AR rounds. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's saved. <laughs> there <you> Easy. Go. <laughs> Reverse caster curse. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. What? <laughs> His granddad's a really good luck. Yeah, there you go. It's like, granddad's just save you. How healthy uh, do plates seem? I don't know how to get up to this guy unless you're Feels one for one. Oh, pretty healthy. Oh, yeah, it's, it feels one. Like <gasps> Jump scare. Oh! That was Later. That was wow. Bad. Some awesome executions. And again, like, it's that's not something that you're gonna look at and be like, oh, mobile doesn't doesn't have my executions. But what it does, like those are things like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. have you coming back. He said jump, so was quiet. And it, well, he just executed and oh, it didn't even show reaction. Like, I know. He looks like <laughs> Dexter Morgan. Like John Wick. Uh, <laughs> that, that's oh. a more appropriate. Uh oh. Here we go. We so shipment. Fried. Okay. One one of my favorite maps, like I said, to like level up. Yeah. It's just so quick. It's so chaos. Fast. It's ca it is chaos. This is though, my especially. least favorite. Really? Oh Why is that? Me too. It, it's the chaos. chaos yeah. And the it's the it's the it's the pure chaos. Oh. It's fun. I laugh through it the uh. whole way, pretty, pretty much. But it is it's probably my least favorite because of the chaos. I but know I know people thrive in the chaos. Too. I'm just not a chaotic player. Yeah. Or like a steady kind that? of strategy bass player rather than chaos. than chaos and just pure skill and just movement it's i wish i was this may be too much of a deep dive i feel like shipment is perfect if you're looking to build on your minimap awareness oh, you know yeah. yeah that's a great point i was actually we're on the same wavelength brother yeah just about to say when i play this map i can turn off sound i don't even need because it's like oh, there's yeah, no yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, shots yeah. everywhere actually, you know it's probably it actually would probably be better. Yeah, because it's just it's based off of line of sight. What yeah. do you see in front of you? You shoot, yeah. and then you know obviously you check and see. You're chasing red dots. You're chasing red dots, yeah. and yeah. you're also trying to predict where spawns are going to be. Yeah. Like if you're really trying to reap these lobbies, yeah. I feel like minimap awareness is so Huge. key on the smaller maps like this for sure. E even mm -hmm. even shoot house, you could throw that in there for sure. Ammo, this is where space will really thrive in my mind. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that is my problem. I just stare at the minimap for a little too long. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> you my still got to see the opponent. Yeah. That, yeah. No, that's the that was nasty. <laughs> yeah, it was nasty. I don't. Can we get a replay of that? It's like 50% slow mo. Because my boy, my guy just jump shot the corner. Slide cancel, drop shot it into like two downs and a kill. And there's your hybrid. <laughs> Oh good my job, goodness. Oof. <gasps> so what was good about that moment? A lot of players I think would have chased the first person he tagged to the right, right. but he knows they're oh, spawning good. to the left. Yes. So like he had that map awareness to be able to just turn left and immediately get into three, four engagements as opposed to just chasing one and getting shot in the I back. mean, he only got the third. <gasps> it was close. Is so three people in the Wow. Well, Yo! Nah. That's a quad, baby. And how Bro. he lived there even for that long <laughs> is crazy to me. And we do have that replay yeah, yeah. coming as well, actually, yeah. for you, Shift. This is on mobile, all right? Oh, we, we caught, I don't know, if, could we roll it back just a little bit before that? I don't know if we have the ability. But, like, he legitimately jump shots the corner, goes into a slide cancel, and then goes drop shot for three kills. And that's on a, it's on a phone! Yeah, that's it's on a freaking phone! phone! dude, with his fingers. 
It's unreal. It's like, the, and the thing is, I keep happen. saying this, like, you could legitimately throw Simp's POV, Abizi's POV of them playing on shipment, and it would look the same. Right. Don't waste your bullets. Unreal how good these kids are. No, nah, this unreal. guy's the truth, the way, and the light. Period. I, I would absolutely love to cover up everything and then get people to guess. Oh, that's a good. Like, that would be. That would, wait. This is content. Yeah, that is content. I know. That's get people really to good. guess and like take different different POVs oh. from different things. What input do you think they are? Yeah. Because you know people do like the show me your ranked clips and yeah. like I'll guess what rank you are. Yes, we should do that. I'm that's, here for this. That is kind of. That would be kind of crazy, and I think people would struggle with that. I think so too. Truly, really, truly struggle. But then there might be there might come a point where you go, that's so good that now I'm second guessing <laughs> <laughs> that it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Purely mobile with no attachment at all because of how good it is. Because I think I'm getting tricked here. I finally got my California driver's license. Uh, <sighs> personal records any, on yeah, shipment? Do you boys have any personal records on shipment? Like uh, elimination wise, I would say, I think uh, 86, something like That's that. That's higher than what I've gotten. Wow, sir. Was that with or without like VTOLs? Oh, that was Wish Streaks. With Wish Streaks? That was Wish Streaks, yeah, 100%. I, I've, never, I've never tried to challenge myself to just shoot i don't know i think mine was probably around 70. 70. like when i was like really playing all the time and that like i said this was like my warm-up routine before ranked i don't i don't like to shoot bots like i know a lot of people like that play the more regular multiplayer mm -hmm. they'll jump into a free-for-all with like veteran bots and just shoot bots for like an hour yeah yeah i have to be shot back against yeah. i had i had to have that have you guys ever seen triple digits and triple I have I have seen triple digits. Yeah. I, I, okay, I, I'm trying to think if I've hit triple. I can't remember. I really cannot remember if I've hit. I, I probably have hit over 100. I cannot remember, though. Not me. I, def, I, 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 know, I know I haven't got It's not Cap. Three. Producer saying, K doesn't even know. Come play with me. <laughs> Load up, Ray. I'm what pretty the? sure it's over. I know I went from 86. Some, now it's over 100. Get, we need production <laughs> with a mic, for reals. Get me in there. I'm ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> 120 to 68. Wow. Well, that's the thing is, there like, I think it also depends on what game mode you play on shipment. Like if you play hardpoint or dom, that, and that, and those games last a, a lot longer. Long time. Hardpoint especially. <laughs> hardpoint is, is crazy. Oh, yeah. no. Win is in the ghoulie. Let's go win. Can you win? Win your ones. Here we Can go. you win the one? It won't be. Hit him with the rock. This is the ultimate just like <laughs> test, isn't it? Afterwards, like the redemption. The you have to win go. this. Oh, we're having a brawl. <laughs> a full... There's nothing better than just running around and watching people just punch each other just all punch day. Punch each other, right? What um, what's your favorite version of the Gulag, boys? Original. Yeah, OG Original. Gulag is my we favorite actually as well. About this in the yeah, game, didn't we? OG, OG Gulag was my favorite. I gotta say, nothing hits quite like the original. I do like the showers mind. I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I do. I I do better in a smaller. You talking about the current one, the showers yeah. and shakers? I do better in a smaller environment. I what I do I do like the like the the new gulags for example, um, you know on, on the traditional side of things where yeah. you, know, you can pick up the money and stuff on the ground and then you can come back in with a ton of money at true, times. Like true. that that's pretty. It's cool. a really nice like idea. Easy, easy. Hippo Noodles asked a highlighted question of Is Warzone Mobile more fun than COD Mobile? My answer is it's free, so why don't you try and let us know. <laughs> As a talent, giving that answer, I'm actually that was dope. I mean, it's 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 no, free game. Why, why not? Give it a go. I, I personally, it's like I I think the ability to both play multiplayer and Warzone on maps that you've either seen before or have right. experienced takes the cake. Takes the cake. Three ninety nine, best price ever. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, best price ever. Why don't we take some other questions from chat too? I would I would love that. Yeah, actually. I'll, br I'll bring mine yeah, up too. We're literally just Chat. watching gameplay with you guys, so please yeah. feel free to put any yeah. questions that you have. We've got it up now, so highlight a message if you want to ask a question. Just, just don't ask our age. <laughs> don't ask anything yeah. crazy. <laughs> Also, uh, I know there's a lot of people in the chat speaking Spanish. My Spanish is very limited, so English would be preferred. We're back into the uh, mosh pit, fellas. Back into multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, turn it over. It's because she's using a headset. Well, with Aerith here. Okay, it's all right. It's slow start. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, it looks like she's using a new weapon, though, in. too. This yeah. is like a default. Looks Ooh. like the Bass B. Did Le no, the go. Ram? Tear, though. I just got double sim text. It and then does double. look right, like the Ram, classic. but it would be the Ram 7. It looks like when she reloads, it looks like a Ram. It does. It definitely looks like a Ram. I can't tell, though. I'm getting cooked already. Wow. I mean, no optic needed. Are you kidding me? Nothing. No. Later. Also, her, <laughs> oh, her oh. practical hold is so steady. Bro, there's nothing, nothing worse, Lottie. 
than looking at someone going to shoot, but you have to reload. And yeah. now there's just that stare up, <laughs> and it's like, oh. It is a it is a uh, heart dropping feeling. Shoot her. Mm -hmm. But remember, you have no idea what I could have just done. That's right. Yeah. But remember, switching to secondary is always faster than reloading. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> just the, the the default pop up while you're loading. Yeah. <laughs> something so like territorial about switching to the secondary and just getting absolutely wiped by yeah. somebody and you're I like, wow, you're just that much better. Good uh, Exit says search and destroy on mobile. Oh, Modern good. Warfare added. What do you think? I'm here for it. I love me a good search and destroy. I well, I think I think I, I can speak for like all three of us. Like wow. search and destroy is always like an classic. incredible game. Like classic. Like classic Call of Duty. If you play Call of Duty, you love search and destroy. Yeah. yeah. It's just like the quintessential game. Now I'll tell you. Now you want to throw stats oh, out there. No. Long time ago, your boy could hit some shots. I don't. I don't. And I I was top one. Producer. Ray, let's relax. Now <laughs> Ray's top 100. Wild top right 100 now. in the world. Top 100 in the world at one point. You were. Yes. Okay, yes. I, wow. I Wait. Now listen. We're going because I know you are no liar. We're. I'm not. I'm not. We're going more than a decade ago. I feel you. Okay, but yeah. like I was there. I was there. Well, now, you're your age. Now, you're now, maybe top five hundred thousand. Okay. <laughs> oh, here you go. Okay, this is. We can answer this one from from Adam. Yes. Will the rewards from Warzone Mobile come into Modern Warfare 3 as well? The answer is the cross progression allows you to earn stuff from mobile and then it will still show up your progress will show up in modern warfare 3 but are will there be like exclusive things that you can only yes. have on wars on mobile i believe the answer to that is also yes the, the answer the answer to that is yes so the way that it works is uh, mobile has its own daily challenges and you get rewards uh, in arsenal coins which arsenal coins which is warzone mobile specific like currency and you can amazing. use that to unlock specific mobile specific uh, you know, themed so items, good. which is great. But, yeah, it's but, super but you great. You can bring that over, which is wonderful, you know, because that cross progression. Yeah, it's brilliant. You have reason to grind in multiple so places. It's it's perfect. <laughs> and you I like that. Rewarded for oh, doing that. Um, and also, if you guys didn't know, tomorrow does start the day zero event. Which yes. Is yes. Pretty good segue. These guys will. soak bullets. Uh, favorite spot to land in Verdansk? from Killer uh, Tomato Attack, which is also a hilariously good username. What was it? Killer, Killer Tomato, Tomato Attack. attack. Shout Favorite out spot to, to land. Killer Tomato Attack. <laughs> Big fan. Um, I was I was a bone, boneyard, scrapyard. Oh, pause real quick. Guy. We have a nuke, a nuke incoming. Apparently. We're getting close to a nuke from Little B. So how many are we currently at? We've got to be at... We're five away or so. So can we get it? He's being aggressive. Oh he's taking a little oh bit God, of damage, God, God. but he's chilling through the smoke like a zombie in the well, night. Well, Not well, gonna well, worry at all. Lock it in. One, two, and three. Oh, and that's what he's not oh, oh, and he goes down. Oh, nice. yeah, dude, you can actually oh. see by his face. But he's 25 yeah. straight. He was like, oh. <sighs> wow. God. Claudia, what was your favorite spot to land in for Dansk? Where's mine? Yeah. My favorite spot to land in, I mean, favorite is a difficult one only because it's like kind of what my squad kind of wanted to do at the time. Whether or not we wanted to go really ham and go to super yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I would actually drop in scrapyard. Actually, scrapyard for me in the houses on the outskirts of scrapyard. Oh, was that's, really yeah. Big, like my that brother park. and I would do duos yeah. and we would literally drop into the scrapyard houses mm -hmm. um, or warehouse oh God, right next to right it. And that kind of used to be like insane. where we would go. Right. Um, but yeah, that, that was like kind of my go-to because I know you said scrapyard. Yeah, I was I was a scrapyard boat or boneyard. We always just called it scrapyard. Same. Um, it and wasn't super. It wasn't super. Um, kind of normal for me I to drop somewhere super hot. I sure. Just wasn't I think I'm gonna kill after the, the other game place game. I really liked was the hangers oh outside God, of uh, right that was where the hangers insane. are on, on the airfield. Mm -hmm. That, that oh, loved playing really there. Popular spot. For you me. always drop hanger three for Dale. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it's funny actually. I feel like I don't know if you guys had this either with the dance, but you'd go through like every week, you would have your go-to nice. for the week. Yes. And then almost the next week you'd kill change after up the game. Like, where you somehow. were going and right. you'd be like, that's your oh. next go-to for the week. Yeah. And it, that, it changed Did between Scrapyard in? for me, Hangers yeah. also was a big one as well. Like, I remember some of my friends were really wanting to drop there. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. I mean, it's pretty open at times. Like it's pretty darn open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you know, it depends on how you sell as a player in that regard. But 
Yeah, yeah. I, I loved how it kind of changed each week. Uh, I, was, I was weird. I was storage for some reason. I don't know why I like storage, but I did. Storage I, is scrappy, man. I, I, well, and that's what I like, you yeah. know, because I'm, I'm kind of like the guy, like, I don't really have the patience, you know. I want to yes. fight, okay? Yeah, that's fair. Which is why I see the gulag a lot, like, to be honest. Point, <laughs> was I? No, I, I was probably a blessing. I was uh, at least one more elimination you were able to get. But uh, military, I like, too. Yeah. Um, uh, for some reason, I just, I don't know, enjoyed going there. It, it, it gave me, I think, just enough engagements for me to feel satisfied. But it always had that downtime as well rotating out those rooms. I was but I was about to say that was yeah. kind of the downside of landing boneyard if the circle pulls all the way to like yeah, farms just slow. or like mines it's just like oh my god I gotta rotate across downtown I gotta cross the stadium you don't know what's there you right feel you. I uh I actually often ended up in the um uh, no, well, uh, storage. I often ended up in storage a Did lot. Did you? Yes, a lot. In terms of just rotations, though, and I remember trying to clear out and get a bit of loot from oh my God. Kind of that like derelict building mm -hmm. near mm -hmm. storage. Mm -hmm. I think it's the one with the pool mm -hmm. potentially as well. Yo, yo, I used to try and clear that out a little bit. And there's always someone camping in there. Yo, little B could Insane. be getting he's close. I'm telling you, I, I'm not even joking. Someone watching, he's on a streak again. If he, oh, he dies. He, he was like getting close to that new territory oh, once again. Help me cap, please. Like I. Help me, man. It's some help. just unreal. Oh, oh yo. Oh. <laughs> Had to reload. Uh oh. Me and Eric won our games. How long has that yeah, been playing? Mind, bro. He's been playing bro, since uh, Asian, mobile bro, uh, uh, came out. Essentially, wanted. yeah, he was one of the. I, I would say he was one of like the first like oh, content buddy. creators that. Oh, wow. I, well, like oh, I would say pro player that found a lot of success in content creation. So he's OG OG. He's uh, he's OG OG. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. he's sickeningly good. So. Yeah. He was one of the kind of I would say one of the most popular North American competitive players oh. when mobile started to come out. Uh, Krivelik says I own Stadium. Owns it? Oh, stadium? He said he owned it. So not bad at all. That's fair. I saw a comment earlier saying, um, why no, does the game look so DNC, good? That's the reason is because. It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why does it look so good? Well, you see, because it does. Just because. Come on, team. It's a good question to have. Great, 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 great I agree. I can defend a spike. Now we can see here. For me, honestly, just, it's the return on people. The, the, literally, the, the wipe out and then just the return to Chal again, oh is, it's so clean. And again, so it's sad. like, I think that's one of those things, like, especially for us not native mobile gamers, you try to finesse it, you try to make movement happen, yeah. and it's like, I, I, it's like you almost throw up on your phone a little bit, but the, the fact that he makes it look so seamless oh is God. unbelievable. Wow. I mean, are you kidding? Oh are you my kidding? Wow. They're lucky that they were stacked. I'm not going to lie, though, as much as he's frying, he's again on the OBJ. They're losing right now. True, but so that's... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> so that that's always the thing is like how much when, when you play this map right how much do you care about the objective versus how much do you care about just getting eliminations yeah because for me i don't you know necessarily care about the obj i care more about i need to get these elips so i can upgrade my weapon yeah so for these maps absolutely i'm allergic to the hard point yeah. when it's shipment Un unless Bro, I hear in, in the in the dev comms or something like that that like a hey, they're talking trash, then I'm coming back and then I'm playing the objective. And, sure. Uh, and, and it doesn't matter oh. if I have double XP or not. Like I'm going full. Speed. I wonder deep. how heavily that was playing play right now. I, can't always uh, I, I would imagine by a, a million. I bet the ratio is insane. Yeah. Yes. And if he was two off, five off a nuke, good caps, good caps, yeah. Good caps, good caps. I mean, come on. He's, he's, we talked about kill records on shipment. This whoa, 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 is going to be triple digits. Uh, could very well be triple digits. No, actually, probably already Might triple digits, truthfully, away, with the numbers man. he's been I, 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 If he's not at it, he's real close. Could you imagine how nasty it'd be, though, to drop 100 for the L? Oh, dude, I know. <laughs> you know... And, and it's and it's always the other team, bro. Once you lose and you drop a hundred, you absolutely you outslay them. Dude, you're terrible, man. You guys got destroyed, <laughs> man. You know, talking trash because they won. Hey, dude. I mean, we've even got streaks coming in now. Yeah. So we need to get back I, in that OBJ, dude. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. I know. I. No, they gotta get B. They've got to get B. I can't find where the game clock is on his screen. Is there a game clock? Um. No. Or they just played 175. I think. No, they're gonna win. No, they're not. They just lost C2. I don't see a game clock though. Right, Me neither. I gotta say though, the enemy, the opposition, they're pretty good at, at getting on them. No, it, it, it's to the point they have to get the, all, all the 
all yeah. the points I didn't neutralized or fully capped. These guys. These oh my. Oh, it's 200. Yeah, it's 200, but it's still like it's oh to that God. point it's where they, they've guys. had two consistently A and B. I'm, I'm through, Beat down! <laughs> okay, so it's still doable. But B is so hard to get. Oh, the 180. Oh, wow. Okay, didn't didn't see that coming. Oh, wait, man. If you would have asked me what would be the number that you have to hit to yeah. win domination, 180 would not have been on my it's list. An interesting number, but not on my bingo card. Here we are. Yeah, I got it. What would you guess? What would you guess? 100, quickly. 108. 108? 108. Oh. Wow, we were yeah, way yeah, off. Yeah. What did he get? 78. Close. <laughs> but 78 and 22? Wow. Bruh. Can't Bruh. Them, little B, not as good as reflections. That, well, you know, it, 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 it <laughs> takes it takes some training to be as good as I, as I once was. You know, it's not, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. not easy. That's fair. <laughs> it's not easy, okay? It is, it is not easy, but I've got to that was like a master class yeah. at how to play mobile, like literally a master class. We've got some uh, highlights for you guys right now from watching our multiplayer mosh pit. And these guys are just cracked out. I'm I mean, telling there's you. Nothing, there's nothing really else to say about oh, it other God. than they are so cracked. Oh. Well, it, it was kind of funny because now I'm remembering back when we had Swag and, uh, and Lucky on the couch, we were kind of asking them, like, hey, what do you think about, you know, the time you've had playing against the players who are on just mobile input? And they were saying, like, you know, controller may be, have a, a link of familiarity, but on mobile, you can snap. Right. Like, you don't really have the ability to snap unless you play a super high sense on controller. Yeah. And we're seeing that here. I mean, I quick FOB one. swaps. Quick snaps up and down. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable how good you can be at a mobile game. Yeah, it's whether, crazy. whether it be Aerith, Space, or Little B. All three like, of them. This was a great, I think, uh, example of what you can be, what, like, you should strive to be when you're playing, right? But more importantly, like, just what limits and what level, I think, you know, even early on, uh, some of these players are going to be at. So, it's pretty inspirational, honestly. That was, like, really, really, a showcase of great talent. It was, indeed, a showcase of great talent. But we have more great talent coming up very shortly, folks. We're going to head to a quick break right now, but when we come back, we may have some fun with vehicles on our screens very shortly. We'll catch you guys right after this. You got one on you. You're all alone, sorry. Nice, you're just better. Gunshots are coming at Northwest. You guys want to rotate? Yeah, we need to. There's no, there's no ammo here. There's. We just cleared there's, everything. There's the most the wanted stuff. out uh, east. And you want to go after him? Yeah, there was an enemy truck that was also driving that way too, but they got out. We got enough to get a loady or no? No, we don't. No. Oh, there's people right Some here. Red shit. dots. There's two. Big building. Moving. Enemy movement. We're getting separated. After that. This is me and Joker. Oh yeah. god. Alright. There's no cars, man. I think they need to tune up the vehicles. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. One of them is dead. And I got one of them. I'm on a bloodthirsty right now. Yo. Yo, when it's gone already. Imagine 20 bomb. Oh. Yeah, at this point, I'm just. Let's try it. Let's get this do it. Truck. Truck, yeah. Oh, there's a new one. There's another one coming. How do I get up here, dude? Oh, that team wipe. Dude. The buildings are so weird. There was an enemy up here, Team Eggs. I saw him on the uh, on the map when I pulled it up. My God, dude, that was so hot. Oh, he's Puppy? on that roof. You see him? No, I don't see him. No, we're not with you. Oh, Hold on. Wait. Oh, what? I couldn't mark Fuck bad. He's up here like 70. I don't think we can climb this hill. No, we can't. <clears throat> I don't think so either. We gotta... Uh, Where's this guy at? He's gotta be down below. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for it. Let's go. He's in front of me. Knocked him. You just saved my butt, dude. Thank you. 
Over here now. I'm the king. Oh, he's on the run. There's another one right there's here. A, yeah, there's another one closer. There's another one. Careful. I don't even know where he's shooting me from. There he is. It's behind you, behind you. Knocked him. Oh crap. He's above? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, Something. No. Another one. Oh god. There's another one. Just I, I would probably dip. Oh never mind, he took this guy off. Alright guys, I'm going to gulag. I'm going to Gulag. Yeah, I think so too. I just UAV. Yeah, we're clear. We got people stopped at once. Oh my gosh. I have to turn off auto mantling chat. That is actually legit getting me killed too much right now. Oh, did you have that on? I turned that off. Auto mantling is like, okay. Oh, looking at us. Looking at us, sniper. Oh my god. Hum, boa, mãe. Eu um cafezinho. Ué, eu queria um amor pra me trazer um cafezinho. <risos> Na moral, eu queria um cafezinho agora. Não. Maria, deixa um talquinho aqui no, na mesa. Eu vou passar talquinho no dedo. Pô, aí, aí é muito Nutella. Aí é muito Não, Nutellinha. Tá aí já deu, aí já passou do limite. Ah, vai cagar tua mina aqui, velho. Meu amigo. Oi, tô ouvindo... Tô ouvindo passo aqui. Tô cara no telhado, meu amigo. Ai. Nossa, ele vai me... Tem um cara literalmente comigo, meu só. Meu te Deus. Ah. Vou te esperar pra evitar ser comprada de novo. Get in the Me Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on up, Pito Bacan. Yo! One and moving, one and moving, keep moving. Welcome back, folks, to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. My name is Lottie. I'm with Shift and Reflections, lads. We just saw multiplayer mosh pit. Yes, we did. Absolutely glorious stuff. Some incredible talent on show. And I've got to say something else on show is this set. This set. All of the belongings on it is beautiful. And of course, we also do have some amazing friends at Lovesack as well. Jump into the hot seat with Lovesack, the most comfortable place to game. We'd also like to thank Sprecher. Grab the limited edition Call of Duty Warzone mobile cans in both OG and 45 Cal, available nationwide soon. Look at those, they are absolutely glorious. And then of course, Backbone. Transform your phone into a gaming console with Backbone One controller and you see those awesome backpacks? 511 is perfect for anyone who wants to stay geared up for any mission, in both in and outside of the game. And honestly, thank you so much to all of our sponsors because it is this set is absolutely glorious. And we couldn't do this without all of, of these belongings, to be honest. I mean, like, I definitely need oh some God. of these. <laughs> uh, I would love a love sack in my house yep. as well. Look. Uh, and the backpacks. I know one of the biggest sticks for love stack is that you can get, like, multiple different types of covers for, like, a couch. Yeah. Love sack, I'll say it right now. You get me a Call of Duty Warzone Mobile couch in that <laughs> camo. <laughs> I'll put it on camera every time I'm on, I swear. And I'll also say for 5.11, by the way, big influence in my military career. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. When I was deployed, uh, you know, buying a whole bunch of 5.11 gear to, to head out and stuff. So 5.11, uh, I was really happy that they were part of this project. Fantastic stuff. Well, I need to crack open a spreadsheet at some point, but we do need to jump back into gameplay, of course, as well, lads. So let's get back into it. Are you, right. are you two, are you two going to be gaming? We might. Ooh. All right. So, are we doing resurgence? Or are we doing verdant? I mean, what are we doing? I'm I'm open to either and or both. Let's let's try a little little resurgence okay. action. Okay. I, you guys I thought little bees POV was impressive. Whoa. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't hello. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't think people understand what's about to happen. It's supposed to be really ugly. Play that much. No, it's not. It's about to I will be great. judging everything that you do. <laughs> Please do. I have my coffee here, and I'm ready to. I'm ready to just tuck in. And I love that about you. I, I'm, re I'm ready. I'm ready. It's gonna be great. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna feel. Good. I've been dying to play all day. Me too. <laughs> well, I've been Literally. playing on breaks, but like when we're up here and I'm separated, it's like damn. Honestly, I yeah. I might at some point if we have time swap with you. You should. No, you should. I you want to play too? Yeah. 
So if you go in on me, though, I'm going to go in on you when you're playing. All right, then. I'm not going to go in on you. I'm going to only give you premium gas, buddy. Yeah, you're hype, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally hype woman, yeah. Hype, okay, hype all right, woman. let's see. Hype woo man. Woo man. If, if you, want, you want to throw a little shade, you can throw a little shade. I would never throw shade. You'll never throw shade? If I go very quiet, you know I could have. Okay, so oh, if you don't have Silence anything nice worse. to say, yeah. say nothing at all. Silence right. is even worse at times. That's the policy, okay? Uh, that is the policy. Anyway, I'm just going to sip my hot tea and, uh, and just watch you guys. But, um, I mean, first time playing today, literally, right? Yeah. And first time playing, yeah. You played this morning? I played this morning on my tablet Thank at the hotel, play. yeah. Okay. Yep. But yeah. the fact is you literally know nada. No, I, I played this morning as well, but this okay. is my first time, like, trying it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, attempt it with the controller. Controller. Yeah, I've got, goes, I've got the setup for both, so we'll see. I, might, I think we should uh, play both. You want to try both? Yeah, okay. try both. Go on controller first, though. Me too. Just got to make sure I don't embarrass trash, myself. And I too really much. have to try to show out, like, off the rip. <laughs> okay? I feel like if I, I would love to try, you know, just, like, thumbs, but... I, I think I'd find it so difficult because it, it almost is a whole different mind mapping system to me. Like it is. That is, the controller is just muscle memory. It's like cool muscle memory. So having to remap like your and um, rewire your brain for me, I think it's just be too much. Uh oh. But you know what? You're one of the smartest people I know. So if there's anybody that can do it. Into the really? yeah. Wow. I okay. gotta go fingers. Really My controller didn't connect. Out. Okay. You really can't. God bless you, sir. I think I'm chilling, honestly. Yeah, I think I just died off the rip, so this might be a little bit rougher than I uh, was expecting. Let me expecting. customize my HUD real quick. Got to get my reload button up a little bit higher. Uh, We're just, you know, making sure that you guys are comfortable, comfy, and so there's no excuses. I like that about you. All right, let's do it. Okay. What could possibly oh, go well, wrong? feeling it. <sighs> you know, it's just funny because, like, you watch, like, the mobile players, and they have, like, seven fingers on screen. Yep. I four feels like a lot right now. I used to be like a two thumb <laughs> monkey. I would just go move, aim, and then shoot. Like, yeah, I, it was yeah. real bad. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. The only thing I've got going through my mind right now is Hannah's moment. My name is my name. My name. <laughs> <laughs> but I need you to like jump up and like beat your chest and stuff. Bro, uh, well, I don't want to scare anybody out there. Where do you want to drop? Yeah, big boy moving. Yeah, that's uh, a good let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Patrick. I'm down. Okay. Oh, God, factory. Mm-hmm. So this is... You going roof? Uh, yeah, I go roof. It's I like that. Back. Oh, I'm oh late. Oh, my gosh. I missed the roof completely. Ask me anything. <laughs> I, I, That's not a door. I, uh, something happened, but we're good. Stay alive for 20 seconds. Give me back. Uh -huh. Oh, I, see, I got flaked from behind. It was a double team. That's why I died. Come on. All right, I got through the door. We're chilling. I just need to find a weapon. It's not encouraging. Hey guys, I got through the door. <laughs> Look, good, calm good down, job. right? <laughs> like, what you doing over there? Oh, I got through the door. That's already a step in the right direction. I'm going roof. I'm going by. I'm getting revenge. Enemy UAV active. I mean, there we go. All right, boys. Little, you know what? Hey, freebies here. Freebie. That's a two. That's a buy one get one free. Don't die. Oh. No! I got cocky. And I'll tell you what I did. All right, little play-by-play -play action. I wanted the finish. I know you did. But I also wanted to let that person, you know, try to stem up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, 100%. Where did this guy go? I had a guy beat down for a second. <laughs> I'm really disappointed him. I'm just no, 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 it's okay. It's all right. We're coming back. It's all right. There's a guy in my roof. Thank, thank goodness for respawn, right? Thank well, that's why, that's why I'm fly canceling out here. I'm actually cracked. All right. Oh, let me get this. Yeah, let me get this tack. Here we go. Okay, that's my old body. I don't I don't know where everybody is. I've only seen one person and they left really quickly. Ooh. Nice. Oh, there's a guy on the roof. That's right, sit down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's my where's my rope button? There See it ya. is. All right, we're going roofing. Here we go. Here we go. Chat said jump shot. Jump shot, baby. Jump shot. Jump shot. Stunning. I'm on the hunt. Yo, factory's hot right now. Yeah. I have seen one person and they ran away from me. Really? Yeah. Where are you at? I'm, I was everybody. gonna I was gonna res you here in a second, but oh my bad. Ah! Shoot. All right, they need to stay up for ten seconds. That's exactly what you need to do. What's Four that? seconds. Shoot. We're back, baby. Whoever oh, we're playing with is slaying out, which is a great thing. It's not me. I need to change my sensitivity a little bit too. It's okay. 
I just blame the fact that my controller is not currently working. That's what I'm going with. Oh, dude, I've got. I'm, I'm about to take out three people. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Want to talk about it or? Like. That's it. You want to? Oh, yeah, do we yeah. need to talk I, about it? I love the A. Oh, why did I pull the map up? No, not like this. Ooh, okay. Oh. Shoot. The only. <sighs> what is it? Production was right. What is it? That's all I want to say. I, I really. I swear to you, I'm good at the game. Ah uh, well. That's what they all say, man. It's a, it's a, it's a. a I can only imagine how much time. chat's ro roasting us right now. I know. Chat, chat's not playing. They're watching. Okay, <laughs> You're sitting there watching. You're watching. You're, watching. You're not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need Night Dog to come and uh, res me real quick before I bleed out. Hello, my dog. <laughs> Just gonna crawl my way over. Okay. All right, one second, we're back. Let's go. I just want to let it be known. I'm playing on with fingers, okay? Okay. It's not good. Let not it be good. known, people. I don't know, you know, Factory's getting a little, little worn yeah? out. Let's... You, went, you went loving Factory, huh? Uh, well, I wasn't. Yeah, I need you to stay alive for 13 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna hover in the air. 10 seconds. Where are you headed to? I, the world is my oyster. I love that about you. Wherever I, wherever it seems like I need to go. <laughs> Thinking about hot dropping on this guy. He's about to. Uh, I'm in. Hold up. Almost. Planning the attack. We're going. I'm gonna drop it on. I was gonna say I'm dropping this loadout, but I don't have a loadout set, so. Here we go. Free kill. Free kill. Free kill. Free kill. This is the easiest kill of my life. Free kill. You can't say that and not get it, but there we go. Beautiful. Ah, this guy's always, got a better gorgeous, weapon. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Live for yo! Ooh. Huh? All right, that's fine. I need no, to get my controller connected. Okay. Eight place in that bag! Place, well, guys. <laughs> well, give me Eight a controller place. in hand. Okay. So what what we doing? We doing another one or a lot of you Let's, hopping in? I'm re it up. Come on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got just, I got a controller on. After that. Don't re yet. Cancel matchmaking. It, no, it, it should work as soon as you get a game. It didn't last time. Okay. We need to run that back, fellas. I tell you what, if, if it doesn't work, let me know. You hop over here, I'll hop over there. And I'll play fingers. Okay, controller connected. We should be good. Okay. So, uh, did it go the way that I, I, I thought it was going to go? No. Was it, a, was it fun, though? Yes. But do you feel like you're adjusting like to it, the feeling? Oh yeah, yeah. no, I mean, yeah. I, I feel it's, like it's, you this were is, as well. going on right now. Hold on, sorry. There's, this, like this, is the, this is the caliber that I always bring in the gameplay, so. Yeah, and on this is, we're gonna now see how we do what it. What the heck? No pressure, Dad. Oh, I should've smoked the buy. It's nice to see that this is how the game should be played. <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed watching you, Did you? you guys do it. Mm -hmm. Get two back. Mm. It's, I'm telling you though, like fingers on phones is it's really hard. Yeah. I feel like you really have to like fine tune your sensitivity, what you're wanting, where you want There's the placement no of the buttons. But like you said, the the, the customization that'll be able it's, to put, like, it, there's there. so like, much yeah, you can do with it. So I also just feel like not only just making sure you are comfortable with what where is what. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it's it's just doing it reps. Yeah. Over and over and over and over again until you feel like fully and utterly like integrated with it because it's different it is different mm. Mm -hmm. i think that place is nearly getting to a win uh that zone is getting really really close high alerts going off non-stop center i'm getting looked at from so many angles right now yo he it really i mean because your center zone at this point like i'm taking a hard cover poi which is exactly what he looks like he's going to be doing heading over to the edge of the map it's so tough to be center zone when it's so compacted as it currently is. So many hit markers. They're both over there, yeah. Oh, he's pushing. I like the play. I respect it. Hide behind the loadies. No, get your loadie. Okay. Got to be ready as soon as he gets up there through the smoke. All right, we're loading in, Taylor. I need you to lock in. Are we? Yeah. I'm locked in. Dude, Here we go. you don't have to tell me I just three did. times. All right. All right, redemption. All right, so chat. Better than eighth place. We eighth know. place. So chat, are we doing better than eighth place? Are we doing? How many eliminations? Call it in chat. How many elims are we getting? Don't say zero. <laughs> did you see what I said? Of course I did. Where are we dropping? Uh, let's go chemical. Down. 
I got a controller now, so I'm not gonna okay. use much of a potato. Oh, it, could a, it could be a little diffy. Could be a <laughs> I'll still be a bit of a potato, but it's like a baked potato. A baked potato. Baked yeah. potatoes. A lot of bit of sour cream, cream to that, and then we'll begin. Okay. All right, let me just double check my sense real quick. I can vibe. Not a lot of. I will say, you don't realize how much you miss having game sound, so you don't have it. Right. I, I have it. I have it too. Well, okay, it makes, <laughs> makes, makes you guys, I guess. So okay, where's someone to shoot at? I want to shoot at somebody. I have two single fire weapons. That's what Here we go. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, we can YY. -Y. Feel, feeling good. You're YYing? Yeah, yeah refreshers, yeah. I can see your movement's already. Yeah. It's already improved. He just had to get a warm up. Yeah. Oh, little Lockman. We're not all swag and lucky charm, okay? No. Yeah, I, just I, walk I, into their first game and just in. completely dominate. Absolutely. Go figure. Yeah. It's like they're pros or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> it's yeah, wild. It's crazy. Oh, what's this? What do I got here? Shotgun, a pass. Ooh. Wait, no, we don't want that. I, I'm actually feeling unbelievably good about our chances right now. All right, sick. I love that for us. Primarily because I haven't seen anybody. And this is. <laughs> this is it's. Oh, well, I got a little Vazzy? What, what what year is it? I got the Vaz out. Do you? Yeah, you found a Vaz. Like, it's it just... Oh! You can't... Oh. Oh, wow. Hold on. We're coming back for round two, Lottie. Okay, oh, boy. Okay. So that's third person right perspective is shift, by the way. I'm shifting my feet. How's he going oh, through? clean. That was just... I mean, this guy it? just got beamed, bro. Okay. I'm shifting my feelings towards this now in a positive way. Okay. Right, what's the game plan here, boys? Kill, get kills. Find people and, and shoot them. Are we sticking together, though? No. We're sticking a little separate right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going rogue. Were you like on the roof? You need each no. Other. I think our, our, our um, teammate was on the roof. Our teammate was on the roof. I think okay. you need each other. I'm going to see if I can catch him real quick. I can't lie. It's like, oh. oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, I just got precision airstrike. Ask me anything. I think I get this off, though. Yeah, we're out of here. We're out of here. Switch my plate. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. It plates all at once. All right, I keep forgetting I got to hold hold Y. Do a little dance here. Snake it up. Nice. You know, just keep it going. Keep it going. You can do it too. Face up. Our producer is a really funny guy, guys. You can't hear him, but these are some potato shots. Don't, don't, don't look, don't All look. Right, listen, I got a bounty out. We got to complete this bounty. Hold on, I got a guy right in front of me. Yep. Don't worry about him. I got him. Wait, where did he go? Oh shoot, I got turned around. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'll pick. I'll pick. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting finished. Oh, he missed. <laughs> He's still missing. He's constantly, constantly missing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm here. I'm oh, here. My, my teammate. Here. My teammate I'm got here. him. Wow. What's your... That's my teammate. Don't worry about it. We're good. He would have been dead. Full friendly fire. Okay, we're back in. We're back in. I got you. <laughs> more, more, more. Is there more? No, no more. That was the most unlikely but great string of events I've ever seen. I, I, you know, I'm really feeling like an org needs to hit me up. I wow, we're well, feeling that confident. Well, well, Post, well, well. in eighth place. Okay, got a person in front. Yeah, I hit him a couple times. Two hundred. Oh, I'm separated. I'm going rogue. Oh no, you're you're way out there, yeah, my guy. Me. If I if, if I drop, don't pick me up. Wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I wish Didn't I need your permission, but yeah, I picked you up like 20 seconds. Got to order. Did you? Yeah. Or did our teammate? No, I picked. I think it was you, right? Was it? Was it? <laughs> I think it was you. I'm not gonna lie though. I am missing my paddles right now. Yeah. yeah. Big time. It's all right. I, I should have brought my uh, cherry blossom controller. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fancy. All right. Where are the Where are the people at? I don't know, but you have. No, I have a ton of money. There's a guy top of the yeah, roof over here. It. Oh, he's coming down to you. Oh, yeah, oh, sure is. Up here. There's three up here. Team, okay, squad wipe. I got one down. Rising up nice. to the occasion. Stunning. Stunning, isn't it? Stunning. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, I'm finish one. Oh, he's jumping. Okay. There's a guy over this way, too. Oh, shots nearby. I don't know. No! Where. That's unfortunate. Reloading. So unfortunate. 
All right, 40 seconds. I don't care if you have to hide in the bush, bro. Stay alive for I don't, 40 I don't seconds. hide. Hiding's for the weak. It's really not. Like, just... You got this. Okay, good shots. Oh, my God. Okay. Just got to work on the, the lock-in here. Yeah. We're, 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 we're rocking. We're rocking. We brought it back. We're breaking it back. How many elims am I at? I'm at two. What are you at? Hold on. Stand by. Four. <laughs> okay, you're nasty. Hold on. I said four. Go for my loadout. I had nothing. Nah, we rock what we. Yeah. No, I'm pushing. Oh. Right behind this guy. He's feeling it. Where's he? Yep, straight into bullets. And. Well, oh gosh, you're cracked, dude. Sniper? Not in a good way. Yeah, a little, little jerk to the left. I'm pu oh, oh, maybe not pushing these guys. Nice. Maybe I yes. should. Maybe I should push these guys. Watch, oh, watch dude. that push Resurgence is done. Hit up, hit up that buy station next to you. Nah. No, bro, give me back in. What do you mean? No, give me back in. Oh, no, he came from the left. Shoot. Well, I'm not going to lie, though. I was hitting some shots, all right? Mm -hmm. you, you we're we're were. getting this Actually, back. The pair of you are beaming a little bit in that. What's, what's Papa's doing? Papa's fritas. He's floating. Yeah. I don't even, I didn't think I had enough to get you back anyway. It's only 4K. Oh, you 100% did. 4K is enough? You had like 11,000, I think. Oh. No. Yeah. You know, it's okay. You live that, and you learn. I doesn't even know how wealthy he is. <laughs> you know. All right, Bob. I always said, doesn't matter if you have one dollar or a million dollars, don't live your life any differently. <laughs> totally, I totally understand that. I respect it. Unless you're a teammate needing to be redeployed. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. That's okay, it. hold on a second. A little, a little shaky. A little shaky. <laughs> you guys thought we were a little bit rough, all right? But he's still getting more kills than us. I had two, so. I had four. You had four? Yeah. Oh, wow, you're nasty. Don't worry. Come on. Tied with Hannah. Tied yeah. with Hannah. Tied with Hannah. Oh, painful. So if we, if this guy gets a win, we get a win. You get 100%. a win. 100%. Yes. Team game. Yeah. Yes, I'm, Chef. Not, I'm, I'm going to say I said four. You did? You said four, what? Four elims? You said four total, though. No, for him. What do I chance? I believed in me more. What you believed in me more? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry? This guy's got so much cash. <laughs> Hold up. I'm kidding. Four is great. He's finessing, I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. He's Ooh, he's he something. Is. Got a stimmy? Okay. He is. One more play though. Yo, wait, nice. it's actually a 1v2. I wanna see 1v1v1. One one one. Oh, he sees him to your left? Bro, oh! your left! You do all that work! Third. Now listen though. Eighth place to third. Eighth to third. Eight that games. Eighth to third. We're gonna play Net a mobile games. royale next. Okay. Mobile Royals or play Mosh Pit? Up to you. Kill race on Mosh Pit? Okay. Right. Okay. Do you want to play Lottie? <sighs> Maybe. We can, do like, we can do like King of the Hill style, whoever gets the most stays. Yeah. King of the Hill, most stays. You want to start? You want to, be up, you want yeah. to start? That a crotch. <laughs> Let me my, slide on over. Are, it's very warm up here. It is very warm. And, and also, my, my packs little... are all over the place. And, you know, I'd rather some... Uh... Hold on, let me give this other pack real quick. We're having fun. All right, we're just, you know, it's all right. It's late night Vidansk, late night war zone. There's, okay. there's so many cod on this hill, by the way, that I just... <laughs> How do I transfer these? It is, it is killing me to see that, and I just want to buy everything. All right. <laughs> all right, uh, hey. Bounty, bro. You want to come up here, Bobby? Ready? <laughs> yeah. Someone find this Bobby guy's stick mic. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to hear about your experience on stream, Bobby. I'm gonna go for this for this bounty here. Do we just want to have a mass all of them elimination race? Uh, right. The front of the store? Well, well, so control wise, different from. I'm gonna go roof. What's the difference for me? For me, I just Hello? I, I wasn't able to slide cancel. Okay. So I was trying to slide cancel, and I had, yeah? I have no paddles. Oh, okay. So yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. We very have much. stick mics. So I played in a hot minute. I'm play. sure we. I'm sure there I mean, are at least one. Yes, come on, friends. I like the shirt, by the way. Thank you. I've never seen you wear this before. Oh, okay. Brand new. I like it. Where's it from? It is Topman. Yeah. Topman? Uh-huh. I've never heard of that brand. Topman? I know Topman. Topman. Oh, Topman. That's like my my Topman's great. How are the games so far? Wait, is that Topman? Topman. Games are great. Yeah, Topman, Topman, yeah. Is it the same? Top shot's great. Oh. We're, we're, lo we're locked in. We're loaded in. Oh, Domination Shoot House. I'm not gonna lie, this actually feels like we're just... Alright, so the way that we're doing this, yeah. whoever gets the most Elim stays. Dang, this is like props of... Oh, you wanna play? Are you sure? 
I don't mind. I'm not a controller yeah, you player. That. It's kind of Are you not? Yeah. yeah. I'm horrendous on controller. Are you? Oh, oh gosh, this I've feels so strange. Oh, this feels odd. Okay. I turned my sensitivity like super high up, so. Ooh, this is sen this is sent this is high sensey right now. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. This is high. I just sensi. jacked it. Uh, oh no, controls. Uh, no, they did. Oh. Yep. Oh. Hold Dude, on. Dab right now is in shambles. I just want to say, three of his teammates are down, lighting up like a Christmas tree. Um, okay. This is tough. I don't know if we have. Oh, still really I, I know we have a uh, stick mic somewhere. Do we have stick mics for Bobby? Are you? Uh, are you in the game? Okay. I am. I'm trying to, fi I'm trying oh, to oh, figure oh, out gotcha. my like sensitivity. Oh, here we go. Are you in game? Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe? Really? Yeah. Or actually, no, we'll you put play, you in you the dark spot. I'll play so you're fine. One. Hold on. I'm just going to do my sensitivity anyway. Hold on one second. Because I'm, I'm out. We'll figure Lottie's out. getting locked. She, yeah, when she's yo, trying to get her sensitivity and all that, it's, it's yeah. pretty crazy. It was it's tough because it's, it's not crazy for controller, but it was crazy for fingers. Uh, oh, I was talking about the controller. Is that oh. normal sense? No, I think it's, it's. I don't think it reads off of like your normal controller sense. Like if you play six six, oh, I don't think that's like the same. It's probably because there's a global multiplier. So like, uh, yeah, that's probably it. Uh, okay, so Lottie's getting locked. I didn't know that applied to controller. Though. Yeah, that's good to know. but we're hanging. We're chilling. Feel really slow. Here, I'm just gonna share my microphone. How was your How was your experience how, how was on the uh, on on the stream side today? <laughs> it was good. We uh, we had some. <laughs> some good games i had like one nice clutch i had like a 1v7 uh in okay. one game so that was nice a and 1v7 then on verdansk i i got yeah i got cooked apparently for carrying jimmy and rg3 to a victory because i was the only person alive but apparently <laughs> i didn't do it soon enough so it was my fault actually it's a jailbreak that brought him back anyway so oh, nice <laughs> Hey, it is what it is, man. Any credit, but <laughs> I, w I was about to arrive at the buy station, to be fair. We got some steak mics up in Thank the building. Thank you uh, so much. Lottie, I'm going to invite you now. Yeah, invite me. Mm. Perfect. We just hijacked the entire she just got it. The entire broadcast. Yeah. The, this is just the, the 1v1 session now? Yeah, or we're, so kill we're, racing? We're, yeah, we're just kill racing, and whoever has the highest stays on. It's not going to go well. Goes so who's the best so, so far? Goes, we don't know. Goes, do you us. want to be up here? Yo, how do you not know? We haven't done it yet. Oh, okay. He's having a great time. Well, you can watch up here. It's up to you. We were summoned here by. Look at look at us. Look at the gang. We listen. This is the gang. It's the gang. And this, this is the, the thing, gang. like, yo, like, legitimately, think about it this way. And this isn't a sales pitch, but how often do you go hang out with your friends? Oh, I know. And like, if you want to play games, mm -hmm. you have to share who swaps into their seat. I know, it's true. Yeah, you could all be on the couch yeah. playing Warzone Mobile. We could queue up together if we want to do. You could right do three v three kill races against each other while you're sitting on the couch. Oh, it's, it's a actually 3v3. Pr pretty awesome. Oh. Legitimate. Pretty awesome. This is yeah. dope. This I'm is cool. Excited. I know. I feel like this is an insight to what's gonna happen in day two. Like mm -hmm. For sure. Like you can you can do like right hand. I can do left hand. <gasps> oh. oh. I call Bobby as a teammate for that segment. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Just tell me when to hit the Almost trigger button. Can we just get like a controller to aim and then a hand to do everything <laughs> else? Uh huh. All the options. Uh -huh. All the options. I can't wait to see Lottie fry. Oh, I'm not going to fry, I promise you right now. It feels a little diffy. Oh, there you go. There's the regular sense. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, 7-7's seven, a little hot. Oh, no. Shit, man. You want to oh, God. Table? Your favorite map. My favorite map. Oh, oh no. What's it? You guys not have any attachments unlocked? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna just go for the play standing. off the default. Okay. I'm, default. I'm gonna get class my, fast B. I'm gonna get myself absolutely fried here. You got the riveter, just run around and yeah. smack sure. everybody in the face. All right, let's do it. What were you running today? Oh! Oh, um, I was running the HRM in the Ram 7. Okay. But then I started using the Ram 9, and it honestly feels way better than the HRM. So yeah. That's kind of my go to now. So you're running double ARs then? No, Ram, no, Ram 7 is the SMG. Yeah, Ram 9, yeah, yeah. Oh, this feels weird. Oh, I'm still super sense right now. And I hit one good snipe. You have one good snipe? That was about it. Do you see Little B's clips from when he was playing earlier? I swear Little B oh is the God. face of Warzone Mobile now. He's gotten more face time than anybody else yeah. in the broadcast. <laughs> well, to be fair, he was RG, absolutely shredding. Uh -huh. RG3 gave him a 10 out of 10. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. Yes, he was the, the top-rated clip of the day with his uh, grenade launcher clip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he nearly dropped a, a, a nuke, which is just... Wait, Lottie, you're crazy. Can we get Lottie's POV on stream? 
Okay. Let her cook. Word. Oh my God. Is she Yo, actually cooking? Lottie is nasty. Yeah. Lottie is no longer a host right now. She yeah, I'm. I'm locked. I'm. I'm absolutely freaking locked right now. Oh, I just got somebody's <laughs> weapon. <gasps> Dude. Yo. Oh my God. And she's, oh. and she's playing her life. Get into the corner off the reload. Uh oh, this shotgun's gonna go crazy. Bang. Oh Jeez. Oh. Hit him with the movement. Uh, like, I can see Taylor sweating right now. Uh -huh. He's about to get destroyed <laughs> by LED. I think Lottie is officially transitioned from talent to talented. True. Uh, <laughs> you are now, congratulations, Lottie. You are no longer talent. Can you believe that? Ghost just said we weren't talented. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay. I'm not even really died yet. I did say that. Are you serious? No, she hasn't died yet, legitimately. Imagine she drops a nuke. That'd be nuts. Yeah. I'm, I'm imagining it. Taylor, I'm watching it. You're not it. bad, my friend. Hey. Sometimes. So is Lottie on a streak right now? Lottie's yeah. fully streaked out. She's streaked out of her eardrums. <laughs> Guys, I'm shaking. Is there like a streak counter that we can see? Mm, nope. Oh well, we're gonna. Got a guess on it. When the nuke's being called. You're only. I mean, she's cooking. Look, oh, she is marrying a world oh, champion, so that's like. True. That's true. <laughs> on stream. On broadcast, Lottie Nuke goes. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. Come on. That would be kind of. Yeah, I'm actually kind of scared to square up against Lottie. I'm like, yeah. Um, when is the broadcast then? Can I milk this a little? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, oh my god. That's my teammate. <laughs> Taylor, where are you at? I have no idea. I think there's a four. No. Four? Lies I don't even like know if there's a way to life. check. Oh, wait, maybe the tablet scoreboard? Surely. Oh, yeah. Woo! It's getting really sweaty. I'm not going to lie. Lottie's wanna, crushing. Want to do some scrims tonight? Spicy. Just defeat Lottie? Yo, nah, I, the scrim server is going to be terrified uh, if they don't. <laughs> Time to quick scope. Yeah, oh. brother, come on. Pop, pop, with pop, the, pop, 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 I'm just thinking that this feels like when, well, we, when I was in like uh -huh. grade school. Oh no, 100 percent. Because I'd like, go over to my friend's house and he, like we would just watch his little brother cook kids on Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, uh -huh. legitimately, this feels. Yeah. This oh no, feels I used so to do this nostalgic. with my cousins. Like literally, I'd watch. I'd watch. I was never allowed to play for it, like until I like earned it, basically. Hit fire! Hello, hello, hello! Oh, oh is it auto? -ADS? Is he still alive? Yeah. <laughs> no, that shotgun just shoots so fast. Yeah, it does. Shotgun. Uh huh. <laughs> That's going to be my go-to tomorrow. How, how many wins did you have today? Production uh, wants to know. Wins? Um, oh, I had the I would say probably at least five. Oh, that's a stun. Who were you playing uh, uh, squaring up with? I, I was with Noah, so. Noah. Taylor, I can't take credit for many of those wins, but <laughs> one or two. What? Taylor Reflections Noble is starting to heat up. Uh-oh. So this is the thing. I'm so locked in right now. He's a second half player. I can tell you're locked. Double, but it, double. But yes. I also feel like I'm getting slammed. Come on, moment, baby. Which is gonna, it's going to hurt when, when I see the scoreboard. Here's the thing, Taylor Reflections Noble. If you just <laughs> if you lean, if you lean a little closer to the iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to bring it, like, right into your face? <laughs> I think you might play it a touch better as well. Well, look, okay. all I know is no, I see the no. esports pros doing that. They're mm -hmm. sniffing pixels, so. Bro, they, they get I mean, you see the mobile pros? They're like, oh, it's unreal. Uh, I mean, you have to be. Hey, hey Joe was here a second ago. Yep, yeah. Joe <laughs> averages two to three inches away from his uh -huh. That's fair. At the most. That's fair. I'm chasing, I'm chasing, I'm chasing. I always find it fun yeah. when we watch, like, Space's POV mm -hmm. because, like, he's got a face cam, but yeah. all you see is the uh -huh. top of his head. No, I like that <laughs> Wynn, like, took the face cam and he put it down. Down, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm probably going to get shot from behind here. But... That's what I need to do with my face cam at home, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Have, like, a like a face cam face cam and then, like, a mobile face cam. Ugh. Kind of big brain. I'm not gonna what? lie, do you know how difficult it is to not swear while I'm gaming? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three to our game is fine. <laughs> oh, come on, reload. This is the longest game of hardpoint. Good lord. It's shipment hardpoint, dude. Uh, that's true. And it goes to 200. And it goes to 200. Yeah, yeah it's a different lobby, different lobby. Like, oh, wait, they're, they're not? Yeah. They're oh, oh my gosh, get average, Still brother. Still confirmed. Wait. What? Wait, this is the longest gonna kill confirmed I've ever uh -huh. seen in my life. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh my god. The progress is moving so slowly that we thought it was hard point. Wow, that's sad. Oh, uh, okay. 
guys are winning by a mile. I just don't know if we're collect. We're just not really collecting. Just not even there. Is just frying. No OBJ necessary. She's lap streaks like three times. Yo, 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 this oh, okay. you, gotta, you gotta wait for the moment of truth at the end. Yeah. No spoilers. We're hyping it up. We're hyping it up. Oh, oh dude, absolutely insane. <laughs> Whoa. Knocked. Wrecked. Wrecked. Oh, I've got no ammo in this, brother. Wow. You pick up the, no, pick up the bone rattle. Where's that? Here? On that body? Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. This oh, what's that scope? I, I don't know. That, I that no is idea. the wildest scope I've ever seen on shipment ever. I, I don't know that. Of all maps. Of all maps. Game goes long. Or really? It might psychotic. Go to, it might go to time. There's no Ooh. way it goes to time. Ooh. Ooh. Three minutes. Ooh. I just can't read that from here. Okay. Yeah, same You're here. Done. I can't read. Okay. <laughs> this is the meta scope. Now we know. Honestly, I need to figure out what this is so I can throw it on my Ram 7. Oh, dude. Oh, it's probably just three whipping. times, Oof. I assume. You think it's only three? Oh, yeah, I think it's yeah, only yeah. three. Okay. You got to keep in mind how small shipment is. Yeah, that's true. You go, anyone spawning? Nope. Oh. She's stun checking for spawns. <laughs> Lottie is correct. Is she actually? Yes. Yeah. No shot. <gasps> there it is. Okay, we'll the see. The truth. 146. <laughs> stop I got you for 55. All right, how much you got me for? 20. <laughs> 37. <laughs> No. I couldn't so see any of your gameplay, checking? to be fair. She just stun check spawn and said, nope, no one's spawning and, there. Now, granted, and she also had 10 minutes to lock in her sense. I just want to point that out. What? Here we go. All right, so I have 50 kills. I have 27. Oh. Wait, what? Well. That had to be backwards. What? <laughs> that is the <laughs> I'm all right eyes that, of the whole yeah. entire day. Really? So. You only had, wait, what? We had what? so much faith in you, man. We so I, much I faith. Money on you Yo, it's foggy time. in here. I Congratulations to Taylor Reflections Noble for dropping 50 <laughs> kills and shit, <laughs> my friend. Dropped 50. Nobody yeah. gives you any credit around here besides I'm me. I'm sorry. Um, what are you sorry about? <laughs> I did, sorry. I'm like, <laughs> I did great. I'm so happy with 27 and 6. I can't believe you only had 27. Oh, I thought it was 27 and 17. That makes more sense. Okay. 27 and 6. 27 yeah, and let's 6. Let's do some math. Uh -huh. 27 and 6? KDAs. KDAs across the board. How many deaths do you have, Taylor? Uh, I had 16. Okay. Well, that's embarrassing. Wow. That's, well, that was fun. That was, that hey, was look. So hey, you know? I'm lie, I, am, I am absolutely just, I'm cracked out of my mind. <laughs> so the only thing that we could do right now is head to a break while we sort ourselves out after that incredible, incredible <laughs> map. We're going to head to a quick break. When we come back, we will have our vehicle rumble where we'll see people tear each other apart in vehicles. What more could you want? We'll see you after this. You can see everything. Uh -huh. Can we get a governor on the smoke machine? Oh my god. It is smokehouse rumble in here. I think the helicopter guy is above us. Wow. You good over there, buddy? Look at that. How, how would she get off that? That was a big one. Uh-huh. Enemy movement. I'm so annoyed I couldn't kill him. I got him on lap five. Woo! There we go. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to get a little bit more time on broadcast because I only work. Thank you. One of them is still flying around. <laughs> Perfect stun, bro. All right, it's a 4v2. If we lose this one, I'm never talking to any of you again. I'm getting looked at, too. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke too soon, bro. Oh, 10, 103, 103. Your mom's coming to my wedding. What? Dude, this sniper is crazy. Nice.
that yeah, in. Yeah, as well. Yeah, but that's a public you need thing. a you need a play box yep. uh how do i throw it there you go my camera froze again why does it keep freezing it's really weird i don't know why it keeps freezing Fish and chips and sausage and gravy. What? Uh, what? What? Fish no, and chips and sausage and gravy. No, none of it sounds. No, you are. You know, you were. You were. What do you mean, no? Chronically British. <laughs> <laughs> Fish and chips, bro. You've never True, had fish, had fish and chips, bro. Uh, no. What, what about mashed sausage and gravy, bro? Excuse me? That <laughs> sounds... What? And who? Oh, I forgot. You guys just live on fast foods. Okay. That's not true. I love that on tacos. Every time I go to America, because everyone orders every no. day. Over here. Because I'm way. Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. So, you know what I'm All saying? Right, so Over you're here. half fast food, then. Yeah. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> go on, Prim, go get him. Go on. We'll let uh, you go Prim, get that one. Prim, do it, do it for bro, the there's two, there's two. Team, team flam. Where's that, Prim? You got it. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, let's go, dude. I'm getting no, better at no, controlling no. the recoil. I'm getting, I'm getting better at the recoil. I'm getting way better at the recoil. What happens when a mouse and you play your place on controller for the first time? <gasps> Hello folks and welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Live. We are going to be checking in with some of our streamers because they are still at it, they're still on the grind, they're still dropping in and they're still picking up some incredible clips as they do so. Shift Reflections, first of all, I'm just about getting over what just happened a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> that shipment because I was locked in locked on that in. and I've got to say, first hand, being able to kind of just do that anyway and for me this is kind of strange right doing this while i'm working right in my job right on a broadcast set <laughs> right. if that doesn't show you can do this anywhere i don't know what will because to me that was the funnest moment i've had in, in such a long time that was that's awesome and especially with all of our friends as well dude and I'm, I'm, i was just saying i said it before the break i said it while we we're on break legitimately i could imagine five six of your friends are over yeah. you're you know watching maybe the cdl match that's yeah. over you want to hang a little bit longer right. yeah. fire up your phones yeah up on some warzone mobile it's just yeah. oh gosh man this is so cool and and, and a testament by the way to uh, and just to say how good controller felt oh, while so also good. Playing oh sure natural i genuinely felt like i would you know was at home at my setup but it, i wasn't right i was here uh, yeah. on a couch chilling with with my good friends so that was that was a fun experience i, I want more of it i do i i, I want to play like now i want to play I know. more i will what i will say about it as well is um something that has just completely convinced me that i'm going to be doing this now is the fact that i was totally fixated on the game yeah. i think that there has been times where i've played certain things on my mobile device and i haven't quite been super fixated on, sure. in on it um not the same way that i have been when i'm playing on my kind of place of choice right um but i was fully locked in yeah like, I, I was like locked the world melts away when i game and it fully melted away which is testament to like how good that felt and how normal that felt to me yeah, yeah. i mean think about it this way like we're highlighting some of the biggest content creators and streamers not just in mobile yeah but also just Ooh. in call of duty generally <laughs> and like they're loading up with their friends calming and wow that guy's legs are kicking <laughs> <laughs> wait what is it can we insert some music over this like, wow. i'm just wondering where they're coming from <laughs> one by one they just <laughs> fell down the ladder like <laughs> but it's just like getting back to the point it's like everyone is immersed as if this were on a pc yeah. on a console yeah. and it's on a tablet or phone 
It's right. just it, it's so funny. cool. It's so funny. It just it, it, it's blowing my mind all day, and it yeah. still it still is to be honest. I'm, I'm super happy. Um, but it's it's yeah, it is. It's kind of crazy when you do think that we're what like this is what we're watching right now, and this is literally done on a tablet or phone. Yeah, and that's just yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah. It really is. Oh, he's in a bit of danger here. Can he get over this wall? I would have jumped over that wall to be honest. But he's gonna chow. Yeah. I reckon he's gonna chow. In the corner. In the corner. So the VR is gonna be chowing maybe. This team is running through this area yeah, they that much. They, they've got a really good support system here. It sounds like it's all four of them, by the way, as well. Yeah, not bad. Oh, oh. Ammo. Yeah. And that's why you need the 50 round clip. <laughs> that's, why you have a brewing, that's why you got a brew. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. You'll never run out. Oh, clearing the rooms. Oh, lovely. Perfect. I mean, this is one of the first areas that I remember seeing and like watching Huskers in particular. Oh, okay. And just watching them finesse uh -huh. through the windows, off the rooftops, back through the doors. I was just like, wow, this game. I mean, it's like stair fights too. Yeah, yeah. Like there's yeah. actually a rhyme and reason around stair fights and like how you actually do them. Stair fights are tough. They are. Stair fights are really tough. Stair fights are really, really tough. Clearing buildings is really yeah, tough. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You know, because like you just, you never know. Well, and, and that's what makes it so hard sometimes like or, or but that's why i respect so many warzone players in general is like they, how they can be so consistently good in the game that there's so many random things that can yeah. you know yeah. with utility and, and claymores and patties you know you've got streaks you never know if somebody's gonna be camped in a corner are you gonna be going up the stairway and run into a claymore bouncing betty along with a shot and cutting you down right something to always consider uh but when you mention like you know like tv and all them my goodness they they just tear it up they just tear it up for sure again they just play a different game than the average player 100 percent, 100 percent. they i would they're like top one percent there's only one percent of players who play the game like they play yeah <laughs> all right bruno let's see what you got bruno is he part of the same squad yeah he is mm -hmm. O do Rudy não tá falando pra baixar. Cara, eu vou tentar depois de novo, Edson. Eu não sei muito bem como é, velho. Eu acho que ele pula pro outro lado. Warzone Mobile is everywhere. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. Yeah, it absolutely is worldwide. That's probably, you know, if you can't understand, you know, what they're saying, language barrier here, that is because we are global, baby. Mm -hmm. And we love that. We love to see that. 100%. I'm gonna pump to see what the numbers are. Like, what regions have really grabbed a hold of this game and said sure. this is now our thing i'm telling you the chat is just all latin america yeah just just lighten it up i'll be curious when we're running like the uh the rebroadcast i'll be curious to see what southeast asia does i think they're gonna yeah. i think they're gonna love this yes big mobile gaming population out there yep huge i, I don't think I, especially like for those who have just been like engrossed in like pc play console play sure. like, i don't think they understand or maybe or they haven't been exposed to how big mobile gaming truly is yeah mobile I, gaming is tremendously huge it's a western culture thing though like that's always been the case like it, it's just whenever you hear mobile games i think in the western world you don't attribute it to too much right you know we always kind of figure that it's more of an eastern sport but I'll tell you, like, we've seen in FPS games, PUBG Mobile, COD, COD Mobile, I mean, across the board, you're starting to see it really creep in. And I think, again, the ability to have Warzone Mobile not just bring back an uh, all-time app, right. but also the cross-progression, cross -progression. I think that's going to completely change the way that, like, the United States and Western Europe look at mobile gaming. Yep. Flat out. I, I really do feel like this is going to be an important title to kind of bridge that gap. And a really one, showcase. absolutely. Like I sincerely it's a jet setter. A hundred percent. I really believe that. Just for the little time that I played it this morning and played it just a second ago, like, you know, with you shift and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Body, like it's, it really feels good. Oh, wow. Find the gap. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gap may be. <laughs> Honestly, that gap, that, that gap was trying to gap, but it just. I'll tell you, no. <laughs> that gap was minded. Yes. <laughs> that gap, I find that gap minded quite heavily, actually. Yeah. <laughs>
Very much so. Oh, pardon me? <laughs> what is See? Big Bertha coming through? Big Bertha is coming through. Well, that, that's what I remember from Verdance, man. Just like you could drive anywhere. Yeah. Just yeah. With, with the biggest vehicles. <laughs> yes. Launch them off the side of a mountain. Oh, like, it didn't matter. Bertha. The Bertha fights are the last circles as well. If so oh, funny. my gosh. Dude. Which I'm actually looking forward to. Yeah. Like, Rumble soon. <laughs> you remember when the CDL yeah, did their... <laughs> Who was it? What'd they do? Was it Scump? It wasn't Scump. It was... I don't because Scump won the solo, the first solo Yola. He won the first solo Yola. Yeah, no, there was one of the CDL weekends. They did a like the CDL players and coaches played uh, Verdansk and like maybe it was, it was, was it Rambo. Oh, it was Rambo. Rambo was he was just like running around in a circle on a big Bertha the entire end of the circle. Doesn't Rambo is like a, a just a master tactician, man. Oh, he is. The way that he thinks. He's the biggest brain ever. Fun fact: Rambo, like when I, when I was trying to play competitive back in the day, Rambo was like the first pro that I ever played against, and, and he he just showed you why he was a first. Oh my! God. And I had such so an good. ego back then that I was like, oh, I'm the best. Now Rambo like showed me he was the best at that time. It was crazy. Truly, truly different. I can't wait for the first global event for this game. 100%. I was, I was going to say that earlier. Like, I can't wait for tournaments for this. Or just anything, anything. that they, yes. <laughs> like, just the direction this can go, how far this can go. Absolutely. Yeah, there is a lot of potential and opportunity Absolutely. for how smooth this is already going day one. Well, the thing about it, too, is, like, there's so much history around Warzone right. and competitive yeah. Call of Duty that you could just hearken to what has been successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without doubt. Yeah. I, I really do think it can it can be not only its own ecosystem but fit well into the Warzone ecosystem as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. Like I can't wait to see the future of this game. And I think the thing too, it you know, I'll get on a soapbox here for a moment because I was just kind of surfing through Twitter a little bit um, while we were kind of on break and setting up for this vehicle rumble. But there's a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, controllers and mobile, like it's not really a thing. Like you guys got to keep in mind that like this is all about accessibility first and foremost. And whatever happens in terms of balancing or what the preferred input is could absolutely change. And I can understand that for the people that are like traditional war zoners. They're like, oh, well, it's just a mobile game. I think you're wrong. And then for those that are on mobile that are saying, well, like controllers are super strong. Again, I think the ability to have seven fingers at your disposal to swap back and forth between things is also kind of a cheat code. So I, I think there's a lot of figuring out to do. I, I would say let's not be so hasty in claiming one thing or the other 12 hours into the game. Definitely. I've got to say, though, for a mobile game, this is uh, this is next level. Absolutely. In terms of the kind of uh, just how big it is, how great it looks, how it plays, I, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised Me too. At actually how how incredibly good this is so we are moving into vehicle rubber or we already moved into vehicle moved into rubber yes, and, and, and so vehicles and explosives that's what it comes down to that's how you get your eliminations right now hawks nest versus jhc and uh this is going to be fun for me because i do remember when warzone like first came out and playing on verdance like <laughs> the Berthas were so big and, and just so mad but also so critical and you could literally play basically an entire game in a Bertha yeah, and, and pick up some, yeah. 10, 15, 20 yep. eliminations because it was just that crazy powerful. It and is. we're going to get to see that once again orchestrated here in Vehicle Rumble. We certainly will. And just to let everybody know as well, you can also do drive-by. So it's not just with the physical vehicle in terms of the damage. Mm -hmm. uh, you are also going to be collecting kills doing drive-bys with your own personal weapon. So from the vehicle itself. So you can actually shoot. Uh, which is going to be really fun to see how they kind of figure that out. Depending on what vehicle you honestly get your hands on yeah. at the time, yeah. right? It's like if you have if you have kind of a, a Jeep that's a little bit more open, you're going to want to shoot. That's right. You know, yeah. so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see some of the tactics coming forward. Uh, I, I'm honestly, I'm kind of here for the the kind of crazy derpy plays that we're going to see with some of the vehicles as well. Well, the thing on top of that, I'm already reliving PTSD from when C4s and RPGs were like super popular at the beginning of Warzone. Oh, when they were they were OP too. Oh, oh my gosh. man! And that was before you could put a trophy system. Correct. Yeah. Well. Correct. So I'd be curious to see if anyone's really uh, tapped into that I old school. I also wonder. I, I'd have to get confirmation from production, but if you can rig vehicles Yo, Alex, with some yeah. C4. And then like, just drive, it, just that, drive into it. Up. Is that something that Super would count if you're rigging smart. a vehicle with C4 and you kill somebody in a vehicle with Super C4 smart. you planted? I don't know. Maybe. Or a, a recon drone too. Yeah, absolutely. 
Okay. I feel like there's a couple of little things that you can do, by the way. Awesome skin. Awesome yeah. skin. And again, I, I love Not the fact that skins are transitioning into the mobile space. Yep. It's just, it, oh it, you God. don't feel like you're missing out on anything. Like, your loadout could still be your loadout. Yeah. You don't have to change how you play. It's just it's a new way to play. Oh, 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 oh my, God. my goodness. Mind Not that birth is blend in anyway, but that one <laughs> definitely blends in. Yeah. <laughs> Very camo. <laughs> that was a gap that needed to be minded because they could not get. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, splat. Here, here we go. go yeah. Oh, splat? No. I think it was. Was it? I think it was, right? <laughs> well, it, it confirmed now, anyways. Absolutely now. It's over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Birth is coming to get you. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh now, watch so the our previous kill side. Did he count? Okay. <laughs> it's totally different to see the third person perspective and see the Old broken armor in the actual <laughs> passage. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. looks so chaotic to me. Here we go. That counts? Nice. Does that count? That counts? Yeah, no, that counts. Yes, that absolutely Wait. counts. As long as you are in the vehicle when getting the kill, it counts. Right. Yeah, that should count. What happened to him? Uh oh, thermites. Stick them. Oh! Oh! Rank them, John. But that technically. You yeah. Roll, that, that one should have killed. Or yeah, should have counted. That should have yeah. counted. You killed half of them, right? That was inside the car. So. Are we allowed? Uh, wait, are you allowed to shoot one? back? Yeah, because I killed. Even if it wouldn't count as a kill, but can you save Probably your life? Probably to maintain oh, your own life. Out of, yeah. Yeah, it just may not count towards their total, but. They won't count towards it's the total. Just but yeah, that down that he got while he was in the passenger yeah. seat. I think you, can, you should still be able to finish off the elimination, yes. even if you're not in the I car. Believe, if not in the car so. Yeah. By the way, we were talking about metas a little bit. We kind of been, you know, talking about metas. Uh, PDSW. I think is like a really good gun to have. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Okay. Because uh, because shipment was like. Dude, I was rocking that PDSW felt good. I think the amount of bullets, especially as you get readjusted to like the aim and everything and get everything locked in, I think the PDSW is going to be a good option. That's what I thought. Good shout. I've been seeing that quite a bit. Which hasn't been meta at all, but it could totally be meta here. Yeah. I mean, we, we talked about this earlier. It's just like the weapons that you kind of slept on or thought were decent, right. whether it be Modern Warfare 3 or right. traditional Warzone, they may be really good in mobile. Different map. The quarter, damn it. So there you go on the side, JHC with one. Yeah, so you got the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So loud. I know it's like Hawk's Nest yet to get one. <laughs> I love that. It's got pistoled. Hawk's Nest screams ago. I'm so sorry. around the corner there. Uh, Tore apart my ears, can't look. Oh, another little rumble in the gulag. Always. 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 Just, you know, just get the aggression out. That's it. Dude, it's pent up. Pent up energy and aggression of. You're mad in an unfortunate circumstance. Yeah, I'm saying you're mad. You just you just died. Yeah. You know. I know you would be. Oh, well, I'd be fuming. Oh. I was on my best behavior when we were playing earlier. You were. You were. You were quite gotta, the gentleman. I've got to say, I also was on my best behavior. Were you? <laughs> you dropped. You dropped one swear. It's fine. Very much. I think I did actually. You did. Did you actually? I missed it. It was so quiet though. No, it, it was like one of those like it was like halfway <laughs> yeah. out, and you're like, uh oh, <laughs> I've already committed, but I'll see if I can reduce the volume. I know. Oh. I think I think trash talk and emotion is very much needed in gaming, though. So it's really part do. of it, isn't it? it it's yeah. like a release. That's culture. You know, love it or hate it, that's Call of Duty history right that's there. It. Dude, yeah. very much so. That's just, that's just no, Call of Duty. Right. Very much so. You're right. You're not showing passion. <laughs> All right, Hawks doing? Nest. I got people here. I just five to one odds he wins this. Yeah, okay. You couldn't even say it before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even <laughs> said it. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> The, the snap grenades multiple times and nice. I've not been able to see anybody with Pride. them before. Military base, okay. Send it. Send it. Got Noah. Ooh. Nasty. There's yeah, so many good. people here. I just killed Noah Boa. Still, Noah Boa. <laughs> I used uh, Snapchat. So if you notice, Snapchat, JHC Snapchat is up over Hawks the, the snap grenades currently. multiple times and I've not been able to see anybody with them wise. before. Oh, he's. Yeah, that's the other part I for, kind of forgot about. This is the first time the mobile gamers are like getting wow. kind of their hands on Snapchat well, grenades and things like that. Oh, he was, yeah, yeah. you know what? I You're forgot right. all about. There's yeah. a whole new inventory that they've never even touched before. I was wondering before. why he was talking. I was like, why is he talking yeah. about that? Yeah, but yeah I guess he's already. never experienced it. This is the game. I don't. I have three, dude. <laughs> Suppression mine. <laughs> Probably never right used that. I don't think I've ever used that. Really? <laughs> never. Hey, I just throw everything out that I pick up. Just throw it out. That's fair. Although it, it does, like, so if you throw out, like, multiple things, it will delete or blow well, up. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what do you think, Striker or Rival 9? Which is a great, great thing. Oh, they got the car now. Time to get All right, serious. here we go. 
It's old school one too. Mm -hmm. I have confusion, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh no. no way. Hit him with the side view mirror. Oh. That really was a little burn on the he's side. Oh, oh what? Someone's on the roof too. He's got to be careful. Excuse. The roof. He's roof. smoking already. Roof, roof, roof. Oh no. There's that roof no guy's doing damage. Oh no. Bail, 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 bail. <laughs> he fell <he laughs> straight back into it. Don't use it as cover. <laughs> I mean, he. I think he <laughs> He managed yeah. it. Yeah, no choice. Here we go. It's like, darn it, two I missed out on there. <laughs> For some reason, that just reminded me of the. Uh, all of the can you do a Morgan Freeman voice as if you're trying to hit me? Oh, I can fun. smell you. Uh, you see that clip? You ever seen that clip? <laughs> I don't know about that one. That was crazy. Have you seen that clip? I no, have. I have. Okay. <laughs> I have seen. I have seen that clip. smell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yo. let's get back in a vehicle. Let's Come get back on. in a vehicle. Come on, let's find To one. be fair, though, Here these switchbacks are not a good spot no. to find vehicles. No, they are not. You no, might not. find an ATV. Derelict. Very, very slow, so it's very hard to drive. Okay, there you go. Last hard to drive, he said, because it's slow. Rob. Oh! Staircase fights. No, you're talking to us, too, Ox. We hear you. Oh, turn up the headset. Wait, right, what? Time to drive around the rest of this game. <laughs> Kill record. Wait, wait, chat, chat. Do you guys understand how big Verdansk is? <laughs> <laughs> Massive. Huge. Cars. Oh. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh. Tank, tank. Straight purple. Ain't better. Ain't better. And I'm talking to myself, not him. All right, Noah. We need something here. All right. Time to drive around the rest of this game. Kill Let's record. Do Let's do it. Kill record. Oh, record. Chat. Okay. You we hear you, huh. Noah. Verdanskis. I don't think they do, man. I just lost a door. Oh, God, I just lost a door. I was about to be mad at that effect in my vehicle. I was like, I just drove by that. I'm staying on the road. That way, if I hit anybody, it's legal. That's how it works. Can't go to jail. I was on the road. Stop at the stop sign. Well, I don't gotta do all that. You weren't wearing red. I didn't have to stop. You, you didn't have a reflector vest on. No. If you think about it, it's kind of your fault that I hit you with my car. Mm-hmm. You just made it too easy, man. Yeah, we could. I, I felt like that went from an, a kill race to a, just like an RP kind of thing. No, for real. Stopping at the stop signs. But I, I do agree. I think a, a cop car added into the game, like a skin, would be great. Oh, absolutely. Could play cops and robbers. Ooh, clean. This should this should count if he can get it down. If he can get it down. Nice. Wait, there's somebody. Is he the one driving? Was he switching seats? Okay, he does have a driver. I was gonna say if that is the case, that Bro, is multitasking was... to the nines. Yes. Cracked so out. Smart. Cracked out. Mobile Miles gamers. Up. Well, it's happened in other BRs, right? Yeah. Been able to do that and drive and then switch and then. You can do that. Oh, yeah. THC with a three. Leading with a three. Difference in strategy. Wow. Huge. Hawks and Noah are trying to just go individual cars. These guys are holding together and just saying, all right, I'll drive you shoot. I think there's also a little bit of a difference between tank and then getting something that's a bit more speedy to, to kind of move around. The handling is probably a little bit uh, better as well. Sniped. You can just shoot, essentially. Absolutely. Oh, here it goes. Easy. You got to get this one. Oh, oh, my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, it doesn't handling. have the turn radius. I am <laughs> just going through it over here. Oh. My car is almost dead. Oh, no. You hate to see it. I got to knock on them, and then I'm just sitting there driving circles around. No, you need to find a quad. I, I don't know what to tell you. Quad, I think. But you're everything. so exposed in the quad, but yeah. it's also like the turn radius, the speed of it, like it's perfect. Oh, wow. Ooh. What a change of perspective. Right? Yeah. JHC. Juke and drive, juke and drive, juke and drive. Oh, that's tough. I didn't even hit the self revive, unfortunately. I'll be honest with you, I ran out of ammo, so. Still, ran out of ammo. five? Is that what they had? Yeah, five, five which, which isn't bad. Yeah, these boys need to get the the memo that you, they gotta get in the same car together. Yeah, this is slow. Oh, is that yeah. 08, 09 again? Doesn't count. Okay, we got one. I killed, I killed someone. This guy. We've got the one now for Hawk's Nest. Yeah. All right, let me get my yeah, he's, car been, he's at one. They're about to be in circle three, though. Okay, we're in the ghoulie. 
got a chance to get back in this and then try and get back into a vehicle here, yes. which actually might be better off if you're in the sky. You can try and Absolutely. see what you've got around you. Right. Oh, you got Come on, come on. You got oh, no! no. Oh, I thought he that. lost so that. Ooh, like, Ooh, but your white fake is like, bro, you barely got out with that. Wowza. Here we go. Wowza. Wowza. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness go gracious. Nice. Goodness gracious. So at this point, you're up five to one. If I'm them, mm. like I'm splitting up. You go, I mean, you go here, uh, I go I here. Yep. And we just try to maximize the vehicles that we can get. There's a run people over. Okay, so the That's building fair. to the left of our airdrop. There's I just don't guy. think they know what the scores are on the other team. Well, so far, the running over part hasn't not gone worked. too well for no. them. What I would probably do is get into something a little bit lighter and then and then have a, you know, a, a good driver, yeah. whoever's the best driver, right. and then shoot. You gotta do it like battleships. Yes. You have to have someone drive and kind of circle around the prey yeah. and let the guy gun in the corner. A confident driver. Actually, if I was JHC, or white fang. This is what I'm oh, doing. Oh, quad, quad. You got a quad, quad. so that, that's step one. But I would be hopping in the vehicle of my opponent. I'm going straight into Hawk's Nest. Vehicle. I think they're in duos, though. They're not in. Oh, are they not? Okay, yeah. I do apologize. So listen, what I was saying doesn't work. All right. <laughs> but I like your head but, sabotage. But I was like, I, I, sabotage. I was just thinking, like, dude, he's driving straight at somebody. But meanwhile, you're aiming straight down at somebody else, and you, you get the elimination before the vehicle can reach. Well, it's kind of like back in the day when we were watching Warzone kill races and helicopter meta was in, and you would, have, and you would, the one team, as soon as the helicopter would drop, the other team would shoot it, so they could, yeah, because you couldn't sabotage while they were in it. That's right. But you could destroy the helicopter when they were out of it. Yep, when they were out of it. Yeah, helis are crazy OP, which we haven't seen too much. Yeah, there's a guy who uh, murdered me. Because you weren't helping. Because you weren't helping. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay, I think the strategy is we both land on cars. I think priority is literally just getting in cars. I was in a car. I was in a car. These guys have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> I'm in the gulag. I'm in, I'm in the gulag. No, I, got a, I got a knock and I drove in a circle. That, was, that answer was, was like the definition of, I don't know, bro, I just work here. Like, I was in a car. It was a whole situation. I told me to get in a car, I was in a car. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm talking about it. I don't know, bro, I just, I just work here. I don't know. All right, he's dropping down again. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Here we go. Rick Grimes and the bunny. Here we go. Here we go. I'm Rick Grimes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Where are they usually at? Well, there's a uh, red dot over here. They're fighting here. This could be the play. This also could end in tears. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're, so, you're so exposed. Uh, you are unbelievably exposed. Okay. Well, oh. Okay, they found a Bertha. Still. They need a loot. <laughs> this guy's yeah, these are two extreme oh! strategies. Wow, but Bertha yeah, can't help him oh, right he's now. So he is right, where, where did I die gutted. <laughs> gutted. <laughs> Big hawk's nest. Oh, look at him no. running in no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to that spot. Oh, wow. He said he's going back. Well, I'll have to back. check in with him in a moment to see if he can do something Are they going, going for the back most wanted? there. I'm going for the loadout. I think most wanted's in a building, or else I'd be going for them for you got sure. Some highlights, Wally? Let me find out. Let me find out. Dude, they're so fast. They make fast people look not fast. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Makes Usain Bolt look slow. Yeah. You find out Kyle has a, a dark side. Have you ever seen the longest or the the longest yard? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I the one it, with Adam Sandler. It's been a long time. A lot of obstacle stuff to just go. Because you totally missed the movie reference. So I just wanted to see if you. Yeah. What the fast one? But you're too fast. But I'm faster. Fast. No, this is like they got, they got this new running back. He's he's real fast. He's uh. so fast. He makes fast people look not fast. <laughs> you know what they need right now? Some UAVs. Yeah, UAVs would be good. Stock. We need some UAVs right now. If you're, get your if you're in get the vehicle cash. of choice, right. let's get some UAVs okay. out. Right, Johnny, let's oh, go. Ram Scott's Longbow? Just... All right, check this out. Longbow yeah, is meta out. right okay. now. Okay. Is it? Longbow is broken. Oh? So you think you're good? Longbow is crazy good right now. Yeah. Um, so we just need opponents. So, because there's a there's an this attachment you can put on it, but it basically converts it and like makes it super oh, powerful. Right there, right there. So there's one right shot, there. you're basically getting the power of a guys. regular sniper. Oh, here we go. One second. That'll That's work. One. That'll work. Can we get a that hey! was a run over, But it was a run over. Well, hey. <laughs> Fabulous. Perfect. They're crushing this. Perfect. Yes, sir.
If you would have told me going into this vehicle rumble that someone was going to have an opportunity for double-digit kills, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, they're at seven. They're crushing this. And, and, and as, as the zone gets smaller and smaller, more of an opportunity. Absolutely. Actually, this zone is great. There's a lot of, a lot open, of open area. Space. Yes, yeah. a lot of transitional points for sure. Oh, oh <laughs> POV. That's a Rick. That's Rick Grimes. That's Rick Grimes. POV as sure. a turret. <laughs> yeah, right? In front of a car. Why so serious, Rick? <laughs> We never found out who was running the Fade Rothos skin earlier. I thought it was a. Uh, uh, who was it? I don't know. I thought it was. Okay, Hawk, going into a. Uh... They're going for the hatchback. Yeah. I don't know. I like this. I like. I, I like this, this a lot of... too. I like what they well, got going on right now. But it's also really damaged. It is very damaged. It's very damaged. Like kind of happens when you run people it over left and right. It does. Yeah. I'm getting shot at in the open. I need to re-drag my thumbstick to get full speed and I think we're at full speed now. Oh, okay, that's interesting actually okay, to note yeah, as well when he's playing with thumbs that he had to re-drag his thumbstick to get back to full okay. speed again. But anyways, so even driving comes with its kind of changes and different. Sure, yeah, because that, that's your gas pedal, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like you're just Grand drifting too three, far up and you have to kind of re readjust um, again. There should be people farting over around here. Sure oh, the old apartment block. But, but not a lot of drivability in that area. No. no that's... But it is like on that little elevated plateau to like you can just circle around it. These guys are calming really well. They are. Which is crazy since they're just driving a vehicle and trying to run people over. But they're calm and calms are calms. Calms are calms. Calms are calms. calms. That's so realistic. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. They're going off roading right now. Uh huh. Take it any off, uh, take it off oh. any sweet ramps. Oh, there's there somebody go. on the side of the building to the right, I believe. And they are barreling towards where he was. Oh, the RPG, RPG is RPG out the window. window. <laughs> no, dude, this is. I have zero faith that this yeah. is going to work out. I'm Just don't shoot it straight ahead. Now. There's one of two things that happen here. And yep. I think everyone watching knows yeah, what the two here. things are before I even yeah, have to say it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I mean, if you could drive by and oh, RPG a buy, that would be perfect. Oh, Whoa, man. That missed no. by a mile, to be fair. Come on. I like the attempt, yeah. though. JHC's got this. Oh. Uh oh He's going to have to get rid of the problem to then re readjust. Oh. Huh. Need to get, uh, can I revive you? No, I think there's another. He didn't kill the other guy. Isn't there another guy looking right at him? I'm oh, just worried that he's not going to have enough health to get this off oh. and get back into the zone. Oh, yeah. no. I mean, his, oh. his teammate's going to go down again, surely. Yeah, White Fang's done. This is... Oh, no. Oh, but is JHC done too? Oh, no! <laughs> they're they're <laughs> done. Oh, that Wait, hold up. No, White Fang is good. Another one right now. White Fang made it through. So, and, and he has enough money to buy back. And there's the second person. You don't run straight into your... Don't... Yeah! Yeah! What? <laughs> Wait, not down them with the gun. Never mind, never mind. What? Oh, he was trying to get the no. finish. And he downed him with the gun, but... <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. You can't make this stuff up. No, you cannot. Does it... <laughs> wow. My goodness me. In case you guys are just joining us, welcome in. Let's take a look at the format right now so you have some type of idea of what is going on and what we're witnessing and why these guys are trying to shoot people in vehicles and also run them over. Here is vehicle rumble for you guys. We're having 45 minutes of gameplay. We are four players, but they're split into duos. We've got the two squads dropping in. All they need to do is get into a vehicle of choice or many and try to run people over or kill them mm -hmm. via a gun in the vehicle. So they have to make sure you are in there. We have JHC, White Fang, uh, YT, Hawk's Nest, and Noah as well. So yeah, it's a it's an interesting one. And actually, so far, I will say JHC, uh, his duo has been absolutely amazing. And also, thank you so much, Five Eleven as well, uh, for putting this together. Uh, but yeah, so far, tactic wise, how are you feeling, Chef? I think it's very clear that JHC and White Fang have the correct strategy. That's correct. That absolutely. is correct. Almost I mean, double digits. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I would would never have thought that yeah. this event was going to see double digits in a single game because I think I was in the same ballpark of like Hawks and Noah's, it's like, we have yeah. to run people over. So get two cars and try to run them over. But the stigma here, and like the little shtick rather, not the stigma, is that you could get in the passenger seat, and you can gun out the window. Well, not RPG. RPG okay. didn't work out the window. Right? Well, yeah, Good yeah. attempt, though. But <laughs> RPG on ground still works, too. Yes. Right, which is something to consider. Throwing a Simtex, though, and then running into it, into your own Simtex, not a good play. We, we learned that from White Thing just a, just a second ago, okay? It was a good idea, but very badly executed, okay? <laughs> But we're learning here, and we still got some more time, 
right, to uh, to kind of see how the meta uh, evolves. I feel like that was just a little bit of a flashy play moment to to kind of just, you know, a little confidence boost and it just didn't pay off. <laughs> uh, in fact, it went, went the opposite way. Uh, it was an <laughs> unconfidence boost, uh, unfortunately, for that. But yeah, really interesting to see kind of the two different tactics in one squad really loving the kind of yeah. more protective type of vehicles over something more open, a little bit more free flowing and actually using the gunplay uh, yeah. to your advantage in that one. So that's kind of interesting. What would you have gone for? I think just off of getting introduced to the topic, I would have just assumed get into a vehicle and just try to run around right. and kill people. Right. And yeah. if you see people that are in a weird spot, then pull out an RPG, pull out a C4. Right. But, you know, I think you kind of heard it at the end there. Hawks and Noah were talking about it. It's just like, wait a second, we need to try to maybe get together here because this is not working out. Because no. this, it's moments like this where, like, yeah, you know, Jay, she's just driving around. White Fang's in the passenger seat, just gunning. Just gunning them down. Yeah. I mean, so, like, so if you get the doubt off the car kill, well, it's great, but. This, though. This was cool. This was the play. Now, that was the slowest <laughs> I think I've ever seen, but it worked. <laughs> but it absolutely worked. It did. It, it, it worked very, very well. I think second time around when they're dropping in, because they have a bit of time left, are you looking for a more, like, open kind of situation to be in like find a vehicle find the op most open space are you going to military are you going to play yeah where it's a little bit more open you might catch some squads off guard i i think so well military is great and the reason why is oh, we were talking right. earlier yeah, about those long rotations out yes. which is kind of like nothing you can absolutely find some people rotating in a big open space actually up, here is perfect in airfield like come yeah. on it's you want to talk about open space it's all around yeah. you yeah and you have the opportunity well oh. hi, it's right you i'm not yep. gonna lie i'm now getting a little <laughs> bit nervous about about the driving. Here we go. Here this we should go. be free. Come on. This should be free. Ooh. Yes. Perfect. One. Stunning. Oh my God. Okay, next flung. one. Oh. Turn radius, turn radius. This is rough. Uh. <laughs> you look got it. <laughs> look at this camera POV. He just swipe, swipe, he got swipe. It. No way. Oh. Oh that guy just had to stay in one spot, one spot and the turn radius would not have caught up to him. <laughs> Wow, I that, I just, that has to be probably my favorite one. I just love that. that. Can we get a replay and a zoom in on Hawk's Nest while he was doing that, just to watch his finger swiping across the <laughs> entire screen? He was going to town. He was, he was absolutely <laughs> going to town uh, there to make sure that that came through. Oh, here we go. One more, one more chance. Can't yeah. Okay. You can't run over. No, this isn't Snake it. IO. You can't. <laughs> All right. Is, he's oh, on his yeah. own right now, isn't he? There's so many people here. What? So it's like damage? Because for sure, dude, this guy on the ATV Honestly, is off the pack. He is running into every wall in front of him. Wait, so if he were to jump out yeah. and use like an AR to blow up the ATV, and would that count here. because it's an explosion kill? I, th I believe it does. As long as, well, if you jumped out. If he, no, if, like, if, 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 he, if Hawks would have gotten Get out of his car. car and oh no way the other guy uh, uh, <laughs> get in my car and brother backs up over him. oh wow uh, this is the slowest reverse i've ever seen in my life right oh no yeah, this has got to be double points main broadcast if you're watching this we're watching wait, hawks wait, wait, wait. I got, I got oh most points. wanted he wants most wanted double points okay double points for most wanted i mean he's making up his own rules at this point I, <laughs> well you know what i don't i don't blame him because he's very far behind in the count ah, okay hold on he's he's climbing He's climbing up in the school. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Hey, this has got to be double points. Main broadcast if you're watching. Oh, wait, is wait, that two? I got, I got two pieces. Let's got two go, piece. no. Wow. wow. Let's go, That's Noah. Okay, redemption happening. The comeback is on. Oh, one more. Oh, yeah, you can't mind that gap. He's going to try to back it out through this watch. No way. Oh, he's oh my up. god. Why are there so many people shooting at me? Leave me alone. Yo, <gasps> what? There's there's no what? way. He's up, bro. I still, I still have armor. Hold up. Teleported. We're going back. Oh, it, it's about to be chucked. <laughs> I don't know how many teams are going after me. A lot of players, though. I feel like the driving has improved, though. From like game one. My vehicle's at 50 and I have no more plates. You guys are zooming. Do you know who's like the most infamous bad driver in my mind? Uh, no, in there's some. In, 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 in game. Who? Huskers. Really? The amount of times I've watched this guy get cars stuck between walls and barriers. Yeah. It's like unreal. Um, yeah, that's what's happening with me. I'm just driving around a, a Bobby. Uh, Bobby Poff. Yes. Yeah. He's the best. Oh, no. He's the best driver. The best driver. Okay. When, when, like, especially on the dance, like, like five when, when it first came out, like, dude, he would run over everyone. Everybody be using their gun, like try hard to be running everybody over with the first. Like it was, it was crazy. He was definitely, like he was well ahead of the meta. Take another lap. 
So I guess we never yeah, got the I double got points from over there. the Four NBA. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't imagine the most wanted guys sitting out in the open. But <laughs> like, no, no, they're they're climbing like, into this deficit down. rapidly. What? Oh, oh, here's dude, the okay. Yeah. Got to be double points. Made broadcast if you're watching. Oh, this is the double wait, points. Wait, wait, wait. I got, I got two piece. I got two piece. Gosh, that's also double points. Glad, got to be double points. He's wanting those double points, though. I want to see his frantic swiping is what I want to see. All right, he's locked in now. He's going for this yeah, most wanted to see if they like can game. spot them out in the open. Which one am I? This is a good area to be in, though. Oh, I mean, yeah, it is. You can drive these these mid-range uh, cars into the hangars, no problem, too. Mm -hmm. So, I honestly, I think grabbing a most wanted contract could be intelligent. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> grabbing it for yourself, having everybody try to challenge yeah. you <laughs> out in the That's open. That's fair. Yeah. You bring them out into the open out to, you. to get the contract, oh, and That's then actually, you absolutely punish them. You're actually brilliant. Die by the plane. Sometimes. You're brilliant until he wanted to oh, I'm hit this kill job. your own teammate that wasn't even that's true. available to kill. <laughs> Shoot, shooting my own teammates? Correct. Oh, when we were in Rebirth? <laughs> yeah, dude. That, that goes hand in hand, dude. Shooting my own teammates? Yeah. I think he's tried to run him over. Oh, I see someone down the oh, he's he's oh, there's another one. I didn't see the, I thought he was trying to <laughs> body him. Like, that guy's already dead. He's uh, gone. Check around here. He is one with the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. There's some pings coming in, so like potential areas. for more kills here. These guys are smooth. Yeah, this is wow, right. the no driving way is insane. Oh, and the brake. Oh, this is not a place for a car. <laughs> yeah, cemetery is not a place no, for a car. No, this is not. not we're getting shot. We're getting shot. Oh, he's stuck on a tree. Oh, wow. Out. 50 50 the rail. Run away. If they're not, not careful, they're about to join him. That's true. That well, is a good were point. we not getting shot at? I got that guy. I oh, got he got most guy. wanted. Most wanted. He actually got him. Oh, is that, that the team? Oh, watch the gas. So I got health oh, oh, okay. Oh, I just realized I'm getting hurt by the zone wall. Yes, in the car. yes Who you knew? are. Who knew? <laughs> wow. I was saying to myself, there's no way he's uh, right. going to predict yeah. that. circle too as well. He must have been out there for a minute. Nobody could have prepared me for that information. He hasn't even gotten a weapon yet. He was I driving around. Guns, no. This is not worth it. I have no, no place. Is this zone out? You don't this car is outside zone? Car. How much? The car is the place. The car is the place. It might be worth. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here it is. This watch Hawk's POV up top. Watch how frantically he starts swiping. <laughs> 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 yoink, 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 uh, yoink. I gotta get there. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Mobile gaming in 2024. Why does it, why does it actually look like he's physically turning away? That's so true. Almost. Wait, are you one of those people like when you're like doing like a racing game or something, like you oh, lean? Oh, when I'm, you a, drive? I'm a huge, I'm a huge <laughs> leaner just in general in any game. Yeah. I, I lean. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm leaning around like a, a corner, or I'm strafing a corner. Yep, uh, I'm an IRL leaner. My favorite is watching uh, the CDL pros when they go like dolphin dive around the corner, like they just like they yeah, jump they, forward, they, like they it's gonna it. help them get there. Hopefully they're not too close to the screen. Yeah, I know, right? Because if they are, they're fried. <laughs> so, check out the score: JC yeah. ten, yeah. double digits, but Hawks Nest catching up quick. Mm -hmm. eight, yeah, they were so they were down. Wait, at wait, one point, like seven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This this game too has been magical. Now mm -hmm. here's the thing, because they're probably not gonna have another drop in. Oh. Uh, he is so lucky. When this circle starts to get smaller, yeah. they need to adapt into JHC team uh, shooting strategy. It's like getting in and, and just shooting. But the but stop and power car thing is stupid to say. I'm feeling it through. Thread the needle. Oh. Wait, what one of these? Oh, oh no way! He's stuck goodness. in there. Just, just what back it up. I was gonna say, just literally back it up. No, where are you going? Huh. And see, at that point in time, if you were in a vehicle where you could have shot, like, you know, literally just the outside, you would, yeah, that, that, would have, that was a oh, yeah. good gun kill. So, but, they, but they've spread out, so Hawks right, Ness is by himself. I mean, it's Bill working so far. Oh, oh, beautiful one. Oh, one. And we get the second. One more, one more, one more. Oh, oh here we go. Carousel again. Oh, I got this guy all day. All day, I got this guy. Oh, what? All day, baby. We hit the plane. All day. All, all day, all night. GP on GD. Oh. 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 There's someone else who's been driving a bird. All day. All day, I got this guy. Yo, he's been chasing oh, bro, this guy no for an eternity. Why oh, sometime? Yeah. All day, baby, all day. So that was the team wipe a little bit earlier. So I think that puts him at nine. If I'm not mistaken, the gap is just one. Ten. Oh, ten. Whoa. Oh, it's 
know that. Even. Actually, we haven't had a kill from. Uh, There's someone else who's been driving a Bertha this entire bit. game. I think they might. I need plates before I put myself in that kind of situation. I think they might be doing the same thing. Are they still in? Are they out? It's a good question. Because we haven't be. seen them for a minute. Okay, I have money, but I have enough to buy plates. I think it's probably smarter than waiting to get a UAV. And just note, by the way, folks, only 12 minutes left in this vehicle. Yeah, this is the last. Okay, so we're still we're still in. We still we need to start seeing some uh, some kills from these guys because the, the, they're the, starting the, the, to get I edged out. Time yeah, is just... 12 minutes left. Yeah. And it's not easy to get these e lifts. It's perfect. And the teammate yes, is down right one. now, so he needs help. Another Big time. Big time. He must be yeah. coming off a gulag, yeah, though. This is a fresh pistol. Yes. Wrong car, my dude. Oh, another oh, one. Another one. Okay, they're having a they're having a field day right I now. think that's the lead. Friend over here. It is. Oh. Yeah, they're shooting at the wrong car. Said I won't finish you. What? <laughs> Boom. Nice. There it is. It's another tie. I Frantically believe. tried to pop the self revive. Right, no That's another tie now. So it's 11 11. I got six. I'm just waiting for these guys to rotate out. Nice. There is some I'm hanging out by like airport. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy just said free. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <Nice. laughs> I need to loot. Oh, he's got a teammate. Oh. <laughs> nice. Why do I feel like it was easy? Oh, oh no, that's just a nice them now, right now with, with vehicles. Maybe they're going to adopt this going forward because... Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I just wanted so to far, get it's the been armor from chill. The wheels he's got no wheels. Wheel. He's got no back oh, wheels. No, you're right. <laughs> That'll stunt a little bit of progress until he finds another vehicle, so he's gonna have to do that quickly. For sure. Activision. Patch cars. Oh, it, it broke my car. It broke my car. Back One more. Zone. One more. He's One got more. Him. Easy. Easy. And down the mountain. Yo, he's got I'm nine got individually. That's crazy. Yeah. Pulling, oh, pulling a decent amount of weight here. Stop shooting me, brother. Night and day from game one to game Absolutely. two. Absolutely. Night and day. Because game, game one, they only have one, right? Yeah, they have yeah, they one. Yeah, have one. Yes, yeah, just one. Just the one. We saw quite a few mishaps yeah. from them in oh, game oh, one, unfortunately. I think they've got a handle on the car now and the way that they want to play it. And it's, uh, and it's almost so. like forcing them out, uh, waiting for them to be on the outskirts yeah, and then yeah. almost cornering them in, in a way. It's worked really nicely. Okay, they were watching you. Thank you. People have got to be rotating here. Yeah, he's waiting for. He's literally broadcast. waiting for a late or early rotate. Yeah, he's it's in a good perfect. spot for it too. I mean, you perfect. got this. He's got the edge oh, of the circle right through airfields. First time we've seen JHC oh, drop to second place. Yes. Am I about to do this? And we're under ten minutes now, guys. Under ten minutes. Two here. Okay, some replays coming in here I'll from Hawk's Nest. Okay, not in the car, but open. that's okay. I'll remember this. Oh, oh. Brother, you have to survive, and as I say that. That was clean with the oh, vanilla RPK, though, over yeah. the top of a heady. Wow. Wait, he got up! Wow. <laughs> no way! He made the year. Oh, that was a double! The, are we going to see a win? win? We so could see a legitimate a win. game comeback yeah. win. Yeah! Yes, we, uh, we legitimately could do. So we win. For sure. Oh, look, they're, they're right, confident yeah, yeah. that they're going to win. They're feeling it. He's uh, by the way, he's had this vehicle this the entire vehicle, game. The entire game. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess he technically could have picked out another one and just changed, have, yeah. changes the aesthetic of it. Yeah. Well, but but he's but he's been yeah. in this area too for yeah, a while because yeah. the same shed bro. that he hopped out to uh, a, a little bit earlier. Yeah, I go to the berth. I'm protecting it. Oh, yeah. So splitting up was the play. Say less. Maybe this guy will zone blast on wow. this one. I, I think so too. More they're they're actually, at like three right now. More. That is Where's a it? decent lead currently. It's just, it's funny. Like, the shoe is literally in the opposite foot. Like, JHC has found two kills this game. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. My, my it's all good. No! Oh, top of the hill. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, the self revive comes in. He is currently shielded by the wall, so we're okay for a second, but that couldn't have been more of a blunder if he tried. It's oh. like it's like those dash cam TikTok videos. It's like you know what's gonna happen, but you can't look away. Verdance dash cam. Bird dash cam. The dash cam. The dash cam. I, I shouldn't be allowed to have a microphone. No. Do you know what? You are very much allowed to have a microphone with that. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he made it up to the top and just shot me, but please protect me. Oh, like, please, I'm back here. <laughs> Save my life. Yeah, yeah, right, maybe. Brother, I'm shook. I mean, Standing a little bit of problem here with high ground. Okay, nice. Sorted. Wait, he's down. Is, is but they need to be careful no, of the mountains. Oh my god. So we lost both cars in that, huh? I'm be honest, though. I'm, I'm so surprised <laughs> with their loadouts. They didn't put an RPG <laughs> really as a secondary. Just yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that would have been my play. Coming, for sure. I suppose the RPG just isn't yeah. quite as controlled. It's not, but it's, but it's still a viable option. option. Yeah. It really is you know, a viable option. Foot. It adds the element of you still being able to find an explosion kill on the format, right? Right. We, we lost the last two. In <laughs> so 14 to 11. JHC's just been... I mean, roles have been totally reversed. Absolutely. <laughs> they are stalled out. Stalled out. But six minutes. I mean, still plenty right, now, of time. Lock in, lock in. Uh, it's just, we're at that I've point, though. Like, right, now, 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 this is strike. final Death moments. Right? Yeah, like, I, you're not going to get another redrop in. So, like, you have to. Oh, well, speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time I said I probably shouldn't have a microphone? <laughs> I, I'll try to get right now. Oh. Oh, no. And I'll try to share my hand cam instead. Okay, okay. so he's actually going to switch it up so that we can see the hand cam. <laughs> yeah, I got nades. Furiously like position, yeah. Position swiping the turn. Wait, I have <laughs> You're positioning this? Like, let me show you guys how difficult this really is. Uh huh. Wait. I thought he was in the shack. No, he's in that building. I just tagged. Wait. Sorry, I think he's so going for a win at this point. Get, get lost. I lost my. I lost my my things. I have no more explosives. We got what? Is it 10, 9 teams this, and 12 uh, players or something left? Tag. Yeah. Is that me? Can you oh, see it up there, top? Yeah, I think I think it says about 10. Shut this guy down. Get him out. I'm waiting for him to do some movement. Oh. Little snapper from Noah. So 13. Scout, scout, scout. Mm. Scout, scout, scout. Can we spawn a little 360? That's got to count. So we are getting very close. We are. To a tie again. Uh, I really want to just go loot, try to find RPGs. That's our last hope for just. Okay. There's a guy relatively like. Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have it. All this got stuff it. is flashy, but it doesn't doesn't get you a point. Wait, I can boom Anybody's this guy. got a drill nade instead oh. of a semtex? Drill yeah. nade and like uh, stim. He's, he's mm -hmm. one hit. I'm gonna see if the mortar hits. He's running in the zone. Don't die to zone. Don't die to zone. Don't die to zone. Wait, he got up. He did. Wait, wait, that would have counted. I think it does count. Yeah, yeah, he stood up. Technical kill. He got up and then drill charged. Wow, so that's perfectly. That's honestly another type of kind of situation you can actually play for. But we figured it out with just five minutes left. When mistakes. That's okay, because that could be the that could be the difference maker. Oh yeah, you stand right over top of him, right? And then you wait for them to self-res. The guy had gets hope, but then you hit him with the drill charge. He stands up. Yeah, 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 oh, double that kill. That is a difference maker, I think, for late game, personally. That's something I never considered. No. Surely that counts. Yes. No. I, I believe it does. This guy doesn't have any yeah, it has use. to. It's a little cheesy, but hey. It is a little cheesy, you're it's, right. It's kind of like when, like, I can't, I teams would do kill races, like your best five scores or whatever. My KD. And you would just, like, let teams, you drop all your money on their bodies, they can go buy all their teammates back, so you could just kill them again. Right. Cheesy, but hey, it's like 18 people here. There's for sure. But it's like yellow card, but not a red card. In, in elimination races, that no, was, down, that was a down. thing for Absolutely. quite some time. Actually, it still is at times. I'm trying to win this game and get back Wait, in a drop. There's legit one oh, okay. They're going to have enough time to win and get back in another drop. It's at four minutes. Do not throw. It is a 2v1, though. It says do not throw. So they, this means a lot to them to win this. I'll just put it in all these bodies and maybe he'll walk okay. on them. Okay. Cluster mine. Explosive. Explosive. over there. Like, that go like should, I, should I start dancing or something? <laughs> yeah, hit an emo, team boss. Oh, he's dropping in. Right here? Wait, where? Here we go, so two big clusters big pool of someone's dropping in. Probably on all those loot. Okay, I'll put the one. clusters. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Here we go, leading him to the okay. cluster. Yep. Walk, walk towards the loot, my guy. Walk towards the loot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know, what do you mean? I'm baiting him towards Bro, this. Yep, yep, yep. How are there no nades here? Oh, there's a sun Don't worry, I got him. Do not fear. I found a sun is he still in here? My teammate says to me, do not fear. Oh, he's, he's, on the, he's on the boom. Fearing. You're fearing? <laughs> yes. RPG tag? Big RPG tag there. Same as no, I'm he's in that out. building. Oh, he's Coming. on the outside. Um, yes, let's go. The Semtex shot. Okay. Semtex got him. Let's go. Oh. Fantastic. Okay. I really, I'm actually really liking these kind of like... Strange little tactics coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, we learned I'm a like, lot. Yeah. I don't know if the drill charge was intentional, but if it was, it might brain. not have been intentional, but I think it was brilliant. 
cheesy, but brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Well, so, so think about it. How did we start this? We started with, okay, run them over, and that's the only play. Yes. Right? And then that turned into, okay, well, drive-bys. That's cool, right? And Lottie, you shot that early on. I mean, that was part of the rule set. Yeah. But then the RPG out the vehicle, not the play. That just simply didn't work. No. I was, no. <laughs> I was, that, I was, that was kind of terrible. But overall, I, I think oh, really? the splitting oh, up, having two oh, vehicles oh, going yeah. on simultaneously, was the play and ended up working out really well on top of what Shiv said, getting blessed by zone, which was probably what the key factor was after all. Yeah, I'd be curious to know like what happened in the second game for JAC, because these highlights are all from map number one from them, and they were cleaning everyone up. Everybody. Everyone, everyone. ran over or shot at while being on the front side of an ATV. Right. In the second game, it just didn't feel like they could get, get any eliminations anyway. I mean, what, they get finished with two, car. three kills? Yep. Oh, that was that was that was a good play. That was the second game. Here's your swipe over. Swipe, 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 swipe for no swiping. Swipe for no swiping. Is it? This is my favorite clip of the day. Honestly, <laughs> favorite clip of the day. And the, it's also the fact that it, it ended with the kill. It yep. is perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Scrap yard getting a lot of attention. I think they just really found their groove, didn't they? In, in the, the second year. kind of playthrough. And it's interesting to see the two teams swap. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's all good. And oh, <laughs> come on. my goodness. Me. What was he thinking? Oh my wow. god, there's your standings, folks. Yep. Hawk's Nest and Noah, 17 kills and, to their name. And that's all from game two, Lon. Yes. That's all from game two. Well, 16 of the 17. 16 <laughs> of the 17 from game two, which is just nutty. Oh, man. Oh. But impressive turnaround. Absolutely. Absolutely. Such an impressive turnaround. Yeah. I, I really did like the strategy that they kind of started to establish going into that one. And I also like that they kind of stuck strong to it. You know, yeah. we were talking about how maybe, I don't know if they're having a little peek at their, at their you know, oppositions or not, yeah. and what they were doing. I'm not sure if that was even a consideration. Sure. Um, but I, they did stick to kind of what they were, they were originally kind of dropping in with. So yeah. it was well, an interesting one. I think, I think the beautiful thing is, though, this showcases you can play Warzone Mobile any way you want to play it. Yeah. You don't just have to shoot. You don't just have to run and gun. You can also drive by, all right? You can play it oh any God, way you want it, and that's the beautiful thing about it. It is the beautiful thing about it. Of course, highlights for all of today. And today has just been a wild roller coaster of emotion, excitement, nostalgia. Uh, just honestly, I, I'm sure some tears for a couple of our streamers as well, as they might not have <laughs> got some of the games that they had wanted to on stream. But that's because it is just so high oh, competitive. Yeah. And of course, so many incredible celebrities that we saw right. take part today, um, and also take part, you know, in the game on our on our couches. Uh, yeah. So yeah. did you? Did actually while we were off on the break, did you catch uh, some of the celebs that we also had while we were away? Yeah, I mean, they got cut. We were talking about this like hannah was put at a little bit of a handicap yep. yeah i had to play on the tablet of input that she's never played before and she ended up getting more kills than rg3 yep jimmy o yang yep uh and choppa yep almost combined yep <laughs> pretty crazy isn't it <laughs> yeah it was it, it was it was very impressive and i've got to say huge fan of little b i am a huge fan now of little b i need to meet him i have to meet him <laughs> at some point in my life can i say look i'm a huge fan um, and everything that I did in shipment when I got my hunt in the game was uh, for you. Was for you, <laughs> little B now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Inspiration. Uh, little B. Well, the great thing is you, you're probably going to see more of little B, right? Especially for snipers yeah. only. And and I am 100% on board with little B to be the one to uh, to dominate the competition there for sure. We had the, this was such a good moment. We had to show it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? It was Beautiful. Perfect oh, driving. Fuck. Right. The Warzone Mobile good. Twitter no. account to uh, clip that one right there. That was not <laughs> when driving as over. perfect of driving, but that's okay because, you know, we make it through. Um, we make it through. But some amazing moments today. Uh, reflections, what have been some of your favorite things that we have, like, talked about or even seen on broadcast? Well, actually, just even going back a couple of seconds ago, you said perfect driving when, yeah. you know, someone gets ran over. Games are different, right? It's perfect driving when you run them over. Uh, you know, honestly, Little B, uh, quick scoping really kind of, like, blew me away. The movement was pretty incredible uh, from that perspective. Yes. Uh, uh, Hannah definitely <laughs> standing up and saying, my name is my name, pounding her chest. Yes. Probably takes the cake as the wildest unhinged moment I've ever had <laughs> while on a broadcast. Uh, but overall, I think seeing the positive Positivity really uh, from the multitude of players today is has been truly uh, incredible. Playing it myself, this game really—I mean, it, you know—it's it's the future, it's the current, it's it's everything, and it has so much to offer. I cannot wait 
to see the future. But Shift, I know you, man. Like, you've seen it all, too. What's been your favorite moments? This is, I think, one of the coolest game launches that I've been a part of. That's saying something, because you've, you've done a lot. It, that includes, yeah. like, the traditional multiplayer and stuff like that for the Call of Duty titles. Mm. It's just the ability to bring nostalgia into things that you currently know. Right. Meld mm. them together in a way to where you can have that legitimately all the time if you want to. Is, is really really yeah. awesome and i think that's going to be a really special experience not for those that have just experienced warzone or multiplayer before but i think especially for those that are in different regions that maybe are getting their first taste of, of warzone completely. it's gonna be cool completely and talking about different experiences tomorrow will be a different experience for you guys we will have day zero for you yes and i am very excited to see what that brings and if you're also curious take a little look at this And there you have it, day zero. That will be coming your way tomorrow. So much to look forward to, so much to play for you guys at home. And of course, globally, it is here right now, ready to play. I hope you guys will be grinding tonight, but I also hope you do equally join us tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. We'll be here, maybe in our pajamas, maybe not, <laughs> but certainly with some coffee in hand because right. I am gonna have to get prepared to what we are going to be witnessing tomorrow all of the action all the gameplay all of the highlights make sure you guys are tuning in we'll see you bright and early for more call of duty warzone mobile oh, the code chat what no way i died to fall damage there's nothing that will stop me from getting number one in the leaderboards no matter how much yapping goes on on twitter <laughs> Come here, come here. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it, boys. Yes. Yeah, I'm attacking the vehicle, kill. I'm going to get the board up down. That's eight. I'm doing pretty good so far. Do it like this. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Lux, come on, I'm frying. I got 11. Stay on my hip. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ooh. And then you got, look at Swag over there. You. Shoot him in the back, Jimmy! Yeah! Always go left! Always go left, Jimmy. I am oh! Oh! For a way to snipe, baby. I'm not even getting cooked, man. That's not a problem. No! I see a way out yonder. Your teammate was sent to the Gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Your teammate is redeploying. Stand by. There's people fighting out here in farm chat. We got farm fighters. Oh, a whole squad below me.
I'm with you, one. Loadies right over here. I might actually grab this. Uh, what was it called? Hemlock? Warlock? Hemlock, probably. <laughs> Warlock? No, I don't think it's it. No. It's oh, that Warlock. Uh... Oh, someone's at the loadie. He's thirsting me. Can't get over the fence. Ben, ben. One landed, one landed, one landed. Nice. He's so he's, he's look, 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 look. Yeah, it's an ISO hemlock. Oh, it is a hemlock. Oh, okay. You got enough cash, you should be able to just... Oh, oh where's it at? Two oh, it's this way. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm to pretend like I don't see those guys. I'm not shoot at them. I don't see them, even though I could have beamed them. I don't see them. Oh, somebody's looking at me. You suck. You actually suck, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a longbow, not a hemlock. Redemption time. You're like the main character, bro. You're on your redemption arc. Let's go. I see him. Copy. He's on the field. On approach. Strike inbound. He's uh 300. Impact. No hit. This is Sparta. I stole that. I'm sorry. What? Oh, I just got cracked. Behind us. Oh, behind it, right here. I'm low, I'm low. I'm gonna heal. I don't even have oh! Nice, I just nice. headshot him. Nice. What's the DDoS? What's the difference between that and. Oh, one more, one more. Crack. Can I grab the armor plates? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I'm dropping some, I'm dropping some. On me. It. What does the DDoS do? It's it, it like looks messes like a up dead their silence. it like messes up their any electronics like their lasers. Oh, and that's dots. right. Oh yeah, it's like the um, EMP. I think right. EMP. Yeah, I was like, what's the thing called when you knock out like electronics? I could be wrong. Maybe it. Oh, it, maybe it knocks out like um, bouncing Bettys and claymores too. Maybe. Enemy dropping into the AO. Is there C fours in the game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have to go to the Arsenal store and, and buy right a whole here. bunch of stuff. Behind you, behind you, Sanity. He's like one shot. Oh! Why do I have nice. double bolt cannons? I wanted to switch to my pistol, but I ended up switching just to a different freaking. You're just him, man. That's why. Yeah, you gotta go to the Arsenal store in the store section and um, buy a whole bunch of stuff from the other Call of Duties. And the Arsenal store is like, uh, you use Arsenal coins that you earn from doing the daily challenges. Okay. Well, here's the really? here's the gun you get yeah. for the That's a tips and oh. tricks you can put in your tips and Dude, tricks video. Dude, that's clean. That's actually pretty clean. Which one? The the skin that you get with the codes that we've been putting in chat all stream. Let me see it. Yeah, dude, that does look clean, guys. With the look at with the charm too? Oh, let me actually see it those. Comes with the charm? It's yeah. actually here. Wait, if I drop it, can you guys see my camo? It doesn't change camos, right? Just like when you pick up another person's yeah. No, it doesn't change. Oh, dude, yeah. the blue no, on that, the blue on that, oh, stop moving. The blue on that face, Max, is actually crazy. No, I'm talking about this gun right here, the longbow. 
I can't, I can't see it for some reason. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You're holding a ghost. No, 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 no. I don't it's see on it. The, it's yeah. on the. Oh! Ground. oh. <laughs> what are you, you yeah, guys I like, dumb? <laughs> like, no, I was looking at the ground. Oh my god! I don't want to talk about it. You kept looking at your arms. Where's the I'm weapon? Like, I dropped it. Is there a weapon? Dude, this oh, yeah, is sick. Is. These both have 50 shots. Yeah. Oh, this weapon inspection's sick. Wait, did you ever inspect these akimbos? Not yet. I'm just not doing it on. Oh, this. you never inspected them? Wait, yo, dude, you gotta inspect these. Oh what? What? Dude, it's like anime. Hey, let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Yeah, yeah. Show them those akimbos. They're crazy. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. We'd like to thank our friends at Lovesack. Jump into the hot seat with Lovesack, the most comfortable place to game. We'd also like to thank Speed. Oh, gosh, no. Hold on. We'd also like to thank Spretcher. Grab the limited edition Call of Duty Warzone Mobile cans in both OG and 45 Cal, available nationwide soon. And Backbone. Transform your phone into a gaming console with the Backbone One controller. And you see those awesome backpacks. 5.11 is perfect for anyone who wants to stay geared up for any mission, both in and outside the game. No, dude. <laughs> Imagine. All of a sudden, the prices bumped up to 150. Oh, what the heck that'd just be, happened to my? That'd be actually pretty insane. All right, where are we at? We're in a zone the whole time. We just been just guys being bros, doing dude stuff. <laughs> like somebody said, it's a proven fact. Android is better than iOS. Okay. I don't know if that's the, this is the chat you want to say that in, buddy. But all right. I'm gonna let you just say that, dude. Go for it. Have you been like seeing comments that are just like people can't like accept that the game yeah. will have better graphics in the future? Like, it's I've been, like it's I've seen people. Yeah, it's just I want people like, that, I, There's people that clearly didn't play more than one match and didn't let the streaming stuff download too. Well, yeah, that's clear. People didn't know that. I mean, which to be fair, like no other game has that. That you have to play like four games in order to maximize the graphics, but I don't know. If if we don't push mobile gaming forward and have stronger, crazier games like this that are more advanced, we're just gonna have decades oh of mobile oh games. Gosh. Oh my gosh! 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 What? You good? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm no, I'm I'm crossing. I'm crossing. There's a guy back here in this little. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Didn't mean to cut you, you off. Sorry. We just we I was just gonna say we just can't have games that look like rules of survival forever. Like we need better games, bro. And that's free fire. From, yeah. I don't I don't wanna be playing games that look like free fire in twenty thirty five. We have to push the industry forward. And that's what this game is. Tampoco la tengo Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Loco, tenemos el, el, chop, el drop cerca. Vamos por el, ok. ¿Ya bajaste ese compa? Buena. Bajé uno, pero ahí queda otro. Sí, vamos por el drop porque la neta, estas son más no les Voy. entiendo. Ah, el otro estaba en esta casa, estaba en esta casa del otro. 120 metros. Ok. Vamos por el lado, mejor. Sí, por, por eso te digo. A eso me refería. Hola, Fernando, ¿cómo estás? Hay que practicar la sniper, racilla, porque si falta ahí machine. Faltan dos códigos. Ahorita les va a pasar código de personaje y de arma. No sé qué es el que sigue, pero ya. Ahorita se los mando, ahorita se los mando, muchachos. Tranquilos, tengan paciencia. Usa el ninja. Ay, perro. Niñas, ¿agarraremos algún trabajo por aquí para hacer misiones o algo? Sí, pues está bien. Pero se los mando a una tienda, ¿no? Me parece. Tenemos de acuerdo. Aquí nos ¿Cómo se llamaba el que nos gustaba el bounty, no? Para buscar enemigos. Sí. Ese no hay, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? ¿O es el que está a la izquierda? Sí, sí tiene, que, tiene que haber, tiene que haber. Ah, po, va, vamos por ese, vamos por el bounty. Estás en la página oficial de Warzone, te estoy viendo en Twitch. ¡Eh, ¡Hey, loco! Que... Vamos. ¡Greñas! Estamos en la página oficial, loco, tenemos que ser insanos. ¡Ja! <risa> ¿Y arroña y eso? ¿Para que vean, loco? ¿O es que somos famosos tú y yo, Greña, la, la neta, loco? 
¿Quién hace misiones en Warzone? No se trata de eso, pero a mí me gusta, loco. Mira, checa, ahorita estamos tranquilones. No, se trata de eso para sacar dinero y comprar la caja, ¿cómo que no? Eh, exacto, Greñita va a sacar el bounty. Eh, Greña, agarra el bounty, loco. Acá abajo, está ahí abajo, está ahí abajo. La meta bueno. es ¡Ingato, rey! Aquí está en corto la... Es el mismo que habíamos marcado. Ahí sigue adentro campeando, entonces yo creo. ¿Ya lo viste? Sí. Lo dejé. Oye, rápido, ¿eh? Lo dejé tocadillo, pero. Creo pero que le rompí bien, el chaleco. Eh. ¡Cerra la puerta! ¿Lo he visto? Loco, está como. Eh, eh, hay algo, una pared ahí glitcheada, una pared glitcheada. O sea, no, no le podía dar ni él tampoco a mí. Se movió, no sé cuándo aquí está. Oh, muerto. Buena grilla. Ah, pues sí, sí, sí estaba tryhard porque mira trae armas pintadas y todo, personalizadas bien. Loco, le estaba disparando yo a él y él a mí y no nos podíamos hacer nada. Como que aquí hay un, un bugcito, aquí, aquí no, no traspasan las balas. Una pared, ¿no? Ah, sí, aquí se ve cómo están rebotando. Sí. Qué loco, ¿eh? Ahí deberían de arreglar eso, yo creo, no sé. <risa> Qué curioso. Ah, pues son cosas que pueden pasar. Sí, no, claro, 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 obvio. A ver, la realidad es que todos los juegos siempre, toda la vida van a tener bugs, ¿sabes? No es como que... Simón. Oigan, en serio, siguen saliendo cinco anuncios a la vez. Una disculpa, ya los había quitado, se los juro. Eh, aquí hay un contrato, ¿cuál es? No, no alcanzas a ver. Enemigo entrando en el área. ¿En el eh. ¡Oh, lo ves! Que traía bazooka, mi compa, bien asqueroso. Menos mal que lo mataste antes de, <ríe> antes de eso. Que cayó sin monos. No, ese vato era capaz de matarnos a mí y a él al mismo tiempo en el día. Los dos con esa onda. Ah, es Bounty, es Bounty, griñas. Sobre, sobre, hay que buscarlo. Ah, dale, sobre. Creo que estaba en el tercer piso. Lo escucho cerca. No, la que está hasta abajo, yo creo que no. Creo que sí está hasta abajo, eh. A ver, búscalo. Te escucho una caja, no sé dónde. Abajo, creo que sí. Es verdad, no está hasta abajo. Está en este piso que estoy. Agárralo, 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 agárralo. La meta es eliminar al objetivo de... ¡Hola, oh, madre! Sí, ahora sí está bien lejos, pero pues... Está en estadio, vamos a estadio, ¿qué? Por él. Simón, Simón, Simón. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Hola, Alex, bienvenido. Gracias, Jenny, por los GG. Gracias, Robin, por las rositas. Hay que comprar UAV griñando en la tiendita. Ahorita tenemos un chorro de lana. UAV, Self Revive, ¿qué más? ¿Cómo? UAV, Self Revive y ¿qué más? Pues yo tengo cel. <risa> eh, no, pero eh, yo. Una cajita de munición, yo creo, ¿no? Bueno, sí tengo bien de municiones. Está eso. Aquí está peleando, está peleando, está peleando. Está peleando. Este es el, el bounty. Me equivoqué de arma. No puedo subir. Aquí están a la derecha, cuidado. Voy a bajar por aquí. Bro, se bugueó esto. Ah, es que lo puse en mi auto, lo tengo que poner en automático. Voy sin querer. ¿Te bajaste uno? Este no era el bounty, loco, what? Es este, yo creo. Buena, 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 buena. La recompensa cayó. Bien hecho. Oye, la, la cadera funciona muy bien, ¿eh? Pero eso, ¿verdad que no está así en el, en el de PC, Greñas? ¿O sí? ¿Cuál? La cadera no funciona muy bien en el de PC, ¿no? No, no tanto. Bueno, los primeros disparos sí es recomendable tirarle con, de cadera. No, pero sí, aquí sí funciona mucho mejor. Mira la dispersión, loco. Pues a lo mejor sí está mejorcita. Sí, es que pues aquí se usa mucho la cadera en los... En los, en los... Eh. Y sí, no tengo balas. ¿De? No, no, sí tengo, pero tenía que recargar, pues. No, 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 no me agacho, no me agacho, no me agacho. ¡Ah, loco! ¡Dios mío! Sí, que un montón no se agachaba. No, loco, hay uno a la derecha, ¿eh? Está derribado el del fondo. ¿Ah, tengo self revive? Okay. No, y me lleva otro por la espalda. Entonces trata de irte si quieres. Ya no tengo. ¡Ah, pues la tienda, loco, para que me revives! ¡No, hombre, loco! ¿Te mataron? No, 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 todo bien. Está cargando el despertador. Buena, buena. Cúrate, cúrate cuando puedas. ¡Ay, perro! 
Legends de Sniper, ¿con cuál está jugando? Aquí se acá. Ahí está la tiendich, la tiendich. <risa> un montón de dinero. <risa> todavía no, todavía no, me no, confundo no. un poco con el... No, no, cerré la tienda. Ah, tá atrás de você. Tento compartilhar, eu vou tentar depois de novo, FB. Acho que o código aleatório, acho que não, acho que só espelhou errado, mano. O programa tá usando pra espelhar o PC, tu não tô usando o programa, Gabriel. É um, é um, um cabo com saída HDMI, ele joga o celular pro HDMI mesmo, direto, tá ligado? Desgraça de código que não pega, gente, tenta, mas se não der, é porque ele é limitado. O cara diz, né, liga. Tá no fundo, Hayashi. Na tua frente agora. Peguei, peguei. É, amanhã vai ter mais código, gente. Das mesmas recompensas, ah, só que vai sniper. ter mais, né? Porque esse código ele é limitado. Se muita gente usar, ele acaba, basicamente. Boa. Amanhã a gente tá, tá em live aí pela, pelas 24, 24, pelas 22 horas de novo, 21, 22. A gente vai ter mais código. A polícia tá fazendo revés com o Fig do Ops. 25 lives, Luiz. Pode, mano. O cara falando que o jogo é no Befriend porque tava conectado com o controle no mouse. Eu tô vendo. Ah, o problema é juntar todo mundo, né, Jacob? Porque o mobile não tem chance com o controle. Mas tirando isso, aí tá show. Esse blindar tá chato, hein? Os quatro códigos até agora, como que resgata, Capra? É no calladuri.com barra redeem. Sem armor já. Isso aqui, ó. É, eu sei. É porque o YouTube não transforma em link. Depois vai um vídeo mostrando, eu vou fazer, Batata. Sim, eu percebi. Sei que agora é o gulagão. E tem vante não, né? Não. É smoke isso, cara? Eu peguei nem classe, cara. Tá voltando. Deixa eu ver o que eu vou mandar. Caramba, o cara dando 7 jump shot. Voltando, tô voltando. Fudiu o cara. Um tiro. Boa. Dropei. Olha, o sniper mais lento que o Tem gente por aí? Eu posso dropar atrás deles. Tem gente. Bom, de onde? Dá uma marcadinha alguém aí. Deixa eu ter ouvido alguém aqui. Ai, não morri. Ai, eu sabia que ia pegar em mim essa merda, velho. Tamo aqui. Pô, oh, dá pra comprar aí a, a caixa japonês. A gente precisa. Vou comprar, vou comprar. Ah, que mentira. Tá cá. Dois caras aqui embaixo. Fazia muito tempo, Jacob, mas esse horário é muito ruim pra mim de fazer live, velho. E acaba com meu, meus horários de sono e tudo mais. Aqui, ah, mentira. Ih, a caixa. Engraçado. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Nossa, guys. Não, não, morri pra ele, não. Nossa. É que eu tava sem placa. Ai, 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 tomei uma snipada de novo. Ai. Que isso? Eu não faço ideia, mas tem alguém na direção de lá com uma sniper. Ah, tá em cima do teto. Nossa, isso eu não tenho saudade. Que nojo. Tá tudo no telhadão, velho. Pega esse caminhão aí que eu larguei, então. Vamos sair daqui de caminhão. Vou pegar a caixa aqui. Ih, o cara tudo ali pegar. mocosado, Ai, tiro, velho. Não, eles estão mocosados lá em cima, velho. Nem adianta tentar. Vou pegar o caminhão aqui. Vai por baixo aqui, vai por baixo. Eu tô indo dando peguei, peixinho peguei, aqui, peguei. torcendo pra eles não acertarem, tio. Tá com o gráfico no ultra? Não, tá no alto. O Alguém pico... quer entrar no caminhão? É difícil, eu, vou, eu, vou, eu vou, eu vou, eu vou. Ah, não vai. Pode ir, pode ir, pode ir. Eu tô longe. O Zé vai. Tô sem placa, tô sem nada. Eu tô aqui do lado do seu lado, Raya, se quiser vir. Ah, mas eles estão me fuzilando aqui. aqui, eu tô sem eu placa. placa aqui. Tá. Vou tentar dar um tiro neles pra atrair, ó. Tô dando na placa. Pega aí, ó. Não, o cara não desiste, ele quer atirar em vocês, hein. Opa, valeu, valeu, valeu. O cara não desistiu, não, ele quis continuar atirando. Tem a loja, tem umas coisas bem óbvias assim que eles têm que fazer. A loja tem que distribuir mais, tem que ter como estocar a placa, porque sim, que é muito fácil. Eu pouco. não sou bom manobrando caminhões. Essa Pode mobile que não se cude, o Warzone Mobile ser melhor, eu tenho certeza. Ah, é que é difícil é, por causa da otimização, né, mano? Nossa, ele quase. Mano. Galera do YouTube, a live tá tranquila? Travou alguma Tem vez? A qualidade tá boa? Porque eu ainda tô num período de testes aqui com a live do YouTube. Parece ter dado certo. Microsoft. Tem mais um, viu? Tem mais um aqui na esquerda. Rápido, tá na live do canal do Call of Duty? Uh, de novo. É. Brabos, tamo junto, baixa aqui, ó. Vamos ter que correr aqui por causa da safe, né? Eu tô aqui, eu tô aqui. Alguém tem placa pra dropar pro Japo? Eu só usei aquelas lá e acabou. Agora acho que eu, eu vou ter... Alvia Nishonen. Tá suave demais, live tá de boa, tranquilo. Valeu, gente. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Tá rodando 120, 120 no, no celularzinho. Mas no, no monitor da 60. E com muito impulso. Caraca, top Deus. lugares que eu não tenho saudade dessa cidade aqui. Nossa, downtown aqui é... Hum, Nossa, esse prédio Nossa. aqui também, ó. Vamos parar ali na lojinha? Tá, eu só dá uma um Depois eles botaram um. Comprar uma caixa de placa aqui urgente. 
E tem um caminhão vindo aí. Aqui. Não sirvo pra tá isso, vindo, tá vindo. Junto. Tem um cara em cima do, do caminhão, inclusive. Derrubei o dentro. Ó, okay, quem tá precisando de não placa. Não, não, não. Ai, pulou um aqui, mano. Vem aqui, ó. Tá aqui, tá aqui, tá aqui, ó. Sem colete, Quase matei. Eu tenho a caixa de placa ali, Rayash. Você que tá precisando. Cadê esse cara? Tô indo. Eu acho que eu matei alguém nesse. Nossa, nessa eu também não tenho placa, acabei de ver. É, eu Explodiu comprei. Um Dá pra ali? comprar um EV aí Explodiu pra nós. Nossa. Que o deles aqui? Sei lá, o cara Explodiu bateu também. Explodiu também. Explodiu também? também. É, ele bateu é, então, Batata, eu não, eu não sei Nossa, também, eu sei que no iPhone você consegue alterar, logo, remapear os mapas, os mapas, remapear os é. botões, tá ligado? É nóis, Igor, obrigado, velho. Uh, mas, tipo, eu não, o, no, no Android eu não sei como consegue configurar pra você, tipo, colocar... Eu fui mirado na direção Pra você colocar o... agachar no analógico, o, dar facada no bolinho e tal. Vai jogar Rebirth? Já já a gente vai jogar um. Tô chegando aí, tô chegando. Muito morto um, velho. Joguei, joguei granada nele. Com um tetão, hum. né? É. Pro teto, vou pegar a escada ali. Fragmentação lançada! Pega a escada. Dei plate, dei plate. Deixei. Pulou. Esse. Era um dois, era um dois. Não dá. Vou pegar o outro aqui, tá aqui em cima. Esse é o Julião. Tentaram sniper a gente, hein? Nossa, eu lembro desse lugar, mano. <risos> Caralho, Aí eu tô a cada 5 minutos tem um. Eu tô tendo, eu tô tendo flashback. Uma epifania. Aqui, flashback. Cara. Como é que eu não vim aqui ainda? E eu tô tipo, caralho. Portozinho. Portozinho, eu gostava. É muito Mas nostalgia, tá velho. Vamos jogar Rebirth? Ah, já tinha lido. Rebirth tá rodando, tá rodando, velho. Os dois tem na S e no Android. Ai, Sim, pra baixar é só ir no QR Code aqui, eu gente. Só corri porque eu tô só bebendo água. Só ler com, com o celular que vai direto pro jogo, mano. Eu tava bebendo água aqui. Microfone ativado. Assim, acho que ele tá em algum... Caraca, mano. Eu tô cega assim mesmo? Essa daqui é a HRM9. Tá ele. Dá ele. Consegue ir na loja aí pra comprar um EV? Dá pra ir ali na B, que é ali, ó. Vai lá. Tem gente lá pra comprar. esse lado. Vou comprar tô sem um grana. Ali. Aqui é o mapa do COD 4, saudades. <risos> Ai, não acredito que esse joguinho tá gostoso. Tem um cara ali mesmo, ó, onde eu marquei no rosa. Tá em cima do guindaste ali. Zelvante! O foda é que vai ter muita gente em cima dos lugares. Ah, com certeza. Ainda bem que eu tô com a mira 2x aqui, senão não ia matar ninguém. Ah, eu também, eu botei mira em tudo. Botei a mira em 2.5 aqui, foda-se. Ah, eu joguei sem querer, mano. Ah, mano, tá, é, o cara acontece. cheio de mina aqui, velho. Não é aí, o cara te avançou? Não dá não. Cara, eu tô achando que ele caiu, velho. Ele tava aqui, tava marcando no vante. Será é que ele se matou com, a, com as tá explosões? Não, ele tá parado aqui. Não, 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 não ele tá parado aí, sim. Tá todo mundo do lado do mapa, hein? É. O cara tava mirando aqui, o de cima lá. Só que ele tá marcado ali. Ele aqui comigo. É, ele, esse cara tava mirando na gente, Stolen. Né? Acho que dá pra ir tranquilo. Peguei aqui, mano. Placa aqui, Hayashi Self. Agora vai ter cara. muito Zé Casinha por onde fechou, cara. Ele botou o mapa é uma bosta, mas é nostálgico pra cá. É porque a época foi muito boa, né, velho? Tipo, dá pra ver os defeitos dele, como essas áreas abertas, esses prédios que não tem muito como acessar e tal. Mas é que você lembra daquela época e foi muito da hora, né, mano? Caraca, meu, meu, meu mapa tá sempre Deus, tudo aqui. São dois aqui, ó. Foi um, tem mais dois, tem mais dois. Aí, tem em cima desse telhado aí também, hein? Deitou, tem mais um mirando. Tem mais aí atrás de você, ô cara. Eu tô tentando ver. Era o Japa, na verdade. Ah, tá. Em cima do telhado ali agora, em cima do telhado. Derrubei um ali em cima. Derrubado. Boa. Tem dois caídos, então. Os últimos, esses? É, são. Acho que é. é. Eu vou mandar strike lá. Ataque aéreo aliado na AO. Hum. Um pulou aqui hoje. Nossa, pouco aqui. Feliz aniversário, Kaique! Tudo de bom, mano. Felicidades. No caso um, né? É, no caso Cadê um. esses caras? Call God, cara. Ele tá na direita aí, eu acho. Tá olhado. Vai, Ana. Ronaldinho, GG, nunca perdemos. Que isso? Derrota, não sei. Estou perguntando aí que quantos são para ver se os invitamos também.
Ey, loco, ¿y cómo se consigue dinero en este juego? Cajas. Mat no, ya llevo dos cajas. Ay, dos cajillas. Matando gente, yo creo, ¿no? Eh, llámale a Jack, llámale a Jack, loco. Oh, bueno, no, ahorita, 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 Aquí cayó, acaba de caer un renacido, loco. Ahí está dentro, ¿lo viste? No, pues sí. Pero sí cae con dinero, ¿no? También. ¿Mm? Me está tronando la puerta, güey. Dale, dale, dale. Él trae el dinero. Llegar en la lana. No, 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 no. Nomás, nomás trae a mí la la bestia. Hay una cajita aquí arriba. No, oh, de regreso el vuelo. No, uy, ahí ve dinero también. Self revive. Aquí tengo la tienda, loco. Es cuestión de que acá antes de que complete. Vale 4 mil, ¿verdad? Sí. Es cuestión de que complete los 4.000 nomás. No, loco, aquí, aquí. Algo que sí viene en el Modern Warfare 3 era que había un chorro de loot. Aquí casi no hay loot. Y para la gente que hay sí hace falta un poquito más de loot, la neta. Sí, era verdad que entre más jugabas... Los gráficos van mejorando, es correcto. Oigan, por cierto, terminando esta partidita, pa, y les comparto código de skin gratis, de arma o de personaje, no estoy seguro, pero ahorita, ahorita se los comparto. Loco, ni una caja me ha dado dinero a mí. Mira, 100 pesos a la bestia. 5,000. Voy a ir por el drop, yo creo, porque... Ah, me refiero a un carrito. Pues en el carrito voy a lutear más rápido y ya regreso a una tienda en caliente. Venga, tu madre viene gente. No, hombre, el carrillo. Es un carrote a la roña. Jueguen en Renacimiento. Ahorita vamos a jugar Renacimiento, pero ocupamos ser más. Ahorita le vamos a decir al Yaques y a ver quién más nos jalamos ahorita. Viene otro, viene otro, viene otro, viene otro. Agarra el Lord. Ah, ya lo viste, ese ya sí, sí lo agarra, sí lo agarra. Tiene ataque de mortero hostil. Corre, 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 corre. Me tiraron un ataque de racimo, loco. Ahí está compi, está compi. ¡Nice! Para que vean que está buena esta arma hasta a medias largas y medias y medias y largas. Ya merito. Greña, ¿por qué quieres que haga, loco? La neta. Busca dinero. Ya, ya tengo, ya tengo, pero pues. Un contrato. Ya tengo, ya tengo, ya. Niña, pues deja de, mover, de morir, apa. Es que se me apagó el iPad. ¡No, loco! Eh, hey, llámale ya que, llámale ya que, greña, llámale ya que, por favor. Eh, hey, ¿qué puedo con el carro? No me puedo subir. Ahí está. Voy a la tienda a revivir a, greño, a greñetas. ¿Qué pasó? Eh, ya que es. ¿Qué rollo, güey? Eh, jálate otro, güey, para resolver. Valiendo madre, loco, la neta. No, no, loco, ya tenía el dinero a la bestia, loco, su madre. 
Aquí en Halo, güey. O sea, ahí está. La única que está jugando solo es capa, güey. Vamos a invitar a capa, si quieren. Dale, dale. Espérame, espérame. Yo mi. No la. Revíveme, bro. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Yo no sé, mano. Mas essa da esquerda que eu marquei. Tô indo pra lá, Nel. 200 metrinhos só, molezinha. <risos> Bora, filho. Corre. Viado, fiquei preso. Se encher d'água aqui, eu morro afogado. Será? Você falou que eu sou barata, né? Uh -huh. Você me venderia pra outra org? Venderia. Nossa. Assim, eu não gostaria não, tá? Porque você foi criado aqui no Fluxo, pô. Você iniciou sua carreira de influenciador aqui. Mas se você fala, pô... Ah, eu queria sair e tal. E aí ainda me oferecem um dinheiro? Eu Nossa. vou fazer o quê? Nossa, tá bom, então. Eu não quero falar isso, mas tudo bem. Ah, então não. não vou... Óbvio que não. Eu ia ficar puto se alguém oferece dinheiro, então eu mando matar. É só de raiva pra aprender, ó. Vou até te comprar pra você ver que eu. Isso! Aí, ó. É isso. Volta. Eu queria escutar. Você jogar, ó. Joga, desgraça. <risos> mas de Onde quanto a gente tá, tá falando, Raja? Se fosse pra te vender. Ah, assim. não, mano. Ah, não, mano. Não. De nada. Mano, ninguém ia oferecer mais de. 200 reais. Não, 200 reais eu te vendo, não. 200 reais eu, eu ainda humilho a pessoa, pô. Ainda... Não, mas, porra, quem que vai comprar bagulho por... Não, você vale muito, pô. Eu te compraria ah, pro fluxo, por exemplo. E se a minha multa fosse um bilhão? Pagaria quanto fosse, Raja, pra ter você no fluxo. Ah, obrigada, mano, obrigada. Por... Tá vendo, rapaziada? Por isso que eu nunca vou sair, entendeu? Eu sou uma pessoa muito, muito <risos> bem tratada nessa org. Raja, fodeu. Mano, pior que agora eu tô longe, eu não quis cair... Fraco, perto, fraco, fraquinho, cala a boca. Você não dá conta de mim. Você matou também quer? Foi... Ele também quer, ele também quer. Você matou o vovô do Zig. Ai, não, fudeu, Rádio. Tô indo aí, Serol, pra tentar te ajudar. Ah, filha da puta. Toma. Matei os dois, Raja. Tá tranquilo, tô evoluindo. Tô evoluindo. Aliás, você que vem até mim, será? Eu não vou ir até aí, não. Eu vou lutear aqui de boa vai porque. Luteando, vai luteando, você merece. É, não vai dar certo isso. Relaxa. O que, que é isso na minha frente? Pô, tem um cara bem na minha fuça. Eu vou ficar, eu vou ficar aqui igual aquela menina. Oh, meu Deus. Mas eu tenho um futuro nos presa. jogos online, viado. Você tá vendo que já tô evoluindo, já começando a matar. Já salvei você, Raja. Usei o bagulho sem querer, porque o dedo é grande, mas tudo bem. Tudo bem, tudo bem. Aí, ó, vai cair no chão. Né? Ah, não, já foi bom ter usado. Agora eu pego ah. coisa aqui, ó. E agora? Qual foi? Só acabou a bateria, mano. Vixe, eu não sofro desse ah. problema. Ah, é, peraí, rapidinho. <risos> Você já morreu, viado, não. Eu, eu comprei morri. ela Me tô. mataram? Você só da partida, cuzão. Me mataram? Ah, mano. Não, mas bota meu Discord aí mesmo. Meu Discord tá em live, Raja. Bota aí pro pessoal poder te assistir. Aliás, boa, me assistir. Boa, boa, boa. Boa, vou fazer isso. Fazer essa boa aí pra galera ver essa jogabilidade. Enquanto eu coloco o celular pra carregar. Ainda bem que essa placa de captura tem entrada pro carregador. É, é porque não apareceu pra mim. Que tava sem bateria, eu nem vi. Ah, já, não sei se você já viu, mas tem três caveirinhas no meu nome ali. Você viu que eu já arrebentei três humanos. Sério? É, mas fudeu agora. Você vem pra minha tela aqui, é um, vem com uma zica forte, filho. Não, calma. É isso. Você vai mano. Já tô vendo o cara passando aqui, velho. Vou te encher de bala, filha da mãe. Aí, ó. Vou tornar o corpo dele que você consegue... Ah, ele tá no paraquedas, mal fácil. Papo reto. Meu Deus! Acabou a boa? Acabou a bala, viado. Acabou a bala, viado. Ô, oh, esse é o cara que matou você, sabia? Ele voltou aí só pra buscar você, o vovô do Zig. 
viado. Como que eu tô sem bala, viado? Como que eu tô sem bala? Raj, você me dá azar, viado. Você vem pra minha tela, eu morro imediato. Não, a pressão fica alta. O cara caiu. Meu Deus, os caras não param de dropar. Vamos lá no Ah, não tem mais rebirth, F. Não sabia. Tô em cima do telhado aqui, cercado, estou aí. Eu tô fudido, acho que eu vou morrer pro gás, mano. Caralho, essa engola funciona que nem no Warzone 1, que delícia. No, no YouTube também. Escalão 10. Obrigado, Afilima. Gente, eu não quero zicar, mas parece... É eu mexer o controle, ele trava, velho. Estranho, mano. Ah, eu passei 5 horas seguidas assistindo a live da Activision pra resgatar as recompensas pra eles falharem por ir através de código. Me sinto coringado. Pô, vermelho, sinto muito, mas cola aqui na live que tem. A live é massa? Obrigado, Luiz. Tá assim, depois que eles atualizaram no meu, cai direto o servidor. É, cara, tipo, na Rebirth não roda o meu jogo. Ele não conecta no servidor da Rebirth. Só se eu tentar reiniciar o jogo, gente. Tá bom aí? É que acho que não tem, né? Ou tem? Tem multiplayer e o mobile multiplayer. Rodado. Gente, é, o, a Rebirth ah, realmente não roda pra mim, cara. Eu tento, tô tentando numa sozinha aqui. Já tentou aqui. um... Já tentou ah, o outro... Mobile Royale é só até três. Ah, já tentou um... Já tentou trocar o Wi-Fi? Oh, calma, agora parece que foi aqui. Eu travou pra caralho no início, mas eu tô andando. Tá conseguindo? Parece que sim. Eu só vou dar um tiro aqui pra ver se não vai travar nisso. Beleza. Tá, ah, eu acho que tá funcionando. Eu vou sair pra ganhar vocês. Vamos tentar mais um. E foi squad. Donarei vocês. Ai, pana, Casilis agul 3 contra 1. Casilis agul 3 contra 1. Não, não tinha as armas, tinha as armas descargadas. Tinha as armas descargadas, chat. Casilis agul 3 contra 1. Ay, no puede ser. Bienvenido al Ay, brother. Bueno, ni Ayuda a pelea a punto de empezar. Ponte cómodo, compañero. Volverás muy pronto. ¿Y Shake? ¿Qué pedo? ¿Y el, y el enemigo? Buena. Buena, Che. Ahora me toca a mí, bro. Lo que pasa es que yo quería que vieran el Gulag. A ver, ¿qué dicen, muchachos? ¿Ganamos el Gulag o no? ¿Qué dicen? ¿La manqueamos o la ganamos? ¿Te la haces live seguido acá? Claro, Kabir. Cab claro, mi bro, me extraña. Si no, ¿qué, bro? Eh, sí, claro, bro. Yo hago stream lunes, miércoles y viernes. Pero... Eh, voy a mirar si hago más días Pero sí, bro, claro Hace un tiempo Hace un tiempo, hace como un mes Hacíamos de lunes a viernes, hacíamos muchos streams Sino que como yo no subo Clips de mis directos La gente no sabe que yo hago streams La gente no sabe que yo soy streamer De hecho se sorprende Cuando me ve así como Como, como haciendo gameplays y todo La gente cree que solamente hago TikToks de curiosidades y ya Entonces, pues, por eso estoy empezando a subir clips. Hay unos que les ha ido bien, hay otros que a la gente no les ha gustado, pero pues nada. Igual, tengo que mostrar, tengo que mostrar lo que hago en stream. Yo siento que hago cosas... ¿Lo tengo por derecha? Yo siento que hago cosas divertidas en stream, bro. Y 